Hey guys, David Dernell here from RV Wholesalers welcoming you to our spring break version of the Virtual RV Show. Uh, we're very, very excited about today. I think you're going to love it. Lots of uh, great RVs, lots of giveaways, lots of uh, tips, how to buy, thing, you know, things like that, how to use your RV, all that kind of stuff coming right at you. Uh, if you're sitting home watching, thank you. If you're not watching, you should be. Uh, if you know someone not watching, please call them tell them to start watching. We're on YouTube and we're also on Facebook. And if you wonder if I'm stalling, I am because as always, my co-host David McCreary is late. Has anyone seen him or does anyone know where he's at? Nobody? All right, let me, let me try to FaceTime him. Oh, hey Dave, is what's he... going on? Um... Dave, where are you at, man? You're late. I... I hear you trying to say something. On? I can't understand a word you're saying. Oh, well, that's uh, look, convenient. Tim and I right. are on our way. We're trying to trying to catch a, <laughs> trying to catch a train. Our plane trying to catch a train. Delayed. Dude, you're in a motorhome. Slash canceled. Uh, and when we so when we oh, returned the goodness. Nexus that we rented, there was a little incident with a scratch slash dent slash. Uh, what, what? What? Wait a minute. Incident scratch. Fairly fairly good amount damage. of damage. Um. We had to fill Dave, out Dave, what's going so, on? No big deal. I put your name on it. I figured that would work oh, better. I find no. your name. No, why would you put um, my name? I, I Dave, can't you need to get here, man. Just, we're up still yeah, in Goshen. Yeah, that's and, convenient. Uh, Seriously, dude, you need to get really here. We started the show. Where are you at? So we're trying to get back. Yeah, okay. Tim's Tim's hollering for me. So, I, Oh, man. Are you, you're saying something. I'm assuming you're... Uh, yeah, I love you, too. Dude, I don't know you what you're need saying. to get here. We'll see. Okay, come in, Tim. I'm so tired of working with this guy. This is crazy. Well, as always, you never know what to expect when David's helping, but uh, I'm sure he'll get here at some point. Uh, I see he just boarded the train, of all things, and it's... Uh, I don't know, three, four hours maybe. Uh, real quick though, let's let's talk about our sponsors. We're just going to head right over this way. Want to put a, a special thank you out to Blue Ox. Uh, Blue Ox makes all kinds of tow bars and and equalizing hitches, sway control hitches, equalizer. Equalizer has the uh, sway control hitch. Several different versions. Want to thank both of them. Dish Outdoors. Uh, if you camp, you're going to want Dish Outdoors. It's always great to have uh, TV. All for those rainy days, and of course, uh, RV wholesalers. Uh, thank you to all of our sponsors, and thank you to all of you that are watching. Hey, we made it <laughs> oh back. Gosh. That was was it a bullet train? Bullet train got here pretty quick. <laughs> Polar Express. I've never seen that movie because I refuse to watch a movie uh, with people with dead eyes. Yeah, those eyes are terrifying. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah made it back. Yeah, I have. I couldn't hear a word enjoyed. you were saying though on the yeah, phone. Yeah, that's odd that you couldn't hear me. Yeah, that's uh, all right. How bad was the damage? Uh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty bad, but it's nice here out on the beach. Yeah, it's underneath real, it's, these, it's no wind country. right now. No. no, hold on, I feel you know, a wind coming in now. I have another issue with you. There, the, the, oh, the there's, yeah, it's, it's branches it's, are blowing it's now. It's blowing more. Aren't yeah, they? I thought we were wearing um, Hawaiian shirts and we were gonna have um, mullets. I do have a Hawaiian shirt with me, this one. So I'm, I'm, I'll carry it. What about your mullet? The mullet. I'm working on the mullet. I grew mine out. Yeah, I can tell. Look, he's a this. natural uh, Joe Elliott over here. Yeah, Jeff and, Leopard. I, and I put on my uh, very non-slimming. Well, is that Mickey Mouse on oh, there? Oh, it's Mickey, of nice. course. Yeah. Nice. It's a very nice shirt. Flowers, yeah. pineapples, Mickey. Very. It fits. It fits the setting that we're in. Oh well, yeah, one of us let's, got uh, the memo. Yeah. So let's do a giveaway real quick. Awesome. We're gonna give away. You just did our sponsors. One of the Blue Ox uh, hitches. So uh, let's find that's out nice, right now. That's a nice prize. Yeah, it is. Very nice. It's prize. Uh, so you want to tell them what a Blue Ox hitch is, just for people who well, are yeah, not gonna uh, win it. If if. <laughs> Kind of, they they yeah, want to get back into it. Exactly. They, want to, they want to know. No, you know, if, if you're pulling a travel trailer, you really have to have one. Not only does it do um, weight distribution, what that means is you don't want to go down the road, right? If, if this is the trailer, this is a tow vehicle, you don't want them like this. Right. right? You, you want them like this. And that hitch redistributes the weight. Right. Thus weight distribution. Second thing it does, though, that's even as important, if not more important, is it controls sway. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you, if you pass a semi kind of suck you in and then yeah. kick you back out. Right. Well, picture you towing a trailer and 
your tow vehicle's past the semi, but the trailer's not. It's kicking your truck out, right, uh -huh. your tow vehicle, but it's sucking in the Sounds trailer. Sounds terrifying. It is terrifying. This makes that a non-issue. Okay. So you're very, very safe. So somebody's about to win it. How That's do we know awesome. who won it? It's because these folks got registered. Oh, thank uh, you. And you can get registered at virtualrvshow.com. It's absolutely free, but it'll put your name in some, for some of the drawings that we do today. Some of the drawings will just be call-ins, but there will be some that you have to be registered for. So just go to Virtual RV Show, register real quick. Again, totally free. Just lets us know who's watching. But here we go. Let's do the uh, spinner. Spin the wheel and find out who wins the blue eye. Can you do this? <coughs> I practice that on the train. Neither would I ever want to. Here we go. And the winner is... Oh, we won. The Virtual RV Show won. The, <laughs> Carol Witt. White. Yes. <laughs> I said it too, way too early. <laughs> do, do, the, do, do the graphics a little faster. Carol's I said like, Carol Witt. Darn it. Dang it. Missed well, it by no, one letter. Win. Uh, Carol White, congratulations, you won the Blue Ox Hitch. We've got your information because you're registered, so we will, we will get that sent out to you. And, and, and uh, if you don't have a trailer, call. We can put it in the trailer and ship them both to you. Yeah. So uh, coming up, we've got a fifth wheel. We're at the Columbus 1492. But before we do that, let me tell you what's going to happen today. Obviously, a bunch of RVs we're going to walk through. We've got some fun lined up. We've got music lined up. Of course, Trailer Swift is back. So uh, no telling what's going to happen. If you want more information as far as like a schedule, if you go to virtualrvshow.com, we've got a schedule on there. Always subject to change. So virtualrvshow.com slash schedule. Uh, because there's times when we add trailers. There's times when we may get behind right. and we have, to, we have to kick one out. But We, we try uh, to add if someone asks. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it happens. And yep. also, guys, make sure if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page, uh, follow us on Facebook. And we have live feeds going at both. Yeah. Yeah. So if something happens to your Facebook feed, whatever, jump over to YouTube real quick. Go to YouTube, search versa. RV Wholesalers, and then subscribe to that page. We actually have a ticker over here that will let us know how many people are subscribing yes. to YouTube today. So we'll be able to keep an eye on it. It's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's roll the graphic while we head over to the very first trailer. This is the Columbus 1492. I don't see that on there. Is Tim messing with me? It's called I, a Columbus I hope 1492. It's on the cap. We should look. Okay. Yeah, but this is it. We're, yeah. we're you're gonna start in front, where or I'm gonna start back here. Back there, I'm going up here. I want to. Okay, see you go that way. You're, you're the boss. I want to see. If you it think says you run 1492. this place? Yeah, it does say 1492. 1492 on the front. Yeah, on the front. Is that? I. I'm assuming that's when he sailed the oceans blue. Yeah, I think that is. Is that how it works? It's been a long time. Exactly. It's been like five years. Five years since I've been out of high school. So. <laughs> Let's go back here and check out this uh, rear kitchen. I love the rear kitchens. And it uh, looks like you got everything you need. The sink. It's not, a, it's not a dump sink. It's a real sink. It's a good size refrigerator, too. Yeah. Have you ever used one of these? Not on, not on a uh, machine. Uh, not a machine. Uh, an, RV, an RV. They're called RVs. Some people call them. Really? I like to call them machines. Not on an RV, but I've used them before, and they're awesome. Yeah, they really are. They're yeah. amazing. And yeah. there's, there's this... It's like after you go to like a Japanese steakhouse is mm -hmm. when you really want to get these because exactly. you want to go home and flip and make well, the, the onion stuff. volcano. Yeah. yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. Have you done the onion volcano? Did it work? I did not work. No, it didn't work. Really. Uh, no, I didn't have enough uh, oil to put on the inside, right. yeah, and the oil exactly. that I'd put inside just leaked Try out. Try gasoline so. next time; it'll work. Well. That's a good idea. Yeah, tape it for us. If you <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, good size. You get some storage up here. Little uh, uh, cabinet there. And then your, your grill, your outdoor grill. Well, it's cool because the grill even slides right in. And yeah. it's, it's nice and protected, you know. Yep. Awesome, awesome unit. Which is a lot better than leaving it out and driving down the freeway with no, it sticking it, out like that. Yeah, because that could cause some issues and yeah. upset the state patrol. Yeah. No, it's uh, a very nice coach, though. Oh, this won't shut until you flip this over. Anyways, we'll, yeah, we'll that do later. that later. All right, you ready to go inside? So we've got some uh, folks asking about Airstreams already texting. If you have questions, uh, chat with us. We will try to answer as many as we can. Uh, but Airstreams, we don't have any Airstreams today, but we've got all kinds of stuff. And all kinds of stuff, literally. Caitlin, Caitlin's saying right now, people are watching. I like hearing what they say. Caitlin's saying a, a big fifth wheel like this with an outdoor kitchen is rare. Is that and very cool? Did you say very rare or very cool? I agree oh, with, with the, the very cool. cool. They're not as rare anymore. Okay. Yeah. You're seeing it more often now? Yeah, exactly. Okay. You know, what you do see with them, though, is you see tons and tons of uh, 
storage and vacuum yeah. cleaners if you heard that. What was that? that, a vacuum cleaner? Yeah, it's a vacuum cleaner, isn't that crazy? That's pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean, it's it got central vac throughout the entire thing. Tons of storage, you could put several bodies in there. Oh yeah. Uh, of course, the propane tanks, the normal things that uh, all the fifth wheels have. You know, right. this used to be, it's really funny, people ignore this now, but these were uh, motorhome doors forever. So uh -huh. you could get them by a motorhome, you know. Right. Uh, and, and Columbus puts them on every one of theirs. Really, really nice. Is that the, like addition. the um, like airplane? Yeah. Exactly. Latches, hatches, Slam whatever. Slam latch or whatever they yeah, call yeah. it. Yeah, uh, yeah. We got somebody asking about motor, motor, motor coaches. We got... Four, four of them coming up today? Yeah, so at least four. four. We really should warn people to look away as we enter the coach. Yeah. Why is that? Well, because they have to follow me in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody <laughs> wants any part camera. of that. <laughs> nobody. You know, Dave, I noticed this table uh, earlier when I came in to look at the trailer, and it actually quite surprised me. Uh -huh. Did you see the edges? Yeah. It's so a it looked, live edge table. Yeah. That's, is that what it's called, a live yeah, edge? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. You know, they don't, they don't, I mean, it's it's a big slab of wood. They don't do anything to the sides. I absolutely right. love it. That furniture is going crazy right now. And, and This here? Yeah, and, and here Columbus hasn't any unit, you know. Just really, really a, a, a cool thing to see in, a, yeah. in an RV, you know. And, and I really like the freestanding chairs in I RVs. I do too, yeah. It's a lot more comfortable than the um, benches. Yeah. You know, especially yep. if you're vertically challenged like me. <laughs> you don't Close always fit this. in the bench. But, you know, uh, incredible furniture, too. Really top-notch furniture. Mm -hmm. uh, man. We don't see many with the TV in it, so it's nice to see the TV actually. In the unit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. usually there's just a spot that says put TV here. Right. And they, they come with TV. You just don't keep them in there. Exactly. So, yeah. this one... so if you're watching the show and you see there's a TV missing, and we take them out, we put them in storage. Okay. That way people don't borrow them. Sometimes people like to borrow <laughs> yeah. them. Yeah. And so, never return them. Is and that never what return about? them. Yeah. We also show a lot of times like the storage behind, but it's hard to tell like what it looks like when you can actually see in the storage. So this is the storage behind this TV. That's how easy it is to get to the TV or get that to the storage behind so, the TV. Honestly, that's so awesome. Yeah. That's, and the screw that's in there is free. We don't charge for the extra screws. Oh yeah, there. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that or not, but uh, yeah. by today that is included. That is included. You can get the it, no black charge. end on it so you can it'll disappear into a lot of the stuff right, that you exactly. uh, use it. So. Uh, JBL surround system, which is oh, sorry, this <laughs> this dust here is not included. No, you don't. That get was the not dust. supposed to be in the shot. Yeah, well, we we keep the dust. Yeah, that which is... actually makes most people very happy. Yeah, yeah. So again, you get a JBL sound system, which shocks a lot of people also. But you know, Columbus is all about quality. Uh, and, and just builds an awesome coach. They put some awesome stuff in it. Uh, units wired for solar. You've got a fireplace in it, which is pretty awesome. You uh, know, set the mood or heat the room. I grabbed the dust for a joke, and now, now I'm stuck with it. Now you don't know what to do with it. It's kind <laughs> of like, yeah. dust in my just hand. put it in your I pocket. I don't think you'll I was going it. to, but then I'll feel it the rest of the day. Just this is, uh, dump this it out is here. kind of a cool thing. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of these. I love it. I'm actually trying to get one for my home. This thing just rolls up. Kind of reminds me of a... Um, Tank tread, right? Yeah, they are but fascinating. Literally, you can put your dishes on here to dry them. We got somebody asking about tank sizes. Mark is asking about the tank really uh, big. sizes. Fresh water is 75 gallons. I believe Mark is asking. Black water is 39 gallons, and the gray water is 71. So 75, 39, 71. Yeah, I've been doing this for 20 years. Off the top I of my head, that. that's yeah. amazing. Just how you do that. It, it's crazy. Uh, I Tim was going to tell me in my ear, and I said, "No, Tim, you shut up." Rest. I'm going to do this by heart. I'm going to do, and he I'm told gonna do me this anyway. all on my own. All right. Uh, <laughs> someone asked what model. 366 RL. RL stands for rear living room, which we see. And the price is $62,776. Your payment roughly would be around $400 a month. $62,776. All right. So I, when I walk through with some of the sales guys and gals, they tell me these prices. I'm like, that seems way too low. Mm -hmm. You own the place. Yeah. Listen, that seems way too low. And I'm not just saying that because that's what you say when you do a sales thing. That seems way too low for this much vehicle. No, it does, especially if you if, if you look at uh, any of our competitors, guarantee they're going to be minimum 10000 mm -hmm. Most are going to be closer to, especially if you go west coast and go um, the Gulf Coast. Yeah. Probably closer to twenty two. Wow. Twenty four thousand more. So yeah. it's it you know, and people often say, Why do you sell so cheap? And I didn't mean to tell the story right now, but I absolutely love the story. Right. Uh, family's here to pick up a travel trailer one time, a bunkhouse. Mm -hmm. And the mom says, we 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 talk to most of the customers when they pick up try to talk to all of them. And the mom says, Because of you guys, we could buy a new trailer. Wow. 
we were shopping used. That's all we could afford. But we found you with your prices. We could buy a new trailer. We that's good. Buy used. No, that's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's it really awesome. Is. No, it's very. Cool. Uh, you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna have to open that because my hands are frozen to this this top. Yeah, it's cold. We had the air conditioning on here for some. And reason. I think it's still running. I yeah. Honestly do. Oh, it's only sixty degrees here. Nice, we don't need the air uh, conditioning. Very nice size pantry. Great uh, microwave, and the thing's huge. It's kind of kind of shocking how big it is. It's bigger than the one in my home. I want to be honest with you. Yeah, that's, that's a good but size. a lot of stuff in here is very nice, just like this cooktop. Did you see this thing? I didn't notice it was a four top. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, you know, it's it's gas. I mean, that's like a um, uh, professional cooktop. Yeah. You know, it has oven with it also. Uh, residential style refrigerator. It does have an ice maker in it, which is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. We got people already uh, mocking us and teasing us. Really? Sally just wanted to let us know she's already in T-shirts and uh Flip flops That's and nice. shorts. Yeah, where does yeah, she we're, live? yeah, where do you live, Sally? Because don't it's not. Give us it's your, not don't give us your here. direct address. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's so there's. I got to tell you real fast. There's a uh, magician comedian that I love. A guy named Rob Zabrecki, and he does a joke about where he asks somebody in the, a lady in the audience, like, "Where do you live?" And she says the the state, and he's like, "No, wh but what city?" She says the city. He says, "What? You look really familiar. What state? Or what? What's the street?" And she, she says the street, and he's like, do I look familiar to you? And she, she says no, and he goes, he grabs a curtain and goes, how about now? <laughs> Rob Zabrecki, look him up, he's brilliant. Love that guy. That's somewhat terrifying. <laughs> so you made me think of it when you said, Sally, we don't want your address, just what part of the country you're in. It's 60, gonna get to like 66 here today, but two uh, days from now, it's supposed to be a high of 32. Yeah, welcome yeah. to Ohio. Yeah. It's a uh, good, good time to leave. Yeah. Uh, guys, real quick, you have two of these. It's got uh, USB ports, also, you know, just regular power outlets, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Two sinks. Mark is asking about two sinks. There are two sinks. Actually, there, there are, are three sinks. if you count the bathroom. Yeah. Boom. Well, and you got one outside. That's right. Four sinks. I'll tell you what we'd be doing. This would be the vegetable sink. Okay. And the fruit sink. Yeah. That's the dishes sink. Nice. That's How good. How nice. Uh, guys, More lighting storage. everywhere. Yeah. Huge cabinets, tons of storage. I mean, it's it, it's just quite Might remarkable. Oh, this, everything that lights in the back of the place. This coach is so well equipped; it's crazy. Want to yeah. go upstairs? Let's go up here. I'll follow you. Here's more, a uh, little more storage there. A little space for to hang stuff or throw shoes in there. We'll come in and come back to the bathroom. Big old king size bed. Slide out. Hey Dave, open that uh, closet. This one here. Yeah. Check that out. Yeah, it's. Talk about tons of storage. It's awesome. And then if there. you if you the open the door next to it, this is something that I I think would just be awesome to have when you camp. Oh, you have see this one's all see we normally don't see these in here either. I don't know if we've no. ever seen one with it already in here. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And how much easier does that make it? Oh yeah. You know you don't have to run to the to the uh, laundromat. No, you don't have to wear the same pair of underwear for a week. Right. Now. Which sometimes, though, is nice. Yeah. That you don't it, have to. It has its perks. Yeah. Um, so there you go. Stackable washer and dryer. That does not come with it, though, right? No, or but you can, you can have it put in. Yeah, okay, of course. Okay. And then, of course, we got the that TV. That comes with this setup. one at that price, though. Oh, okay. So that's, you yeah. that? So $402 a month. You okay, get, so check uh, out that shower. This is a good shower. The shower is big enough that it's got a waiting area for the next person up. <laughs> <laughs> Again, though, that's a terrible view, terrible eye, eye level. But, uh, but pardon the pun, but that's a terrible transfer, uh, transition. I like this little soap holder here, too. I don't think I've seen that. This is a very, very nice fifth wheel for uh, less than $70,000, a lot less. What did you say, Sixty-two. Yeah, it was uh, 62, yeah, 62,776. 62,770 something for like four, about $402 a month you can get into this. Nice sink. I love this sink. Love the faucet in here. Uh, more storage back here. You got a medicine cabinet and plenty of room. I'm six foot. I know I, I get it. You'll see if you're tuning in for the first time, you'll see I get into every shower because folks want to know like how tall the shower is. I'm six foot tall. Plenty of room above my head, and then you got uh, a light here, not a light, but a, a skylight thing, whatever they're called, here. What's it, what's it called? Sky... Skylight. Skylight, yeah, I got it right. So there you go. Uh, a little towel hanger. Hang your hand towel there. And no emotional buying. Um, we got somebody asking, I believe I know the answer to this. Do all the RVs purchased here include RV, or TVs? 
I w not all, but yes, okay. most. M most of them? Yeah, okay. There's, there's very, very few that don't. Okay. So but just there double is check. The occasional one, so yeah. I'd hate to say yes 100%. Right. And if you have questions, if you have questions, you can absolutely call us and ask any question you have for us. We got somebody else. Shelly. Nope. Shelly, no, we can't. I'm like, Shelly's asking a question. Tim's like, she wants to know if you both can get in the shower at the same time. No. <laughs> Probably, but we're not going to, if that answers your question. Plenty of room. Uh, how long is this Shelly, fifth wheel? Shelly has more fun camping than I do. <laughs> how long is this fifth wheel? I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. We is need it, to look it up. Get the paperwork in here. Uh, the weight is 11,540 pounds. The length, you're, you've been in this for 23 years. What would you say the length is of this trailer? Uh, 40 foot. Wow, 39 foot, 6 inches. Boom. Width is 8 feet, 5 inches. Three slides. Sleeps four. It can sleep a lot more than four. Yeah. And that thing's, that thing's big. Uh, we had somebody asking about if, they, if you take trades or not. And that's yes, something we do. You, you can, but we'll, mm -hmm. we may talk about trades and stuff yeah, later I mean, in the you, show. And, believe me, we'd love to have your trade. But yeah. I always have to be honest and say you can. Most people are selling their used units now in less than 12 hours. Really? Wow. Yeah, if they put them on uh, RV Trader and okay. you know, other places. All right, Dave, follow me. We're getting in the shower. Shelly's wanting. We've got to keep our customers. Keep your keep making, clothes on, Dave. You're making people look at this the second time. Are these and are these glass mirrors or stainless steel mirrors? I think they're I think they're glass. They look glass to me. Glass. Hold on. Look. Uh, there you go. Well, it's got a vessel sink too. Plenty of room. Yeah. This reminds nice me of uh, high school football. <laughs> <laughs> all, all He's those very awkward. awkward. Memories are Eyes up here. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. That's, I hope you're happy, Shelly. You better buy this RV, Shelly. Yeah, there should be a tip involved with that yeah. too. <laughs> oh, all right. So, uh, fantastic, fantastic RV. Uh, I'm going to send you over to your brother. Looks like he's sitting over there ready to uh, talk to you. Yeah, I think he's so, sitting uh, on the job. Yeah, uh, he's going to head over there. This can be yours all day today if you're watching. You need to live vicariously through us as we walk through and picture yourself in one of these RVs. And if now's the time for you to buy, then now's the time for you to buy, if that makes sense. I think that makes sense to you. So I'm going to throw over to Dave and Mike. Uh, they want to talk to you, let you know who you're buying from today. All right, we're on. Oh, we're live already. <laughs> yeah. Probably should have went to a song, but yeah. they got us instead, and we're not singing, so that's not going to happen. Oh, no, we're definitely not singing. Uh, I think what we're supposed to talk about is just why we got started or what we're doing. Yeah. I, I think we should talk even maybe, a, you know, we've been doing this for 23 years, but... Uh, Almost 24 now. We've talked about our, our past, you know, being school teachers, things like that. I really think uh, I'd rather talk more about what we're what we're planning to do, what we're God, trying to do cool. in the future, yeah. because there's there's you know hopefully big things coming. Well, you know we we we've, we've tried to run the whole thing from uh, Ohio, and what I mean by that is we see like if you guys check out our webinars, we do at least one a week, sometimes two, three. But in our webinars, we teach people how to buy an RV, and, and people are like, "Why do you do that, right? Why, you know, why do you tell, why do you tell people how to buy? First of all, because we do everything honest and above board. Second thing, though, is there's going to be over 500,000 RVs sold this year in the United States. New, we can't sell 500,000. We can't even sell 10 percent. You know, 50,000. Uh, so, we need to help people get educated so that you don't get taken advantage of by other RV dealers. That hasn't done enough, though, so now we've, we opened a dealership in Texas. You want to talk about Dodge City a little bit? Well, we've got one in, in Dodge City. Uh, it's, you know, with that will explode here real soon. Yeah, as soon it's as, starting to already. You know, there's a lot of dealers right now, as you know, as the customers know, they can't get stock. Right. Uh, you know, so that's kind of our only hiccup right now with Texas. Uh, but that'll take off. Well, and the really cool thing is we know that we're doing the right thing because the Texas RV Dealers Association, and they're probably watching, keeps keeps putting in complaint after complaint after complaint, trying to chase RV wholesalers out of Texas because they want to they want to protect their dealers, right? That's what they are. They're a dealers association, and they want to be able to uh, protect their ability to overcharge and offer uh, lackluster service. Well, even in Ohio, you know, we got we got blackballed from RV shows yep. 10, 12 years ago, yeah. you yep. know, and, and the reason was we wouldn't 
play ball. We right. wouldn't yeah, we wouldn't we, we wouldn't collude with everybody on let's let's charge eight fifty on PDIs, let's right. let's charge twelve hundred on walk you know. All those hidden fees. All those fees we just we wouldn't do, so they, they tried to keep us out. Yeah, yeah well and, and, and it worked. They kept us out, you know, and so now, guys, uh, just to keep talking, you know, we still have people in Ohio that, that uh, don't want to drive to us. We obviously have people around the country that think it's too far. Delivery picks up even more people, but now we're starting to expand. You know, we just told you about Dodge City. We're getting ready to move into uh, Marysville, Ohio. That'll be our second Ohio dealership. Uh, that should be happening. Oh, well, should be official here in 30 days or so. Yeah, and that when it's, you know, it's going to take a while to build a building and yeah. clear the land and things like that. But when that's all said and done, we will be in the Columbus show. Yep. Uh, there will be no holding us out at that point. So, exactly. you know, that's coming. Yeah, That'll we're, be a, we're, a good situation for Columbus customers. Yeah, we're pretty Even the ones that, that want to buy something that we don't carry. Right. Uh, they'll still be armed with, with what we give them at the show and, and they can go get a better deal with the, the brand that they want. Yeah, exactly. You want to talk about the other state we're looking at right now? Uh, Indiana. Oh, I, I forgot that one even. Well, yeah, we're thinking about Indiana, and then we're also uh, we're also looking. We've started uh, preliminary work on Florida. Yeah, uh, Florida. Trying to trying to see where we should locate there to take care of the people of Florida the best. Yeah, yep. that, uh, Florida is a crowded state. And it is. Unfortunately, the the beaches I like and the places you like, there's there's people there, but we're going to make it happen at some point. No, we'll figure it out. We're we're coming to Florida. There's so many. We have so many great customers in Florida. So many great customers in Texas, so many great customers all over this country, but we, we have um, huge pockets in Texas and Florida, so we want to try to get there as quick as we can to service you personally, you know, and be able to take care of you personally. Well, and ultimately all the stuff that we offer our Ohio customers will be able to offer yeah. those other states. Exactly. You you know, know, there's, <laughs> there's things that we offer our Ohio customers with the, the Buckeye Service Guarantee that no other dealer in the country does and, and no. what I really want people to understand is why they don't do that and that the fact that it is it's just simply a choice that's exactly it you know not every dealer can sell where we sell okay you know if you're a dealer in uh, San Diego California your delivery is four thousand dollars yeah our delivery to Ohio is two three hundred dollars you know so there's a difference right there but when it comes to, to customer service that part of it is a choice. Right. Any, anybody can offer great customer service. Anybody can do a, a free loan or if your RV's in a shop. You know, anyone can yeah. do a, a three-day exchange. Uh, there's so much other stuff that we do. No, that that's what I wish network. customers would see is that part of it. That's the bigger part of it. Right. Anybody can sell cheap. The bigger part of it is the service that they yeah, offer afterwards. Exactly. But why is my local dealer not offering that? Right. And it's just a choice. It's a choice not to. Yep. That's a discussion you need to have with him. No, and you know, people always say, oh my gosh, you guys are bashing other deals. No, we're not. We're just telling you what we offer that no one else offers. Right, that they know. don't offer. No one else has a nationwide service network. No one else has RVW bill pay. And we'll go over these things later. And, and you can send in questions too. We'll get to your questions. But, you know, anyone can do a nationwide service network. Anyone can do RVW bill pay. Anybody can do the Buckeye service guarantee in the state of Ohio, soon to be the Lone Star Service Guarantee in the state of Texas. Anyone can do those things. There's a reason they're not. No, you know, there's, so there's not a dealer in the country that is paying the bills for their customers while no. they travel the first year. No, there there's isn't. There's just not. And it, and it doesn't appear there's going to be because we've been doing it no. now for over 10 years. Yeah, that's, that's so not If they wanted happen. to do it, they could do it. Uh, I mean, we tell every customer, no matter where you live, no matter where you travel, when you have an issue, and it's, it's unfortunately when, not if, yeah. uh, for God's sake, call us first. We're the first call you make. Yeah, let us take care and of it. And let us t let us stay in the middle of it. It's your trailer. It's the manufacturer's warranty. Let us stay in the middle right. of it. We'll make sure you get taken care of. All of our competitors, I think, at this point, all of our main competitors, there's there's only two or three, uh, but all of our main competitors are now telling all the customers to just take it back to the factory. Yeah, yeah just, just call it's the just factory. Not, my God, if we could tell people just to take it back, to, you know, call the factory, we wouldn't need right. 15 to 20 employees right now. Yeah. Somebody just asked, what's a three-day uh, RV exchange? Simply put, you have uh, three days. So you leave here with your RV, right, and uh, you're going home. Uh, you decide it just doesn't fit your family. You don't like the way it towed on your truck. could be anything, right? But you can bring that unit back within the first three days. You can trade it out for another stock unit on the um, lot. Yeah. And there's, there's no fee. There's no hassle. There's no nothing. Uh, we take care of all the paperwork, but then you've got 
an RV that you feel fits you better, whatever the reason. We don't even ask the reason, and uh, you take off in that other RV. No, that then. part's not import, Im, important, but uh, sometimes people do just bite off a little more than they can chew. Yeah, yeah, they're just not comfortable with Especially it. with the, the crowd of new first timers now yeah that is you know it's a, it's been a wave it, it right. it's hundreds of thousands of brand new people that have never towed uh we get people in here every day with very very small suvs yeah they really weren't meant to be no, towing and, a, and, a big know, we, rv and we tell customers you know hey you really shouldn't tow that we need to we need to find you something different you yeah, know as we you go down the road and it it, it moves your car a little too much right. and you're scared bring it back we'll get you something smaller exactly yeah uh, last thing, because we, we're, we're going to go over to a GeoPro next. Um, did you not get the memo on the Hawaiian shirt and the mullet? I did not. I had so the mullet in the 80s when mullets were cool. Yeah, no, they're back. The mullets are back. Uh, here, I can, I can just that's like, better. drape it. I, mean, I kind of feel like maybe I was set up. I was told it was a spring break show. Everybody's going to have yeah, a mullet. Yeah, and you're the only guy the with, shirt. with the So far, Hawaiian I'm the only shirt. guy with the mullet and the Hawaiian shirt. But. You know, I like if I had different. hair left, I would do the one last hurrah, but I really don't. Right. I just have hair in the back. I just, it, it's, well, I could grow it in the you back. You have hair on your back. You could comb it up. I could comb it up. Yeah, it's I more of a cape nice. right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going over to the Geo Pro. All right, thanks, guys. Sorry, you guys had to hear about that. That's disgusting. Uh, listen, we want you guys to chat with us. We want to hear from you. That's why I'm here on the beach uh, right now, because I need to draw the line in the sand, Shelly. We got in the shower and showed you what that's like. And then I don't, David hasn't seen this. Shelly, everybody can see the comments and the questions you're asking. So when you ask us maybe a hug, maybe a small kiss, no, I don't know what kind of virtual show you think you're watching. But that's, not, that's, not this one. that's not this one, but we do want to hear from you. Later on, I'm going to show you how nice it is being here right now because I had a chance to go on a spring break. That's where I just got back from this week and uh, I got lots of footage. So we'll get to that today, but keep sending us your questions and stuff on chat and we will get to as many as we can like dave said i'm gonna walk over to this geo pro right now so come with me we'll head over here i don't know if we got a transition or not or i'm just walking no transition oh there it is okay there's the transition <laughs> geo pro by rockwood yeah the rockwood geo these things are like um hotcakes i can imagine you know what i mean they're, they're, they're crazy. It's super cool to stand over there and look at this just here compact you know it's got everything you need for a yep. two a couple of you um you can throw more in there i'm sure but these things are cool and here's the thing i was just telling dave before we went on we were talking about our wives and uh, um <laughs> i mentioned that my wife and i up until a few years ago when my my son graduated from high school we were never, it was never just me and her, right. ever. Even when we're dating, because when I met her, she had a four-year-old, my stepson, who was now 32, or th will be 32. Uh, so it's nice, I see something like this, I'm like, this is what, this would be a blast just for me and Tab to get out oh, yeah. and get away in. Perf this is all we need. Perfect couples unit, you yeah. know? it really is. You know, and I moved the chair just to show, check out the tires. Those, those are nice tires. They're really cool tires. Yeah. yeah. They're pretty knobby and stuff, and it's literally meant to go off-road. This, uh, just, man, how nice would it be to take this out onto a beach? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be awesome? Uh, that'd that would be amazing. Be, that would be really, really cool. Yeah. It's got a solar panel up top to even feed you electricity throughout yeah, the day. I feel like I saw it from over there. Yeah, yeah if, there if you want right to, uh, we call it dry camping. Uh, other people call it, you know, roughing it, whatever. But uh -huh. it's kind of hard to rough it in they this They call thing. it roughing it in this yeah, thing? Yeah, kind of funny. That's funny. Yeah, they're extremely lightweight, though. They tow really, really well. Uh, the small SUVs can tell them that's what people love. You see the jacks are included. Yep. You know, they're down right now. Uh, tons of storage in this thing. Storage. Front compartment. Power awning. Mm -hmm. LED lights up top. Of course, if you uh, if you live in Ohio, you get the Buckeye Service Guarantee if you live. So what is that? Uh, Buckeye well, Service I mean, Guarantee. You'll hear about it a lot today if you're yeah, here. Yeah, you will. It's a uh, uh, three-day RV exchange, which we just talked about, right? So you have three days to bring it back and change it out for another one if you don't like it for some reason. Uh, the biggest part of it, I think, is the free loaner. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if your RV's in for service and it can't, you can't camp with it, that air conditioner's out and it's 100 degrees, yeah. we'll give you another RV that you can use. So you never miss camping. Right. You know, it seems crazy to me that the industry's asked people to wait. The average trailer's in for repairs 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that's, that's, that's insane. Crazy. Yeah, that's, that's rough. That's really bad. Yeah. 
we don't, you know, we don't hit those times at all, but, you know, we do things a little different than everybody else, uh -huh. even with repair. But we give you another RV. So if you have a camping trip coming up, you camp in one of our RVs, so you're always camping. Wow. Which is just fair. Other really cool thing this one has. So you have an actual sofa. Uh -huh. right? Comfortable to sit on. Uh, very, very comfortable couch, right? So now you can sit there. You can watch. Oh, there's a TV. I was looking for yep, the TV. You can watch TV up. right from your sofa, read a book, whatever you want. But then... Jackknife, is that what this is called? Yep. Check this out. Ooh, drop this. Wait, have, this was not planned. No, this was not planned. You have an actual bed. I can't... Oh, I can't get it. You know, Dave, for the... For the for the life of me, I can oh. think... Yeah, I think maybe you're trying to exert a little I was, too Yeah, much. I was trying yeah. too hard. I thought it would be harder than that. I cannot think what that's called, Dave. What is that Murphy called? bed? Murphy bed. Oh, oh, you know what the countertop look. extension is. Oh, well, let's point out the countertop extension right now. you got a countertop extension that should be down before... It should be down before we do what we're doing. Yeah. But it's not. That's okay. All right. Now we're back. Which is kind of like if you have a pet, this is kind of like a Murphy bed for your pet. Yeah, your cat could sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you camp with pets? Let us know in the chat. Yes or no? Just right now. Just yes or no. We'll know what you're talking about. So there you go. Big old Murphy bed. The couch goes away, and you have the bed on top of it. That's a good size bed, especially for the two of you. That's This is awesome. It's, it's perfect for a couple, and you're going to get a comfortable night's sleep, right? Yeah. Not two people fighting over a uh, couch. It's got to be a secret. Oh, there it is. There's a... Look at that. Hey, but somebody asking if you have to be an Ohio resident to get the uh, Buckeye service guarantee. Uh, you know, we have a, we've had a few people that have taken advantage of it. Neighboring states, they came over and picked up an RV. Okay. You know, they brought theirs to us for service, and they took one, uh, you know, for a trip. So, so no, technically, uh, yes, but no, we don't we don't use loopholes at RV wholesalers. Right. Never okay. have been. If you if you want us to repair your RV, we're more than happy to give you something to use while we're repairing. I mean, we wish everybody could come back. We don't expect people from California to drive. Back. Right, right. You know, we, we wish everybody would. Yeah. Uh, again, microwave, refrigerator. You've got a cooktop. You've got a large sink, stainless steel sink. sink. Oops. You've got the exhaust fan. You know, these things are awesome. Uh, Especially in a smaller vehicle like this. Yeah, you, you because need, you're going to get yeah. fumed out and smoked out, everything else. Mm -hmm. You've got your dinette that also makes into a bed, so grandkid comes with you. There's a place for yep. them to sleep. You say something stupid to your wife, which you and I, again, have talked about. Then you have another place to sleep. We do that sleep. quite often. Yeah, I'm going to sneak back so yeah. they can sneak in. Here, I'll, I'll go ahead and stand in the shower. Just one of us this time. Oh, a little tub. One time, Gage is going to have to turn the camera on. Oh, no, wait, they're going to see him in the mirror. <laughs> We got another question coming in. Sorry, Tim. What's that? Oh, that is a good idea. They want to know if they... Shelly wants to know if we can get a picture of mine or Dave's face. Either one of our face on the... David, it's probably... It could be either of us uh, on the side of the trailer. Maybe we get it wrapped oh, with just sure, our faces. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's extra. Yeah. Oh, a lot extra. Uh, now this... I will tell you this shower... Again, I'm six foot tall... My hair sticks up, obviously, so I can feel it up there. This is a little a smaller, compact shower. Again, you've got a small vehicle there. So uh, it is still kind of nice, though, that you've got a, uh, a tub down here. You've got the shower. It's, again, a little, a little more compact, but still not bad for this small of an RV. No, it's pretty amazing, really, quite honestly. And, and It's uh, just so lightweight. So, again, don't forget to tell us yes or no if you have or if you travel with pets. That's just something where you know the. Uh, did you feel how stuff. solid the floor is too? You know what I I didn't notice, which I think is a good thing. Right. You're not going to notice a solid floor because you're you're no, used to but, walking on solid. But you floors. walk into some units and you sure will notice yeah, a, yeah. a weak floor, so that's, or, you know, a soft floor, and it, you know that's the thing about Rockwood. They build them so incredibly well. They're built in uh, Millersburg. You've mm -hmm. been there. You've been there. Yep. Mainly Amish and German Baptists. Uh, they do an incredible job. You know, the, everything is laminated on this coach. Everything is top notch, and we just don't have problems with Rockwood. I got the, the price in here too. Let's talk about the price, which I think yeah, will again, freak it's you the, out. Uh, Rockwood Geo Pro G19 FD. This is twenty thousand six hundred thirty-two dollars, which makes your payment right around one seventy-nine a month. That's crazy. Should be right down there on the screen if we if we nailed it. Uh, weight is three thousand fifty-four pounds. It's yeah, about so twenty feet long. About seven. Anybody can tell it. Eight four inches. Yeah, this is. Uh, 
It says it sleeps three, which I think is probably about right. Yeah, I'd say guys, it's pretty because fair. Because I know some of them, you can you can find other places to sleep people, but this yeah. one being smaller, you got you can put one person right about here and then two in the bed. and Yeah, so you this know, is definitely for uh, a couple, I think. No, it is. That's what it's meant for is a couple. Yeah. Year. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We do know a family, nice. though, that uh, the kids sleep underneath in sleeping bags and love it. Re underneath yeah, the RV? Seriously. They'd wow. rather be under there than they would in a tent. That's crazy. You know, it's kind of cool. Yeah, that's 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 pretty awesome. You just don't want to get up quick. Yeah, no, <laughs> this is a very good point. <laughs> also, I couldn't do that because of spiders. Yeah, I mean, yeah. not a chance. And snakes. Yeah, snakes. Like snakes. I'm all right with snakes, but spiders freak me out. So there you go. Again, I, I mentioned earlier, if you're in the market to buy an RV, today may be the day to do it. We got all kinds of people in there working. Yeah, all crazy. the sales guys are all in there. That's why they're not out here yet because they're in there answering calls. Yep. Uh, we've got uh, all kinds of stuff coming up. We're going to talk, answer a lot of your questions. We've got tips and tricks. We've got uh, a lot of people ask the difference between aluminum and uh, fiberglass. fiberglass. We'll talk about that later. You're going to do that so, card uh, trick that you actually, did earlier? Actually, we're going to do that right now. Oh, we should. Right yeah. So yeah. we'll throw to that, and uh, I'll be back with you some more walkthroughs. Mitch and Lane, and Lane and Mitch with me. Uh, we're going to talk about fiberglass siding versus aluminum siding. Which is better, or which is best for you. I'm let you guys duke it out. Who wants to start with talking about their respective siding? Hey, go ahead, Lane. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, uh, when it comes to the campers and things like that, obviously, um, just two different sidings in terms of which one you, uh, you go with. A lot of campers don't have the option to go one versus the other. other um, FSX gives us that option uh, on this particular uh, option. Uh, I'm personally an aluminum guy. Um, I, I like the fact that uh, I work with my hands a lot, so when it comes to fixing things myself, um, I, can, I can replace a panel on it. Right? Um, also, uh, when it comes to like any kind of damages or anything like that, we're only talking about you know some type of dent. If there's a puncture, I'm simply replacing one strip on there. Um, I'm not having to replace the entire slide uh, or the entire side of it. Right. Um, and then also, uh, aluminum's a little bit cheaper too uh, than your fiberglass option. Um, so when you're talking about uh, you know the you know a cheap way to get through, um, not a lot of people are looking at that exterior. You know, it's a it's going to be a um, a shell to kind of keep you and get you through with what you're trying to do. Okay. All right, what do you got for me, Mitch? Sure. Um, well, I'm. Uh, in this particular line, a lot of time when you're going with fiberglass, a fiberglass is typically going to have an, an aluminum frame, okay? Or with FSX, you're still a wood frame. So there's not a huge advantage there um, between the, on this particular line. Now, the biggest plus on fiberglass is going to be, A, you know, if hail hit a tip, it's not going to dent up real bad, right? Um, B, you know, as far as cleaning the unit, it's going to be easier to clean this than to try to get in through all those grooves that you're going to have on aluminum siding. So um, there's two pluses there. Uh, does look a lot cleaner. You know, if you look at it, it, it seems to pop a little bit more than aluminum sided trailer. Um, but, you know, as now when you start getting up into a fiberglass sided trailer with an aluminum frame, now there's a much, much bigger difference as far as quality and longevity there, too, because if it has an aluminum frame, you're going to, it can never rot, right? Where a wood frame can. Um, this is just, most, most fiberglass sided trailers are going to have an um, aluminum frame. This is just a little bit of a variance here, so it's not as much of a big thing. And there's not a huge price increase or price difference between the two models. I mean, it ranges from anywhere from 500, but five, five, six hundred bucks to up to close to seven, eight hundred bucks in difference in money on wild with FSX. So I think that's the biggest things that you want to look at. Um, you know, and it really just comes down to preference. This, obviously, if something hits this and cracks this, yes, it's going to be a lot more expensive to replace that uh, versus an aluminum siding with with what Lane was saying there. But also, it's going to be harder to dent or have a problem here just because you got it more durable than your metal siding. Okay. So. Well, and I mean, also, like when we're talking about, um, you know, and we're not talking about just the FSX model in this, you know, particular video, we're also talking about a strictly aluminum sided versus strictly fiberglass sided units. And so when we're talking about like the options of, 
maybe like a Rockwood versus a Wildwood or something like that. Granted, you will see a better quality inside something along those lines. Um, but again, uh, when it comes to like that aluminum sided trailer, uh, you will have that wooden stud on the inside. Uh, again, a lot cheaper to fix in terms of passive. Well, maybe not right now with the, <laughs> with the price going up yeah. on wood, but nonetheless, um, it's going to be that you know cheaper option in terms of fixing it. Uh, and, and, and again, when it comes to uh, like any kind of damage or anything like that, we're only talking about a dent or something along those lines. So when you've got kids uh, such as myself, you know, a football into the side of the camper or a baseball or something like that, I only have a dent instead of you know, that entire track. I've got my hat. Yeah. Alright, so if you had a choice between fiberglass and aluminum, what do you get? Still going with aluminum. Fiberglass. Is that just because I told you guys to stand on your side? <laughs> or stand on different sides? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there you go. It's, it's really up to you. There's a price difference. You can get more information for a con. Contact these guys. On the next episode, we will talk about uh, the dazzled jeans versus not the dazzled jeans. Make sure you're there for that. Like and subscribe. Subscribe below. Like Facebook and share with your friends. We'll see you guys next time. For more than 70 years, the original Equalizer Sway Control Hitch has made towing a trailer safer and put the fun back into towing. Four things make the Equalizer Hitch better than any other Sway Control Hitch on the market. First, a four-point integrated Sway Control system that keeps you and your family safer in hazardous towing conditions, like poor weather, winding roads, and passing semi-trucks. Second, an excellent weight distribution system, which provides better steering and braking control while reducing wear on your tow vehicle. Third, the equalizer hitch is easy to adjust and to use. Hitching and unhitching take seconds and can be done from any angle, eliminating the stress and frustration associated with other hitch systems. Four, quality construction, made in the USA from the best American steel with a lifetime warranty. The Equalizer Hitch's integrated four-point sway control combines these things to create the best performing sway control hitch on the road. Its performance and safety are so good that it has been voted the number one sway control hitch in America, year after year, by thousands of trailer owners all over the country. Visit EqualizerHitch.com to find a dealer near you and ask for the original Equalizer Sway Control Hitch to get the best protection for your journey. All right, so uh, there you go. The difference between aluminum and fiberglass. Pick what you want. Pretty much, it's up to you. It's Whatever to your you. preference is, they yep. both work. Uh, this behind me is a counter, 8,420 80, people right now. Uh, have liked our YouTube page, have subscribed to our U YouTube page. I think we page. need to hit 9,000 today. You think Wouldn't we hit 9,000? Cool? Let's do it. Let's so call your friends, right now, call your family. Yep. And if you're watching right now and you haven't yet and you're watching on YouTube, all you have to do is hit subscribe. Let me tell you why you need to subscribe to this, especially if you're into the RV market. Uh, it's, we don't just do this virtual no. show on YouTube. Right. We've got webinars through the month. I hosted yep. two this month with Tim, just telling folks like how to safely, not safely, we'll talk about safe, this Time, kind of safe here in a second, but like smartly or wisely buy an RV, whether you buy yeah. it through RV wholesalers or, or from somebody someone else. else exactly. So that kind of stuff, all <clears> kinds <throat> of stuff going on. We got walkthroughs that, that you'll throw up there on YouTube. Yep. Uh, you can you subscribe and hit the little the little alert button and it will send you alerts when, when videos come up. What's happening behind? Oh, I heard it, heard it moving. I heard it. I literally I just it. said I heard it. 8,430, 8, so we're trying to get to 9,000. Yeah, we're getting, well, we can do it. I know we can. It just, it. it just jumped 10. Yeah, thanks, guys. We appreciate that's that. That's pretty cool, actually. It's cool Thank that you. people are listening. Yeah. That's awesome. And it scared you, which was kind of funny, because yeah. a lot of the country got to see you act like, well, I'll just, I'm just going to leave it there. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll just, we won't go any further. <laughs> so hopefully, <clears throat> fingers crossed, life gets back to normal very soon. Yes, please. I miss I miss concerts. <clears throat> oh, do I ever miss concerts? Let us know what the last concert you saw was. If you're out there and you're, you're a big concert person, I've been lately uh, hitting a lot of country con. I love country. I grew up listening to hair bands, rock and roll, Motley yeah. Crue, Poison. Those Some guys. of my favorite. Yeah. Uh, but, I'm out on the country thing with you, though. Yeah, you don't like yeah. country, do you? I love my country music. I mean, music. some of it I do. Last one I saw was in uh, Who Do You Like? If you like, do I you like know songs. Names, just, yeah, okay, I don't so really know. Yeah. So the last one I saw, we were actually in Vegas the week before everything shut down, 
and we got to see a private show for a company uh, with John Party. Now, you probably have no idea no. who John Party is. but Sorry, John, if you're watching. Yeah, love John Party, and that was the last concert, and it was funny because... You know, nobody knew at that point how crazy COVID was going to yep. get. And he was like, eh, we're nobody's afraid. This isn't going to affect us. And then and he wow, actually, it. It, yeah, it's funny. Like last week he posted, I can't believe it's been a year since the uh, international IH concert. And he posted a picture from behind him. And you see my my wife and her friend in the oh, front cool. row. Oh, cool. Not right you. There. No, I was off the yeah, side. Yeah, that makes food. it even better. So here's the deal. They made fun of me because we're at this yeah. thing. It was a private. We'll get to this in just a second, I promise. I'll do, I, we got stuff to do. Why am I telling the story? But we're at this uh, event for uh, International IH, the, the tractor company. We just yeah. happened to get invited to it. We were out there. Well, you're and, a big farmer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a tractor right there. Look, that's, that's, that's a, a green tractor, tractor though. But I'm and I think about, I see corn. Yeah, yeah, right there. <laughs> um, so uh, we end up going to this show and... Uh, I, when I'm usually at a show like that, it's that people have hired me to walk around and do magic. So I don't get to eat all the free food. Right. So they were at the concert. I'm listening to the concert. It's all in one room. But I'm walking around eating all the free food I can. <laughs> and they made fun of me nonstop later. Like, every time we saw you, you had a plate of food. I'm like, normally I'm working. Let me enjoy the food. So yeah, let I'm us know what concert was the last concert or who was the first concert you want to see when we get back. Just tell us. So. Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars. You've seen him? Oh, yeah, four Was times. Good, really? Oh, he's amazing. I would love to take my wife I, to see I think Bruno he's Mars. this generation's uh, Michael Jackson. He's fantastic. It's, uh, I mean, the guy's yeah. so talented, it's crazy. But and he just released new stuff with a guy named Anderson yeah. Pack. It's One of the few so guys good. working during the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, so uh, we saw uh, Chicago, and then the I think it was the very next day. I don't know. My mind's very confused, uh -huh. but we got to watch Bruno Mars, so it was pretty awesome. Yeah. Out in Vegas. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. We hear uh, Newsboys. Somebody oh, yeah. whose last concert was Newsboys. <clears throat> I've, uh, I've had a chance to hang out with those guys. It was years ago when I worked at a TV station that we played all that music. Um, Jason Aldean was the last concert. You know Jason Aldean? Kind yeah, of guy? I, I know Jason. Yeah. Yeah. Not personally. So uh, let's talk about this real quick so yeah, people do don't it. think, why are we listening to these guys' lives? Ob obviously, as Dave said, we, we hope this is over soon, right? We're all kind of, we're all tired of it. At the same time, we have to be, uh, you know, conscious of what's going on. What we do here is once we're done PDIing your unit, right? We clean the thing inside and out, go through all the systems, make sure everything works, check all the appliances, uh, the propane system, the water system, the electrical system, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Mm -hmm. Then when we're done, we spray and treat the uh, unit with an agent that we're, we're told absolutely 100% kills the COVID-19 virus. Right. And then we put this sticker, this sticker, on the outside of the door. And it, it acts as a seal. So when you get here, that, that seal is in place. You yeah, know, it's, no it's one's between the door and the exactly. frame. Exactly. So. Yeah. So if, yeah. if anyone opens your door, that, that seal is going to be removed. Mm -hmm. So you know that, that it was treated and no one's been in it since it was treated. Yeah. And hopefully, you know, that number one, you know, there's nothing in there that you can get sick from. But also, we hope that it gives you some peace of mind. You know, people say, hey, you guys aren't wearing masks. No, we're not. For one thing, uh, I've had COVID 19. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, we, we're constantly checked and all that sort of thing. Yeah. And, and we do wear masks. If customers come in and they would uh, like a mask, then our people are more than accommodating. Right. And it's not like we get close enough, like we're standing in a shower or something. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. that, that would be awkward. That would be stupid to do. But <laughs> Who yeah, asked so, that question? <laughs> Shelly. Shelly asked that question. I will forever remember that name. We got a big. We got the River Ranch being pulled in. We're yeah, gonna it's quite obviously large. walk through the River Ranch here soon, but now I'm gonna walk over to this Nomad toy hauler. Mitch is over there to talk to us. Mitch is so, Mitch is one of the best, if not yeah, the best. Yeah, he's good. I'm gonna go over and have. Yeah, him, if you want to uh, buy an RV, you need to make sure you talk to Mitch. Yeah, I'm gonna go over, and introduce you to Mitch, and then we'll walk through that Nomad. So let's head over. Mitch, you how we tell doing? everybody who you are, how long you've been here, they know you're Mitch. But. Obviously Mitch, uh, last name's Eilerman, I've been here um, six, 16 and a half years now, um, so really enjoy the place, I'd love to help you guys out. You know what you're doing. Know what I'm doing. 16 years. Yep. If you hear the running in the background, there's a truck right here, we just brought in that river ranch, so that's what that noise is, your computer isn't acting up. I'm sure you can still hear us just fine. This, I, I dig the colors, being a Buckeye. This is the sharpest looking trailer I've seen. Yep, the Buckeye Scarlet Edition is what we call it. It's a 28FK, okay, so 
Um, this, to me, this is the only thing on our lot, uh, this line, Nomad itself in, in general, is going to be, um, I mean, it's more like a car hauler. Everything else is, is, is not as beefy as this. Uh -huh. um, obviously, it's got the different siding. You can two-tone, get, get the different colors and everything. You can tell you've got a lot bigger, you know, beefier axles right. and tires. So you can accommodate a lot more weight for, you know, anything, cars, yeah. Uh, side by sides, four How wide wheelers. Is this? Um, I believe it's eight and a half foot okay. wide. I think there's different ways you can get it there too. So there's a lot of customization that you can do on Nomad that you can't do on any other manufacturer okay. out there. So um, it does cool. have nice solid steps. Um, you know, basically, like when you look, you've got a power awning, uh -huh. right? And then this is more of a V nose, right? So right, when, I noticed that. So when you've got your V-nose, it allows you to get a lot more usage, you know, versus a flatline trailer. Okay. You know, you're you're gaining, well, let's, let's just call it, you know, two, three foot. Uh-huh. And what is this door? Is that storage or is yeah, it so basically, another way into the... Yeah, just open that up. And then that's oh, wow. access to like, you know, your, for winterization, more storage you can utilize in here. It's got a top shelf and everything that's too. That's sweet. So just more access, more storage, and then you can get to your water lines and everything as well. Yeah. So, back, nice, 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 nice door, isn't it? And you're right. They could have. Yeah, it is a nice door. That's not. That's not going to open down the freeway. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the lock on there, that's brilliant. So yeah. it is nice that they they could have easily just cut that off there and not had anything, but they've added storage to the front. That's that seems brilliant to me. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Um, should we head in? Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, space here to. Uh, Hook put your TV. Mm -hmm. Put your television. You got your different jacks and outlets set up. Nice solid surface steps going in. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, wide open. Right. So, you know, you've got a bed that comes down. Okay. So this, you just push the button. That'll bring that up and down for uh -huh. your bed. Um, obviously, a sofa that'll also tee down like a it's called a jackknife sofa. So you can utilize that as a bed. So you okay. can sleep. You know, two three to four in here very yeah. easily and then this will fold up out of the way so you've got you know your full space in here could too. you order another one if you wanted another couch over here yep you can, you do. yep yeah. you can do that um you can i mean there's a there's a bunch you can get two beds back here if you want to okay. do two beds um and you can you can customize this on the rv wholesalers website right yep yep Which you can customize it simple to do. it's called build your own i think build your own um this one's a little bit tougher than most so i mean i just encourage everybody just give us a call okay. and we'll, we'll go through it with you and you know answer all your questions and everything and go make sure we get exactly how they want it yeah. so um as you can see you got good he head clearance you yeah, know you're, you're uh, tall i'm like six, six five so you got you know over six five as far as head clearance uh -huh. here and then obviously this bed can come out to give you more head clearance cool um they have a nice you know most ramp doors are shorter so there's a lot more pitch going uh -huh. up they extend it out so well, you don't you have to worry that, about and rubbing. then this floor here is Slope. slanted and sloped so mm -hmm. yeah absolutely nice. so definitely you can tell this is definitely for hauling something now i've talked about like toy haulers being more than just for carrying your toys you can turn the back room this is definitely definitely geared towards like you said hauling a bigger vehicle absolutely yeah. yep absolutely and then you know as we swing around here this is where your television will go right so it just hangs on there i believe this unit has a television in it it just we store them inside just to prevent theft and keep it out of the weather and everything too so uh, you do you do have ac and then Nice kitchen up front with your bathroom that's going to be tucked in as we go up there. So um, you've got a fridge down below. Uh, you like all your tanks and your power uh -huh. awning and your water heaters all located there. Yep. Two burner two cooktop. Burners. So fridge, two burner cooktop, microwave up top, stainless steel sink, and then they use like almost you know, air airplane luggage you know baggage doors and stuff like they do on airplanes is a lot, lot heavier duty yeah. then i'll swing out of the way so they can see the uh, yeah, separate like i'm the guy that stands in the shower toilet. Uh, again six foot tall mitch you'd have no problem standing in here oh no plenty of room plenty of room in this so it is it is uh there's no frills but you get everything you need you got your sleeping space you got your sitting space you got your tv and your kitchen so and you got your garage watch that <laughs> it's a big old tire uh so this is this is this is nice i mean i've got a buddy haven't seen him for a while i need to find him but he used to race as far as i know he still races the uh i'm not even sure what kind of car it is but it's on a dirt track and it, i've seen him once it's awesome but i imagine he's got something like this yeah you know? so it might be a specific group of people looking for this but man this is a nice this is a nice vehicle yeah i mean most people are going to have a cargo trailer that just doesn't have 
a sink, uh -huh. an AC, a furnace, you know, all that stuff. So this this meets that need right. where, where you still got a cargo area. It's going over a little bit of the stuff. So uh -huh. it's weight wise, it's coming in at 6,000 pounds. Um, overall length from hitch to bumpers, 34 foot, two inches. It is eight and a half foot wide. Okay. Um, price with the sale today is 31,498 nice. with an estimated payment of, of 237. So oh, wow. just to give you an idea on specs and pricing and everything. So 237, uh, I had to look. It just seems that seems crazy to me. Yeah, two thirty-seven. Yeah. You can get into this. Now we had somebody we were, when we were talking about uh, making our own. Somebody bought a an RV that they that they uh, customized themselves. They live in New Jersey, I believe. Tim said she wants to know will she be able to get a walkthrough, like maybe via video or when her vehicle or when her RV comes in. Yeah, we can accommodate that. Um, what you, just get a hold of your salesperson. Um, once you you know get confirmation that your unit's coming in, get a hold of your salesperson, and then they should be able to maybe do like a FaceTime with you, or if you need a video, we, I'm sure we could accommodate that for you too. So just get a hold of your, the, your salesperson that you work with or sales lady, and th they should be able to accommodate that for you Modern for no technology, problem. Modern technology, FaceTime, you walk through with anybody anywhere in the world. That's right, yeah. makes it easy. That's awesome, especially if you can't get out here and you're having this delivered. So there you go. The Nomad, this could be yours. This could be yours. Right now, though, we're going to take a uh, quick break and check in with our buddies, Trailer Swift. Now, if you don't know who Trailer Swift is, they're phenomenal. Four guys from Nashville. You know, I could I could introduce you to them, but I'm going to have Jeff from Trailer Swift introduce the band. So, uh, Jeff, take it away. Good. Oh, I'm, I'm still on. <laughs> That's why I try to learn from, from newscasters. I've seen say goodbye and then do terrible things afterwards. <laughs> I, I, so I tried to make it look cool. I did my, my Clint Eastwood face look this way, looking to see if we're good to go. Uh, I think we're ready now to check out Trailer Swift and the guys in the band. Yeah, hey bro, uh, so glad to be here again. Um, beautiful spring day here. I know, although I wish we were at the beach. Hey, anyway, uh, yeah, just wanted to take a second to, to introduce the band. You know, we've got Paul, Paul Scott, amazing guy, amazing front man for us, and really appreciate what he's doing. Um, bringing it today, really bringing it today. <laughs> and uh, then of course on bass, we have Mike Ball, um, who Mike and I play in a band with David Cook. Mike has been with us for several years. Great, great bass player. Love working with him. And then, of course, we have the uh, the amazing Thomas Branch. What a great guy. Um, dude is killing it on drums today. Just really taking it over the top for us. And uh, Thomas also joined David Cook's band not too long ago. So I guess we're gonna we're gonna have to bring Paul in, apparently. <laughs> at some point so we can just all do the stuff together uh so yeah man um great day uh, let's hit some tunes here we go aruba jamaica ooh i want to take ya bermuda bahama come on pretty mama key lago montego baby why don't we go jamaica off the floor to key There's a place called Kokomo That's where you wanna go to get away from it all Bodies in the sand Tropical drink melting in your hand We'll be falling in love to the rhythm of a steel drum band Down in Kokomo Jamaica, ooh, I wanna take it to Bermuda, Bahama, come on pretty mama, Key Largo, Montego, baby, ooh, wanna we take go. it down to Kokomo, we'll get there fast and then we'll take it slow, that's where we wanna go, way down to Kokomo, Martinique, that monster ride mystique, We'll put out to sea And we'll perfect our chemistry And by and by we'll defy A little bit of gravity After 
Duncan and David here talking about the RV mat and all its uses. So why is it important to have one of these outside of your RV? You know, the quickest way to summarize it is happy wife, happy life. Oh, that makes sense. Right? Yeah. yeah, I've heard that. And, uh, you know, the, one, of the, one of the biggest things I've noticed about them is, number one, whatever's underneath it stays underneath it. Yeah. Right? So yeah. sometimes you get on a campsite, almost always you've got grass. Right. Grass has just been mowed. Maybe you even just mowed the grass. That's a good point. You're keeping all the clippings down underneath the mat. The other thing is, just like a, a rug you put outside your door, right? As you hey, y'all. Welcome back. Right? As you walk on it, it's taking stuff off of your shoes. Yeah. So you're not sense. tracking it into the camper, you know? And, uh, our family, especially when the kids were younger, yeah. we'd put them down if it was a little bit muddy. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. You're yeah. not tracking that all yeah. You're not getting all the all muddy side. Forward. Exactly. And you know, it's a great place for the kids to play. It's a great place for them to put their toys in. A lot of people don't think about this, but ticks, right? Yes. All the other kind of bugs and stuff, they stay again underneath the mat. They stay off your children. They stay off your pets, etc. And they're not climbing up your stairs either. Does exactly. That make sense? So it, it's just, it's a really good way to control dirt. Yeah. Grass clippings, leaves, mud, even moisture. You know, even if there isn't a bunch of uh, mud, uh, it, it just helps keep everything down underneath. Yeah. The other thing is these things are all reversible. Oh, really? Yeah. So like before, you know, we camp before, and you, know, you get some, you get it kind of dirty looking after yeah. a few days. Flip, Flip that over, baby over, no and you're you're clean and ready to go again. Yeah, it looks really nice too. Like, I got nice designs to kind of add to what your your outdoor experience looks yeah, like. Yeah, exactly. And my wife told me one time. She said it's awesome. It's it's just like you. It's like eye candy, except it actually serves some purposes, <laughs> which was a little painful. That's rough. That's yeah, right. But I got over it. Yeah. I think my my favorite thing about this would be sand because I hate sand, yeah. and it, it's stopping them from coming to my house is a big deal for me. And exactly. my wife, my wife is. No, and you know, again, it's just whatever's underneath, it stays underneath. Yeah. So, you know, they're very affordable. They're easy to, uh, to package up to and to, to throw into the storage right behind the side. So it's a great place to put it. And they come in that carrying case with the handles yes. and everything. Yeah, and you can just quickly sweep them off. You know, the, the big thing for me, though, is you look to your right, 
those stairs stay clean and that floor stays clean. That, that, there's nothing I, I hate worse than on vacation than clean. Right, last thing I want to do is sweep a floor. This helps keep me from having to, you know, sweep a floor. Ooh. Recording, yeah. Nice. Just going to fold right up. Easy. Nice. Very easy with a really nice uh, carrying case. You got it? Yeah, I'll grab that. All right. Whoop. Put that in there and slide the rest in. Yeah, and there and there are some pins too, guys. It just fell out of the bag. And the purpose for those is if it's windy, you can actually take. Yeah, these. Yeah, and pin down the corners. You don't have to worry about it blowing away. Makes sense. Yep. And then away you go. Slide them in and put it in your storage, right? Yeah, that's the thing that uh, my wife and I love about it. And you're ready for your next trip. Nice. Make it as simple as possible. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, thanks for teaching us about it. That's the RV map. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like if you like this video, comment, subscribe, ask us any questions. We'll see you, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Either way, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>
a nice griddle. So um, I mean, a lot of there's the big crave of blackstone griddles. There's a ton of different griddles that do okay. that. This is um, the Elite Series griddle by Suburban. Same thing. Um, you can griddle on that. Uh, it does have a grease tray. You've got a fridge, so you've got a nice place to sit out here, still mm -hmm. cook, and don't have to worry about just going have a grill in and out. Back in the summer, we'll have a grill. No grill. Yep, just a griddle okay. on the back, and you okay. just get your spare tire. Awesome. Uh, let's go inside then. Do you know uh, while we're doing that? Do you know John McGlynn? He's saying hello, and he'll see you next week. Hey, John. Yeah. See so you next week. I'm hoping that's either. <laughs> I'm hoping that's somebody you sold at RV yep. to, and not somebody you owe money. Yep. Telling me he's going to see you next week. <laughs> I won't be here next week. <laughs> um, Very roomy for a small, small little vehicle. Yep. As we come in, so you got your U-shaped dinette, right? So that'll lay. This will lay down to a bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you're going to notice you've got double over double bunks in the back, right? Yeah. Storage down below. So you can get totes and plastic bins and stuff like that. You can put a ton of stuff under there. All the kids' clothes and stuff works perfect in totes. Yeah. So you don't have to, you know, it's all organized and everything. Uh, it does use a 12-volt uh, a residential refrigerator by Everchill. Mm -hmm. uh, they do have a two-burner cooktop. They put a glass top over top to give you more counter space. Yeah. And then obviously you've got your microwave up top, storage below and above to the right of the microwave. That is a big sink for uh, such a small... RV. And it's undermounted too. So, and then it has a high rise so you can get pots and pans in there. You notice to the right of the window there, you've got two outlets, mm -hmm. um, two USB ports too. So, yeah. ton of places to plug into. Um, let's, while we're, while we're shooting this way, let's go to the back, sort of show the bathroom. Right here's your entertainment spot. So, you, you, okay. you've already got it backed. So, you can screw your TV in and then plug in right here. Uh, and then you're ready to go to watch your TV and get a swing bracket and turn it wherever you want. Yep. Stand up in the shower. Yep, you got your uh, toilet, shower, and then it's got your sink and everything all all in one area, so you don't have to walk across the hall or come out come out right. to, to do that, right? Yeah, and there's uh, you you talk about that it's all here in one space, which is nice. And then I, there are times when I see the one that's outside, like the sink outside, and then you talk about how nice that is that somebody can be in there and you can be doing your thing. So again, yep. there's it's it's kind of one of those things where both are good for different reasons. Absolutely, but, but uh, yeah, this is this is nice. Well, when, this is what really sets it off is on the front of the unit. So, basically, and that's what utilizes your space. So when you're when you're not using your bed to sleep, you've got a place to sit down and hang out, right? Mm -hmm. Well, then you can uh, you can take your cushions off. And I just always like to show this because basically I, I call it like a Murphy bed concept, right? Yeah. So you pull your pin right there. That just goes straight up, right? That'll come down, and then you've got your mattress. That'll come down as well. Oh yeah. So now you got your bed to sleep, and you know, it just really utilizes space. So you can sleep sleep your two adults up front. You can sleep one to two here, two four. I mean, that's where you're getting all the space. Yeah. And it's roomy. You yeah, know, it is. For, for not being very big trailer, it's yeah. got a lot of room. And then once that bed comes out of the way, now you got everybody can sit. You yep. can slip sit five here, two to three here. Yep. That's a pretty good pretty good hangout, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's awesome. Fantastic. Absolutely. All right, we got uh, somebody asking if it's an option to get the electric or propane refrigerator in here. Uh, I believe really I believe it, they're, they're working on doing that. Um, you, you've got a couple options now, I believe, uh, where you can get you know gas and electric if we ordered it for you, um, and then or you can get I believe a solar panel mounted on top that'll run your twelve or t you know keeps your batteries charged. That's running you running the refrigerator. So okay. there's a few different options if that's you know absolute how you do it. We can we can work with you and order one exactly. And you how said you want it before. It. Just call and talk to you. Yeah, just call yeah. me and I'll help you out. Um, you know, my direct phone number is nine three seven eight four three forty three eighty. That'll ring directly to me and I'll go over any questions that you have on it and right. love to help you guys out. So. All right. So uh, I know you're busy in there. You Slam busy. you've walked through two RVs with us, so I'm going to let you get back in there. Appreciate it. We're going to have a word from our sponsor. I've always wanted. To, I don't think I've ever said a word from our sponsor. I've done a lot of television type stuff and never said a word from our sponsor, but we really do. This is Blue Ox.
All right, you mentioned earlier uh, the Buckeye service. The Buckeye Service Guarantee. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Because you, you, you hit on it a little bit, but we were also walking through an RV. So mm -hmm. what's so great about the Buckeye Service uh, Guarantee? Yeah, you know, the, really, the really cool thing is when we introduce something, we do a lot of studies on what is the number one issue affecting our customers at this time. If anyone had any sense of humor at all, that would have been knocked right back to us. <laughs> I, know. I tried to make sure. We're, we're like was... surrounded by a black hole of unhappiness. I know. People well, out there working, trying to... Yeah. Make sure everything runs like it's supposed and here to. We Come are on, just, guys, loosen up. Here we are, just the eye candy of the yeah, whole business. That's right. There, oh, oh, it did come back. Geez. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody knows this is fake because <laughs> I fell into it. Good grief. Uh, you should have gotten through some yeah. sand. And look, how much money did we spend on this? We're like, we need Thousands. a good beach scene. And everything's so blurry. Yeah. The only reason you know that's a beach is because you got a couple palm leaves in right. focus. Everything else is just a blurry yeah. I think that was Tim Richardson. It's very frustrating. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Okay. Buckeye so anyways, guarantee. Buckeye Service Guarantee. The, anyway, we, we do a lot of research. What's the number one thing affecting the RV industry, right? Mm -hmm. Then we set out to resolve that issue for our customers. Right. The biggest issue we found is it's taking forever for people to get repairs. Mm -hmm. The problem is you still have to make that payment. Right. right? Yeah. The payment comes every month, whether you can use your camp or not. And, the, and for the la about the last three, four years... An average repair is running about 12 to 14 weeks, which that's, is crazy. Depending on where you live, that's pretty close to your entire, entire season. season. Yeah. yeah. So exactly. if you, if you're, and you're, okay, so let's talk about Ohio. Right. You're making payments through the winter on an RV that you may not be using unless you take it south. Yeah. And then when the season gets here and something happens and you can't use it, yes. you've paid an entire year right. without being able you to use can. your RV. And, you know, it, it not only is it not fair, to ask people to do that, it, it's it's borderline criminal. Yeah. So we've 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 resolved it. Uh, number one, if you bring your unit to us for repair, we do like a triage, right? Uh huh. Figure out real quick what's wrong with it. Figure out if we need parts. We can fix it. We fix it. If we need parts, we ta we have you take the trailer, go camp. Mm -hmm. Don't leave it sit here. Go enjoy yourself, right? Yeah. When the part comes in, we'll call you. You you pull in. We fix it. You pull out. Now, let's say though your air conditioner's out. Okay. Parts are going to take a while. We can't get it. Then we're going to give you an RV to use on every trip you have. So mm -hmm. you got a trip coming up, middle of April. You come pick up the RV. You take off. No costs, no yeah. charges. There's no cleaning fee. There's no, no nothing. We cover everything 100%. Wow. Okay. Because you're already making your payment. Mm -hmm. So why should you be more money out of pocket to camp when you bought a camper right. to camp? So that, to me, that's the biggest thing that, that the Buckeye Service Guarantee brings to our customers, okay? Now, they also get free delivery in Ohio, which is not a, a small thing. Yeah, that's good. Especially for people that um, seasonal camp. So they just, they go to a campground, they stay there, mm -hmm. right? They don't move it. Because a lot of our customers don't even have, those customers don't even have tow vehicles. Okay. So we're able to get it to them at no charge, which they love. The other thing is, a, uh, there's a million things to it, but the other big thing is a three-day RV exchange, which we mentioned earlier. So you get... Uh, home like in the GeoPro, mm -hmm. right? You've got a teenage son and a 150-pound a, a dog, right? And you realize you need it more. ain't gonna work like we thought. Yeah. You can bring the GeoPro back. You just switch it out with another unit that we have on the lot in inventory. Mm -hmm. You're done. Yeah. Uh, is if if you find one that's cheaper, your price you'll get some money back. If you find one that's a little more expensive, of course it'll cost you a little bit more. Right. Uh, but you know the that's the impressive. beautiful thing is there's so many people that we meet. That have bought at other dealers and they hate their RV and they want to trade them. And they get stuck with it? Right now. Yeah. And it's real hard to get out of one right now. Right. So this enables people to do that. You know, okay. and it, it, again, the biggest issues we see is people can't tow a unit, they're not comfortable with it, it doesn't fit their family, whatever reason, right? You got three days to bring it back. Um, the free loaner RV is huge. Mm -hmm. Because, again, you bought a camper, you should be able to camp. Yeah. Seems so silly saying that. I know. Out loud. I it know. really does. Here's the really interesting thing, though. This is year number three for the Buckeye Service Guarantee. Ask me how many dealers in the state of Ohio have matched it. How many have matched it? None. None? Not even one item of it. Uh-huh. And to me, that says a lot about, and I'm not picking on dealers. I'm just stating facts. Right. But that says a lot to me about our a bird just. I that, think it was it this just, branch. Whoop. Was it a bird uh, or a branch? It was a, just a small bird. But that says a lot about 
the other dealers in Ohio that three years into this, they haven't copied it. Yeah. Nationwide Service Network, over 20 years, hasn't been copied. Yeah, we'll RVW Bill Pay, over 10 years, hasn't been copied. Why? They, they use our name. Yeah, yeah, I know you've... But, but you know, we're, we're, very, we're very proud of the Buckeye Service Guarantee. We know it was the right thing to do. Customers love it, right? They rave mm -hmm. about it. Dealers hate it. Yeah. We get all kinds of threats about it. Uh, so we know we know we did the right thing. Right, right. And I've mentioned before, you actually said the phrase already today when you talked about the COVID stuff. I'll mention again today, but it's that phrase, uh, peace of mind. Yep. You guys sell RVs and peace of mind peace is of included mind. in every purchase. And, and it should be. Yeah. It and really that's anywhere should. in the country. So yeah. Again, we'll talk about the nationwide Absolutely. service guarantee soon. Yeah. Uh, so recently I had a chance to go and hang out with... Uh, the guys at Nexus, which is, is that a, is that a new RV that yeah, you're carrying? Yeah, fairly new, or? yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, new for us especially. Oh, that's but right, because I remember him telling me they used to be direct to. Yeah, direct to the consumer. Direct to the consumer, yeah. So I had a chance to hang out with him. I'm assuming they, they had great things to say about you. I'm oh, assuming. they're a wonderful company. Yeah. They do an amazing job. Yeah, awesome. All right, so let's check in right now with uh, the folks over at Nexus. Hey guys, David McCreary hanging out in uh, Elkhart, Indiana, more specifically at the Nexus factory. I'm hanging out with the man, the president, co-founder, David Middleton of Nexus. Uh, how you doing? Thanks for having us. Great. Hey, no, we appreciate you guys coming in and look forward to a long relationship well, with you. Yeah, absolutely. And Brian took me around the factory. Awesome things going on. Everybody's working hard. Brian knows everything there is to know about. Yes. So he yeah. tell, he reminds me daily. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you don't need me telling you. He'll that's tell right, you. Okay. That's right. All right. Well then, I, do I have to give you your twenty bucks back? <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, let's start off with a very simple question, but maybe a huge question. Sure. What sets Nexus apart from all other RVs? You know, I think the number one thing is when me and my partner Claude Donati started this company was we started out factory direct. We mm -hmm. wanted to make sure that we gave them the personal attention that they deserve when making a major purchase. So with that, we sat down and said, how can we do something that's a game changer? Mm -hmm. The number one thing was, even though it cost us more money, more effort, more labor, we wanted to be a game changer. We did that by adding all high strength, low alloy steel. Yeah. Things like true ducted roof air. Uh, we're up to 72% stronger versus everyone else in the industry that's using aluminum. Mm -hmm. So that right there, we put the family first, safety first, yeah. and we said, that's it. That's what we're going to go with. That's awesome. We add about 70 pounds per coach, mm -hmm. but I'll give up that carrying capacity all day long for the safety of the family. Right, right. So those things, that's what we feel like when we take that. We call them exclusive features. Mm -hmm. All high strength steel, ducted roof air, Asdale on the inside yep. and outside, so no wood in our roof and sidewalls. Right. Uh, those sort of things we felt like were game changers. Uh -huh. We did that, and we continue to do that today. Three years ago, by popular demand, the dealers, and we were expanding our dealerships throughout the country, we were like, time out. Yeah. Let's just leave it to the professionals. Let's get it to the dealer's hands because by demand they want it. And let's have right. service centers across the country. And so with that, we switched and started selling to the dealers. Can people still come directly to you or are you dial strictly yeah, through dealers? Yeah, we will not do that. We okay. only go through dealers. They're more than welcome to come to the plant. We'll lay out the red carpet for them, show them. Uh -huh. But yeah, we do want them okay. to work with their dealer. And you say that's mostly because of service. And I know that you really care about taking care of customers because you did something crazy not long ago. <laughs> yeah. And you gave out your cell phone number Absolutely. on the internet for people to get hold of you if they had... Problem. What was that like? You know, I, I did, it was enjoyable uh -huh. because I knew what I was in for. Right. But at the same time, you know, I put my name out there, and Nexus is mine and my partner's name. Uh -huh. And we know we're not perfect. And we see all the horror stories. We also realize that the customers that are happy are not going to talk on the, on the Facebook and the social media the way the ones that are unhappy. Right. right. I can't fix it if I don't know about it. And I continue today to say, please, just get with us. We're going to make sure you're taken care of. Wow. So with that, I have no problem with my cell phone. It's the same cell phone <laughs> I've had for 27 years, and I will answer it. If I don't, I will get back you to it. You have a totally different attitude than, I don't know, 10 years ago, maybe a little longer. It was right towards the beginning of uh, Facebook. My wife wasn't on Facebook, and it was her birthday. So I put her phone number on that at the time, 2,000 followers and told people to text her and call her throughout the day, even if you don't know her. Sure. She was furious. I thought it was heartfelt and sincere, 
she was very upset. Right. <laughs> she got those calls all day. But but hey, if if your customers need to get hold of you, they they can feel safe and know Absolutely. that they can get hold of you. Absolutely. That's and I impressive. have a team too. In all fairness, you know, when they contact me, I'm going to hear them out, and I understand, and I understand their frustration. Uh -huh. But I also know that once I know about it, I've got a team that can jump on it and fix it and make sure we handle any issues or any warranty items that need to be That's done. That's great. That's great. All right. Well, I appreciate you having us. I want to give you a chance one more, one last sure. time to say anything you want to say to folks watching right now that are considering buying an RV or, or jumping in, maybe considering a new RV or sure. a, uh, uh, a second RV. I don't know. Absolutely. No, the one thing I can say is, hey, do your due diligence. You can see it on social media. You, there's so much access from the computer, you never have to leave your home. I do know this, I know that there's a lot of people out there that pitch what they have and what they don't have. I, what I'm pitching is game changer stuff. The Asdale, so there's no wood in the sidewalls. That's a big deal. The steel for the safety. Mm -hmm. We're using all fiberglass roofs, even on our entry level mini homes. We build our product because we do want it to hold up. And we have a track record. We're not the new guys on the lot anymore. Right. We've been around now for 11 years, mm -hmm. and our product is holding up so much so that I'm introducing a six-year lamination warranty and a 12-year structural warranty wow. that's coming out this month. So we're putting our money where our mouth is to make sure these customers feel if they're going to invest in an RV, invest in a company that is truly going to stand behind the product and do the right thing. That's great. All right. You guys can't go wrong with Nexus, obviously. David, thanks for having us. Hey, appreciate, appreciate you guys it. coming in. All Thank right. you very much. Yeah, anytime. So I'm just curious, where, where were you on this trip? So that was, okay, that was up in Indiana, up in like uh, Elkhart, Goshen area. And that start, you'll see later, that's actually have video I have to show you. That started the trip. That started my spring break trip that was, I don't, I don't want to give, I sh let me just show you what happened. I got plenty of video that I can show you what happened. Okay. So let me show you this video. I'd rather not see the video of the crash. No, we, we don't have that, but we have, I didn't say it was necessarily a crash as much as it was some minor damage. I think the state patrol report would say different. Nobody, ignore you read that. Let's just check this out. I'll show you. All right, well, thank you very much hey. for having us. I had a blast. Um, and hopefully we'll be back just to, just to hang out. Great. It's a good place. Absolutely. All right. Appreciate you. Yes, take Have care, David. Day. So we're going to head out. You know, oh, you know what? Hold on a second. David. Hey, David. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Weird question. I had, I was supposed to go on a spring break, and I had a rental agreement with another company. I was wow. going to rent that with the helicopter on top. Yeah. And they wouldn't even let me in the building. So now I have no vehicle to get to where I'm going. So I didn't know if you just happen to have an extra, you know, I, if there's one sitting around that nobody was driving right now. I'll tell you what I'll do. I could get in. Let's see. I'm not, I'm not lying. There's the rental agreement. They, well, we appreciate the partnership, so here's what I'll do. Uh -huh. I do have one. As long as you don't scratch my baby, take it, enjoy it, and bring it back. Yeah, bring it, and br but, <laughs> I, but bring yeah, it back. Please bring okay. it back. <laughs> All right. No freebies. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm stoked. I okay. Thank enjoy you, sir. It. Yeah. Enjoy it. Where where is it? I'm just excited now. I just right go get the front, keys. I'll the one the with the big red bow on it for you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Got the keys got the RV, I phoned ahead to my driver, the only thing left is the traveling jacket. Mr. McCurry. Good afternoon. Oh, thank you. I'm ready to go to California. Yeah, let's do this. My driver knows me. I like to drink my carbonated water out of a wine glass. Just a little fancy. Driver, take me to Cali. No bumps!
Locke. Oh, what's up, guys? In the house. What's happening? Not a whole lot. I'm <laughs> I for, You came at me. You almost. There we go. Wonder <laughs> Twin Powers. Do you know the Wonder Twins? I do not. Dad, gone. He doesn't know who the Wonder Twin. How old are you? I'll be uh, 24. That's so stupid. <laughs> uh, I'm twice your age. I'm more than twice your age. You could be my dad. We never I met. could. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, let's talk about this River Ranch before I get super depressed. <laughs> this thing is awesome. So this is an outstanding unit, brand new to the Palomino industry. Uh -huh. It's by Columbus. Um, it, so this has one level, okay? Yeah. And so there's no steps to get to the bed, bathroom, living area, whatever, all one level, which means tons of storage underneath. Yeah, look at this. So as we it's see, crazy. we got all of this here, okay? It's even more in the back. We'll show that here in a second. Now, what's cool about the Columbus, uh, the River Ranch, is, is the AC's below. So it's not yeah, one Yeah, so top. that's how they save room on the top. Exactly. Where they can make the, yeah. a little bit more headspace. Yeah. And so yeah. as we move back this way, we can see a ton more space I mean, it's space back here. You see how much space. <laughs> it is nuts. Yeah. So people who want big, fifth wheel, tons of storage, this is the guy. They, yeah. they heard you out, and this is it. Auto level is going to be standard. The more wide steps is going to be standard. Can we walk to the other side? When yeah. I was over on the other side, I saw like the, uh, I was, I'm sure, assuming it's some sort of a water filtration or, I don't know. It just, it looks, it looks impressive. Maybe yeah. it's not water, so this is whatever what they that call is. your docking station. Okay. Okay. So we have a little hole right here. This one screw. Okay. You bring all your hosing and everything up from the bottom and hook it in so you don't have to keep this door open. Wow. So you do have your water filter, which is standard, uh -huh. and then all your doggy station. I'll say shower, you get a little hose right here too, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just saw that from there. It just looks good. Yeah, it looks very nice. Make it look really clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's get inside this thing. And So uh, two slides on this side, two obviously. Two slides on this side. You got one slide on the other. You've got your flex here hitch, so a nice yeah. little standard hitch here, a little more upgrade. It's a big old awning. That's a, that awning is way up there. I've never, we've had yeah. this in here before, and I've never noticed how high the awning is. We don't have to worry about hitting your head on anything. Yeah, that's crazy. LED light strip on each Just, side of it. Can you tell, like on camera, how high that awning is up there? <laughs> it's way up there. God, it's beautiful all sight, ain't it? Yeah, it is. For a couple days. For a couple days. I heard it's going to be like in the 30s. It's going to be 30s Friday. on Thursday. <laughs> yeah. So, and I hear you can, and maybe this might not be true, I hear you can get uh, an escalator as an add-on to get up these steps. Well. Is I, that true? Or an elevator? It, uh, I maybe somebody was lying to me. I, I think somebody's lying to okay. you. Um, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> and so, as you see, um, we did come up with a couple steps. They do give you a, a gate here as well, so we can, you know, make sure nobody's falling. Yeah. We had too many, got little ones. No. Man, how embarrassing that would be to fall out of that <laughs> with everybody in here and then have to walk back in That's while the, people are the, laughing the, and pointing The walk at of you. shame? Yeah. It's so <laughs> awkward. Huge island. So tons of counter space. They're going to give you a cutting board. They're going to give you a roll-up uh, sink cover. They're going to give you a little stand here to maybe put some more dishes on it to dry off. Take this away. Jeez. A nice, another little dump sink. Then you have a big farmer sink under here, even yeah. that. Wow. Tons of space. Let's get everybody to see yeah. up in there. Uh, you got your pull down sprayer, even yep. too. And if you, you move this, this turns into a bunk. Could. Could. It's going to be uncomfortable. <laughs> Very uncomfortable. But it's, it's, it's a big island. You do get plug ins on each side. Now, they, uh, they honestly hide these too, so you don't have to keep them up. Mm -hmm. Kind of make them ugly looking. Push them down, hide them. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Coffee maker, your blenders, or whatever you need. Air fryer, in. crock pots, you yep. know, everything. Residential stove. As you see, you do get the blue accent lights on here as That's well. That's a sharp looking stove. It's black, and which is, you get a lot of stainless steel, which everybody loves stainless steel, but yeah. this black with this darker countertop really yeah. makes it pop. Looks good. And they kind of accent, accent it with a gray countertop here on the island. So oh, yeah. kind of really, you know, accents each other a little bit. Which right. Is pretty nice. Ceiling fan, your max air fan event cover in a mm -hmm. living area. As we see right here, we have your entertainment center. This TV, which it does come with one, folks. 
swings out, so you can put a bunch of valuable stuff back here. Because, you know, who's looking behind the TV? Right. Well, everybody, now that we've advertised that you can uh, secretly hide stuff so, behind there. Thieves, <laughs> don't listen. Psych, nobody <laughs> puts anything back there. Don't even check. <laughs> your fireplace, you've got an electric heater here. So um, start using your propane on a, on a chillier day. Just turn that on. It's going to take the heat out, everything. Mm -hmm. Really uh, make it feel comfortable. Okay. We have your pull-out sofa here, so now another sleeping area with a little stand. You do have um, shelving inside here we can get into. Okay. Theater seating um, with little light up. It is power. So look at that. Yeah. Which is nice. You don't have to pull that crank no more. Yep. Hit the buttons. Little light ups here. Uh, if you've got your table as well. With freestanding chairs. You, you do. So you have the freestanding chairs. You got two here and you got two fold up ones. So this was, will stay up as well. You just lock it into place and it comes right back down. Mm -hmm. you keep that down so when they bring the slide in, they're not hurting nothing. A lot of living space here. What is that, a closet right there? So this is a, like a pantry closet. So a ton more storage because everybody got storage on the bottom, got storage on the inside too. Walk in, bunch of dry goods. The ladies love it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Great. A uh, big refrigerator as well with ice. And water on the outside. Okay. It, people's been talking. They finally got it. Yeah. Uh, again, lots of headspace because yes. the air conditioner is now underneath the exactly the RV. Now, since outside all the windows are seamless, uh huh, they crank out. Okay. So you can have free airflow while it's raining. It's raining. Yeah. Makes it pretty neat. Awesome. They just crank back in, make it nice and sharp. And then perfect. Let's come inside into the bathroom. bathroom. Got double vanity. Oh, big old bathroom with a, another in, entry, into, entry the into the bedroom. So I'll yeah. walk around here. So huge uh, shower with a, like a seat, like a wooden seat. Makes it more residential. Um, you've got your double sink um, vanity with yeah. a nice little faucet. You know, that's, that's, yes, I wish we had water because you know it looks cool. Like a five-star hotel there. right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Big old shower. Yes. Yeah. This is this is nice. You can't see it's behind here, but there's a uh, cabinet here and a lower exactly. cabinet here for and towels then, and stuff. As we come inside, we have a nice little entertainment center as well. And then we have more closet space. You can put a washer and dryer in here. It is mm -hmm. prepped. You still have the fireplace. And then um, this will slide as well. You get more closet space in there with little shelves in the back that you guys see in there to put your shoes or, or whatnot. You also get a ceiling fan in the bedroom as well. Yeah. King bed, nice little residential look as well. Little storage space over Exploding here. Floating shelves. Ain't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. They're really just starting to modernize these guys, and River Ranch has gotten stepped their game up. It is, it is pretty sweet. Well, I mean, talk about modern. It's a fifth wheel that's one level. Exactly. You know, and this is the... This is the first of its kind, the right? The first of its kind. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, we, we debuted this a few months ago, and yeah, I, I thought that's what I had heard. But it's, man. So the sale price on this guy's seventy one six. I do have it available, so please, please give me a call. Okay. $1,000 deposit, that's all it takes to make it yours. All right. Reach that's... me at extension uh, 118 or 1000, reaches me and my team. Mm -hmm. Love to help you out. It's 40 foot. Uh, seventy one six probably puts you a payment around. I mean, let's look here, four fifty seven. Wow, that's and it's a lot. It's a lot of trailer. A lot of trailer. You can live in this. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> do your do more I mean, glamping. Actually, like got a hallway. Yeah. You know, there's you have to walk to get to the bathroom. <laughs> you know. Very nice. Yeah, this is. This I, is I, nice. I'll bring my wife in this and. She would want to live in it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> with, with two kids, uh, that's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, coming up, we've got I've got people asking about certain RVs. We've got Class C's coming up. We've got toy haulers coming up. We've got uh, tips and tricks are coming up. We've, we've got uh, a giveaway stuff. coming up right now. We're gonna do a giveaway right now. Oh, that's awesome. So I have to before I before I throw to the giveaway, I have to open this because I'm gonna make sure I can get out of here fast enough to get over there and give something away. Well, thanks okay. for hanging out with me, guys. No I've seen a little bit. Yeah, and uh, once you throw your phone number out there again, yeah. so, or do you want to wait till the last RV because you're not going to be in there? You're going to be out here doing. Yep. So eight seven seven eight seven seven four four nine four extension one thousand. That reaches myself and my team. I've got three other people in there working with me. We're ready to roll. Awesome. And you got to put your glasses down because it looks super cool. 
There you go. Hey, How could you not buy you know, an RV from you know, this super cool guy? You know what I tell my wife? What? They're stunners. Yeah. A stunner to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to go give something away. I'll see you guys over there. <laughs> That actually says time for giveaways, not time for two, whoops, I'm gonna sit down. Not time for 2021 giveaways. We're only doing one giveaway right now. That was the year is what that was thrown in there. Just placed a little awkwardly. I'm sure you figured it out. So uh, we're gonna give something away, a text to win. And if I remember right, the phone number is 833-717-0327. Put that up right there, boom. <laughs> like we meant to do that. Text WIN to 833-717-0327. We'll do the 10th, the 10th person to text WIN to this number wins uh, something. We'll find out together. We wanna find out now or we wanna get our winner first? Let's find out now while we're waiting for our winner. Our 10th winner, or our 10th person to text word WIN to that number wins whatever beach ball it lands on. Oh, uh, the National Parks gift card. So that's good for two adults and all your kids to get into all the national parks for a year. Very cool uh, gift, especially when it's this time of year, meaning you're going you're gonna to start traveling, you're going to start getting out to these national parks. How nice would it be to pull up, pull out the card, be like, hey, I'm a VIP, I can get in if I want and get into the, the, the uh, national park. So the 10th person to text WIN to 833-717-0327 will win that. We'll find out who that is very shortly. I'm uh, looking around at a bunch of vehicles they're bringing in. We've got a bunch of vehicles to walk through. Let's, uh, let's throw to one of our sponsors first, then I'll get back with our winner here in just a second. Now you can stay connected with the shows you love with Dish Outdoors. Watch live HD TV anywhere your adventure takes you without Wi-Fi. It's easy to use. All you need is a portable satellite antenna like the Dish Tailgater Pro and a receiver from Dish Outdoors. Before you head out on your next road trip, be sure to get Dish Outdoors and watch all your favorite RFD TV and Cowboy Channel shows wherever your travels take you. The word win to 833-717-0327. Did I get it right? I got it right. Uh, we've got, look at this. I hear this thing running, 8450. We're looking for people to subscribe to our YouTube page. And it's not just, we're not just asking you to do that to follow along with the virtual RV show. The guys here at RV Wholesalers do so many things through the month on YouTube. So if you're in the market at all for an RV or whether you have, maybe you have one, you're like, I'm not sure if I want an RV, uh, want to trade in and get a new RV or not. Still doesn't hurt to subscribe. You'll get all kinds of cool stuff through the month, including walkthroughs. You'll get tips and tricks. You'll get the webinars that Tim does every month. I just did a couple with him over the past couple weeks, uh, sending out a lot of really good information to folks, whether it's uh, you know how to avoid hidden fees or how to just buy an RV wisely. All kinds of very good stuff coming from RV wholesalers on their YouTube page. So, again, we're waiting for our, I'm waiting for somebody to throw me the tenth person to text the word 833-717-0327 to uh, text the word win. When I get that person, I will tell you this: that throughout the day, you get to win one time. You get to win one time. Uh, so if you win now, you can't win later. That's that's just that's just the deal. Because we had people before take advantage of that. We do have a winner coming in. It is Robert. No, Beth Roberts. Beth Roberts, congratulations. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking time to text the word win in. We will uh, get hold of you and get your National Parks gift card sent to you, your National Parks uh, VIP card, whatever we're calling it. We will get that sent to you. So congratulations. I am going to go walk through an RV, I believe. Nope, Tim's telling me no. Oh, we're going to talk about surge protectors. Yeah, okay, we're gonna talk about surge protectors. Uh, yeah. Surge protectors will protect you from surges. I've learned about these over the past year since I've been hosting the RV show. 
we are we doing a flash sale or what's going on with the oh we got a video all right so we got a video coming up uh, right now about surge protectors in case you're wondering what they are I need to watch and take better notes because I'm an idiot sometimes let's check this out Hi guys, David from RV Wholesalers. Today I want to go over our surge protector. Uh, something that everybody should have if you can, right? No matter um, what type of RV, if you plug it in, you should have a surge protector. What this thing does is it absolutely protects your RV from any kind of electricity, uh, electrical surges. They're a lot more common than people think. We deal with them a lot in our service department. People pull in, they've lost their TV, their refrigerator, you know, water heater, everything. It just, it takes it all out, even the converter. So this is a really affordable way to, to safely protect yourself. Also, if you tell your insurance agent that you have a surge protector, a lot of times you'll be able to save on your monthly premium as well. So it can, it can actually save you money through the years and, and turn into a, a, a really great investment for you. So it's really simple to use. What you do is you take this end of the surge protector, you plug that into the campground power source, okay? That's all you do. Where you normally would plug in your RV, you now plug in the surge protector. Then you take your RV power cord, and all you're going to do is plug it right into your surge protector. That's simple. Now you're totally 100% protected, okay? So again, this goes in the power source, your RV is going to plug into this end, and now your RV is safe from power surges. If you have any other questions, just give us a call, 877-877-4494, and ask for our parts department. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, guys. I'm hanging out with David Durnell, uh, one of the owners of RV Wholesalers, and I want to talk about uh, your prices. Like, yeah. when I first came in about a year ago and, and started doing some of these RV shows, I noticed quickly that your prices are way low, like very affordable is mm -hmm. what, what, probably a better way to put it. Yeah. Uh, how, how do you do that? How do you keep them so low compared to other places? Well, you know, it's, it's uh, really it's a business plan. You know, we've set out from... Day one, this is uh, almost our 24th year. We're getting real close uh -huh. uh, to switching from 23 to 24. But from the very get-go, we've always looked at how can we keep prices down, right? How can we keep things affordable? And one of the main one of the main ways we do it is, like, we just added onto our building. Right. But it was all service. Uh -huh. And it was based for customers to be in and be comfortable. Like, today it's a little chilly outside. Yeah. To make sure they're comfortable, even in the summer, to make sure they're comfortable. But we don't have a, a, a Taj Mahal showroom. Okay. Right. Yeah, you know, I that. Yeah, we're not we're not worried about those things because it's just like dead cost, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. You know, it, it really doesn't benefit anyone. Right. All it does is drive up the cost of trailers. The other thing is we talk to the tax man a lot uh -huh. and see what affects property tax, and that always cracks people up. But if if we do asphalt in the drive, right where the where the campers are parked, if we do cement, it's insane. Yeah. But it throws the taxes up so high that again, then that affects your your ability to keep prices down. And we, we also try to maximize our buildings. You know, I said we just add on the shop. But we're within two weeks, we're going to be running two shifts out of there. Uh -huh. Come summer, we'll be running three shifts out of there. Well, the other a lot of other dealers, and I hate to say this because they might be watching, but they run one shift. Mm -hmm. So when they, need, when they need to run more units, they build more building. Okay. Well, then you have all that debt. You have all that expense. You have, more, you know, again, higher property tax. So we keep, you know, the lot is gravel. We keep it graded all the time. Uh, we have had one person complain. A lady pulled in one day, and she was just disgusted. She couldn't believe it. You know? It was a, a gravel driveway? Yeah, so I'm talking to her. Someone tells me she's really upset. So I go out, and I'm talking to her, and she's like, you know, this is unacceptable. Look at this gravel, and there's dust, and this is just unacceptable. And I said, well, I'm just curious. Why would you, why'd you come here? Uh -huh. 
what do you mean? I said, what were your reasons for coming here? And she said, well, we saved a lot of money in your service. I said, okay, well, how do you think we make it so affordable? Uh -huh. You know, that you save so much money. And she ends up telling me later, laughingly, right? right. We saved her almost $12,000. Wow. And she was from eastern Illinois, not very far away. Uh -huh. Twelve grand, you know, and, and I said, well, this is how you save twelve grand. You know, we get yeah. a little bit of dust, we drive on gravel. and No, so, you know, it's it's always been a plan. How can we maximize it? You know, the other thing we do is we put a lot of money into our staff. We don't put a ton of money into the advertising and all that sort of thing, mm -hmm. you know, because it's, it's more important that we found if you invest in your staff, right, they work hard, they do a great job. You well, know. also, if you're as good as... Ed if you're as good at what you do as you guys are, like with your service and just the way you treat the customer, word of mouth is yeah, exactly. adver great advertisement. It yeah. doesn't cost you a thing. No, that's exactly right, and it, and it's the best advertisement. You know, you can you can run TV commercials, you can run videos everywhere, you can do all kinds of stuff. But when when you sit down at a campfire and someone backs in next to you uh -huh. and their lot, and you see this beautiful camper, and you say, "Wow, that's beautiful!" Oh, I bought it from RV. And first thing out of their mouth is, "I bought it from RV wholesalers." Yeah. You know, you need to call them. You love these people. That's where you're going. Right. And I feel like the people that I've talked to, you hear that a lot. Like, they are excited they're buying from RV wholesalers. Like, my car, when I, when, if somebody tells me they like my car, I tell them, yeah, it's a great car, and I talk about the car. I don't talk about where I bought yeah, it from. Yeah, Because it doesn't matter. But a lot of people, when we talk to them, when they leave here, when they come to pick up their RV, they're talking about you guys and the service they got and the... The, the ease of buying thing and the low pressure and of course the yeah. affordable prices. No, and you know that's that's one of the hardest things when we hire salespeople is is we try not to hire actual salespeople mm -hmm. because we have to deprogram them. Okay. Right. Right. We don't push. We 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 don't lie. You tell the truth at all times. You know. Uh huh. And it, it's really comical. We have some that can't make it, but the vast majority of people that have sold mm -hmm. in other industries, right? Or even for another RV dealer, it's amazing to watch them. We hear the same thing all the time on the phone, and, and the, the the one in particular, a, an older gentleman towards the end of his career, been in the car industry his whole life, yeah. and I hear him on the phone with the customer say, "I love working here. Wow. I can tell you the truth. <laughs> I don't have to lie to you." And then he says, "This they even sell an extended warranty that actually pays the bills." And he th this part actually was kind of sad to me, uh -huh. but he said, "For the first time in my life." I go home and feel like I've done a good thing. Wow. I thought, gee, is that really what, you know, these industries have come to? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But no, I mean, I, I think that's it. You know, I think that you let the customers know you love them. You put them first. You know, you treat them like family. Uh, in our family, that means good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's, it's, it says a lot about the company that we sat down to talk about affordable prices, and we've already gone Yeah, we've already shot down a rabbit hole of service, yeah, you know, yeah. and customers. Yeah. Uh, the, just you just have to know coming in here that the prices are affordable. They're yeah. shockingly affordable. Yeah, um, and, and you know we've learned through the years it's not enough though. Yeah. Um, and and the the quickest way to say that is you can have the the lowest price in the country and terrible service and people still aren't going to buy from you. That's good. You know you you have to find you have to figure out that the the price needs to be affordable because people deserve that number one right. Everybody works hard for their money. And they want to be able to maximize their vacation, maximize the time with their family, and that's our job. People that retire, let's get them in the in the in the best camper we possibly can. Yeah. The, one of the things that made me the happiest this was probably about 15 years ago was a family came in with kids, and the wife said, "Because of you guys, we could buy new." What? She's like, "Yeah, we didn't have to buy used. We were going to have to buy a used trailer because of you. We found you and your pricing. We could buy a new trailer." You know, and, and then all of a sudden you start hearing that from tons of people that, and you know, w one thing we're proud of is we we changed the industry. Uh -huh. We really did, because when we came in, the prices were so overinflated, it was insane. And as crazy as this sounds, we got death threats in the first from 10 other years. Dealers. Other dealers and stuff, you know, people like, why are you giving these away? And phone calls from the factory, you guys are way too low, you got to get your prices up. Hey, we're making money. Yeah. Right? And, and we're getting people into campers they would have not been able to afford otherwise. You know, and it's a win-win for everyone. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for uh, walking us through that. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, stick around. We've got so much more stuff for you. We'll see you next time.
Hey, my name is Mitch Eilerman with RV Wholesalers. Um, today we're going to do a walkthrough video of a Wildwood FSX 177BH. So I'm going to go through the features of it. Um, Wildwood FSX is one of our top selling uh, brands that we carry. Um, so let's start at the front. You've got uh, a nice clean front end. They use a white exterior. Um, they do have an option for a platinum package which will give you a fiberglass, full fiberglass exterior. This is going to be your standard package um, and not the platinum package. So we'll just move on. You've got your propane up front. Um, you notice that they've got, they've got the nice um, red and white and marked like charcoal gray mixed in. Looks really, really sharp with all the unit or all the trucks and stuff out there. And the nice thing about Wildwood FSX is a lot of people can pull. It's a single axle trailer um, and it's very lightweight. Um, it's a great entry trailer for customers that are just starting to get into camping so you know they don't have to break the bank. It's a very cost effective option when you still get full warranty. So um, it does have your storage compartment located right here. You'll notice that it is a nice clean storage compartment with the nice flooring. They, they, you know, they've got it blocked off really nice so you've got a ton of storage up front here. Uh, moving over here We'll move on. You've, obviously, you've got your power cord, single axle. You'll have your, your black and your gray uh, drains. Um, you'll have all four corner jacks um, and a, a, a jack up front as well to take it off around your tow vehicle. Move to the back a little bit. Uh, you notice you've got the spare tire. It does have an outside shower, a city water connection to plug in for on demand water. This will have a fresh tank, a gray tank, and a black tank. Um, does some standard up top with uh, backup camera for Furion backup camera prep, so you can put a, um, add a backup camera at any point. Let's move to the door side here. As you come around, you're going to notice a nice power awning with the LED light strip underneath. Um, you're going to have your six-gallon uh, water heater. You've got a couple outlets located right here for plug-ins. Uh, this does have black tank flush, so if you've got a head on the inside of the black tank, you turn your water on, it'll spray around to keep debris and stuff from building up and, and giving you longevity uh, of your black tank as well. Uh, moving over here, as you can see, we, we've just recently partnered uh, with Ohio State. Uh, it was a long vetted process where we went out and, you know, we had to go through a lot of checks and balances and get approval because, you know, Ohio State just doesn't partner with any. We're the only RV dealer out there that we know that has partnered with Ohio State. So that's a huge, you know, advantage with us as far as, you know, we, you want to partner with the best and you want to buy from the best. And, you know, that's, that's what we're all about. We are the only RV dealer in the country that has service and warranty nationwide. Um, which really sets us, uh, uh, you know, above the competition because nobody else has that out there. So now you're you're trying to find places to work on your unit, or you know, getting held hostage from dealers out there that you know say I'm not going to work on it because you didn't buy from me. We take care of all that for you. You just call us and we'll tell you where to go, set up the appointment for you, pay for the approved warranty claim out of our pocket. So just a big advantage um, from buying from us besides, you know, having a great price and everything as well. So uh, we're going to move on um, to the inside of the unit. Uh, go on up in. Oh, one thing I wanted to go over with you real quick is um, this does have um, the new uh, enclosed underbelly with the panels, right? So. What that does, it's called the enclosed removable accessible underbelly panels. And what that is, is there's actually plastic panels up underneath there now um, that you can just screw down and then you can get the individual places on the underneath on the unit versus the old underbellies um, either don't have an underbelly covering or they're going to be just um, like a piece of plastic that you have to rip or cut anytime you need to get under two, you know, Hopefully you don't have a leak or if you need accessibility and stuff like that. Um, now with that, with, with the way they're doing it, you just screw, unscrew a couple screws, drop the panel, you can get access. So that's a huge thing that on this price point unit, nobody else in, in this price point that I know of is going to be using that. So now let's, let's head on in here.
Coming on in, we'll sort of start, start towards the rear of the coach. So as you come in, this is going to be a no slide out unit. Um, FSX does have different options, or you can, if you needed a slide or wanted a slide, they've got different models to choose from. So again, this is a 177BH. Uh, this is going to be a bunkhouse model. You've got your, your booth dinette. Um, that'll go down to a bed um, when not using it. It does have two bunks here located. Um, you have AC, furnace standard, you're going to have USB ports, uh, this is going to be your, um, your thermostat to control you know, heat and AC. Uh, one thing that they've changed um, back in September is they have a nice two burner cooktop, but it's got a glass on it. So when you're not using this as a, as a cooktop, you can go ahead and put this down and you still gain your counter space, which was, that was one of the complaints you know, before September that there wasn't enough counter space. Now it just opened up all your counter space. It does have an undermount sink. Uh, it does have the nice 12 volt uh, residential fridge, which you'll notice that it's, it's really, really big. So that comes standard on the unit. does have a full bathroom in the rear of the coach and I'll sort of squeak by and let you go back there so you can take a look at you know what we're looking at here so you get your toilet and then it also is going to have your nice shower and everything as well and as we turn around I'll give you a good view of the front so it does have your good you know front bed as well so essentially you can sleep two three to four five six so you know up to six people in this unit um and then you know you've got your nice nice mattress there it does have hanging storage right here so if you need extra hanging you can utilize that and then right inside here this is going to be your uh we're going to show you all your fill so you've got your your lights it's got your water pump your water heater um all your fills as far as battery fresh tank black gray tank and then you push your button to go ahead and run the uh, power awning in and out so um i appreciate it again my name is mitch with rv wholesalers um thank you for going through this today if you got any questions at all just call me directly my direct line is 937-843-4380 uh, we'll discuss any questions you have on this unit or any unit you're looking for. Um, I've been here almost uh, 16 years now. I know floor plans really well, so I'd love to go ahead and discuss it with you and help something uh, help you find something that'll work best for you and your family. Um, thank you again for, for tuning in today and uh, look forward to helping you out. Thank you, bye-bye. So uh, you, you saw the, the first part of my trip. I blame Tim, obviously, right. yeah. I got, I got more I can show you if you want to see another clip. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd you love see another to see clip? more, please, yes. All right, let's take another clip. Take a look at another clip. I, it's, it, was, it, was a, it was a day, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it is a night, I'm out by this week. I'm on the road. much farther we got uh, we're about 30 minutes out oh, I slept for a while so. <laughs> hey, it's Ricky Ricky my man what's going on no we are about 30 minutes out yeah no I guess I, I just took a nap and I'm <laughs> and all of a sudden we're 30 minutes from uh, uh, Gull Lake California right Gull Lake California uh, Gull Lake Kalamazoo Michigan we're I'm sorry, there. say that. Hold on. 30 minutes. Say that again. You said Gull Lake Beach, Cali, right? Kalamazoo, Michigan. Kalamazoo? Ricky, I'm going to have to call you back.
Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Trailer Swift, those guys are awesome. Coming up this hour, we've got, jeez, good night. That scared the snot out of me. <laughs> that, mm, somebody's going to pay for that one. All right, coming up this hour, we've got Forrester Class C. We've got a Rockwood Woo, Woo, a, I can't even talk now, a Rockwood Roo Hybrid. That's the one with the beds that come out like tents. And then we've got the XLR Nitro. Also, I'm going to beat Tim's butt for throwing that, <laughs> that ball that hard. Uh, but first, before we do any of that, we're going to check in with the folks at Nexus one more time. Hey, David McCreary hanging out in Elkhart, Indiana. I am at the Nexus factory with David Middleton, the co oh no, the co-founder and president. I almost said co-president. No, you are uh, the president that's and right. co-founder. Yes. Uh, but you guys taking care of your customers is very important to you, both service mm -hmm. and, and just everything you do going over and above. Can you give me a, a, an example of a time that you really stepped up for a, a customer? Sure. You know, there's many that, that I can recall, but the one that always sticks into my mind is I had dealt with a customer uh, that she purchased a unit. It was her first unit. She wanted to take her elderly parents on a trip. Uh -huh. She picked it up from a dealer out of state. As she was driving back home, she was in nowhere land. Right. She had a couple issues pop up. For example, AC quit working and a couple other things. Uh -huh. She was panicking because she had her elderly parents with her and she didn't know what to do. I uh, got on the phone, my service team, we got a mobile service center that he said, hey, it's quite a bit out there, it's on the weekend. Uh -huh. I said, I don't care. Right. So I paid extra, I paid overtime, and the guy was off duty, he jumped in his vehicle, wow. a couple hours later went out there, trouble shot it, and got her back on the road. That's, she called me crying. Awesome. So, you know, when you get that from a customer, uh -huh. that makes me feel good. Because, right. you know, again, I know there's so many choices out there, but we really do try and, we do stand behind our product and we try and do everything we can to get that customer back on the road as That's soon awesome. as possible. You imagine how awful it would have been had you not taken care of that situation? It, it runs through my mind daily because I think, okay, now they're sitting there all weekend, it's her first experience, her parents, they're elderly, they're getting anxious, she's uh -huh. getting anxious, what do I do? I, I wanted to eliminate that as quick That's as awesome. possible. So that says so much about not only the, the company that you have here, but you personally, then, and I think it's fantastic. Well, we're, if we, you know, everyone can have a great idea, a great concept, but if they do not have customers, they don't have a business. Right. So we're here because of our customers, and we're growing because of our customers, mm -hmm. because we are doing the right thing. We're not perfect. We don't build the perfect motorhome, but we are here, and we will stand behind the product. That's awesome. Fantastic. Thanks for sharing. Okay. Hey, thank right. you. It wasn't funny. It was hilarious. It was not funny. <laughs> I was not even paying attention. I was in the zone thinking, all right, I got to tell them what's coming up next. And then nailed upside the head with that ball. And that's a big old beach ball. You want to introduce yourself to everybody? Yeah, absolutely, guys. My name is Lane Wisner, um, sales consultant here at RV Wholesalers. Doing this for about six years now. Do a lot of our webinars, things like that, showing people how to buy campers um, in case anyone hasn't seen it. Uh, we do, um, you know, basically what I said, tell people how to buy campers from not only us, but from everybody across the nation. We do realize that a lot of campers are getting sold this year. Yeah. We can't sell all of them, so we do want to make sure people are buying safely out there and protecting themselves, that's for sure. Right. All right, so let's talk about this Forester <laughs> Class C. Yeah, so this is going to be one of the most uh, famous floor plans out there, especially in that Forester line. It's the 3011 DSF. Um, Forrester does a great job. They also have another unit out there, the Sunseeker. This is kind of like the big brother unit to okay. uh, the Sunseeker, but um, a lot of great things that Forrester is doing. Um, they do have like the sway control um, with the Belstein shocks uh, underneath. Uh, large storage on the backside, as you can see. Um, and you got the pass-through storage on the very backside. Um, class, uh, class C's, Class A's all across the board are known for the amount of storage that they're able to have um, because everybody likes storage. Um, so that's why a lot of people 
when they're looking at units, they'll tend to gravitate towards a motor home. Mm -hmm. um, there are some things you have to take into consideration when buying a motor home, um, such as the towed vehicle that you're planning on bringing with it, how you're planning on traveling with that towed vehicle. Like I said, a lot of things that go into the process of buying a motor home that you have to think about. So okay. a lot of cool things on that. Um, but you can fill them in on all that stuff when they call you to talk. Absolutely, about absolutely. Like and so, I mean, um, if you're not really sure whether or not to go motor home, fifth wheel, travel trailer, and things like that, RV Wholesale is really good about just answering your questions, okay? No pressure, no hard feelings. Uh, if you don't want to purchase right now, like granted, we do have some huge sales going on. Over on the sales side, people are over there answering phones right now. You know, what we were doing before we came out here, all the different people that have been out yeah. here and that will come out here. We're taking a break from what we're doing, coming out, hanging out with you guys and seeing what we can't do uh, to show you some units. So that's, right. that's essentially what we have going on. Now, again, this is going to be the 2021. This is going to be a full body paint. Um, typically, it's going to come with a white exterior, but this is going to be the ocean blue full body paint. Okay. Um, so you get like that streaking down the side. Yeah, it's sharp. Um, very sharp. But essentially, all of this um, is across the entire coach is painted on with a brush. Um, makes it look really sharp, but yeah. outside TV uh, comes standard on the 3011 uh, DSF, um, which is a nice little feature for that as well. Power awning, LED lights underneath. Um, also, you're going to have your um, slide toppers that are also standard on this particular motorhome, uh, as well as most motorhomes as well. So, right. cool features there. But turn your head sideways to get in with that hat. No. Okay. Now this is a perfect beach hat. You never burn yeah, your is. face again. That looks good. <laughs> Don't be sarcastic, man. I enjoy my hats. Yeah, it's nice. I dig it. I, I just wasn't sure you'd be able to make it through the door. Yeah, and he no. did just fine. What's the uh, fairly odd parents that have the ten foot hat up going up to the top? Was it Bill Bill dance or something like that? Oh Gage man, Gage knows. Don't worry yeah, about it. Yeah, I see. That was my kid watching it, so I'd have yeah, to think. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, fairly Gage odd parents. Knows it, good. Though. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Do you know? Is he right? No. No. Yes, I am. Why you gotta be like that? Dimmendale. Or... So you were wrong. Bill Dimmendale. Yeah, I was close. <laughs> Uh, what about Bugs Bunny and Wiley Coyote? You guys remember them? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Ew. All right. Um, but inside the coach, guys, um, you're going to see solid surface countertops. It also has a, a little compartment for That's your cool. trash can. The trash can goes out the outside behind the TV. The TV swings open. They pull the trash can out. Um, you got solid surface countertops throughout. Uh, another cool feature that the Forester is doing. Um, overhead bunk room up top there, so that way you can see another sleeping area up top. Uh, also, part of that is removable, so for ease of access going in and out of the cockpit. Doing this right here. Yes, sir. Yep. <laughs> this, this one's put in upside down. You want that side down. It's going to be a lot more comfortable if you the flip this around. Hard side down. This, yeah. Yeah. And there's the, there's so you can use the ladder even. The little brackets for the ladder. There you go. It's going to be much more comfortable you that way. You have to way. make sure that you hit it super hard when you're putting it into place. Otherwise, it just won't fit right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, theater seating. On this unit, it is an option. So make sure that not just this coach, but any coach that you guys are out there looking at, person buying, all that good stuff. Make sure that we're comparing options. Make sure our options are correct. Make sure that we're doing all that we can on that uh, to make sure that we're getting exactly what we hope for, exactly what we want, all that good stuff. Okay. This one's got a U-shaped dinette in it. Also, it's got a 10 cubic foot, 12-volt uh, refrigerator, which is a nice little feature. Uh, makes it real big on the inside of both the freezer and the fridge. Also, you got your cooktop range, uh, 1.3 cubic foot um, convection microwave. Um, basically, they put the convection microwave in there in place of the oven, so that way you guys don't have to have the oven on the inside because... Not a ton of people are using the ovens anyway. Mostly okay. it's just for storage. So microwaves. And convection are a ovens are pretty sharp. You got. Yeah. I mean, you could. We got one at the at our house just about a year ago, and you can crisp stuff up in it pretty oh, well. Absolutely. Yeah. You can all absolutely. Do kinds, yeah. I mean, kind of stuff. It essentially it. works as an oven. It just doesn't run off of gas. It's running off of electricity. Yeah. Um, obviously, different ways of cooking it than an oven would, but does quite a bit of the same stuff. So kind of cool features there. Cool. Um, all your control panels are sitting right up here. Um, this one actually has a walkthrough bathroom. So there are toilets on this side, showers on this side, sinks also on this side as well. So I'll let you guys kind of swing in here. Door opens and locks into place on the back side, which is essentially how you guys are able to um, get a little bit of privacy there. So as okay. you can see, the uh, interior bathroom and then the shower on the other side. We had somebody asking if you're wearing your Crocs. Christine is asking if you're wearing. Those aren't Crocs, are they? No, those they are, are not Crocs. Those These are real are live shoes. Real live, fresh, 
kicks. They are they are super bright. They are super bright. Yeah, I've worn them like three times, but I own them like a year and a half. I so. feel like you need the hat. Catch that. Try tapping above to edit. It's just Siri talking to you. Siri's talking to me. She didn't like my answer. She, you need the you need the brim of the hat to be below your neck. So that the the sun reflecting off those white shoes oh, isn't getting oh. in your eyes. So like flip know. it over. Yeah, well, it yeah. doesn't work that way. Yeah. It's a hat. Oh, okay, goes so on the top of your head. That makes much more sense. <laughs> yeah, lots of storage in here. Yeah, absolutely. You got storage here? throughout this entire inside here and inside here as well. On some of the motorhome units, you might actually be able to even get washer and dryer prep in there. Um, okay. Just depends on the floor plan, the models, and all that good stuff. Now this one also does go come with a dual AC system. It doesn't come with it. It's not a standard. It is an option. So let me rephrase that. Um, you can get that option in for you as well. But we have a slide here, slide on the back side. So two slides in this particular unit and three TVs. So uh, yeah. cool features. Talking about price, payments, all that good stuff. Uh, price on this one is $89,732. Payments of $574 a month. You are looking at your weight of 12,400 pounds and length of 32 foot 3 inches with a width of 8 foot 5. Wow. Just drive around with your living space. Absolutely. Get in and go. That's yeah. one, of the, one of the things that a lot of people like when it comes to motorhomes is the fact that you can just hop in and roll. Right. Call it a day. Yeah. So get to where you're going. All right. So I'm um, assuming you're going to walk through some more of these with me. Yeah, more than before you, before you head back to some more. How are things? Are you guys selling today? Absolutely. Things yeah. are going really well today. Um, the sales and the discounts and things like that are going uh, phenomenal. A lot of people are jumping in, taking advantage of those sales. Because now, you and know, the, now sales it's Sales stop at 10. Sales yeah. stop at 10. Yeah. Eastern I don't know time. what time the show stops, but the okay. sales stop at 10. Uh, I'm not going to be here past 10. Okay. I refuse to. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We've so. been here since 9 Eastern Standard. Be here till 10, though. Um, but... Yeah, sales are going really good. Um, obviously, with how things are going in the RV industry, sales just don't come out. You know, that nobody's giving out sales right now because realistically, you're going to buy it anyway. Yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't have it, to, but you guys yeah, are. Let's just put it into a perspective. People are buying. This is the buying time. We got through the winter. Sales don't need to happen. Mm -hmm. But we still are. Cool. Okay, we're, we're taking advantage of the show. Uh, we want you guys to get, um, you know, the best pricing in the nation. And, and we'll definitely do what we can to make sure that we get you to that point to where it makes sense for you guys to buy from us. Awesome. Perfect. All right. I appreciate it. I'm going to go give something away, and I will meet you probably at the next RV we do walk through. Right on. Cool. Awesome. All right, so Lane... I keep forgetting that camera's shooting down. Sorry for that shot. Uh, Lane mentioned uh, the sales we're having, so it made me think of something. A lot of RV shows are probably happening or getting ready to happen. Uh, now that things are loosening up a little bit, you may be able to get to an RV show, and you may think that that is the best place to buy an RV at an RV show. Here's what we found out. The guys at RV wholesalers found out because they were there that it's very, very expensive to go to an RV show. Not you, but for the dealer themselves. They have to pay to buy, like rent the booth, which is like a 10 by 10. You're paying, I don't know, $2,500 for, for a booth for a few days. And then you've got to pay for the space to bring in the campers. You gotta pay for the employees that are there working the RV show. You gotta pay, uh, pay to um, uh, all kinds of stuff. What we found out is like, you could spend up to $100,000 going into an RV, which for the dealer, it may be a great deal to spend that kind of money because you got a lot of people coming in. But they need to make that money up. And the way they do that is a lot of times hidden fees, which we'll talk about later. Uh, sometimes they, they, they fudge the prices a bit to make it look like you're getting a better deal than normal, but you're going to pay more. You got They've got to make up those fees that they're paying to be in the RV show. So... Uh, that's the reason we can do like real sales here because we're at RV wholesalers. We don't have to rent space. We don't have to have, we're not paying people extra uh, overtime to run this. We just, we can do the sales because uh, we're at home while we do this. RVs, RV shows, if you are interested, a lot of people still like to go to RV shows and I totally get that. Uh, if you want to go to an RV show and actually walk through an RV, great place to just walk through an RV, but don't get sick, sucked into buying at an RV show. We're going to do a giveaway. I mentioned that, so let's do that right now. The call-in number is 937-649-5970. It's right there. Uh, 
we uh, nine three seven six four nine five nine seven zero. Lane, what are we doing? Two, two one three four. Two one three four walk. What is that? Two one three four walk. I don't know what that means. That's what he just signed to me. What does that mean? Two. He's doing Bugs Bunny. I feel like Lane may have drank his breakfast this morning. So I'm not sure what he's talking about. Uh, this is what we're going to give away. Uh, let's, let's, well, let's find out what we're going to give away. Um, as you call in to that number, 937-649-5970. Looks like I've got a winner. Find out together what you won. $200. It said, just said $200. They just went, huh? Towards delivery. Towards delivery. Okay, awesome. Hello, who's this? Josh. Hey, Josh, guess what? Did I win? You won $200 off your delivery or $200 from the uh, parts department here, uh, but it's all yours, $200 worth what? of stuff. That was great. Yeah, congratulations. Where are you calling from? Uh, Grove City. Where? Grove City. Oh, Grove City, just uh, south of Columbus. Yeah. Now, yeah. now do you have an RV? We are actually picking it up Saturday for our Really awesome. Well, congratulations on your new RV. Now when you, you say you're picking it up, when you come in to pick it up, you can swing into the parts department. You get $200 to spend. It's all yours. That is perfect. Well, congratulations. Have fun with your RV. Uh, and uh, I, I want to say I hope your experience with RV wholesalers is great. I'm sure it will be from what I'm hearing for the past year that I've done this show. So uh, congratulations again. Stay on the line. We'll get your information from you. And uh, sure. have fun spending your 200 bucks. Thank you. All right, man. Hang on the line. All right. So congratulations to Josh from Grove City, just down the road from us here in uh, Lakeview. Uh, so we are going to uh, another RV now, Tim. We're going to do another RV, I think, maybe. Tim's getting information as to what we're doing next. We're going to do the Rockwood? All right. We're going to do a Rockwood. I'll see you guys over at the Rockwood with... Uh, Lane, and we'll find out what 2134 walk means. It wasn't there. Ooh, <laughs> faster, faster, faster. Ready for us? Are we on? Are we live? See, see, listen, here's the deal. We could get over here on time and Are be ready to go. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I want to make sure that you know that this is live. And so we have to screw up every once in a while and make it feel like we didn't get here on time. But it was the anticipation that was building. That's right. That's right. People are like, oh, what's going to happen next? <laughs> oh, it's Lane and David, just like you said. Uh, what are we? Oh, this is the Rockwood Woo. The Woo. I keep saying Woo. Rockwood Woo, the hybrid. Which I really want to stay in these sometime. Yeah, what hybrids are uh, definitely an interesting concept. Um, basically, you're keeping um, living quarters or your sleeping quarters on the outside of the coach, living quarters on the inside of the coach. Mm -hmm. um, you can basically tow them with smaller vehicles, such as your SUVs and things like that. Um, basically, it allows for you to um, experience a bigger camper and a smaller size, okay. essentially. Like a lot of your pop-up campers, this is basically the hybrid between the pop-up and the uh, hard shell camper. So gotcha. that's why a lot of people are liking these. Okay. A little outdoor kitchen? Yes, real nice outdoor kitchen. Uh, on this specific unit, this is the 235S that comes with the outside kitchen as well as two tent pop-outs on each side. They both have a queen-size bed. On the inside, there's a variable of different options that you have for sleeping arrangements, such as your theater seating, hide-a-bed, uh, regular jackknife sofa, and then you also have your um, U-shaped dinette or you have freestanding table and chairs. So a lot of different co uh, combinations and things like that you can pick with. Rockwood Rue, basically, they went to a white exterior. There's no longer an option on the inside or the outside of the coach in terms of colors anymore. So what you see is what you get. Okay. okay? Some people like it. Some people don't. Regardless, Rockwood's a great quality, um, a wonderful unit. They've been in business for a ton of years now, um, and they're building wonderful units. So still, even if you don't necessarily are you know, completely keen about the Rockwood, a lot of people are still buying them just because of the overall quality and construction of Rockwood in general converted into the roof section so awesome a lot of cool things cool sweet also obviously up top as mentioned before um, we do have the power awning with the led light strip two outside speakers rockwood now comes standard with the exterior tv mount 
um, so that way you don't have to mount it yourself. Also, still coming standard, you have the uh, little table as well as the outside grill. Uh, it's gonna be a griddle now, and then you have a grill that goes on the backside on this particular floor plan. Wow. All right, so a lot of cooking situations and areas there. 3.2 cubic foot refrigerator behind you, which is a nice little setup. Um, so that way you have a bigger fridge instead of the 1.3s that typically come in those real small outside kitchens. Uh-huh. Almost double the size. Well, it is double, almost triple the size, this up, per look. se. There you go, there's cleanup. Done and done. Boom. Just like that. Kitchen's put away. You don't even have to clean anything in there. We get a little <laughs> bit of storage here. This is gonna be your pass-through storage down underneath. Um, this will go underneath like a little bit of a cabinet area. Um, so basically you have the pass-through storage. Now what a lot of people don't explain when they're actually walking through campers and things like that is, Lane, listen, I understand that your awning's out, but realistically the sun's over here. How do I get shade over here? It doesn't make much sense. Really what's happening guys is we're just pulling, all right? As we pulled down, this whole thing right here just decided to tilt on us, okay? Now it provides more shade for right up underneath it. Same situation going back up, lock it into place, okay? Cool. That's so that's cool. essentially how those work. Some of them might have like a little adjustment knob up here where you turn the knob, it loosens it up, you push it tight and then you redo it. This one is just literally the matter of pulling up, pushing down. Sweet. Pulling down, pushing up. Awesome. I've never, you guys haven't shown me that yet. I didn't even know you could do that. Well, now you do. Now I do. <laughs> Down underneath, guys, like I said before, a lot of people ask about the construction, why buy a certain trailer, why buy a certain brand, and things like that. When most of the campers are built pretty well identical, um, we have 5 8 tongue and groove underneath this, uh, underneath the laminate. Um, this laminate is the same laminate that they're using in the Rockwood Geo Pros, um, so it's beautiful laminate on the bottom. Uh, over here, guys... <laughs> <laughs> We have a bunch of stuff in the fridge. Yeah. Um, TST monitoring system. We have a uh, little grill flipper yeah. for your outside Forest River specialty. Nice. Limited edition. Only one in the entire universe ever made. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys. So um, again, 10.3 cubic foot refrigerator. That is an option though. Okay. This is only strictly 12 volt. It does, when you go with the 12 volt option with the rock, would come with a 190 watt solar panel up on the roof. So that way you can keep these batteries charged, keep them running, all that good stuff, all right? So that's basically the fridge. Now we're looking over here to the left on the entertainment area. You've got a ton of storage back behind it. I'll get out of here. There's a shelf back there. And a place to hang stuff. There's a hanger thingies yeah. in there. So you got hangers, you got shelves, all that kind of stuff is going right behind your TV. Perfect area for your valuables. If you're uh, concerned about anybody getting into your camper and things like that, nobody really thinks to look behind the TV. Until now, the 400 now that plus everybody. people that are watching now, yeah. now know to look behind the TV just because of what Lane said. We, we've only got good people watching the show. Of course. So they would do that. Of course. I like the storage up here. That's kind of yeah. cool. <laughs> a little bit of extra storage up there. The tents on the outside, guys, are really simple and easy to put up. It's literally the matter of folding down the sides. And then once the sides come down, that part, the corner part up there, is literally going to be just kind of laying on the bed. And then there's poles that hold up the rest of it. So okay. just like your pop-ups got poles holding up those sides, these do as well. Now you're also gonna have cables that are holding up the bottom side of that there. Uh, I wanna say these are each 5,000 pound cables. So you're talking about a lot of weight can be yeah. handled or sustained out there without those cables actually snapping. Here's the storage, you talked about the yep, uh, pass-through pass underneath. storage underneath. Now when these guys are folded in, you do have a bench here as well. Oh, nice. So when the, when the whole thing's folded up and in, you will have like a little bit of a bench area just in case you do want to stop where you're going um, halfway through or whatever yeah. and you want to pull off to the side and essentially use the camper um, as a sleeping area. You do have a tri-fold sofa in this particular floor plan. Um, so you have a little bit of sleeping spot there as well as the um, the boot thigh net will also go down, go down into a bed too. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Fireplace down underneath your TV as I kind of point to like a million things and watch the yeah. camera go sideways, <laughs> left ways, right ways, and all that good stuff. Some more storage, a little pantry area. And the bathroom. And the bathroom. With the first corner shower we've seen today. Yep, corner so, shower. Okay. Rockwood comes with that shower miser, basically reusing the yeah. uh, excess water that you're oh, not planning on using. You got a problem with showers, man. Well, we, it's, it is weird that I keep getting inside them, but Every I've had people shower. say, hey, how high is that shower? Uh -huh. So I'm six foot, so they can get an idea. 
So that's where I swear that's the only reason. But you didn't explain it this time. I, I have there. earlier. I, haven't, <laughs> I, I didn't explain it this time thinking people know, and then you brought it up. So yeah, I probably yeah, yeah. should mention it every time I walk into a trailer. <laughs> well, I usually get teased because I always opened refrigerators for some reason. I don't know why I always opened the refrigerators. And but then I you made did. me do it this time, so it was like it was a yeah, setup. Yeah, so it's you. It was You're a the weirdo that always opens refrigerators now. Not me. I just stand in showers. You missed earlier. Me and David got in the shower together. Oh, that was before the show, though. No, it wasn't. Stop saying stupid stuff, David. Why do I? Here's the. Here's the. And then uh, you got the back room back yeah. there. And it looks like okay. It looks like you have. Uh, well, you're six foot tall. Why don't you show everybody right. how much and room then is? There is. You, I don't know if you can see it or get around here. There's. Oh yeah, plenty of space in here. Um, there's TV backer right there. So. An additional TV that can go. Yeah, I didn't know. I can't remember what the other one looked like as far as uh, space for a TV. Of course, nowadays you get your phone. I sleep like if I happen to go to a hotel or someplace where. Maybe I don't use the TV. I watch on my phone. So Usually got, using the here. phone, using like Netflix, Hulu, and right. things like that. And a lot of the TVs that are out here right now that people are using too, um, they're also using the same situations. You know, logging mm -hmm. onto their Hulu, um, Netflix. I'm, all I'm that staying kind of like stuff. this in case people. Wait, don't don't move yet in case people are trying to screen capture this for their calendar. I delete okay, it from my calendar. <laughs> 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 all right, so there you go, the Rockwood Rue. Hybrid, and this is the 235s. In case anybody didn't catch it the first time, price is down at the bottom of the screen, I think. Probably. But also, um, for reading it off sakes and purposes, 27,318 in terms of the price. Payments around 238 dollars a month. Crazy. Um, 5,400 pounds. That's the crazy part. Uh -huh. Okay, so basically, a lot of your SUVs, um, your um, expeditions, stuff like that, can pull this guy. Um, 24 foot, 10 inches with the beds in, of course. Okay. Um, eight foot tall. One slide, two tents, sleeps about seven. Sweet. Okay. All right. And my question for you is can you see yourself in this Rockwood Woo? Why do I keep saying woo? Because you always say Ro why right after it. I do. Rockwood Roo. Why? I don't know why, I, I, why. Do I say why? why? I don't know. No, this is you it. always say why right after you mess up, why? so it's always why. Why? <laughs> Shut up, Lane. Can you see yourself in this Rockwood Rue? If you could, give Lane a... No, you know what? Don't call Lane. Don't call, call any of the others. Don't call Lane. <laughs> or call Lane. You want to give him your phone number? Yeah, absolutely, guys. So I got a direct extension here to me and my group. Okay, so we have a full team. Uh, team Wisner over there. Uh, our team line is 937-843-2074. Feel free to give us a call. Like I said, no pressure, guys. We're here to help. We're here to answer questions. And at the end of the day, if we can sell you a camper too, that's just uh, icing on the cake. I mean, if you just want to call to ask him where he gets his hats or his croc knockoffs, <laughs> I call them croc offs. Uh, call him. Uh, he's selling RVs, but they also sell peace of mind, and some of that peace of mind comes from the nationwide service guarantee. That was good. That was, was a that good, good transition. Good transition. That was a good transition. <laughs> Sorry, keep going. Right. Sorry, keep going. Uh, it's good if you don't draw, you draw attention to it. You draw attention to it and then it throws it off completely. I'm just going to throw it to David. David, talk, he's over there. Hey, David, talk about the nationwide service guarantee. How's someone's that got, someone's got to bring this thing back to center. Uh, hey, guys, thanks again for our, awesome. uh, at home. Please call your friends, neighbor, family, ask them to watch. Also, uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page. We are showing it currently live on YouTube and on Facebook as well. If you go to Facebook, please make sure you like and follow us. Um, real quick, Nationwide Service Network. Sometimes people call us and say, okay, great, you have it, but what is it? Why do I need it? Most importantly, why do I need it, right? I've been camping for 20 years. I never had this. Why would I possibly need this in my life? So what we'd like to do is just show you real quick. Oh, look at that. Someone, someone, someone wiped out Michigan. That's so sad. I've really, if you're there and you camp, we love you. If you follow that team. All right. So anyways, we had a customer, true story, uh, a couple years ago. We had a customer that lived in New Jersey, a uh, really young couple, very, very nice people, incredible people, actually. They had a toddler, and they also had an uh, infant. And they drove from New Jersey over to us in Ohio, right? picked up a new RV. It was actually, I believe it was a Rockwood Roo. Uh, after getting the RV, learning how to use it, they traveled all, all the way down, it'd be nice if the marker worked, to Disney World, okay? 
Uh, they get there, they start to set up, and they notice a problem. It starts pouring down rain, which it rains a lot uh, in Ohio, in the or in Florida in the summer. And uh, one, first problem they noticed was there's water coming in the ceiling around the air conditioner. Obviously, that's a problem. The, the floor's getting wet, right? Things in the trailer are getting wet. They've got an infant and a toddler, both of which like to be on the floor. Uh, they can't go on the floor. There's there's water coming in the coach. Second problem is the they cannot get any hot water out of the hot water heater. So obviously, you know, they're a little bit concerned about that because we got no hot water. We can't give the kids a bath. We can't take a bath, a shower, whatever it might be. So the husband calls me. He's kind of panicked. You know, he's like, hey, David, you know, we just got down here. We're setting up. I got water pouring in my ceiling around the air conditioner, and I don't have any hot water. Can you please help us? Well, we have a service guy, a, a mobile service guy, not too far from there. Uh, he was over there in about 15, 20 minutes. He checked the air conditioner. The four, there's four bolts that hold the air conditioner onto the roof. They had loosened up on their journey from Ohio down to Florida. Uh, he tightened those four bolts up. That stopped the leak. Nothing wrong there. Just needed tightened up. Next, he went to the water heater. There's nothing wrong with the water heater. They just weren't using it right. You know, that happens. You come, you do a walkthrough, uh, 30 minutes to an hour and a half, whatever it takes, and uh, they just they just didn't remember it quite right, so he was able to show them how to use their water heater. They've got hot water. Here's a really cool thing. The, the uh, husband calls me back and tells me, you know, hey, everything's fixed. We love you guys. Thank you, man. You saved my trip. As he said, my wife was uh, demanding a hotel room, and I was trying to figure out how to tell her that we couldn't afford a hotel. Right? We just we just spent all our money buying a new RV, the things we needed, and traveling all the way down to Florida. We paid for uh, camping at Disney World at the Fort Wilderness Campground. We had to buy our park tickets, and he said there just wasn't anything left for a hotel. And he said, you know, if I would have bought from my local dealer in, Illinois, or in uh, New Jersey, I'd have been out of luck. And, you know, that really kind of registered with me because we got to thinking about it. Nothing against the local dealer in New Jersey, but when he called and said, hey, I'm Disney World, I've got a leak, got no hot water, they just said, well, as soon as you get back, bring it in. The problem is that would have ended their trip. And they couldn't have stayed in the coach. It, it, it wasn't habitable at that point. So that's kind of a synopsis, a great example of why people need the Nationwide Service Network, how it's taken care of an exact family before. You know, it's a, it's a stuff that we take a lot of pride in helping people, and, and it seems silly to say, but if you buy a camper from us, we actually want you to be able to camp in it. Uh, right after this video, we're going to send you to come back and join me for hidden fees. I'm going to go over some hidden fees. It's really important information, especially if you think that you know you don't want to make the trip here, you don't want to have a unit delivered, whatever your reason, that you don't think you can do business with RV wholesalers. And remember, we'd love you to. We want all of you to buy from us so we can take care of you. But if you can't, make sure you watch this part on hidden fees. It'll, uh, it'll help you prepare as you deal uh, with other dealers out there on a purchase. And remember, everyone that buys from us, you get access to Nationwide Service Network as long as you own your RV. You know, as long as you own it, you get access to it. We're going to help you. We're going to take care of you. We're going to treat you uh, like our family. All right, real quick, we're going to shoot over to uh, Dave, the CEO of Nexus, for a quick video. And again, when we come back, we're going to see something about hidden fees. Please call your friends and family, ask them to watch, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, David McCrary hanging out in Elkhart, Indiana at the Nexus factory, hanging with David Middleton, the president and co-founder of Nexus. Now something else that stands out uh, from, with you guys from other competitors, uh, besides the quality, besides the service, is that you guys are still the, or you guys are actually the only independently owned manufacturer out there right now. Yeah, one of them. Okay. One of the very few. We okay. are the largest now, gotcha. independently owned, um, you know, with the new buyouts that have just happened over the last several months. So yeah, with that, we are staying independent and uh, we've had a few knocking on our door, but right now we're not interested right. in that. We want to keep it the family uh, independent, owned and operated. The customers feel more at ease mm -hmm. because we do not have all these layers of management. They can get to the ownership and they feel, you know, from the feedback we're getting that we are more of a family style manufacturing facility that we are going to take care of their needs. Well, from the stories I've heard from you, it, it comes across. 
mm -hmm. as a family owned and, and uh, you know, customer focused company. And it's impressive. Well, and that's the thing. When we started Factory Direct, that's what brought us here. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at today because of our attention to the customer to take care of them. That's great. Great. All right. Well, thanks for sharing. All righty. So the way you started the company reminds me a lot of the guys, David and Mike Durnell at RV Wholesalers. They started off, it's just those two, they started off in service knowing that customer service was important uh, and then decided to build this RV dealership. Uh, and it's the same thing. I, I feel the same thing with you that I do when I'm around these guys and the, the customer focus and the actual care. And they've even thrown out love, that they love their customers. I don't know why you wouldn't say that. I mean, that's right. Uh, but yeah, I'm getting that from, from you and I think it's fantastic. And that's what's exciting for us to partner with them and watch us together grow because of the, our background and what brought us to the yes. party. Yeah. So we're excited to partnership with them Man. and grow together. Can't go wrong. I mean, you talk about, I talk about it all the time when I, we're doing the RV show, it's that peace of mind. Yes. When you buy something from them, they've got the they've got plans in and structure to uh, make sure you're taken care of, and you guys are doing the same thing. Exactly. I Working it. together will only get stronger. Love it. So you, I, is it safe to say you absolutely love your customers? We do love our customers, yeah. and you know we've got the wall. We like to interact with them. We've got a wall over there to prove how much we do love them. We want to showcase them, and we want our workers to see that because of the customers they have a job and this wall is the first two years you guys were around that's right everybody who bought a, a nexus exactly. those two years that's awesome yeah that's all and i notice as we walk by all of them smiling big smiles that's good yeah we do love our customers fantastic we want to thank our friends at uh, nexus especially uh, dave over there the ceo for uh spending so much time with us helping us to help you get to know their company. Uh, they're, they're quite different from most RV companies, and we really appreciate our relationship with them. And again, thank you for taking the time with us. Uh, as I promised before we went to the Nexus video, I want to talk to you about hidden fees, right? And, and what are hidden fees? Obviously, they're fees that a dealer is going to apply to your deal, but they're not going to tell you about them up front. And that's what makes them so dangerous. You know, you're, you're budgeting, you, you have an idea of how much money you want to spend. You have an idea maybe of how much of a payment you can afford. You uh, narrow in on a coach, right, with a dealership salesperson. And uh, you think you have your unit. You think you know exactly what all the pricing is. And then you get there to pick up. And uh, talk about a family that came in here and bought from us. They, they had shown up, and, and we did not have the unit in stock, and that's something that's happening a lot right now. You know, there's so many units being sold. There's not a lot of stock out there. Um, we have tons of units for people to see, but most of them are already sold. But, you know, travel up here. We'll, we'll show you around, show you a few things. Uh, but these the couple came here. They really wanted our uh, service, but we didn't have the RV. They didn't want to wait as long as it was going to take. They found out there was a national chain that had one about an hour and a half away. Well, it was quite a bit more. It was just a little over $9,000 more than our coach. Same coach, same option, same everything, $9,000 more, which personally I think is, is borderline criminal. But long story short, they're going to pay the nine grand. They don't want to wait. Um, so they get there, and, and as they do, they go in and they're talking to the place and uh, closing their paperwork, and all of a sudden their price goes up for a PDI fee. PDI is pre-delivery inspection. That's when we go through your propane system, your water system, electrical system, all the appliances. We check everything, clean everything, make sure it's ready to go. Uh, every dealer is supposed to do this. Not every dealer does. They certainly aren't supposed to charge that. Uh, so these folks saw their price go up at least 1400 bucks right then. Not to mention plus tax, um, plus interest if they're getting a loan. They stomached that one. I'm going to skip this one real quick and go to number three, the walkthrough. Then, they, then they're told that there's a walkthrough fee, right? And it was it was over eighteen hundred. I actually think it was nineteen hundred, but it was it was over eighteen hundred dollars. So now their price has gone up over thirty two hundred dollars, right? So you've got a deal, you've got a unit picked out, you think you have a price, you get there, you're wanting to take the thing home, and all of a sudden, hidden fees start to pop up. Here we see that a price could go up over $3,000. They weren't done there, but the people were done. They left, they came back, they bought the RV from us, they waited. And, you know, sticking with that, we call it um, like emotional buying, right? You know, I just want it right now, I need to camp, I want to go. Listen, before you spend another nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars for something, 
Uh, we sold a gentleman a motorhome yesterday in Florida. We saved him over $60,000 just for a motorhome, right? So before you go out and spend that extra money, rent a camper while you're waiting, right? Buy, wait on it, be patient. I know that's hard to do, but rent a camper. If you're spending nine grand, you can rent a lot of campers, you know, for a couple trips you might have between now and when your trailer comes in. Now back to the, the hidden fees, though. This is the, this is the craziest one I've ever heard. A dealership in Florida tried to charge uh, someone who became our customer a $3,300 tire fee and said that from the factory to their dealership, the tires were worn out. They had to replace them. It was going to be $3,300. Uh, last one, this one isn't necessarily, isn't necessarily always a hidden fee. It is a fee. We charge factory freight. The reason I put it on there is, number one, they should tell you up front. We tell you up front what it is. Number two, it should be reasonable, okay? Again, at most places, this is still a hidden fee. We tell you that we charge factory freight. We tell you up front about it. We tell you exactly how much it is. We're seeing crazy prices, though. It should be like $350, and it's $1,200. Uh, so, you know, guys are gouging. They're just taking advantage, finding a way to hide extra money into the deal that you thought you already had closed. Now, how do you protect yourself from these fees? Simple. When you're closing your deal, what you say is, I want you to put in writing, the, you know, what my price is, out the door, tax, title, fees, everything. I want it in writing, and I want you to put a paragraph on there that says, when I show up to pick up my RV, if it changes $1, if my price changes $1, I get my deposit back. If they won't do that, you need to run. If you sit down and, and a place starts to hit you with fees, you need to run. They're doing it more now than ever because there aren't a ton of RVs out there. Remember, you vote with your dollars. You speak up with your dollars. You push back with your dollars. Don't accept it. Don't, don't allow them to do this to you, right? Get up, walk out, uh, go somewhere else, call us. We'll take care of you. We're not going to hit you with any hidden fees at all. There won't be any, none. And remember, don't, don't emotionally buy. Don't, don't let people tell you, well, you know, you'll never get one, blah, blah, blah. Of course you're going to get one. Let's be patient, right? Rent an RV. Uh, take your time. Buy the right thing. Buy it at the right price. Don't fall for hidden fees and protect yourself. If you have any questions about this, you can give us a call at 877-877-4494. Um, we'd love to talk to you, explain things in, in greater detail. And the last thing is uh, I want to point out our partnership with Ohio State. We're going to try to talk about it here in a little bit, but this was almost a three-year process with Ohio State. It's very hard to uh, partner with them. It was quite a, a grueling process to go through, but what this should tell you is that we're a dealership you can trust. We do the right thing. We do it every day, and we're going to take care of you. Uh, we're going to throw it over to uh, Dave and Eric. They're going to walk us through an XLR Nitro. You're going to love this thing. It's beautiful. Make sure you check it out. Can you tell me what song that is? Uh, no, song nope. Nope, it's Jingle Bells. Oh, okay. Threw you off because it's not even that time of year. Yep. Uh, Eric, you're going to walk us through the XLR, the Nitro. Yep, this but, one's the 33, uh, 35 DK5. Yep, that's yeah. what I was getting ready to say. You cut me off, though, so yeah, I, I knew that. Yeah, you to it. Yeah. It's the time of the season. Yeah. You want to tell them who you are and how long you've been here while well, I rub my eye awkwardly because it itches? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Eric. I've been with the company now for uh, uh, a little bit over a year. Uh, I love the opportunity that Mike and David have given me to work here. And uh, I'll tell you well, what, you're this, welcome. This is, this is a, I'm this, glad to offer you that. This, this is a dream it's job, really. Game. I mean, I, I get to talk to people all over the country and about yeah. camping and drink beer and ATVs with toy haulers specifically right. and stuff like It's just... I mean, you can't, you really can't get a better job than and that. And this is a good toy hauler here. Oh, it's a really good one. Yeah. yeah, this one's actually one of my favorites. All right. As far as, you know, getting anything you want really in this thing. Right. So let's so, talk about it. Yeah. You know, and of course with XLR, you know, they've got the nice, super nice exterior, high gloss, uh, white exterior. But in fact, you can actually get these in several different colors, you know, like uh, red, orange blue really that'd um, be sweet to see i think you can get them black and silver 
Okay. Uh, there's different full body paint combos. Um, you know, and there's plenty of room inside too to, to make sure that your beach ball fits. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, um, I mean, a, as far as just talking XLR, I can just go on forever talking about one of these things. There's just a whole lot to love. I know we don't have all the time in the world to talk about it, but I'd love to. Can we get a shot of the beach ball flying away? It's oh, windy yeah. out there. It's going to go flying out there onto the freeway. It's... Yep. Or maybe not. Maybe I, I, think, I think our lot cowboy is bringing it in with this oh, yeah. Jedi Force. <laughs> you know, yeah, you, that's impressive. You see him land trailers out in the lot. He's pretty good at really? it. Really? That's oh, nice. Yeah. That's impressive. All right. Sorry, I cut you off. <laughs> yeah. So, um, as I said, a lot of features. You get, uh, you get your uh, leveling system. You get, um, you know, there's a couple of stairs option. This one is, of course, standard, but you can get your solid step entrance. Uh huh. Um, you know, even though there's a slide over here, you still have a massive awning over here that doesn't really, the slide doesn't take up a lot of real estate underneath the, underneath the right. uh, awning. Uh, really, that's kind of a big complaint with some people saying, why would you put a slide, uh, or why would you put a slide underneath the awning? It well, takes up space. It yeah. takes up a lot of that valuable real estate under mm -hmm. the shade. Well, they put a massive awning under here, over here yeah. to make up for that. You know, what, what else they did to, kind of make up for other space and storage on the outside with your big pass-through uh, storage. Um, you know, also underneath the slide, so if you have to get in and out of here during the rain and stuff like uh -huh. that, uh, everything's under the slide, so it's just awesome. uh, perfect. And uh, there, there's another huge awning all the way in the back, so over top of there's the, uh, really oh, no room yeah. whatsoever to complain about not having enough awning <laughs> space, because I mean, you practically have 40 feet of Right. of awning space. It's great. Yeah. And um, I mean, the inside doesn't disappoint either. Here we go. Close the garage door here so we can get to it when we get to it. Yeah. So uh, walking around um, in here, you'll see that there's a massive kitchen island here. Massive island and a massive couch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, and every single one of those is a recliner. Really? Oh, yeah. Even in the middle, the middle two? Uh, yes, even wow. the middle two. Okay. Uh, so, it, nice Thomas Paine furniture uh, collection. Of course, uh, a lot of us has grown to love the Thomas Paine collection furniture. Uh -huh. uh, right underneath your huge panoramic window and side windows on the slide. Uh, I mean, as I said, this this is gorgeous yeah, on the inside. Nice. You have a nice big area for your TV, loft up above so you can uh you know throw one of your kids up there and take the ladder away when they're when they're not behaving <laughs> or you could uh just use it as a storage space or uh something like that so i mean with a with a toy hauler i mean you add in the garage you add in the huge sofa you have the king bed up front mm -hmm. uh i mean you can sleep like a lot of people in right. here like a lot yeah and uh so a lot of people don't really think that because it's you know it's a toy hauler i mean but thinking outside the box, unconventionally, yeah. you know, it's just like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people that Sheesh. you can sleep in this thing. Right. You know, so I, yeah, I find myself all the time talking to people that have larger families or want, or they, they like to entertain or uh -huh. host. You know, I, I always recommend, hey, look at this toy hauler because I, I, I guarantee you it's going to be able to suit your need. Right. To, to entertain or, or to have your whole family go with you. So it's great. It's awesome. But uh, I mean, I mean, just look at it. I mean, you, you get you get nice huge features like a nice uh, deep a cabinet. Big old cabinet. Yeah. Uh huh. You know, so uh, you can bring everything you you're ever going to need right here with you. Overhead storage, uh, nice and deep as well. Mm -hmm. I don't even think that you can really even reach up yeah, there. Yeah, you'd have to have some sort without of a like stool. a step stool. I uh -huh. mean, there, so there's storage everywhere. And I like the accent, the white accent cabinets. The, the white accents. Yeah. Yep, it, everything's real nice. This is one of the uh, newer refrigerators uh, from XLR. Um, you know, it's nice and big. Actually, it's it's really cold in there right now. Yeah, I opened one earlier and they had it. Yeah, it was, so it was cold. this is uh, this is XLR's new refrigerator. Uh, of course, it all has the LED lighting in there. Uh, it's 12 volt. Um, so and and in th this thing hasn't been plugged in very long over here, mm -hmm. just while it's been in the shop for the show. But I mean, it's uh, I know people out there they can't feel it, but as soon as I open this up, it's you felt it. Yeah. It's cold. <laughs> um, so, um, what does that mean? Well, 
you know, with the high efficiency and things like that, I mean, it doesn't take a lot of power, especially when you're somewhere where there's not a lot of utility hookup. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't take a lot of power to, to cool that thing off cool. and to keep it cold. Okay. So, uh, I mean, you know, we're, we'll, we'll have to, we'll have to keep moving along, but yeah, just so nice fits and here. fixtures. Yeah. You know, the 35 DK5 is, you know, it's, it's by far my most favorite nitro toy hauler that they offer it because it sharp. just, it just has so much. Uh -huh. um, now, um, we can go either Should direction. We, let's go that way. You want to we'll go that way. The closet, or the, the garage and so, the spot. While we're walking up here, I'm going to kind of stand up on the stairs, but just below my feet here, you'll see that you have your central vac system. And um, you know, one thing that you might notice while looking at the floors in an XLR Nitro mm -hmm. is that there is no carpet right. whatsoever. Now, that, that's, that's a huge, uh, huge selling point for some people is because, you know, with dogs, cats. Uh, well, you, and you think toy hauler, especially that, you know, you're out there driving around mm -hmm. in the mud and dirt. I just, I just picture like somebody bringing the side by side. Oh yeah. And just getting dirty yeah. and muddy and mm -hmm. tracking that in here. That's, that's nice. So yeah, it, you know, you don't have to worry about carpet getting matted down and when there's dirt around, I mean, you just get your broom, bring it right over here and just put it right up through the uh, vacuum right there underneath the steps. Yeah. It's great. Should I sneak in here? Now I'm coming into the bathroom. I had to, Lane made fun of me earlier. He's like, you really like stepping inside these showers, but I do it to show folks, that's what I'm telling you, because he teased me because I didn't mention it, uh, to show them how. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a huge shower. You get your skylight. It's a it's a complete one piece shower. Mm -hmm. uh, so I mean, that's a huge selling feature too, because that's just like what you have in your home. Yeah. Now, there's no water um, sneaking behind it <laughs> through crevices. And, yeah, there's yeah. there's no way that water can get where it doesn't belong. That's not saying that a two piece shower that, that allows that to happen, but with your one piece residential shower that you get in here, uh, it's 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 not going to happen. There's not going to be water getting where it doesn't belong. Gotcha. <coughs> now, up here in the bedroom, king size bed underneath the windshield right here. I love that. Uh, it, it's a very nice feature to have that windshield. And, and XLR always, they love using that windshield. Uh -huh. Almost in every layout of an XLR Nitro, got that. it uses the windshield. Uh, so that's, that's just one thing they do. They find out what customers love uh -huh. and they do it. You know, that's XLR is a company that pleases. Yeah. So um, one thing that you can get on, on a lot of these nitros is the three air conditioners. So mm -hmm. like this one doesn't have it, but say, for example, if you got the energy management, uh, you know, you can get one AC here, there's going to be an AC in the main living area and one in the garage. Mm -hmm. So okay. this one, uh, and the nitros, you can, you'll have to ask your salesman, Hey, how do I get the three air conditioners? Because this is one of those models that you can get that in. So okay. Uh, if you're living out in the desert in New Mexico or <laughs> yeah, Arizona, you, you know, somewhere like that, you, you're really going to want that. Yeah. Um, you know, and behind me here, you get a lot it's of a space. Slide. Yeah, it's, it's a wardrobe slide and you, uh, you actually get, you know, a nice deep, uh, cabinet here that has a, uh, hanger rod in it, everything like that. So, I mean, if you can't fit what you're taking, for you know a couple weeks worth of camping and ripping on the trails and, right uh, i don't know, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> you need to wear yeah. less clothes yeah and up here you even get another uh vacuum opening oh, yeah, right there's here a vacuum there. yep yep so you even get one up in the bedroom <clears throat> all right so off to the garage oh yeah it's my favorite part i love the door too it's yeah they're like uh they're like a barn style door yeah with a half bath. Yep. Yep. So the 35 DK5 is a 15 foot garage. So it's absolutely massive. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, of course it's a full profile trailer. So you get all the height too yep. that you see outside. You get all that height in here. You get your washer and dryer prep, half bath. You get a lot of storage space up above with your TV backer. Uh -huh. And you even get huge windows back here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they XLR doesn't sacrifice on windows. They they really don't. Right. Mix that with their lighter color interior. I mean, you'll 
during the daytime, if you ever have to use the lights, you probably need your <laughs> eyes checked. <laughs> so um, this one in particular has the queen overhead bed. Uh -huh. uh, you can get these with one or two queen beds on the Happy Jack system. Of okay. course, these uh, benches will raise up, lower them back down. Yeah. And um, so, I mean, a lot of utility. A table will go right here. And uh, you can also get three season patio doors. Okay. This one in particular has a, um, oh, that's nice. a roll down screen yeah. that you can get. <laughs> we used to have at, at our previous house, some for some reason where we had our screen door in the back, it blended perfectly what was behind it. Anytime we had people over, like a group of people, there was always <laughs> at least one person that would walk into that screen. Oh yeah. And it was the highlight of my month that, that, to see somebody walk into that, that screen. That's the fun part. Oh yeah. And you I know, just thought of that when you pulled that down. Like, I could see somebody walking in. Oh yeah. <laughs> that, no doubt. And, and I mean, I, I'm going out there on the lot and showing customers uh -huh. this and, you know, and, and, and to, to stay outside of the humor uh -huh. and the maturity level that I'm at, <laughs> right. I, have to, I have to tell them, like, watch out, there's a screen there. <laughs> as much as you don't want to tell them <laughs> and see them walk into yeah. it. Yeah, and, just... and instead of that screen, you can actually get three season doors that, um, you know, some people might uh, know them. If you go to, like, the races and you see a race car trailer, they have, like, this man door, like, uh -huh. on the back of their... Uh, trailer. Yeah. Well, it's kind of it's a three season door, and you can get something just like that for the back here, right. so That's where awesome. you can keep this down in the patio, uh -huh. and you still keep it nice and cool inside, and just have that man door in and out. Is that an awning up there? That is an awning. Another awning. Yep. Go over the. There's patio. an awning. There. Th this has the whole patio package. As you see, it has like kind of a gate door. Uh huh. Um, that and there's stairs that would come out of here too. Okay. So where you can come in and out right off the patio this deck is, here, and this is uh, cool. yeah, so this is actually the rear patio package. It's it's a whole uh, option package inclusive that okay. you can get. Uh, it has the awning, has the cables, the railing, the stairs, and the three season door option. Just kind of puts the topping on it. Do we mention that it's got hook up there for the washer dryer? Yeah. Okay. Yep, it's it's got the washer and dryer hookup, furnace vents. You can turn this whole thing into a, a whole other room. Yeah, an doesn't office. even have to toy. Uh, no. Doesn't even have to haul toys. Doesn't even have to haul toys. Yeah, yeah, a lot this of space. Nice. One of my favorites for sure. Very nice. All right, uh, do we have a total on this? Did you have you told us the total yet? Uh, oh, the back door. We can head out this back door here. Something like this is. Uh, I believe we they, probably have it at the bottom of the screen. It is at the bottom of the screen right now. Yeah, of course. See, you know, they write it down for me, and yeah, and you, you know, and, and I and I get lost into talking about everything yeah. else that Nitro <laughs> has. I, I just forget. But well, that's yeah, the price know, probably like right down somewhere right down there. Probably like right here. Yeah, most likely. You point to. It. I'm gonna go over and look at the screen. See if you point to it. I'll tell you if you. <laughs> where do you think it is? It's right no, here. No, not even close. Not that's even the phone close. number. Yeah. It's way down below your feet. It's over by the steps. See if you can point to it by the steps. Yeah, there over you go. There. Yeah. There you go. That price, yeah. So um, sixty-two one fifty. Yeah, definitely. And something like something like this, you know, could probably land you a high five. Uh, you know, high five hundred payment okay. and low six hundred payment. Of course, it's all dependent on credit. Yeah. Uh, but definitely super affordable for this size of a rig. I mean, yeah. it's like, man, that's definitely that's doable. That's right. Three ninety-seven for the monthly. Three ninety seven. Wow. Oh wow. Yeah. That's, See, I was that's way off. Yeah. See, that's why I talk about the even fun your stuff. own prices fool you and surprise you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's why I talk about the fun stuff. Uh -huh. You know, and camping and drinking beer. <laughs> See, our finance officers, they He's talk. He's the one who hands all that. Yeah. They they talk <laughs> about how much the beer fund it's going to take. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. All right. Well, thanks for walking us through it. Yeah, definitely. It's fantastic. We're going to throw to Paul. Uh, with Trader Swift. We're going to throw it to Trader Swift. I'm going to talk with Paul first. I saw him when I went over there. I saw Paul with what looks like a margarita in his hand. I know, Paul, that's, that's a Mountain Dew. It's either a Mountain Dew or one of those Mountain Dew slushies you get from Speedway. Either way, we're going to check in <laughs> with him. And, Paul, while you're there, tell me, do you have any spring break stories? Of course, being a band, you probably have plenty. Keep them, obviously, family-friendly. We've got families watching. But uh, fill me in, Paul, on your spring break stories. 
What's up? Cheers to everybody in RV land. I hope y'all are having a good time. It's spring break time, y'all. And I am so excited to uh, be here with you guys, trying to get us in the mood for all things fun and festive in sunshine. Um, one of my favorite spring break experiences is when we got to play Tortuga Fest it down in Florida with Kenny Chesney. We were on one stage at one side, he was on the other, and about 20,000 people in between, and they would do the old ping pong thing of, Watch this show, then watch that show, and uh, it's an amazing time if you... All right, so I'm hanging out with Amanda and Jared in, uh, you guys are in North Carolina? We are. Awesome. Uh, so thanks for talking to me, first of all. I know a lot of people just get freaked out when they when they have to do Zoom calls. They're going to be televised on the internet. But uh, uh, you guys have a really good story about RV wholesalers taking care of you. And all I know, uh, I talked to the guys at RV wholesalers that you were taking your RV somewhere and something about the frame fell apart and things started going bad. So just, I say, just jump in and tell me, you know, give me a behind the scenes of what happened. Okay. Well, we were, I work as an x-ray tech, travel x-ray tech, and we were traveling to my next site. We were in Jersey and traveling down here to North Carolina. And uh, we have a 43 foot rig. It's really big. We were going through DC and we, uh, we traveled together, she's in the van and I'm in the big rig and we were traveling and got uh, separated because of turns and new places. And so I'm off by myself and I get, get into this busy part of town and I take this turn and I hear this big pop. I didn't know what was going on. I always make my turns wide so I make sure not to hit anything. I look back in the mirror, I didn't see anything. So I continue to go. I keep looking back um, and then I see uh, the wheel will kind of plainly back there. I'm like, oh, great, I did hit something. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm in a tight spot. I'm making these tight turns. What am I going to do? I know I, I know I made the turn right enough. I, don't, I, I need to stop and check out the damage, you know, what's going on. But that was a loud pop. And my daughter, 12-year-old daughter, was in the car with me, and she actually found the parking lot. Like, why don't you turn in there? So we were able to turn in there and assess the damage. And... We were on the phone and she ended up coming back to where I was and we assessed the damage. Uh, it didn't look like much at first, but the more I inspected it, I couldn't go anywhere because the wheel was rubbing up against the, um, not the frame that I could tell right away, but the, 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 the body. The body of okay. the uh -huh. And so it was like, it, it was wearing the tire away. And so I couldn't go anywhere. We had to call somebody. Um, on further inspection, we were, you know, moving the tire, looking underneath, and you can actually, I mean, this is a three-axle rig. We were actually pushing the tire, the whole, basically the whole axle, I guess. It was wow. moving. Like, it was moving. I was like, well, that's not supposed to happen with all that weight on it. I don't, <laughs> right. I don't know much about it, but uh, and then we saw some lug nuts that looked like they were cracked, but again, that was just caps, but I, I was just confused on what exactly was going on. But I knew something mm -hmm. bad was, was going on. So we, uh, what time was it? It was probably like four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Um, we ended up calling a an RV repair place or like a mobile RV. And they were booked. They couldn't come to us. So we're calling. It's going to be an awful feeling. <clears throat> yeah, we're like, okay, so we called our insurance and they're like, well, you have an extended warranty, call them first. So we did. 
we got that started. We ended up finding, um, it was like a semi repair, uh, guy that would come to you. And he, <clears throat> he was pulling on that axle and the whole thing fell. So he found like it was jammed up into the underbelly and the whole thing fell down. So we ended up taking the tires off and chaining the axle up so that we could go 10 miles. Wow. Okay. We're in this really like this smaller town in Virginia. Where are we going to go? That's 10 miles or less. We found this really good RV um, boat repair place and they got us right in and they put all their jobs aside and they helped us out, but we were still. Um, we have a big family, there's eight of us. We have six oh, wow. kids. And so wow. we you know we were starting the year off right, debt free. <laughs> we were so excited. And then this happened in January, uh. like the second week of January. And we were like, how are we going to afford to pay for an axle? And we found out because it was a manufacturer defect, our uh -huh. warranty would not cover it. So we have this awesome warranty that we have used many times and we love, and it's helped us so much. Uh -huh. But in this instance, it was something that way back before it was even an RV wholesalers, before it was even a Heartland Cyclone, way back when it was just a chassis, they had welded it improperly wow the weld fell i'm not sure exactly i'm not a welder the weld on both sides fell, and that's part of what the popping sound was yeah and it looked like when they looked at it it looked like it had been like that for a while mm -hmm. if you don't know where to look <laughs> we don't, i mean, I mean it right <laughs> i looked like, around and i i mean i inspected stuff uh, every time we left but if you don't know exactly where to look so probably the jam was up into the floor or something. I don't know. But, yeah. Right. But anyway, well, you're not going to... I was going to say, I you're not going to wake up in the morning. You're not going to wake up in the morning and think, <laughs> I'm going to go check the welds today just to see how they're doing. You know? Well, and I was asking my brother about that. He's a semi-truck driver. And I'm like, do you, do you actually get under there and check those things? And he said, yes, I do. <laughs> really? Well, he's a semi-driver and we right. are... Well, I look under open. the wheels, but you have to... I mean, you have to... Know. When I was looking at to see what was wrong with it, I still couldn't figure it out until right. several several times, and then I yeah. finally figured it out. So it's not unless you know what to look for. Yeah. You know, and yeah. You know. but, so yeah, how we does only go ten miles, and we found this place, and yeah. So the so... big thing I told you about the family because you know uh -huh. finding a place to stay with that many people is not easy, and it's definitely not cheap. Right. So we were right. airbnb in it for two weeks. So that's thousands of dollars that yeah. we didn't have. Um, plus food for that big of a family. Going to a restaurant one time is $60, $70. We have yeah. children, but that's going cheap. That's sharing meals and things. Right. So we were talking to um, the guy in charge of the warranty or, or something for RV wholesalers. Uh -huh. And we just we became their family. So we had people at RV wholesalers, people at our extended warranty, the person in between the extended warranty and RV wholesalers. We had all of them going after the manufacturer um, to get them to pay for this mistake or this. So they ended up saying, okay, we'll pay half of, the manufacturer said, we'll pay half of your lodging. We'll pay for the repair and we'll pay for, um, We'll pay for the tow, the emergency tow, but that's uh -huh. it. So we still had all of the food and other half of the lodging that was out of our pocket because our right. extended didn't cover it. That you shouldn't have had to pay for. If this, if no, this, no. if this, if this hadn't happened, you would be by this point in North Carolina. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. So we ended up. We actually ended up having to go down to North Carolina, leaving Virginia, go down to North Carolina, so he start his job. So we okay. had to go back up there a couple weeks later. But the the awesome thing is we got a call from um, the person that is RV wholesaler's uh, warranty guy. I think that might be that, that might be Drew, I think. Yeah, Drew. Yeah, yeah. Drew Green. Awesome guy. He's been amazing. He's been like my go to person for everything. Uh huh. He, um, he called me and he said, your extended warranty and RV wholesalers is going to cover the remaining portion that is unpaid. Neither of wow. those 
companies really had, it wasn't their fault. It wasn't anything to do with them. We had been done with our one year warranty for over a year. Hadn't talked to RV wholesalers since we purchased it. And they came through and they helped us. And we're so grateful wow. because we that ended up in this crazy. whole thing. I think it paid for one meal and the whole experience. That's, that's incredible. Drew is taking calls at his house. Um, I mean, texting oh. at night on his way to work in the mornings. How are you guys doing? It wasn't just about getting the pieces, but he was caring about us as a family too. That's awesome. Well, Drew, I've, I've talked to Drew a couple times. Drew is definitely a good guy. So it doesn't completely shock me that he was, he was good to you, but man, the, for RV wholesalers and the warranty that was over to take care of everything else, that's, that's, that's pretty incredible. I didn't know that coming in. I didn't know the exact story coming into this interview. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks guys for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. Have right. a great time down there in North Carolina. Thank All right. Well. All righty. <laughs> Sorry, live live television or live internet, whatever it is. Uh, special guest, just sneaking in. This is Rob from uh, Equalizer. What, what yes. is your position at Equalizer? Sales account manager. Sales account manager. Kind of Midwest territory. The boss, basically the boss <laughs> of the whole place. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about Equalizer because we don't get a chance to see you guys very often uh, yeah. as far as like while we're doing the show. You guys are a sponsor here. Mm -hmm. So tell me what the hitches do and what equalizers or hitches do because I'm fairly new to RVs. There are people who are watching who have been in the RV world forever, but there's right. some that may think, I don't, I don't need an equalizer. It comes with a hitch, I'm fine, so. Yeah, well, basically with any travel trailer, you know, they're designed with the axle placement to have a little bit of tongue weight. And uh -huh. um, without any kind of weight distribution, when it goes onto the tow vehicle, it can hunker down your tow vehicle. So it's this thing that yeah, they, right, okay. Right, it provides a horrible tow. And they're actually they're saying, to hold the mic up just a little oh, okay. close. We got wind blowing right. in, sorry. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> but anyways, uh, with the equalizer, what it does, especially for first timers, it provides an excellent tow. It's not only providing weight distribution to help level out the load, but uh -huh. also it has integrated sway control into it. Okay. So all these things like today, with this wind that's today it's windy through. yeah <laughs> you know that things like that can cause a trailer to go to and fro and pull your tow vehicle all over the equalizer helps to stabilize that and okay. you know part of the fun of going camping is enjoying that traveling experience to where you're going and so the equalizer helps to provide takes that. away all that fear that's right yeah yep. and i can imagine it being I've, I've never like i said i'm new to the rv thing and i've never really towed anything before uh but i can imagine how scary that must be at the oh, first yeah. especially the first time the wind catches it and it can and be very intimidating. So that just reminded me, my brother-in-law is uh, uh, drives a semi. His boss tipped over an RV just yesterday. Not an RV, not an RV. His semi and had cattle Yikes. in the back. Oy. The whole thing tipped over on the freeway. I'm not sure how it happened, but man, what a scary feeling. So yeah, the equalizer is probably a lifesaver. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Huge, huge component of a safe tow. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you swinging by. Appreciate yeah. you being. Uh, a sponsor, and you've got stuff that you want me to we give do. away. Yes. Look at this. We've got some hats and some t-shirts we got there. stuff to give away. So uh, let's do this. We've got two hats and uh, a tee. So we'll do the first. No, let's do, we're going to text to win. The text the word win. Uh, the first person, and then the fifth person, and the tenth person. So text win to 833-717-0327. You guys got that? The first person to text win gets their first gets uh, this hat. I'm going to call it so I'll make it not too difficult. Fifth person gets this hat, and the tenth person gets this hat. Win to 833-717-0327. Uh, Rob, I appreciate yeah. you hanging out with Thanks. us. Thanks for stopping by. And you got anything else you want to say to folks? No, just okay. say. Just be safe. Yeah, be, be safe, safe with Enjoy the equalizer the hitches. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Thanks, sir. I'm going to walk over here and walk through this RV with them. All right. Enjoy your day. All right, we're heading right over. You want the hat? And so that, we got royalty in the house. Exactly. Rob from Equalizer Rob, Hitch. The Equalizer King. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, 
What's up, ladies? Hello. Hello. What are you doing with the glasses? Nerds. Nerdminators. Where are yours? That's what they are. We're on spring They're break. in my car. I was going to get them. Somebody wore one. I think Blake We're on wore them earlier. Break, eh? That's true. That's a good point. I should be wearing glasses. <laughs> yeah. I got a, it's I got a very, I got a very cool pair of glasses. I, nobody cares, but I got a cool <laughs> pair of glasses. I got a couple cool pair, but I got like, okay, it doesn't matter. Let's talk about this. Introduce yourself first. How about that? I'm Aubrey Darnell. I'm Bailey. <laughs> Just Bailey, like Just Madonna, Bailey. Cher. Exactly. Yeah. Bailey. Yeah, Bailey. It's special. So we're talking about the Tracer. What is it, Tracer LE? LE, the okay. 260 BHS LE. So just to begin, we actually have two of these in stock right now. So okay. that's very rare. So there are two people out there right now that could yeah. have this very exactly. RV today. Today, exactly. Okay. If they call server. extension 167. Okay, or What's the first, what are the first 10 numbers? 937. 843-9000. Okay. Extension 167. Cool. It's probably, it might be on the screen right now. <laughs> I assumed it was. That's why I didn't, I, that's why I didn't lead with we, that. We right. typically do 877-474494. Uh -huh. That one, too. I mean, okay. <laughs> Either way, they're going to get hold of you. Yeah, it's fine. Exactly. But two people can have yeah. this today. Today. All right. So exactly. let's talk about it. Let's talk them into it. Well, to begin, you have your awning. That's obviously standard. LED light strip, your exterior speakers. Storage is a big one for me. So uh -huh. this is the storage that's going to be under the bunks. You can just kind of access everything really quickly. Also, a spare tire on this one, which, you know, you'd think would be standard, but it's not always. It's not really? No, oh, not cause, always. Because so. when you said it, I'm like, duh, of course there's yeah. a spare tire, but, <laughs> but it's not. No, not on right. every single unit. Okay. So, like, you know, sometimes things happen. You might get a flat tire, so You're gonna need and you don't tire. have to worry about it, and there's your spare. There you go. There's also pass-through storage at the front, which I really like that as well. It's really deep. Yeah. Plenty of room in there. So much room. Awesome. And that's like as far as the exterior storage, but you still get a lot, okay. so, you know. Right. You don't need a bajillion compartments. Yeah. Anyway, we going in? in? Yeah, let's We're go. We're going in. All right, we might as well start in the bedroom start here. Start back here. Okay. Yeah. We're here. Why not? So we got these nice two little uh, doors here. The you barn know, you doors. Close those. Put some stuff up there, you know. Little wardrobes on each side. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And then there's also some... Storage underneath. Storage under there. There it is. There she is. And I'm assuming... Oh, yeah, that's right there. You can put a TV... Mm -hmm. here that'll stay in front of We've had one where they actually had the TV. It was kind of cool to see the doors slide behind the TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Uh, more storage here. We missed some of the storage right here underneath the sink. We got that, though. More storage there. There. Sound bar. TV backer. You're getting good at I'm this. I'm getting good. Why are you, you just showing me? If you guys want to go, I don't know, sell some <laughs> yeah, of these, honestly. I'll just do this. Yeah, you really just kind of did the whole <laughs> thing just, really quick. Okay. But it's, it's not like I know. I'm just pointing at things. Yeah. Sign. <laughs> Button, good, good. sticker, so yes. it's not really that TV impressive. TV bracker sticker. Yeah. Exactly. I you say bracker. TV bracker? Bracker, the yeah. bracker. Yes, so I'm I am gonna better leave. Than You're going to go yeah. ahead and show the rest of the trailer. <laughs> uh, I like this counter. It's nice. I like it a lot. I like the little like black accents that uh -huh. match like the darker um, furniture there. Yeah. One of my favorite things about this unit is the floor. I think it just looks so expensive and sleek. <laughs> right. I like yeah. it. That's it the first sharp. thing that I noticed when I walked in is how much I like the floor. Yeah. It looks like something that you just get like at your house. So that's, I really like that. Cool. I, I really like this coach. It's really popular for us because of the privacy that the parents can get from the kids. There's mm -hmm. still the double door there. Yeah. And then double bunks for the kids. This is going to collapse into a bed. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and open up the front. Wow, you know what, David? They, lock, they have it locked. <laughs> oh, there, we go. there you go. You got to push it in. That's that good. It keeps it from opening while you're driving in around the country. transport, yeah. Yeah. So that's still a really big fridge. Mm -hmm. Let's close that. Let's open up some of these cabinets, yeah, let's David. Do it. Three burner. Oh, but look pop. at this one. I like this one because it's like retractable. It like does it for you. Like, oh. Yeah. Just that's... a nice easy glide. Okay. That's great. See, now I have to try it because yeah, you, you, didn't, you, have you really to. drew attention to it. I like it. Oh, I see what you're saying. No, yeah. no, open it. Now I'll do that part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It kind of goes by, it kind of works by itself. Because, you, you know, you get so many of these, it's so heavy. You need to get two yes. people to lift one on that end and one it's, on this exactly. end. They make it a lot easier for you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like that. And I love the blue accent lights. I do, too. 
Is that a regular microwave or a convection? Yeah, just yeah. regular microwave. Okay. Which, I mean, you still have your stove burner and your oven. Yeah, you don't there, necessarily so. need a convection mm -hmm. uh, microwave if you have a Yeah, you could bring stove. an air fryer. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah just absolutely. plug that in. And then this will act as your pantry here. Okay. Extra storage space, kind of like a closet there with the rack up there. A little shallow down there because of your exterior storage. Push that in there. Awesome. All right, How babe. are those lights running there? Are they? I, oh, I can see. If I look at the side, it's got the little button on it. Yeah, that button right yeah, there. It's hard cool. to get that angle, but yeah, just the button, and then you have the cloth shades there. All right. And then we'll head and into the, the bathroom. Uh, the bathroom. Listen, it's a little tight. I'm gonna... It is a. Go you ready to go in there? Stand. Because I stand in all the showers. Yes, you have stand to. Stand all the showers. I opened up that curtain so that everyone can see what the curtain looks like. Again, if you're just tuning in, I'm six feet tall, and that's why that's why I stand in the shower. I don't, I'm not a weirdo. Um, what is this? Is to keep. Uh, it's good to keep this. Look at that. How adorable is that? So uh, <laughs> plenty of space in here. If you're taller than me, you got some more space with the uh, night, not light, not the uh, sunlight, yeah. sun, sun, not sunlight, sun. This thing. You made me forget what it's called. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Something. Skylight uh, over the tub. The sky this is also nice uh, for weird people that like to uh, use a restroom with their feet up. I knew you that's, were going to find out. That's, I don't know if that works How or not. could you I'll refrain? To, I'll have to try that sometime. <laughs> there's also a medicine cabinet in here. Yeah, there's there's the medicine cabinet, decent, decent sized sink for a, a smaller area. Yes. Yeah, it's not typical, really, that you get a medicine cabinet, so sometimes it's just a whole mirror, so I like that feature. All right. Over here, you have the dinette, which this table goes down, so you can make this into a bed as mm -hmm. well. And then the couch over here, you can take the cushions off. Oh, yeah, there off, you go. You can see there's another pull-out bed right there as well. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, what's the total on this? What do you think it is? This one is 24-7. Ooh. 22, I'm getting closer. I'm uh, getting better. It's kind better. of stressing me out. I like to play the game. Yeah. You're not being very good at playing what lately. What do you think uh, the monthly I, payment is? The monthly payment on 24000 is going to be two forty six. <laughs> One ninety two. dollars Sheesh. I'm off it. <laughs> Well, well but, I'm, I'm talking about if, like, with my credit, it would be two forty six <laughs> a week, probably. <laughs> a week? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but listen, you said it was 24 It's 22 well, I know, but I, normally, like six months ago, I would have said seventy-five thousand dollars. Remember how bad I was <laughs> okay. at it? Okay, yeah. So I am getting better, is what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. It's fair. Yeah. It's fair. All right. Well, thank you, ladies. I think we have Go another one next. I don't uh, think you're getting rid of a sec, like. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I, uh, I think I'm going to do. I'm going to go to video after I announce okay. the winners. I'm going to. I'm going to tell you the winners. Winners. David, Cripps won a hat. I think he was our first caller. Our first win, Rebecca Barney and Debbie Hugh is the third winner. So congratulations, guys, for winning that stuff. And thanks again to uh, Rob from Equalizer swinging by and bringing us free stuff. I have to, if he's still in here, somebody go check his car and see if he's got any more free stuff in there <laughs> while he's in here. Sometimes I say stuff that I shouldn't say out loud. Uh, look, I... Ended up on spring break, not where I wanted to be, but tried to make the best of it. Tried to make the best of it. I'll show you. I'll show you just a clip, another clip of what happened. Check this out. Driver, this is not Cali. This is not Cali. Hey, <laughs> this is Cali Mizzou. What's up, my man? What is happening right now? This is the way to chill. Aren't you chill right now? I'm chill, yeah. Who are you? Oh, my name's Billy, my man. <laughs> we paddle upstream for you. Billy, I can't feel my feet. That's all part of the chill, man. Embrace it. Billy, What's I your... can't feel my feet. What's your name? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I'm getting out of the water. See you, man. <laughs> See you. All right, all right, man. That was pretty epic. You okay? I'm all right. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, is that yours? Yep, that's what I came down in. Nice, man. This is my little uh, slice of heaven. Check it out. Yeah, I like it. It's nice. You got Ducky up here, of course. And you, yeah. And this is my little humble abode. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Well, listen, uh, listen, it was great meeting you. Yeah, you too, gonna, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, David. David. Yeah, let's, let's right. go with David. Okay. All right, well, I got to go. So, I don't know if I'm just going to start mine and oh, got, sit under got, the heater. I was about to start a fire. You want to sit by a fire? Yes, I do. All right, man. So you're very close to a fire. We'll make some campy pies together. I have no idea what that is, oh. but that sounds. Oh, no, 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 yeah. What? Don't leave me hanging, bro. Uh, what? There you go. All right, that was weird. I'll follow you to the fire. Not a huge fan of that guy. I'll be honest. He was a weirdo. Uh, actually, it wasn't a weirdo. He was kind of a cool guy, but I was not in the mood. It was freezing, and I was a little upset with Tim for taking me to Cali, Mizzou, and not California. So, uh, look, this is up to 8470. What we're trying to do is get a bunch of YouTube subscribers, and that's, that's keeping uh, track of people who are subscribing. So if you're watching on YouTube right now, just hit that subscribe button below. What that does is it just, it obviously it will let you know, especially if you hit the uh, alert button, it'll let you know when RV Wholesalers does another video. They do quite a bit. They uh, show you walkthroughs through the month. They will do webinars that will teach you a little bit uh, about everything you need to know with RVs. And of course, you have the virtual RV show. So uh, we're gonna give away something else. We'll find out what that is in a minute, but the, here's how we're gonna give it away. I want you guys to chat I want you to chat your, your favorite idea, or your, your best idea as to what you want to do with your, your dream. That's the idea I'm looking for, your dream uh, vacation with your RV. Like if you could do anything with your RV, where would you want to go? Just dream big. And we got people over there that are going to read them and figure out which one seems uh, like the dreamiest or the craziest. And we're going to pick a winner. That's how we're going to pick our winner this time. So let us know what the, what the dreamiest thing you do with your RV will be. Uh, so uh, we're gonna learn about stabilizer while we pick the winners. We'll throw to that now. Hey guys, I'm Blake with RV Wholesalers. And I'm Josh. And today we're going to do the great debate of power stabilizer jacks or manual stabilizer jacks. Awesome guys, so we have uh, quite a few uh, pros coming with the power stabilizer jacks. Um, if you're older, disabled, if you just can't bend over like you used to anymore, um, you can just hit a couple uh, simple buttons. You can hit extend, brings the jacks down, you can hit retract, the boot jacks come right back up. A lot of people get worried about what if we have no power, what if we get to a spot where they're stuck. Um, simple. Put a crank on there. It's going to do the same thing as that power tongue jack did. So you just put the crank on there, start twisting. It's going to do the same thing for you as well. Hardly ever that ever happens, but sometimes accidents do happen. So no worries there, guys. All right, guys. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the pros and cons of the manual cranking uh, stabilizer jack. So um, this is how we're all familiar with it. We take the jack that, it, uh, the, that the RV came with. We'll attach it to this right here. And you get to sit here and do this for a couple seconds. Obviously, it'd be everything being mechanical, it's really nice. You know it's not going to um, break on you. you. You know you don't have to rely on any power source or anything like that. Um, it's just a quick and easy way to efficiently know that you can be stable and unstable in a matter of moments and never have to rely on any fuses or power sources or anything like that. And for those of you that are like myself, we tend to get a little bit lazy or just uh, not as patient as what we could be sometimes. Take a little three quarter inch socket and an impact. Run it down in a matter of seconds. And the same thing, reapply that. Done. All right, guys, well, it's solely up to you on what you prefer on the manual or the power. It's got both pros and cons on both sides. But again, solely up to you guys. For more information, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 877-877-4494. Extension 1000. We appreciate you guys watching. All right, we've got our people have picked the winner. I'll tell you what it is in a second. This has gone up. Thank you guys for subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It just makes sure you know exactly what's going on. Uh, we had a runner-up that unfortunately didn't win anything. Is there, is there something we can give our runner-up? 
our runner-up was uh, okay, a safe uh, water bottle safe to our runner-up. This is uh, this is actually pretty cool. Our runner-up is Juanetta Bifford. Bifford. She wants to go to uh, for a month. Go to Fort Wilderness. Fort. Fort. What is it? Disney World. Their RV. Fort Wilderness Campground in Disney World. Uh, that was good because. If you've watched, you know David Durnell and the folks around here absolutely love their Disney trips. So uh, way to get in. There you go. We'll get that sent to you. Uh, the very first, the first place winner though, gets this right there. This is a stacker. The stackers, so you can use it to uh, chalk your wheels. You can use it to uh, level out the, the as, use it as a jack pad. So these are going to Rick Howard. Rick Howard wants to travel, seeing all the NFL stadiums while following the uh, Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh when I said Dallas Cowboys. You'd be better off following the Steelers because we all know they are the best. They had a rough end of last year, but we know the Steelers are the best. But, uh, Rick, congratulations. You get the stackers. They're coming your way. We will get your information and get that sent out to you. So congratulations, guys. I am now going to talk slow until I find out what I'm doing. And that's uh, heading over to this trailer again with Aubrey and Bailey again. So I'll see you over there. Hampton Park model right here. <laughs> Hampton Park model. Come on. Hampton Park model. No, oh, that was stupid. You shouldn't have done that. So, I don't know why you just. Why would We're you do backup that? backup singers. That's true. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, talk about the Hampton Park model. She snorted. She snorts at least once an episode. Well, quit being so funny. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is the Hampton 374 bar. Paid potato chips in my eyebrows now. I should chew better. Yes, the park model, which means you're going to take it, you're going to leave it someplace. Yes. Yeah. Basically, I mean, we have a lot of customers who do, like, extended stays at campgrounds. They're really not meant to be pulled all the time, so maybe twice a year, maximum, yeah. I'd say. Um, yeah, that's just kind of what they're built for, mm -hmm. parking out of campgrounds, leaving right. them there. And again, we mention all the time, so we see all the very nice steps on these things. Mm -hmm. You get this because so many people put decks on here. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. And I've seen at some of the RV parks I've been to, I see some really nice decks on people these. People go all out. Yeah, yeah. They just, I mean, they unload. What's that? They just unload and they do yeah. the whole thing. Yep. Do we want to talk about anything on the outside? Obviously, a slide on this side. You get the uh, nice sliding glass door. <laughs> You're all lining up ahead yeah. there. Finish it, David. Come on. Uh, windows. Yeah, some words on the windows. side. Yeah. <laughs> a nice is for, logo. Is this TV. No, this is, is yeah. No? What is this? Just nope, bed. just an outlet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go in. Let's I go inside. You can plug a TV in and then put it on your desk. Yeah, you just strong enough tape. You can tape yeah. the TV to the side. That's fine. That works too. Place to put your dog yeah, your right here. Yeah, pet leash. <laughs> or your cat, if you keep a cat on a leash. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. One of your favorites. One of my favorites, the little sports the bar. Little bar. Yeah. I've been in this one before. Yeah. This Have would we... be good for our customer who just won that, uh, the giveaway. Yeah. As long as, you know, he's not taking it everywhere. If Trend. he just watches the Dallas Cowboys oh, that's right, from that's right. his RV. No, he said he wants to go to every I know, but everyone. So this is probably not the one to take to every. You can't pull it, but the bar could work for him. That's you true. See? That's true. If you if you don't get one everyone. at your pool, you can watch all the Dallas Cowboy From games right here. here. And the good thing is on you won't have to watch out. really any playoff games, so you don't have to watch a lot of... <laughs> Sorry, Rick, that is not cool. Uh, my Steelers didn't do that well this year, so I have no room to talk. You're better. Yeah. All right, so, uh, yeah, if you can... You, obviously, you can tell this is a cool... This is a cool area. A little sports bar. You get the room for a TV here. And you it's got a more big TV, TV, too. Yeah, we don't have it right in there. here right now because it's in the... Warehouse, but yeah, it's a big, like, I think it's like a 50 inch. I don't know really? if it's inches, but I think it's a whole 50 inch TV. Yeah, this it's is huge. This is cool. And then, I mean, you even have all these cabinets in here. Mm -hmm. Plenty of storage space for entertaining people. 
your wine cooler down here. Yep. Hey, oh, it opens this way? Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> the side opposite of the hinge usually opens. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fine. That's fine. The whole sink, again, more storage under there. So plenty of room for entertaining everyone. There's even a um, area under the bar where you can just keep your bottles if you know if you oh, want yeah. them refrigerated or anything. Great. Or cold. This kind of acts as a pantry here. Mm -hmm. I can't reach those, but that's very high. Yeah. You're gonna need you, you need to stand up on the chairs. Stool, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Step stool could be good. Around the coach, you're gonna see these little um, charging stations. Yeah, you're gonna test see that. See how it works. You were. There we go. Amazing. Did it work? Well, it turned it, off. It, yeah, it started, but. Oh yeah, it's charging. There's oh, there a little you go. arrow. Yeah. <laughs> so there's Boom. a few of those around. Uh, nobody's calling me. I have no friends. Nobody's calling me. That's why I have all my power already. <laughs> this That's is true. a big area too. Look, I can do this, and I'm look. I'm not even hitting anything. You're pretty tall too. What six foot? You said? Oh, it's about six six. <laughs> Give or take. Oh well, you know that Four I'm not giving 24. any more measurements. Yeah, this, last time it was awful. <laughs> it was awful. Got your big double sink here, stainless steel. You can use these um, covers as cutting boards as well. Mm -hmm. Four burner stove. Yeah, you basically have like a residential yeah, refrigerator. Yeah, it's a big stove, and stove. big refrigerator, and, big I mean, microwave. Yeah, look at all that. That's so much space. Yeah. That's like a double decker microwave too. You could you could have Thanksgiving in this unit. Yeah. Yep. While watching the Cowboys play, it's exactly. all tied together. It is because they play We're on Thanksgiving this Day. This whole thing happened for him. Yeah, amazing. Okay, uh, over here again. I'm a little short, so I can't reach those. But plenty of storage above the couch. This is going to turn into a bed for company, since it's just more of like a couple's couch. Mm -hmm. And then um, still storage like all the way through your side tables here. Theater seating. This has the massage and the heated seats. These are all um, real wood blinds, which is a nice touch. Really? Jeez. <laughs> I, don't laugh. That's rude. <laughs> I almost died. Yeah. Wow. You have to, there is, there's a second floor here yeah. that you have to step up onto. You have onto. to go upstairs. Yeah. And come back downstairs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We've seen a lot of tables today with freestanding chairs, which I love. Yeah. A lot of people really do like it. Not every single model that we carry comes with it, mm -hmm. but I personally think it's just an easier way to clean the floor. Kind of, that makes sense. I'm kind of weird about that. So, yeah. You That's know, good. You can just pull that out, get rid of the chairs and move them along. You could even put these chairs like over in that area. If you yeah. need more seating for Take them outside people. underneath the awning. Yeah. yeah. Or on the deck that you're going to build. You put them on the roof. Yeah. Yeah. It's a walk-on roof, so you could. Uh, don't do that. That's dangerous. <laughs> you could, though. Yeah. I, I don't know the weight capacity. So I like. I don't know if we saw the front. It's just kind of cool looking. The there. That's actually textured. Yeah, that sounds nice. <laughs> I hurt my fingernails. <laughs> the fireplace is textured. Yeah, look at that one. Yeah, yeah. it comes with a fireplace, your sound Thanks bar, for... TV. Doesn't this? Oh, oh, yeah. Have to go down. There it goes. That's, that's very nice. James Bond. That's cool. That's nice. <laughs> A window back there for some natural light when you yep. don't need the TV. I have to put it all the way down now yeah, just because. Yeah, don't stop halfway through. That yeah. Crazy. <laughs> it was, my OCD would really kick Mine in. Mine too. There we go. All like right. That's satisfying. Yeah. You can store. I'm a DVD gal, so store your DVDs up mm -hmm. there. I'm a, I'm a VHS guy. <sighs> or or yeah. uh, what's the laser disc? I've lost a lot of people. You remember laser discs? The floppy disk? No. Oh. No. <laughs> okay. Laser discs were like when movies were on like a disc like this, like almost like a record. You know what records are? You know. What yes, are. I have a record player. All right. So it's like a, it was like a DVD, but it was like this big. Hmm. It never really took off for very long. It sounds like it. Yeah. It sounds like a lost concept. Age. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was. It was. I never had any. But, <coughs> all right. Should we come back here? Yep. Let's go ahead. There's um also a. Oh, thank you. A um, AC in here, and then there's another one in the bedroom. We'll do the bathroom first. Oh, well, actually, David's already back here, so we're just going to head back here. <laughs> well, here, we'll show the bathroom real quick. Dude, well, David can't get in the shower. Well, Wait, is that a closet there? Is that yeah, the, very uh, nice closet. shower. It's pretty big. David, you want to come get the shower? See how tall it is? This one's pretty tall. Yeah. Yeah? Is it? Should, yeah. I, should I get in there? 
I think you should. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. This is... You have so much room. Look. He's 6'6", six, six some, for reference. Sometimes I like to take a shower with my hands in the air like this, <laughs> and I can in this one. So... David, uh, how much room is that? Like, what's the height in there, would you say? Like, this two is, Davids? Uh, two Davids. Seven feet, nine inches high. <laughs> and I know that because, like, we have eight-foot ceilings in our house, and I can reach up, but I have to kind of stand on my tippy-toes to reach it. So I'm going to say seven foot, nine inches. So if you're anything under seven foot, nine, you should fit in here just fine. Get the tape uh, measure. I do. I kind of want to get the tape measure to show you how, how right I am. I don't know. Uh, also, right I am. listen, another nice feature, uh -huh. towel rack already in oh, there. Oh, there's a towel rack in it's there. It's like the, I guess it's not a rack, but, you know, like a little yeah. hanger. Yep. Yeah. Hooks. That's all that hooks. matters. Hooks. Yep. Hooks. That's mm -hmm. my word. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, uh, did we did we come I'm back here? I can't remember if we came back here. You guys talk about this first. Here. All right. Before anything, we love to show the storage. So. You yeah, get that one up There's there. storage. Ton of storage under yeah, the bed. Yeah, there is. Holy moly. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Where your kids can sleep. Yeah. And then they'll get up when you get up. And not a minute before, because yep. there's not much they can do about it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> On the other side of the bed here is going to be your exterior storage. I know we can't see it from oh, there. Oh, outside, you mean? Yeah, that's where okay. the exterior storage lives. And then cool. plenty of counter space here. Uh -huh. There's um, the mounting rack. TV will go there. Right there. Cabinets everywhere. Drawers. Fit awesome. lots of... Lots of stuff in Pull there. Pull some of those out. You got Big your uh, space for stackable dryer, washer dryer here. Yeah. Or just more closet space. Why are you guys laughing? Are you guys laughing at me? <laughs> I'm pointing stuff out. Our cameraman. Oh, so it wasn't you me. ate it on the bed. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Are oh, you not laughing about me? Who are you laughing? Okay, cool. That is it funny. does make sense. Yeah. All right. Place for TV, storage above and then there. The AC have in here. The fan yeah. plus the AC, yeah. which is nice. That's All right. so nice. Yeah, so you can you can live in this place easily. Easy. And again, and have Thanksgiving here. And have Thanksgiving. And, go and see the Dallas Cowboys in here. Yep. And this is the sports well, bar. Yeah, bring them to you. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna talk about the price and stuff real fast, but before we do that, here in a second, I already saw. <laughs> uh, here in a second, I'm gonna do some <laughs> magic for you. I've done magic for 20, I don't know, for 30 years now. So what I need you to do, you can do it while you're listening, is go find four playing cards for you and anybody else in the room. You're going to do the trick with me. So go now, grab four playing cards. Now you will ruin these cards. Don't get a sentimental deck. I don't know if there's such thing as a sentimental deck <laughs> card, but there might be. But you're going to get four cards that uh, you will ruin, but magic will happen in your hands, at your home. It's gonna happen right after this, so go grab those four playing cards. 44,000. That's ridiculous. That's called cheating, David. I, I No, it's called taking advantage. You Cheaters set it down there, win. I read it. Yeah. What What's am I gonna the... win? What am I okay, winning? Okay. What am I losing? From... What's the dry weight? The dry weight <laughs> is 15, 13, 12. Keep going. Keep going down? All right. No, just... Yeah. It is it is fifteen thirty-four. Ten thousand eight hundred eighteen pounds. You, you didn't let me I was gonna say divide right. it by one point <laughs> yeah. five. What's the width? The width? I will say the About width is eight point six or eight mm. foot six inches. Wow. Pretty close. Eight three. Eight that three. Was that was almost like a David and a half. You're yeah. Right. That's right. <laughs> You get a lot of, a lot of uh, callbacks to past episodes going on in this walkthrough. <laughs> like, what do you mean it's a David and a half? Uh, That's how we measure around here. Yeah. Because I had to... <laughs> All right. So Aubrey was like, this thing is only like three feet wide. I'm like, this thing's like eight feet wide. She's like, no, you lay down. And so, yeah, it was closer to eight feet wide, not three feet wide. Let's relax. And I explained to her that there's no RVs this <laughs> wide. I said six. Okay. Yeah, it which was, was still feet. an awful, awful guess. <laughs> Um, anything else? I would take that as a no. Uh, okay, so, wait, yes, actually. Okay. So this Hampton is more like a couples coach, like we said, but they uh -huh. do make a lot of floor plans that we carry that have like lofts so that you can bring your kids. So that's good to know. Plenty of lofts. We have, um, two that have like two beds in the loft and then we carry two different ones that have three bed lofts. So if they go to rvwholesalers.com slash 
build your own, maybe not even that, but if you go to the, just RV wholesale, yeah. you can see a little tab at the top that says build your own. Yeah. You can go to the Hampton and yeah, you can, you can play around. Yeah, you can hit trailer with, and then yeah. Hampton, and then I'll show you all of the different floor plans. Awesome. So, and yeah. you'll type your number in. I've done this before. You type your number in, your phone number, and after you design your own trailer, they send you a text with the how much it'll cost. And I tell this to folks all the time. The cool thing is that that's it. They'll, they'll give you the price and they don't bother you again. They're not gonna call your number once a week. They're not gonna start uh, spamming your phone. They're just giving you the number that you need to know. So uh, it's very cool, very yeah. cool way to It's a very, out. like, it's an instant yeah, it email was, or text. It yeah. was quick when yeah. I did it for mm -hmm. the, the camera. We shot a video, I did it, and within 15 seconds, yeah. I got the call. So yeah, very cool. All right, well thanks ladies. Don't forget, go grab those cards. I'm about to do that right now. ask you a few questions first what are your spiritual beliefs i'm not it's my nerdy little magic box i just carry cards in so uh i need to make sure that you have four playing cards so chat real quick just let us know or let me know that somebody out there is playing along and you've got four playing cards um while i grab four now these four playing cards while we're waiting for you to let us know if you're playing along or not the only thing is they need to be different. The fronts need to be different. The backs need to be the same. Uh, but you are going to ruin them. We got people, did anybody say yes? They're, they're playing along? Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Here we go. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to take your four cards, and I'll go slow. This is, this is a process, but it's very cool. You want to play along? Sure. All right, come on in. What's that? Yeah, come on in. Anybody wants to play? Yeah, have a seat. Uh, take four playing cards. You want to you sit here? I know it's kind of a tight squeeze, but have a seat. Um, all right, so uh, real quick, just introduce yourself to, I mean, you're going to have to talk loud. I'm Bob from Bell Fountain. I'm... I'm Brett from Pal. Bob and Brett. All right, so here, here's what we're going to do. You guys just follow along with me. Okay. Take your four playing cards, and you're going to hold them just like this, like maybe like you're getting ready to deal them, okay? Now you're going to take your cards, your four cards, and you're going to fold them in half this way. I'm going to stand up a little closer, but go ahead and do that. You fold on. Oops, where is that? Just folding it in half and actually making the crease. Yeah, so yep, it? go ahead and crease it. You're going to ruin these cards. And then fold them back out and crease them the other way. So you're really just putting a crease and just work that like that. Good. So now you're going to take and rip those in half just like this and then hold one half in one hand and one half in the other. Yeah, it's, it's a little tough. You got to get it, it. It might take a second to get it started. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and then go ahead and set one stack on top of the other. Okay. Set one stack on top of the other. Perfect, and then just hold them like this. Good. Uh, so now you're gonna take uh, the top, uh, actually, you know what, cut the deck anywhere you want. Just cut the deck, lift up, and move some cards to the bottom, perfect. Perfect, all right, so now you're gonna take the top one, two, three cards, take the top three cards, and move those somewhere to the center of the packet. So take those top three cards and put those somewhere in the center of the packet. Your new top card, just take it. You don't have to look at it. Take it and put it someplace safe, maybe in a pocket or you can sit on it or just put it someplace safe. Good? Good. All right. Now it's up to you. You guys are going to take either the top one, two, or three cards, totally up to you, and move it to the middle. Okay. Top one, two, or three, and move it to the middle of the packet. Okay? Now, we were in quarantine for a while. We're out of that for, for now. But uh, let's move one card to the bottom for each day of the week we were in quarantine. So from the top to the bottom, move one for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Good? You got one more? That's good. Yes, cool. Sir. And then square those up. All right, now you two are going to do this. Take the top two cards and switch with the guy next to you. So Bob, switch with Brett. Good. 
All right, we'll put those somewhere in the middle. And yeah, if you're at home, if you don't have somebody to switch with, just take the top two cards and move them in the middle. I forgot that forgot <laughs> play, people are playing at home. Uh, okay, this is where it gets crazy, but we're almost done, I promise you. Take the top card and move it to the bottom. Next card, throw it on the floor in front of us. Good. Next card to the bottom. Next card to the floor in front of you. Next card to the bottom. Next card to the floor in front of you. Next card to the bottom. Next card to the flo uh, floor in front of you, yes. <laughs> Next card to the bottom. Next card to the floor in front of you. Next card to the bottom. Next card to the floor in front of you. You should have one card left. Right. And you've got half a piece that you put away safely. Grab that piece of card. Does it match up? I <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. You couldn't count. <laughs> <laughs> it should have worked uh, for you at home. It should have worked for everybody sitting here. <laughs> somebody, somebody had a trouble with the counting part. Me. That's yeah. all right. It's close. You were only one off, a six and a seven. And it actually does look, it does look, hold it like this. Now look, it worked for him. It doesn't work for him if you hold it like that. <laughs> Ta-da! That's part of the magic. Uh, let us know if it worked for you guys or if you failed miserably. Yes. Uh, Thank you. Oh, thanks, guys, for helping out. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, where are we headed now? Oh, yeah, we got Mike coming in. So thanks, guys. Thank thanks you. for hanging out with us Thank today. You. Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the show. Sorry. Oh, Tim yeah, made a mess right. with the cards. Oh, yeah. So uh, how's things going? You've been in the back, not in the background. Uh, you've been out there been with most of it. Out and about. Real yeah. stuff is happening. Um, it's nice today, so we got to get outside a little bit. It is nice until today or tomorrow gets a little colder, yeah. around here anyways, and then Thursday it's back to like 34 degrees Yeah, per that, day. Well, you know, that's Midwest in the winter, man. Yep, yep. Hopefully that's the last. Winter doesn't like to give up easy. It hangs on a little bit. Right. That's all right. Right. Um, no, we got to be getting close. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, we um, at my church today we had. Was, I know that's throwing people off. All of a sudden, I talk about church, but at our uh, church today, we unfortunately had a funeral for a young man who was killed on a motorcycle, hmm. and um, the reason I bring that up is because. I, I didn't know him, and I don't know the family, but I know that they have a relationship with Christ, mm -hmm. and that as tough as this is that they're going through, they're getting through it because of their relationship yeah. with Christ. And um, for those of you tuning in, like for the first time, thinking, "What is going on right now?" There's something very important uh, on the hearts of the guys here at RV Wholesalers, and uh, we're in the same mindset. I'm the same way, but uh, it's your your guys' relationship with Christ. Absolutely. And then, and then the reason yeah, I brought was, that up is because we just, a lot of times we don't understand, like, how people can get through life with tough times. I don't know how they get through it without God. I really don't. Uh -huh. uh, you know, our, our, our joy, our real deep down joy. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, you can be happy for five minutes and not. Right. Somebody that's really got joy in their heart is a different person. You, you spot them. You know, yeah. They're just good people. Uh, somebody that has peace, God's peace. Right. Uh, I heard a preacher today on the way to work say, the world doesn't give us joy and peace, mm -hmm. so the world can't take it away. <laughs> That's good. That's pretty you know, good. Only God gives it. Only God can take it away. He, obviously, he's not going to take it away. Right, from right, us. right. He wants us to have it. But Wow. You know, when we go through things, and I don't want to pretend like I know what it's like to go th through losing a child because right, I don't. Right, right. And honestly, I don't want to know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, so I don't make light of that at all. No, but, absolutely not. Uh, I do have people say, you know, why? Why? This doesn't make any sense. This isn't fair, blah, blah, blah. If we could understand God's plan, we would be God. Yeah. You know, so to speak. I mean, right. we're, our human minds can't understand it. Dude. There's just, there's no way. And, uh, but it's, there is a piece there that that family will ultimately, I mean, they're, they're upside down right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what they call no, it a piece that surpasses all understanding. Right. The, there's that no way will, to explain it. That will take over their lives here soon. Mm -hmm. But, you know, right now they're upside down and right. there's, there's nothing we can do but pray for them. But, right. Absolutely. Uh, 
to get that peace though, you gotta have that foundation of Jesus Christ. And you know, the Bible calls salvation a gift. Mm -hmm. You just have to accept the gift. Right. You know, uh, the gift is Jesus Christ. I mean, there's, there's one way to heaven. It's walk through that door that says Jesus Christ on it, you know. And, and it's very important for you and David when folks come in here to pick up their RV, for you to tell them about that. Yeah. For another reason, and you'll talk about this later about works. You don't get points. You don't get heaven points for bringing people to, to God. This is something that no, you've I mean, experienced. I, I and you want think, people to know. You know, you. I think we get blessed by Absolutely. God well, yeah. by doing what we're supposed to do and uh, being obedient, which right. is, you know, one thing we're supposed to do is tell others about Him. Yeah. You know, we're not supposed to keep that to ourselves. Exactly. So to speak. We're supposed to tell. Well, it's like this. I was, I I love, going to the beach. And I love being in the water as long as I can touch. I don't like dark water, but as long as I can touch, I'm fine. But I was sitting out there one day, and I'm like, if there was a shark, if I saw a shark out here, and I ran out of the water without saying anything, mm -hmm. how awful would that be? Yeah. If I just ran, people swimming around me, and yeah. I just ran out of the water just to get away from that shark. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to yell shark as I'm screaming, everybody yeah. yell the water. And it's letting people know that, there's, there's a, that you need to get to safety, yeah. which is basically the same type of thing. Right? Uh, exactly. And it's it's so simple. Mm -hmm. So, so simple. Yeah. So uh, once you walk, you want to walk us through it? What you yeah. Talk to folks I mean, about? what we try to do with our customers as, as they close paperwork, then I come in and talk to them and about a few, you know, detailed business things. But then we, we, we ask them about their salvation. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we don't care if um, people are Baptist or Catholic or right. Mormon. I, I really don't care. I don't, honestly, I don't think God does. Yeah. And please don't kill us for that. But. <laughs> Uh, I really don't think God cares what we are. That to me is religion. I worry about your relationship with God. Yeah. If yours is this, that's awesome. But uh, again, the relationship with God, where it starts is accepting Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, what we do when we, we go through it, uh, and anybody that's not sure how to do, how to lead somebody to Christ, we've got the whole thing. I even have my handy dandy logo on the front. Uh, <laughs> But the method that we use is in this card. It, it leads you step one all the way to the end. Uh, it's foolproof. You can't screw this up. You right. really can't. Right. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of Christians think, well, I don't know enough. I better let the preacher do that will. or the missionary. Yeah. Right. Uh, you're never going to know enough, man. It's, it's all up to God. Yeah. You're just opening your mouth. That's about yep. all it amounts to. Yep. Uh, typically, I would have people read the verses out of a Bible, which I, you know, I keep a little handy. I see it in there when I pocket when I Bible. Yeah. Uh, but my first question is, tell me about your spiritual beliefs or what are your spiritual beliefs? And all that is, is just to get people talking. Mm -hmm. There's no right or wrong answer. Uh, the next question is to you, who is Jesus? Mm -hmm. uh, some people very clearly say he's my Lord and Savior. Right. We're good there. You yeah. know? And then, then we, we take a different route and we start talking about God right. and all the great things he's done for both of us. Uh, if you're not sure who Jesus is, then we continue. Do you believe in a heaven and a hell? Uh, a lot of people believe in heaven. Not everybody believes in hell, but some don't believe in either. Yeah. Which, you know, and the, the further away we get, our society gets from God, the less belief we have in that, which is, you know, everybody says, why is it getting so bad? Yeah. It's easy. We left God. Right. You yep. Know? I agree completely. Where people say, where's God at in all this? Right where we left him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we left him about 30 years ago down the road yeah. somewhere, and he's, he's just waiting on us. Right. Wow. Uh, when you, so you, 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 you say, yeah, I believe in heaven and hell. And then I would say, uh, when you pass away, where do you think you'll end up? Uh, 99.999 have said heaven. Right. I had, I've had one person say hell and they said, I've done too much. I know I'm going to hell. Wow. And they would not let me show them otherwise. Jeez. You know, I, I don't know. That's sad. I mean, that's, that heart, that's hard. All I can do is speak. You yeah. know, I can't grab you by the throat and make you. <laughs> Except Christ. But, right. Uh, so most people say heaven. Uh, this is the toughest question. This is the biggie. Uh, so when you die, let's say you're 95 and you pass and you zip, you're up mm -hmm. to heaven and you're face to face with God. And he says, Dave, why would I let you into my heaven? What would you say? Yeah. And that stumps a lot of people. Uh, the best answer they can come up with about 75% is, whew, I've been a pretty good person. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, so at that point, then we go to Ephesians 2, 8, 9. Right. Uh, it says, for by grace you are saved through faith. This is not from yourselves. It's God's gift, 
not by works so that no one can boast. So it's by God's power that we can get to heaven. I'm all in on doing good things for people. I think we as, as society should take care of ourselves, take care of each other. Yeah. Uh, I'm all in on that, dude. But those good things, even though we should do them and I think they make God happy, mm -hmm. they don't get us to heaven. Right. Okay? And, and the end of this verse says why. I mean, first off, it's God's gift. All we have to do is accept it. But it says, so that no one can boast. When we're all sitting around heaven, I go, man, I did this, this, this. I was better than all you guys. Right. <laughs> well, I just took God out of the equation. Yeah, that's true. What did I need God for? I got up here because I'm so great. Because I'm good. You know? Yeah. Uh, so obviously those, those good things, again, are important, but they don't get us to heaven. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the next verse is Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Uh, again, we've all sinned. Mm -hmm. I mean, we probably every day, if you're honest. Yeah. If you say you haven't, now you're lying. You're lying. There saying, you go. You know. <laughs> First uh, one of the day. <laughs> or second one of the day. Yeah, right. <laughs> you dealt with your wife this morning. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Romans 3.23 said we've all sinned. So if we agree with that, Romans 6.23 says the, the payment of that sin is death, uh -huh. which really means hell in the Bible. Uh, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So we deserve hell, but... If we accept God's gift of salvation, this can be a gift to you. Yeah. All you have to do is accept it. Take it. All we have to do is accept it. It's that simple. We can go to heaven. Mm -hmm. uh, the last one, Romans 10, 9 and 10. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. It's that simple. With the heart one believes, resulting in righteousness. With the mouth one confesses, resulting in salvation. So, Which is what we're celebrating this, this Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Christ died. Uh, if you've ever seen, if you, if you doubt, if you don't know, mm -hmm. uh, watch the movie The Case for Christ. I don't know if you've By, seen uh, that. By Lee Strobel? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, here's a guy that, th this was all true story. Mm -hmm. uh, he, well, he wrote the book. Lee Strobel was the author of the, guy, of, uh, the book The Case for Christ. Yeah, but this, this guy is an atheist, and, and, but he's a newspaper reporter, and he's going to prove that God wasn't, re basically Christ wasn't a real person. Right. And he proves himself wrong. Yeah. And this and is a true being, story. This, is, this isn't a... Ends up being yeah. a believer in the end, and uh, I just blew it for you, but it's still... <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. Still a great movie to watch, especially if you have any doubts. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, it's good. It's uh, a good suggestion. Now, if you've been listening to us, if you say, man, I don't know if I'm going to heaven or not, it's real simple. Ask God to you know, remove your sin, take away your sins. He's already done that. All yeah. you have to do is claim it. Right, right. Uh, and come into your heart. If you'd want to say a simple prayer, right, I'll say it. You just repeat it. Doesn't matter where you're at. You don't have to stand up and shout it. Say it in your head. You know, mm -hmm. if you're in a group of 25 people and you don't want to shout it, don't shout it. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to say a simple prayer. If you just say it, I'll say it slow. You repeat it after me. Uh, Heavenly Father, I have sinned against you. I want forgiveness for all my sins. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for me and rose again. Father, I give you my life to do with as you wish. I want Jesus Christ to come into my life and into my heart. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Guys, we think if you said that prayer, you received salvation, you've been born again, you got saved, however you want to say it. Uh, you know, if you're not sure what to do next, contact us. We'll help you with that stuff. If you want some of these cards, please just say the word. Yeah. Uh, we'll send you, you know, we'll help you do whatever, whatever we can. That's awesome. All right. And let us know. Let us know if you prayed that prayer. We Very simple. Yeah, let us know if you said that prayer. We'd love to, love to talk with you. Yeah. Uh, so thank you very much for being here. Appreciate yeah, it. I'm sure you. we'll talk again before the day's over. Uh, I've had a chance to hang out with the folks at Nexus quite a few times, at least two times today, but now I'm going back and actually walking through one of the Nexus with the guys there at Nexus. So check this out.
are standing outside the Nexus Ghost 33DS. Did I get it right? That's you right. just told me, and I've already forgotten about it. Uh, with Brian from Nexus. Let's talk about the outside of this thing first, and then we'll get inside and take a look. This is, this is sharp. Well, I picked this one to show you because uh -huh. the quality in the Nexus is the same from the most expensive units, right. quarter million dollars, all the way through our Ford product. Okay. And here at Nexus, we're truck people. Yeah. So let's talk about trucks first okay. right out of the gate. Yeah. Anybody could buy a, a travel trailer or a fifth wheel, but when you want to graduate to having the easiest way to get around, a truck is the okay. way to do it. Yeah. Okay. Here at Nexus, we use, we're exclusively using the international chassis. International trucks, of course, are built in Ohio. Uh -huh. uh, they're world-renowned for the best commercial vocational chassis. Uh, this particular power plant is the typical Cummings engine, 6.7 liter, w coupled with the Allison 6-speed 3000 transmission. This truck is capable of pulling over, over uh, 20,000 pounds, wow. towing power. On towing, on top of what it's already on, on here. On top of what's already on wow. here. This has a, a gross combined weight rating of 46,000 pounds. So this is a real yeah. truck. This is what people graduate into. Uh -huh. But again, the same level of construction and attention to detail goes in our Ghost, our Super C's and right through our Ford product also. Okay. So a lot of things we'll talk about here today are on this particular product, but uh -huh. for example, 22 and a half inch wheels, the, the primary competitor to International would be Freightliner. Uh -huh. uh, International is better because they have more snow plows, trucks, more serviceable locations across North America for the customer to be uh, looked after in case there's a problem. Something to think about. It is, yeah. it is. And of course, all the chassis are steel all the way around, uh -huh. and that's why here at Nexus, we upfit everything with the steel on top. Yeah. So right down to uh, kind of what we looked at in the past, all of our sidewalls are true fiberglass. Now, the first thing you notice when you see a Nexus is the paint jobs. Uh-huh, sharp. Now, the, the paint jobs look great, but let's talk about the actual paint themselves. Okay. Uh, anytime we can here at Nexus, we try and choose a supplier that's domestic, not overseas. Uh -huh. So the paint vendor that we use is Sherwin-Williams, all made right here in North America, right yeah. in the U.S. Uh, it's from the automotive division. So if a customer gets a scratch or something happens... Uh, they can just take the paint code and go to any of wow. the uh, local automotive places and have that color match very, good. very easily. Yeah. Uh, so this is a four-color paint with a clear coat on it. Right now it's a little dirty because you wouldn't know today is such a beautiful day <laughs> right, in right. northern Indiana. <laughs> so uh, some of the things I'll show you real quick. Uh, this is probably one of the biggest things that makes a Nexus great is, of course, take a magnet. And you can find the studs anywhere here all the way through wherever there's a, uh, a steel behind here. Uh -huh. If this sidewall was aluminum, you couldn't do this, that okay? Now, the steel that we use is HSLA steel. It's 73% stronger than typical aluminum. Now, that's vacuum laminated to two layers of composite material, so there's no wood in this sidewall either. All right. uh, and we do this for all of our products here at Nexus. So it's a stronger, better built sidewall that's gonna perform long-term uh, much better. Awesome. Lots of storage underneath here. Yeah, now the Ghost product, we do a little bit different product with our doors. Oh, you got some stuff in here, but of course I'll point this out because it's so easy. Uh, we talked about that steel. Uh -huh. So instead of using a rotocast plastic, we use all steel compartments, steel studs, and of course the steel uh, ductwork in the uh, in the ceiling for the ACs. Yeah. Uh, you'll notice most of our, our uh, Super C's have uh, full pass-through over the uh, frame rails there. Okay. Uh, so it gives your oh, yeah. it gives customers a ton of room, and yeah. every compartment would be lit. Okay, awesome, awesome. What do we got back here? What is this? Okay, so uh, every one of our coaches, of course, I I, I don't want to miss the opportunity to point this out uh -huh. because because we are truck people. Right. All of our tires are that true twenty two and a half inch tire. This is a semi truck tire. Okay. Uh, it, this is not an RV tire. This is this is uh, way beyond all that. So customers can have the safety and security in this particular truck to roll down the highway fast. Nice. Now here in the camping area, this is the uh, this is the pleasurable side of your rig. Okay? Right. We got the awning. We got, got the lights awning. outside. Now this is a 21 foot awning. It's about uh -huh. as big as you can get. You've got the lights underneath, and you've got all the storage areas. Uh, the customer who's ordered this coach has optioned in the outside TV. Okay. And the TV is all plugged in here with the sound bar underneath. Oh, we yeah. haven't got it ready yet. Right. But uh, this coach, of course, we're shipping them out as almost as fast as we can build them right now to keep up with demand. Uh -huh. But what we've tried to design here in all our models, not just this, is a is a is a vehicle that's that has a fun built into it. So right. you can just open a door, turn a key, and be set to go. Yeah, that's great. 
And like you said, this, uh, this vehicle, a lot of times, we weren't necessarily going to show this vehicle so that when we open it up and you see the, the protective covering on the TV, uh, that's because we just grabbed this. We kind of stole it off the lot. We did. Yeah. We did. It, well, yeah. You stole it. Of course. I stole it. We're blaming you. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. So would you like to go in and check yeah, out some of the things inside, inside or do you want to go on the roof next? I, let's go inside and All see right. what's going on in there. So here at Nexus, we buy all of our seating from Paul Seating here in Elkhart. Okay. Now, what Paul does is this is all handcrafted, handmade furniture. We don't go overseas to buy our furniture. So this is a perfect example is our dinettes. Of course, the table does go up and down, but you've got fully lockable dinettes here. Oops, it is locked. <laughs> unlock it and pull it out here. Oh, wow. And you've got nice. all maple storage here inside. Yeah. Uh, even the theater seats that you see over here with the storage inside. These are uh -huh. full, fully reclining chairs. Uh, this is an upgrade, and the wow. customer has requested this in our build. Okay. So each of these seats are all handmade. So there's been so much extra effort. Mm -hmm. One of the key phrases we like to use is the Nexus product is 100% better because we're 1% better at 100 different things throughout nice. the whole coach. And that's shown in who we choose to buy our furniture from, uh -huh. who we choose to buy our paint from, and what the, the materials that we choose to, to assemble it. Nice, so, nice big bed above the... Above the uh, cockpit. Of here. course. Now, one of the things that Super C's are famous for is, of course, the bed above the cab area. Uh -huh. uh, having that flip over and that extra area up there is perfect for storage, perfect for the occasional guest. Uh, we design it so it's comfortable enough for one night, but not too comfortable for somebody to stay too long. Okay. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's good. So there's a yeah. lot, of, lot, of, lot of things that we do to make the coach comfortable. Now, uh -huh. this, is, this is a great area right here. Uh, this is what uh, what's referred to as the two-step kitchen. Uh, one step here, one step here, one step there. So yeah. you're two steps away from basically anything here. Okay. Uh, we did mention the undermounted stainless steel sink mm -hmm. with the solid surface countertops. All of the doors that we do in our coach are all solid wood. Okay. Even the material here is lumber core. And so it's all, it's all real wood in the actual cabinets. Great. Uh, over here, of course, you have the optional oven. Now, we always do the cooktop here, uh -huh. but the oven is an option, and we do have the protective cover on it. That's why it looks kind of funny right now. Right. So what would be there if they didn't want the oven? Is there just drawers? That would be just... a drawer okay. in some models and two doors in some cases. Gotcha. Okay. It's just different, different for each one. But you and still have the stovetop? Always have the okay. stovetop. And you always have, regardless of the model, always get a 30-inch over-the-range microwave. Okay. Regardless of the model. This one happens to be option with the convection. I was going to say, this is one of the nice ones. This is a nice one, yeah. but even if you get the regular microwave, it's the same width, same size, yeah. and it gives you that extra area inside. Oh, yeah. So it's not one of those little dinky uh, right. uh, dinky fridges you'd find in a typical, uh, typical RV. Right, right. Now, what you'll find is you come back this way. All the controls are very easy to find, very easy to use. Uh, a lot of the motor coaches in this class uh, use all kinds of extra... Uh, boards and panels we're using switches when you okay. flip the switch it doesn't take you any time to scroll through five menus just to turn the lights <laughs> on. and if you've seen the new coaches you'll know what i'm talking yeah. about now the designers of this particular model have really added a lot of storage so you've got multiple areas right here for drawers this coach is even equipped with a spot for washer and dryer and the washer dryer is in this coach right here so you have the stackable washer dryer we're asked all the time, can you put a washer dryer in it? Can, I put a washer dryer? can you put a washer dryer in it? It depends on the floor plan. This okay. is critical area and critical space. Uh, that's why we design at least one of our floor plans in each brand to fit the washer and dryer. It's okay. either stackable or, uh, or all in one. Okay. So the bedroom. This is, uh, this is the main reason why people will buy a new motor coach is to make sure it's comfortable and you can store everything. Mm -hmm. So this particular model comes equipped standard with the 60 by 80 residential size queen okay. you see the storage the lights even the windows around the uh, head, headboard area uh -huh. a lot of folks like that we do that on most of our models to provide airflow at night when people are uh, yeah. uh, sleeping Great. so underneath here as we mentioned earlier this is where your fresh water tank will be yep so there's not a lot of storage under there the bed does flip up which i'll let you guys do on your own yeah <laughs> uh, but there's a there's a fresh water tank under there okay over here More you've got storage. a tremendous wow. amount of storage each of the cabinets have their own light inside okay. uh, that will open up. There's even storage behind the TV here that gives you more room back oh, yeah. there. So Lots of room. So our designers have done a really great job making this a great 
easy to use coach mm -hmm. uh, across the entire, not just the Ghost, but all of our products, whether yeah. it's Ford, International, or even our Rebel product. Lots of room. I do this at all the RV shows. I stand inside because folks want to know how much room, if they have enough headroom. I don't care how tall you are, you have enough headroom in this shower. Plenty of, plenty of room. Plenty of room in here. Uh, nice counter, counter space in the sink in here. And then, of course, a uh, little mat medicine cabinet here. Keep everything in there. Even I think you could even, if you needed to, roll up some towels and put in there and still have room for all the uh, other stuff you need to put in there. Of course, there's space down here for towels. you got uh, under the sink. So, yeah, that's nice. How does it feel up there? Is it nice and strong? Yeah. I mean, that's a fiberglass roof. Yeah. And you can kind of see how it tapers around the outside. I do like that. That's that's. Very impressive. We'll get close without falling off. It's uh, it's what we call a seamless roof. Yeah. So it doesn't have any seams or wire or holes right. that could cause water to intrude. And I noticed on the other side, you got some of the paint. That's actually, you see a little bit, of, some of the paint coming up over the top, yep. which I think is uh, nice. If the paint doesn't stop there, it looks like it wraps around the, the complete vehicle. Yeah. And we leave the, the roof white, of course, because the, it keeps the heat down right. uh, that, build, that could build up on the roof. Yeah. I see the two air conditioners up here. Turn slowly. I don't know why. If I'm on the ground, I don't turn like this. But for some reason, you're up above the ground, 15 feet or whatever. It you're you're you exactly 12 foot above the ground okay. right there. Yeah. <laughs> I see there's, you can if, if, uh, if your wife's in the shower, you can sneak, sneak up here and scare the snot out of yeah, her. You don't want to do that. You don't yeah. want to do that. But uh, you can see both air conditioners on the roof. Right. Depending on the model, we'll always option in at least one 13.5, which would be the tall one back here. Okay. And the front air conditioner will be a 15K with a heat pump. Not a strip, but an actual heat pump that does put heat out. Wow. Uh, because, again, we're going after more of an all-weather type camper. That's, that's the idea. Yeah. Now, from the front, you're going to see the TV antenna. Yep. Looks like a big upside-down salad bowl. That's yeah, that's actually, we got one back oh, here. Oh, it's back here? Okay. Yep, it's back here. So that's, Up here we got the, the solar panel. And you got a solar panel on this. Now that's an option. Yeah. Okay. Every one of the Nexus is prepped for solar, so all you have to do is install the panel and run, the wire's already run. Nice. But this customer opted in for the uh, the panel. Right. And I also noticed you've got the uh, awnings over the, the slide out, which is nice. Every, nice. every Nexus model, from gas all the way through our high-end diesel, will always get the slide room toppers. Okay. Top. Yeah. And it does. It's, it's solid up here. And that's steel. So it's, uh, it's just as strong as the side walls, the floor, the end walls. Yeah. And it's just a nice day. I just want to hang out up here for the rest of the day. You want me to hand a chair up to you? <laughs> uh, I would, but I'm afraid, I'm afraid if I sit down, I'm going to fall asleep. Yeah. If yeah. I, I need food. So yeah, I need food, too. I, I needed food before I started, uh, you know. Well, let's, I'll come down and we'll go get food. That's right. That's right. All right. and you need parts, there's the perfect place to go to. It's rvwholesalers.com forward slash parts. It's their parts department here. They've got thousands of items on that page. So just a quick uh, shout out to the folks in the parts department or anybody looking for parts, that's the place to go. I'll tell you again, rvwholesalers.com forward slash parts. Get on there, find what you need and order it from the folks here at RV Wholesalers. Now I'm going to check in with Dustin down in Texas, a brand new RV Wholesalers down there. We talk to him once a month just to see how things are going and uh, uh, I talked to him a couple days ago. He's got exciting news. It's not just Dustin down there anymore. Check this out. All right, checking in with Dustin again down in Dodd City, Texas, where the uh, newest RV dealership, RV Wholesalers dealership is. Uh, where We do this Every virtual RV show we have, but we have so many new people walk, uh, checking in. We want want them to know all about you down there. So how are things, man? Man, it's been crazy, rocking and rolling like normal. We go. <laughs> it's been it's just been a blessing, man. We've been so busy down here and just letting people know we're here. And uh, that's, awesome. that's yeah. fantastic. Um, so, do you guys have any? I know that you've been working on getting inventory in there. You got inventory in yet? Or? Yeah, we got some units on the ground, David, but honestly, it's been so hard to keep because people have been like waiting on them as soon as right. they hit the ground. Right. We have a lot of people that want to see certain models that they want to walk through and, you know, put hands on before they order, but it's been yeah. been great. So we actually just got a new employee here down 
Right now. Really? Yeah. So you got somebody to talk to through the day. Yeah, yeah. I'm not just talking to myself no more, David. Yeah, he, was, he kind of to me, so, yeah. What's that? I said he kind of listens to me sometimes. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's a good guy. Um, That's awesome. Is yeah. he there? Does he want to be on camera? Yeah, yeah. Let me introduce you to him. This is Brendan Ramsey. How's Brendan, going? what's going on, man? Oh, not much. Just hanging in there. Yeah? We'll get used to seeing his face once a month or so. We like to check in and see how things are going down there. So I, I'll, I'll apologize in advance if you have to see me every once in a while. No problem at all. Uh, how's Dustin to work for? Good. I've, yeah. Uh, I've are you saying that though? Are you saying that because he's sitting right there next to you? Yeah. Maybe, maybe a little bit, yeah. but I've got <laughs> job security. That's something I like to make sure I've got. So. That's that's good thinking. You'll you'll go far. You'll go far, Brendan. Uh, yeah. So what are you thinking? You having fun down there? So how long have you been there? Oh, this is my second week now. Okay. Yeah. Very having cool. fun. It's a nice atmosphere. Good change come out of construction so it is uh it's a different pace it's it's a little definitely different so i'm right. liking it yeah awesome well it sounds like you guys are going to be busy down there i mean if they continue okay. to be busy down there absolutely yeah i got a new one on me today david uh they i talked to a gentleman and we'll leave the other dealer's name out of this but uh he was telling me that he said they were telling him that we we were just horrible after the sale Tell them not to buy from us because we can't take care of them after they order from oh, us. Wow. Anybody here in Texas, please do not listen to that. I mean, just don't even take my word for it. Just look at our reviews, just right. Google, you know, and, and just give us an opportunity because this is, it, it's just crazy what they're out there telling them because they're so afraid of us. It's just, exactly. I they mean, can't, it's, they can't yeah. meet your service. They can't meet the prices. So all they can right. do is, is say awful things and hope people listen to them and, yeah. You know, if they listen to them, they're going to miss out on both great deals and fantastic service. We've learned all about the service, and, and uh, yes. uh, people can check out the prices for themselves. No uh -huh. hidden fees and all that. It's great. That's right. And just like I say every time, David, let us prove it to you. You know, we, we don't talk about it. We're about it. So yeah. you know, give us an opportunity. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so, so you're in Dodd City, just outside yes, of Dallas. I actually looked it up because I want to fly down to Dallas and hit, um, oh, Dang it, what's that country club I want to hit? Billy Bob's. Billy Bob? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that the name of it, Billy Bob's? I think that's you it. You got a hat and boots ready, I hope. What's that? I said, I hope you have your cowboy hat and boots ready. Or yeah, that's, that, that's what I've seen. I've heard. I got yeah. <laughs> I to gotta, I gotta at least try to fit in so people don't, they can't tell I'm from Ohio. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so. so you don't stick out. About right. that. <laughs> well, if I get down there, I'm going to hit that place. I'm going to come over and see you guys. Awesome. Come Not on sure Maybe when all this stuff dies down, but uh, yeah. I say it every time. I want to get down there and see you guys and, and maybe eventually do a, uh, a virtual RV show from down there. We would love it. Come on down. Why don't you uh, throw out your phone number just in case anybody wants to get hold of you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you guys can call our direct phone number. It's 903-200-8452. That's my, my number. Um, you, you can reach me or Brendan at that number. Um, also, just come check us out. We're at 3500 East State Highway 56 in Dodd City, Texas. Awesome. So we'd love to meet the editors up here to put that on the screen somehow. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. All right. Well, thanks for checking in. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll be back in a month. Brendan, nice meeting you. We'll see how Good things are in a month. I'm sure they'll be great. But uh, yeah, go sell some RVs, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank right. you. We'll see y'all.
Hi guys, David from RV Wholesalers. Uh, I want to talk to you about our webinars real quick. Uh, we do webinars every single week. You can even find old webinars on our YouTube channel. If you go to YouTube, check out RV Wholesalers. While you're there, make sure that you uh, subscribe. But the reason we do the webinars is we get really kind of frustrated watching people get taken advantage of. Now let me explain that. Uh, a lot of times it's what people don't know, right? Sometimes it's just not knowing to protect yourself against other RV dealers. But long story short, there's going to be 500,000 RVs plus sold this year. We can't even sell 10% of those. So what we like to do to help people out that can't buy from us, uh, don't feel comfortable driving that distance, whatever the reason might be, is help you. So when you go to deal with your local dealer, uh, you feel secure, safe, prepared, and ready. Uh, we're going to go over things during our webinars like how to safely buy an RV, should you finance an RV, can you tow this RV, all those sorts of things. You can ask questions live, you're going to get answers live, uh, you, and if you're too busy you can't tune in, because you can go sign up, just check out this little link right below. Uh, you can sign up there, but if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for your schedule, again, you can go to our YouTube page and you can find our past webinars where you can get tons of information. So check them out, educate yourself, and be safe. ultralight coming up. We've also got more tips and tricks. We'll have more from the band. So uh, while we're waiting for the camera to be fixed, if you can, again, if you can hear me, uh, let us know, get on, get on the chat and let us know what is the best decade of music. And then if you don't pick 80s, instead of telling us, just tell us why you're wrong. <laughs> because 80s is the best decade for music. I agree. Right, Blake? 100%. All right. When, what year were you born? 97. You were born in 97, but you still understand. I, I, I grew up on the classic rock. Yeah. So yep. I don't listen to all this today's stuff. Right. No I'm telling you. Rock. 80s. So let us know if, uh, 
Let us know if you understand. I see people walking around with food. Of what? course, when we come back live, they bring in the food. We, we said that was going to happen, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. we, we should have some money. We don't need food. We've been eating <laughs> chips. I know I've been eating chips nonstop. Uh, so anyways, chat, let us know what your favorite yeah. decade is of music. And again, if it's not the 80s, just tell us why you're wrong. Um, talk about yeah. this uh, Palomini. So this is the Palomini, guys. Um, nice little off-road-ish type camper. So it's kind of like the Geo Pro uh -huh. almost. You notice, so, I notice when you said off-road, I look back yep, at tires. Bigger tires, beefier tires, more I'd step. You still get your power awning and all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. You do get a little bit of pass-through storage here. It's not all the way through. It's kind of cut off like halfway. But I'm going to show you the surprise here in a minute. So as we walk around, we got outside speakers. Um, we've got LED lights on the arms of the awning. Uh -huh. Okay. We walk around the camper. We got a two-inch receiver uh, standard for, for our bike rack. We've got solar panel prep. We've got an outside shower. You got a spare tire here. And look at this storage, guys. Let's bring this up. There you go. You can fit a whole bunch more stuff in there. Yep. So yep. don't forget about the little stuff in the front. You got the big in the back. Awesome. The tire monitoring system is standard on this. So you get a little screen. You can check your tire pressures while you're driving down the road. More safety. A little bit more safety there. Yep. Exactly. Let's go on and take a look on the All inside. Right. So as we come in, we do have a mini slide, which your dinette is in. Uh, this will also go down to a bed. Behind you here, David, we have the uh, Murphy bed. Okay. So the sofa lays flat. We've got uh, the bed mattress will fold over. Okay, I see. So this just lays flat. That exactly. mattress comes over and lays onto this. Exactly. Cool. Overhead cabinetry. You do got your bay window with the shade. Uh, as we see here, we have your nice deep farmer sink. I really so, like the cabinets. So they're a little That's bit more modern, sharp. aren't they? Yeah, that is awesome. Very nice. Very nice. A little bit more modern. You do have the microwave down here instead of your okay, oven. This is, this is bothering me. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. Again, my OCD. <laughs> uh, TV backer. It doesn't come with a TV just because they save you a little bit of money on there. Okay. Um, and then more cabinetry here as you come in. You got your tire monitoring system mounts and stuff you see in there. Wi-Fi, internet prep. So... I mean, you definitely try to get some Wi-Fi up in here. Mm -hmm. We have your AC with heat as well. We have your max air fan as, right here too. Okay. Your 12 volt fridge. So put a, quite a few gallons of milk in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then let me step out of the way here so we can see the twin bunks and then the bathroom. Yeah. So yeah, check that out. And then we and there are escape hatches. Uh, these windows. So the windows, they will pop yeah. out for safety. I don't know if we, we mentioned that from time to time, but yeah, you have to know that if you're up in here, you're safe because you can get out both, exactly. both windows here. Exactly. And walk into here. And as we come in, now this bathroom is going to look funny because it doesn't have a... Right. You're uh, going to use the sink at a the, sink, in the kitchen. But they kind of save you on space on that way. Again, if you're just tuning in, I am six feet tall and with this uh, sunlight, sun, what's it? I keep saying sunlight. Skylight. Skylight. <laughs> it's not that difficult, you're, you're David. Close. Figure it out. You're close. Uh, I can fit in here just fine. So, uh, yeah, a little uh, smaller, a smaller bathroom, but you're, we're in a smaller, we're in a pal of mini. Exactly. That's why they call so, it a, mini. a lot of people who doesn't want to stay inside the camper all the time or outside that have kids, perfect unit. Yeah. Now we do have a little more cabinetry here as well, uh, just for dry goods. And this guy is only love... 22 foot. Really? Yeah, so a lot of people like the Rockwood Geo Pro 20 VHS. This uh -huh. is pretty much the same thing. Okay. And so it's kind of hard to get Geos right now, but I got this guy in stock ready to go. How much are we asking for and this? So let's look. 22 one. I, I think you may have said that already. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. $192 a month. Wow. We had somebody asking, uh, well, and you just, you just answered this. He wants to know if this is in stock. In he stock, ready to go. So uh, whoever's asking, please. Raphael. Raphael, give me a call, 877-877-4494, extension 118. And you're not in there right now, but your team is. My team is, so you can even hit 1,000. That goes to all of us as well. Cool. Great. Uh, anything else about this one? I, I like that window, by the way. It is. It's, it makes it a little bit more spacious, it looks. Uh -huh. You know, give it more window. You're not closed kind of in. Feel bigger. Right. Exactly. Not claustrophobic. And the fact that you could you could sleep up there. If it's just you, you can, yeah. you could take a nap up there. You sit and it's not pulling the slides out. Yeah. And just crawl up in there. Yep. Lay down. Even on the sofa, too. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. Nice. It's very easy. 
Well, very cool. Well, thanks for coming out, yeah. hanging out with me on this pal and many. I'll be yeah, back a little bit later on a bigger unit. I say you are you. Uh, yeah, they just got confirmation that it is in stock. Yep. Um, you going back in to sell stuff now? I am. All right. I have uh, to get me a bite to eat. We. What's that? Oh, that's right. Go. You get to go eat. I'm going to walk through some more RVs, <laughs> which I love doing. Don't get me wrong, but I also love to eat. Uh, <laughs> we had somebody asking about what it, what if it's able to Cal Colorado, Tim. Yeah. Is this Colorado towable? Yep. Yes. Got the beefier tires. So actually, if you're going to those mountains. Yeah. Um, and there's Tim. Tim put together something. Tim Richardson is the producer of the show. Tim put together a website. It's it's tow calculator towing. Let me get this right. Towingcalculator.org. Mm -hmm. And you can go in and put your information from your your car, like what year, what make, what model, and he will they will let you know like what you can tow with your vehicle. So towing calculator, what weight you can tow. Uh, towingcalculator.org is where you want to go. It's, it's pretty cool. I went on there the other day. Nice yeah. attempt to do that. I mean, yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's put together <laughs> these. How many, Tim? Tim, he's talking to me. How many? 176,000 different combinations oh, of well. vehicles and makes and models. So that's, that's impressive. That's impressive. That's impressive. <laughs> Took him three days. Three days. I can't even hold up three fingers and he's putting together are websites. Is your sugar low? Good grief. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm just thinking about food. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Uh, Raphael, you could be in this Palomino yep. today. You can have it in two weeks to your doorstep, guys. And it's nice. It's nice. Let me tell you right now, Ra uh, Raphael, your, your Palomini, Palomini by mi it's nice. Good <laughs> night. I do. I need to go get some Pepsi or something to wake me up. Uh, awesome. All right. So uh, thanks for hanging out. Thank go you. I'll stuff. be back later. Okay. Raphael, we'll I'm looking forward for your phone call. Yeah. <laughs> call him. Uh, we are going to throw back. I did a little camping while I was on my spring breaks. So let's check that out. Hello, sir. Hey, what's happening? What's going on? I've got a nice no spread idea what's going happening. on right here. And this is going to be something we eat? Uh, yeah. Have you ever heard of a campy pie before? You just lost some bread. A campy pie? Yeah, a campy no, pie. I've not, not heard of a campy pie. So here is our campy pie maker. Right yeah. here. All right. It's big enough for our six course meal. Hold this for me. Okay. We're going to have pizza for those pizza lovers, ham and cheese for the ham and cheese lovers, and dessert for everybody. Okay. Okay? Uh huh. All right. I need you to hold that while I get everything in this campy pie maker. Okay. All right. For our ingredients, we have baked with love white bread. White bread. All right. We have wonderful Mama Mary's. Awesome, delicious pepperoni. Love Mama Mary. All right, we've got some mozzarella cheese here. We've got your tomato sauce. Okay. More okay. white bread. Spit when you said that. Boudig. Got some delicious boudig. Mm. I think it's budding. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We've got cheese here. And of course, we got your pie filling. We got apple pie and cherry pie. Okay. You know, the ABCs. Apple, butt cherry. Sure, I want butt cherry. Here we are with the Mr. Bread. Gotta love the bread. Did you wash your hands after you got out of that lake? Absolutely. With what? Okay, we've got them now full of bread. What do you want in your campy pie? Out of these? Anything but butt cherry. I told you that. Oh, okay. All right. Let's That's... do it. Okay. But you know, pizza. Let's do pizza. Is it regular pizza or butt pizza? There we are. Right there. Oh. Okay, here we are. Nice apple pie. There we are. There's one. Oh, the delicious cherry. Gotta love cherries from a can. Butt cherries from a can. But, <laughs> I get it. All right, here we go. And bring her down. There we are. And now we hold it over the fire? Yes. Isn't she magnificent? All right, here we go. All righty. This is how we do it. Good old campy pie. And now we wait. Now we tell ghost stories. Ready for the flip. Oh, we're flipping that way. Yeah. What's the chances that some of the cherry is mixing in with like the ham sandwich? That's disgusting. 
very hot. Can't seem to keep these guys in yeah. stock. In fact, I totally with, get with it. the bunkhouse, we just got this guy in, so I'm glad to show it to everybody. Uh, it will go quick just because it's a Puma and a bunkhouse. Everybody in the nation's looking for them. Right. Okay. <laughs> Should we uh, start yeah. out here in the back? Let's start out here in the back because this is a pretty cool uh, feature that's coming with this floor plan is the big outside kitchen. So we get the nice bigger size it's outdoor size. refrigerator, or as we like to call it, dad's medicine cabinet. Uh -huh. We got the microwave, the sink that goes into the gray tank, so you don't have to take it out, dump it, right. or anything like that. It goes straight to the tank. Yeah. Uh, Plug-ins back here, perfect for maybe an air fryer or a coffee maker or whatnot in the Big griddle, yeah. so cook your bacon and eggs out here. The when we stayed in had the outdoor kitchen, mm -hmm. and we loved it. Now ours had the like the stove top one with a pan, right. uh, but man, it's, it's so nice. Yeah, yeah. And so it's it, so nice to cook outside. And, and this, because everybody's starting to lean toward these now. Yeah, and people just love it because you don't have to have the camera smell like bacon right, or right. like that. All smells yeah. good out here. Yeah, and then um, some more cabinetry as well. So you can put a whole bunch more stuff out here than what about losing storage on the inside. Actually having the outdoor kitchen makes me want to put an outdoor kitchen in my house. <laughs> it's it's just so nice, nice to cook outside. It? Yeah. Big, big old patio. That's, yep. Ah, that's my dream. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna make it happen someday. Um, also, <laughs> you can put a TV out here so it is prepped for it, Dave. Yep. And so the TV that will come in the inside, you can actually take it off. Mm -hmm. Place it out here. Okay. It just plugs all in right here as well. So it makes it pretty easy. On the slide too. Right. So this is a slide. You do have outside speakers as well, uh -huh. so you can still listen to the radio and things. And I, we don't have the awning out, but I see an awning yeah, over there here. There is an okay. awning. It's all power. You do have an LED light strip under it, okay. and so you don't have to hang those dinky lights no more. Right. It comes with cool. it. Sweet. More ride steps. Uh, this guy does have the power jacks on it, so front and back. So two switches. Uh, one's up front for the front two jacks, and then you have one just like this in the back okay. uh, for the back two jacks. So power, you don't have to do that cranking or get the DeWalt drill out. Just right. hold the button, goes up and down. Awesome. Same with the tongue. So you do have a power tongue jack as well, standard. Okay. Great. Um, more ride steps. Uh, so lightweight. Uh, you lift them up just a little bit ago. Uh -huh. Super lightweight. Super and I'm easy. a wuss. <laughs> I, am, I have no muscle tone at all, and I lift them up there no problem. And it's my main way almost three-year-old can do it. Yeah. And they just fold up right inside. Um, as we open the door, we do see this COVID clean sticker. This is super cool, guys. So this is something that we offer uh, for free. We'll actually take a cleaner through the whole entire unit once it's uh, pre, does a pre-delivery inspection, also known as PDI. Um, we'll take it through uh, that process. We'll do the cleaner inside. We'll put this seal over the door so nobody can get into it until the customer unlocks it, opens the door themselves. Yeah. Awesome. So they Great. know it's clean and taken care of. All right, we're going inside. Let's go inside. Yeah, <laughs> see this makes me want to get back out to camping again. <laughs> it's back season now. It's yeah. going to be 67 today. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. I'm surprised all of us Ohioans are wearing shorts and I know. tank tops, you know? <laughs> I know, we're ready, man. We are ready. And so as we come in here, we do have the kitchen island with the big deep farmer sink in it. Uh, nice little stainless steel black uh, faucet too. Uh, so this will actually come around and you can spray. Yep. Just make sure everything gets cleaned. This goes right back in. Uh, we do have a nice little rack here for your coats, uh, jackets, raincoats, or whatnot, hats, keys, all right here for you. Yep. Accent lights on a three burner stove. You do have the oven as well. Uh, storage all the way around. So Puma now does the white cabinetry. But as we can, we will see here shortly that the island is like the accent brown color. Really, oh, yeah. really kind of makes the white pop a little uh -huh. bit. I really like that feature. Kind of make it more homey. Well, you've got you've got different colors. I mean, you've got all the colors that are here. Exactly. Are like in this, so right. everything matches. Even Just though matches. this is a different color than this, it still it fits. It exactly. looks good. Then right behind you, David, we do have a 11 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. So all electric. So it's. Heck of a lot bigger than your eight cubic foot gas electric refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So this is all 12 volt. Um, a lot of people get worried about that. So the cool, like especially if they're driving down the road, the cool thing is it's going to come with an inverter. Okay. So if you're plugged into your tow vehicle, your fridge is going to run. Nice, nice. We do have Put a pantry right here as well. So more dry goods storage. And then this is actually actually hiding something else in the bunkhouse, which moms are going to love. Okay. So we'll show that here in a second. As we come around, we do have the standard fold-out bed. So this is the regular jackknife. 
Now you can upgrade to a trifold if you want, or you can get theater seating. Okay. A lot of people go theater seating just because it's just a little bit more popular. Mm -hmm. uh, you do have a dinette. You do have the option to get table and chairs too. So if you do get the dinette, you do get tons of storage under the seats, and this will actually go onto a bed. Yeah. Great. Which is a big, pretty. You big know, it's, what's cool is you, you said you can. You have the option. You can go to rvwholesalers.com yeah. and like design this puma. Exactly. exactly. What you want. And there's a wonderful video on there. Featuring you. Yeah, it is a wonderful video. Just, the host how, is incredible. Just show you how easy it is. Yeah, it's Again, super simple. I can lift that. I have no muscle definition. I can get around on the, uh, on the uh, what do you call the it? The internets uh, or the Yeah, website. the internets, <laughs> the interwebs. I can get around on that at least to, uh, to customize my. Exactly. Uh, and if you guys don't want to do that, you guys can always call us and we can do it all for you. We'll go through the list of everything you want and select all the options and get you pricing that way too. Awesome. We do have. A nice entertainment center right in front of the seating area so you don't have to break your neck to watch TV. A lot of people don't like that. Right. So you do have a nice little setup here. Your electric fireplace, so this will actually produce heat. Take the chill out yeah. um, instead of using your propane for your furnace. Yep. You do have a little nook under here for shoes. If you have pets, I know people put their water dishes, dog food dishes, uh, your toys, everything that can go right under there. Kind of just get out of the way. And a nice little shelf here for maybe... Uh, CD player or DVD player or whatnot. Now this is Bluetooth as well, and you can hit a magical button and the sound goes outside. And it's it's great. <laughs> it's it's so nice to sit out there and listen. Then if we come inside here, so we do have a set of bunks. So we got a set of bunk over here and over here. This will actually lift up. Just how easy this is. So if you snatch it in over there, now you have a seating area. Mm -hmm. This will also fold out into a bed. Okay. okay. What's pretty cool about this floor plan is this, the closet. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a you decent don't, sized closet. You don't really see it, but in this floor wow. plan you do have it. A lot of moms want this mm -hmm. because they don't want the duffel bags so all over the place yeah. or whatnot. You know, right there, perfect, hang that's, on your clothes up. That's a great closet too. Yes, it's nice and deep so you can and, yeah, put yeah. stuff on the shelves. Yep, perfect. Yeah. Uh, with this floor plan, you do have an, a second AC goes inside the bunk. Okay. Just kind of have the floor plan set up. Uh, they move the main AC a little closer to the main, uh, have everything ducted into the main, um, and then the second AC go back here just for better airflow. Cool. It's a nice little thing there. You know, something we rarely talk about is the emergency yes. exit if you need to use it. And I just thought of this, and maybe it's common sense, but mm -hmm. it seems like something you would want yep. to teach your kids exactly. how to do it in case something went bad. So, super easy, okay? So this window will, so first off, what you guys want to do is pull this tab, mm -hmm. screen pops out, okay. okay? And then this will go all the way out. Oh, I'm not going to let go of it, okay. but the window will go all the way out so you can just jump out. Okay. Now, if you want to keep this window open, there's a little lip right there. Oh, it feels good right now. You feel that breeze coming nice in. Nice little that's nice. airflow, and it feels great. Yeah. Yeah. Just something to think about that yep. hopefully you'll never need it, and you probably will never need it. And it's a safety feature, it, so if you have bunkhouses like this, it's going to have it. Yeah. Uh, most of the time, you're going to have one in a master as well. Okay. So just in case you can't get out to your exit points. Right. Then we'll just walk out this way, David. We're going to swing around and go all the way up to the master. So I'm gonna let you Hold open on, the bathroom break, door because it's such a it's such a big vehicle. <laughs> it's a long walk from there to the there the is room. And so as we come in here, oh, you're gonna, we, we do have your bathroom. We gotta do your thing. Get, get in inside that so people know how. Again, I am six foot. I've got a, plenty of room above me. So even good size though people are a little bit tall, taller, you do uh -huh. have the skylight to give them more headspace. Right. And it's roomy. A lot of people worry about shoulder space. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about that. You don't yeah, feel claustrophobic. Look at this. Look at this, plenty of room. Great, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice little cabinetry as well in there. Yep. Nice little unclosed. It's pretty deep, too. Little place to hang a uh, hand towel. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. And then... And a uh, toilet roll dispenser, which I know you don't see in a lot of these. You don't see a lot. Now, a lot of times, they tend to come with it, but they allow the, the uh, customer... Set up. I'll decide where to put it. Decide where to put it. That's that's pretty smart. Now, as we come in here, uh, as I said in bunkhouse, you do have one in the master as well. Mm -hmm. Same aspect. Just okay. pump it all the way out. Cool. And then um, your master bed. You do have storage under here as well to put extra hanging clothes, hanging closets. 
you can access both sides of the bed. You know, as you can see, mm -hmm. you're on one, I'm on the other. If you have a CPAP, plug-ins on both ends, nice little shelves to put it. Phones. Yeah. What? Everything. Alarm clocks. If you don't use your cell phone, I know some people still use alarm clocks. <laughs> uh, what's, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> but this is, a, again, the 32BHKS. So wonderful, wonderful floor plan. Um, it is available. We just got it in, but I'm telling you guys, it's a Puma. It's a bunkhouse. It will not last long. What, uh, do we know what the, the price is on yeah, this? Yeah, so... Or I mean, should they call? They should just call okay. because we got some options on this. Like the electric power package, it can be different. You can change some things around. Uh, 36 foot, around 8,600 pounds. So F-150 can haul this. Awesome. Great. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. No I really appreciate problem. it. That is the Puma. Tell me again. 32. Let's say it quiet so it sounds like I'm saying. <laughs> the Puma. 32. That's not quiet. Okay, I'm sorry. The Puma. 32. 32. BHKS. B8. What? You got to say it louder. BHKS. <laughs> BHKS. <laughs> get on it quick. If you're thinking about it, give them a call here at RV Wholesalers. Okay, so... Uh, this they didn't have this one on the list. Was it on the list? I didn't think so. Palomino. Do we remember if Palomino was on the? It sounds familiar. Have we met? I never know what's going on. Palomino, the guy from the guy from uh, Gull Lake, had a Palomino. Billy. <laughs> All right. Are we walking through this thing or not? Do we? Do you know anything about the? Oh, tons. You know tons about it. We're just fake. Let's talk about the outside then. Uh, we've got <laughs> the. Uh, we've got a through storage. Yep. Tons um, of storage. Stab jacks. Stab jacks. Mm -hmm. Is that what those are? Yep. Power so that's where awning. you have to you have to do it yourself. Yeah, you got to crank them puppies. Power awning. Mm -hmm. Power awning with LED um, lights. Okay. I know that was impressive. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but this RV is Wi-Fi light ready. What's that even mean? It means it has Wi-Fi. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's go inside. <laughs> oh, you have got to be kidding me. It's Bill E. What's up, right? David? Is that... How hey. are you, my man? I'm, I'm good. I didn't... Wow, you found us. Hey, I told wow, you, you I'd... Found us. I yeah. told you I'd show up at RVW. <laughs> and I told you you didn't have to. But I said oh I would, and I am a man of my word. Uh, oh, well, excuse that's... me, I'm so rude. Hello, my name is Bill E. Yeah, David. David. Yeah, that's... I can, um, so... I can see the resemblance. Well, we, we need to actually... Uh, you know what? I'm actually kind of kind of good to see you, Billy. We yeah. need to teach him how to make campy pies. Campy pies, pies. yes, campy pies. Campy pies, man. Yeah. I'm not sure. Looking around, I really want much to do with either one of you, just to be honest. That makes sense, but I let's. You know what? I think, get into it. I think let's get the party started. <laughs> I'm, I'm out. We lost David. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> And the party started right there. See that? Just, okay. I can catch them all. Throw them all to me. I'll catch them all. We're going to do it. Well, I was just kidding, but go ahead. That was, we're going to do a text to win. Juggle. Juggle all of them? <laughs> two more. I can get you two more. Nope, that was not a good one. You know what? Okay. All right. You're making a mess, Tim. <laughs> all right. So uh, we're going to do a text to win. The winner gets... Uh, two of the water safe or water bottle safes these things are super cool excuse me i just chugged a bunch of pepsi um this is perfect for the beach it's it's about that time where folks are gonna be hitting the beach the cool thing is you take off the top and the bottom the bottom has a lid on it so you can put liquid in there you carry you put your goodies in there and then put this on top put more liquid on top here's here's the deal I say it every time. Everybody knows when you're at the beach that you're putting your valuables in your shoes and then you go into the ocean. Don't do that. That's, everybody knows. Everybody knows they're doing shoe, shoe robbing. So uh, two of these going to the 10th person to text the word WIN to 833-717-0327.
And don't be afraid to get it started. You can text. You can be the first one to text the word win, and then just keep texting the word win. And if you're the 10th person, you win two of these water bottles. So good luck to all of you. I will announce who that winner is uh, after I get over to the, I'm going to set that down right over there. Look, it doesn't even break when you drop it. Text word win to 833-717-0327. I'm going to head over here to, I believe, the XLR. Nope. To the Rockwood Ultralight. That's where I'm going. Uh, I'll meet you guys over there, and I'll tell you who won the bottles. Travel season is in high gear, and many of you are setting off on camping adventures and road trips. Now you can stay connected with the shows you love with Dish Outdoors. Watch live HDTV oh anywhere your adventure hey, takes much, you without Wi-Fi. Best of all, oh. it's easy to use. All you need is a portable satellite antenna like the Dish Tailgater Pro and a receiver from Dish Outdoors. Setup only takes a few minutes, and with pay-as-you-go programming, you only pay for the months you use. Hi, I'm Debbie Dunning, and whether I'm filming on location or just camping with my kids, all I need is the Dish Tailgater Pro and the Waller Receiver. You just plug it in, and you have your favorite shows within minutes. It's that easy, and no tools required. Before you head out on your next road trip, be sure to get Dish Outdoors and watch all your favorite RFD TV and Cowboy Channel shows wherever your travels take you. We on? Here's the deal. We get behind the scenes. <laughs> Both of us just ate a lot of food as fast as we can to get back here. I really faked it over there when I was uh, talking about the giveaway. I mean, there really was a giveaway, but the smile, I was kind of faking it because I'm feeling it now. We just had a lot of barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. We sure did. Both of us sat next to each other, eating as fast as we could, knowing we had to come back in here. So instead of, so here's what we're going to do. For the next 10 minutes, instead of walking through this RV, we're just going to go in and take a nap. And so we'll in have the recliners. The camera, yeah, we'll have the camera walk around. You, you give yourself your own little tour <laughs> through the thing. Actually, congratulations to Gail. She was our 10th winner. Gail, what is it? Han Kawaiik? Gail? Ant Kawaiik. Gail, you know who you are. You know who you are. Congratulations. You won those two water bottle safes. Use those. Keep your stuff safe. Ah, you want to introduce yourself to everybody? Hey, I'm Tim. I, yeah. I've been on here a couple of times, so yeah. it's good to see everybody's face again that continues to follow us, and uh, we welcome you back to the family to, yeah. to go through some of the you, newer RVs. You've been here some, like a year? Since 2019. 2019. So about a year. Awful, awful game. We don't because we don't count 2020. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. nobody will ever remember. Yeah. yeah. That year doesn't count. So we'll say about a year. I was close. All right. Let's talk about this Rockwood sure. Ultralight. So this is one of my favorite ones, and there's some significant reasons why. In a fifth mill wheel, it's kind of hard sometimes to get the length that you want to be able to stay within the state regulations at some of the campgrounds and stuff like this. Uh -huh. Well, this coming in under 30 feet. You're pretty much going to be able to meet that standard anywhere you go across oh, cool. America, okay. which is awesome for people that want a smaller, lightweight fifth mm -hmm. wheel, but still not sacrifice the quality of manufacturing, such as the Rockwood, right. who is known to be the number one selling camper in America for many years now. Yeah. Uh, so I'm excited to be able to show something like this. Uh, it gets a lot of interest throughout you know, the times that we're in there before we do shows and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So. And do you know uh, if this is available today? I believe this one is, yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. We want to start with back here. And the cool thing about it is you can get this for a payment under $300. That's nuts. For a fifth wheel camper. <laughs> yeah, especially a yeah. Rockwood fifth wheel camper. That's pretty amazing. Wow. So, but let's yeah. look at some of the standard features that okay. I like to show when I'm talking to customers and they come out. Of course, everybody likes nowadays the outside kitchen. They have a great outside kitchen with the Suburban uh, two burner stove here and you got your nice fridge, but they also supply you guys with some places for your pots and pans and you have plenty of space in there. It's not just like a couple inches. You actually got some room that you can put something in there uh -huh. instead of just saying, hey, we put your cabinet up there. Good luck. Right. You know? right. Uh, night, I like that they have the easy clean top out here that's not going to get you know rusted and, mm -hmm. and things of that nature. They, they really think about those things for the customer that, as they go on throughout the years of camping and stuff. You know, yeah. uh, How can we make it more durable? How can we make it more steady uh, throughout the lifelong process that they're going to have their camper? And I think Rockwood is always ahead of everybody when it comes to that. Yeah, so. and it's fun to cook out. It's fun to cook outside the back for sure. of your, your RV. I love it. Done got, it a couple times. They got a green awning. Uh, the LED lights are not on right now, but they got cool LED lights out front okay. that, to get the party going out here when you're ready to do so at night. It's pretty cool to have that kind of glow. Uh, the kids like it, whether you're entertaining you know, adults, but the kids think it's pretty cool as well. Right. Dual axle is nice. Um, you can also put your little uh, entertainment area out here. It's already got a place for your TV. 
It's all wired throughout, so it's all controlled throughout the one system with the one remote. So if you are entertaining out here, this is a nice little feature to have out here with the outside speakers and everything right up under the awning. Yeah. And you don't miss no space out here because this thing is huge. And why would you not entertain out here with all the right. all the possibilities? I want to show you a couple of things up here as well. I know. I was just walking up the steps to fool these guys. <laughs> <laughs> so the pass-through storage is for a smaller fifth wheel on something like this model. It's got a huge pass-through storage, so you're not losing any space to it, but they still provide you enough space. So if you're traveling, you know, cross-country and uh, several different locations at a time, mm -hmm. you don't want to have to worry about tripping over it up in your living area. This really provides that space for you to do that. It okay. doesn't take away from all that living space. Awesome. Uh, the other cool thing I like about it, it is generator prep. So, you know, you can always throw one in there if that's something you choose to do, if that's the type of camping you're looking to do. Uh, that's going to be already ready for you to do so. It's got the solar prep out here ready to go with your nice docking lights as well. And this does have automatic leveling. Oh, uh, nice. It's around the other side, okay. but it's it's already hooked up for you. So you want to go in? Sure. Why not? All right. Uh, you want to we'll go follow first? you? All right. Ooh, very light in here. Yeah. Which I like. Yeah, I do too. It, it kind of brightens the thing, the mood up a little mm -hmm. bit. I really like this furniture right here. It's it's placed well with an angle where you're not turning your neck. Yeah. Um, and, and it might be but, dangerous for both of us. I know. That's, I know. After eating. Oh my but gosh. But their fireplace and their whole setup here is out of the way if somebody is actually doing some cooking or eating over there or working at a workstation. This is still out of the way enough that uh -huh. uh, it has a straight on view so you're not like this watching the TV over there right. somewhere, which is my big complaint sometimes. This is nice. I yeah. thought that was the... Uh, like the recliner, it's not. It's like a back support. Yeah. You feel that? Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah, this is, this they're is good. And they're easy to clean off, too. Oh, here's the... Which is nice. Oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> Stay right there. I'll show the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm now, not moving. The other cool thing over here, which I like behind the TV, this is kind of a new thing that they're kind of doing. If you look up in here, there's a ton of storage back wow. there. Wow. And the TV's going to hide this, so it's kind of almost like a hiding space for you. Uh, behind your TV to utilize. So if you want to put a safe back there and mount it in there, yeah. it's out of sight, out of mind. Because by the time you and put there your, really is, I mean that's there's a lot of space. Yeah, I don't know if you I saw. I knew you up haven't seen there. this one before. Yeah, like that's that. crazy. Yeah, that's cool, right? Yeah, you've there's seen them with space, space behind there, but not like N that. Not yeah. like multi-tiered. Correct. Yeah. That's cool. Pretty cool. I like how they do that. And then your TV will cover it, so it just looks like it's yeah. hanging on a mount right here. Yep. That's your nice fireplace, which is going to put plenty of heat off in here on a chilly morning or in a cool evening. Uh, this thing right here, ducted AC all throughout, and as well heat. Uh, you got some extra storage up here if you need so, mm -hmm. if you need to put your DVDs, movie, whatever you do, you know, there's plenty of space to do that as well. Yeah. This one has the cool, I like this feature. So if you're traveling at night, trying to beat the traffic, and you need to sleep during the day. These had all every one of these windows in here comes with the uh, fold down blackout shades, which is an awesome feature to have, especially if you need to sleep during the daytime. Yeah. It's something that could become important, as you might know. Yeah, so. absolutely. I like the back of this. Another little, just a little detail. I yeah, like, that's the that thing looks, they do. They, they, cool. they always try to. If you want to show them, they always try to do a little bit extra. And, you know, moving forward every year, they try Let's to add here. something a little bit better. Take the advice from their customers, and I think that's why they continue to always lead mm -hmm. uh, the, in the front as they continue to manufacture terrific product. Right. Nice storage overhead. We've got plenty of corner space up in there. That does the same. Let's go on over here to the kitchen area. Good size microwave like you'd see at your house. I like the finish on the cabinets as well with the glass finish, but if you feel the quality in, of the wood, I mean, you know, what was you looking at? The Show Me the Money Award. Oh, who won that? Uh, you did. We I just were going to, yep, congratulate. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but you, you've won it. Good. Well, I'll leave it there. Or maybe I did. I don't know. We'll have to see about that one. <laughs> but they got a ton of space in here if you want to come over here and show them. You, I don't know how much more space you are going to need in the cupboard other than Come that. Come with, with the uh, saran wrap type stuff? I'll have to check. Okay. That well, might be an add-on. Add-on feature. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice but big uh, do, yeah. counter area. Yep. Plenty of space for dry good canned foods if you need to. Anywhere you go. And they have a nice magic. I like the Magic Chef brand that they use. Um, it's a quality brand. It's been around forever. Mm -hmm. Magic Chef. Everybody knows Magic Chef. So oh, yeah. Absolutely. You know, they're cooktops. Three burner cooktop on here. 
Very nice with the open flame. I like that as well, opposed to the conventional myself. But very nice. Take a look at the refrigerator for you. Some people like to take a look in here, see how big they are. Yeah. Again, good size. Yeah. Yeah. Everything I would need in a, in a camper this size. This is a yep. great couple camper fifth wheel that you're not looking to get some kind of huge camper, but you want a fifth wheel style to travel down the road. This is the perfect couples fifth this wheel camper. This is a camper. big couple, couples camper. Perfect though. Yeah. If you're, right. you've been in a travel, like a Rockwood mm -hmm. travel trailer for a while or something like that, and you're like, I don't just want to go a little bit bigger because we're going to do a little bit more highway traveling. Yeah. This is the best thing to start with, I believe, personally. Uh, after looking at all the floor plans, this is pretty awesome. Yeah, this is this is cool. Heading upstairs. Yeah, I do like that they have the aluminum sinks and they have the nice little covers and they split it up. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's nice to have the open farm style sink, it, but you know people do have preferences and I do kind of like having both sides yeah. myself so that I can kind of. I think I'm with it. you. I'm yeah. the same way. I think I like the way the farm looks. It's cool. I like this better though. As far as I like the way it looks, yeah. but I like the function of this having two separate. That's well, because we're getting old. We need, yeah. you know, wash, dry. <laughs> exactly. Now kids, yep. all they know is put it in the dishwasher. Right. So. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So we're going to go up into the bathroom area. It sneaks into the bedroom also through that pocket door. Corner shower? Corner shower up here. Let me get him in here to show him real yeah, quick. Yeah, I'll step. You can stand in there so in people the can get an idea. So See, you, he, he gets it. Tim gets it. I stand in here so you know. Bla uh, Lane made fun of me. He's like, why are you always standing in the showers? That's a good way like, to so reference. So people know yes, six feet tall. Yeah, exactly, and there's still plenty of room yeah. Yeah. up well, there with this. the this skylight. Above my head. I'm glad you do it. It helps me. Yeah. It makes my job easier. See? Absolutely. Lane doesn't even know what he's talking about. I dig on Lane. <laughs> so this one has a place for any kind of uh, towels you might need, any of your linen, which is nice because not everybody thinks about that in, in the bathroom areas at times. And they just kind of slap a mirror on the wall for you mm -hmm. and say, hey, good luck. And right. This one, they don't do that. They actually have a medicine cabinet for you with a nice light feature if you want to come in and take a look. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty cool. I do like that more. Where I'm saying I do like that more closed, though. Look at that. There's Mr. Handsome. <laughs> so, stupid. I say stuff, and then I think, why did you say that stupid stuff? But also... The uh, aluminum sink in here is nice also. Uh, I kind of like it. It's easier to clean, I think, and it doesn't yeah. stain. And, and it's, you know, the fixtures that you'll see on here are like you'd see in somebody's house. Right. So really nice. I'm on, you can go this way. I'll go this way into the bedroom, and we'll, we'll meet in the middle. Cool. Sounds good. So uh, while we're doing this, don't forget, if you have any questions, let us know. Chat below or wherever the chat is, and we will answer your questions to make sure everything you ask gets answered. If we happen to miss your question, feel free to call these guys. They would love to talk to you. Um, we also have a big finance secret coming up that if you're thinking about buying an RV today or anytime, this is a secret you need to know. But uh, this is a good size. Yeah. I like, I like the fact this looks like a queen. Yeah. And which gives you more space to stand around it. I think you know it's awesome. Saying? Yeah. So they... They've done a good job for like CPAP machines or whatever. I have to have a nightstand somewhere because I always have to have my water or mm -hmm. my cell phone, whatever it is yeah. that you are messing around with you before you finally else. lay down to, for right. the night. But they have all your outlets and your charging points right here for you so you're not wasting, you know, all in the one. Let me get a six plug. Yeah, whatever. exactly. That ain't no fun. Uh, but they do have dresser drawers mm -hmm. on the side you can utilize uh, all the way down here. And then also on this one. You got a nice size like closet. It does look deeper than I thought it would be. Yeah, for sure. And they're nice. So you can definitely put a hanging bar in here, which it already has one uh, on here. But mm -hmm. if you didn't like this style, you could do the rail type. Right. These are the kind of hook in. The little little holes. Yeah. Some people like them, some people don't. But it's too, too easy to put a little cool. hanging thing. But plenty of space in here and some extra drawers right here for, for clothes as well. So you can have separate areas for his and hers or hers and hers or his, whatever it right. is. And that goes through, that's a slide that goes, I didn't notice, it goes into the yeah. into the bathroom? Mm hmm Okay, yeah. So a very nice feature here having this uh, full-size closet almost and a smaller fifth wheel because a lot of times you sacrifice that yeah. when, they, when you do things like that. Yep. Some space underneath. Yeah, space underneath as well mm -hmm. uh, for storage. If you need extra storage space, they you can put that under here, just some, get some boxes out of the way if you need to or, or whatever it is that you might need to do. And what is that white... 
That's an extension to the countertop. So you can hook oh, that wow. extension onto the countertop and make uh -huh. it come out okay. a little farther. I don't think I've seen an extension to the co uh, other than the ones that were already attached to it. Yeah, so let's go out here and I'll show you. Yeah, huh? Because one time me and you flipped one up a few years back and we couldn't get it down. No, I know. I've seen it the ones that flip. Yeah. <laughs> do you remember that? Yeah, I do that. I don't remember It was the first time one. we ever did it. <laughs> right. And we and were, were like both, looking at each other like, like... People were watching all like, across the country. Okay, and then... <laughs> <laughs> but no, I haven't yeah. seen one that stores someplace yeah, else. Yeah, and it just you see these hooks? Yeah. It just hooks right okay. in there and then it flips. It's way better than what we tried to do. Yeah, and it looks a lot bigger. It looked like it came out to about oh, here. Oh, it's so that easy, That was a big countertop. It's a pretty cool feature to have in here. So, any questions on this, please feel free to reach out to us. Yep. My extension's 150, and I look forward to speaking to anybody that has any questions moving That's forward. Right. Absolutely. Perfect. Thanks for walking us through. Did we talk about the price on this? Um, the price on this one is $38,954. Okay. You can probably get a payment under $300 on something like this. Awesome. I know it's down there also. I just like to know oh. this kind of stuff. So, very cool. Yeah, that's... Uh... That's a good couple's coach. Yeah, I like uh, it. So uh, I'm going to talk about finance secrets. You know about the finance secret? I know a couple of them. I don't know if I'm going to talk about it or David's going to talk about it. I'm going to throw it over to him, and maybe yeah. I'll be with him. Maybe he'll tell me to stay away from me, David. We'll find out. <laughs> secrets not only in the RV industry but uh, boat and also the automobile industry and that is when you do a loan with a dealer the bank pays the dealer for you doing a loan and it, yeah you did hear that right uh, it's it's why we have a finance discount right so if you do a loan through one of our banks the bank's going to send us a check we give that to you in the form of a finance discount uh, every dealer gets them every dealer denies it uh, if you ask them, most will say they don't, but they do. We stumbled upon it uh, years ago. We had customers that would show up, and um, the customers uh, didn't finance. You know, we didn't offer it back then, so they would, they'd would they be going through their local bank or credit union, and what would happen is they'd get here, and they'd have a letter with them instead of a check, and the letter would say, you know, when we get the title, you'll get a check, basically, right? The problem was uh, our floor planning bank or the bank we used to pay for the trailers from the factory wouldn't let us accept that letter. So, you know, it's kind of kind of rough telling people we can't accept the letter and they'd have to head home either somewhere here in Ohio or to another state, uh, which made it even worse. You know, either way, it's bad. You see a family leave very upset, of course. So we started, you know, informing people. That really didn't help much. So we started offering financing just so that we could keep that from happening. We do the first deal with the bank, right? They fund the loan, send us the money for it, and we were quite shocked. We got a, a good bit more money than we thought we would. Called the bank and said, you know, you made a mistake. It's it's this amount over. And uh, the bank said, no, no, that's that's your participation. That's what we pay you for doing the loan. Well, again, we, we were shocked, right? Well, we immediately then thought, you know, if we give that money to the customer, more people finance with us, less people show up with a letter, less people are going to leave upset without an RV, right? Um, it's a win-win. So that's what we started doing. It's our finance discount. You'll hear dealers sometimes talk bad about it and they'll say, RV wholesalers makes you finance if you buy through them. No, we don't. We don't make you finance if you come through us. But we give you an additional discount if you do because the bank gives us money, we give it to you. Uh, so that's that's the secret. Same thing happens in the car industry. Same thing happens in the boat and the ATV, you know, power sport industry. Um, every time I buy a car, every time I buy a truck, I always say the same thing to the dealer. Uh, if I buy from you what and finance, what kind of extra discount do I get? And I always negotiate it in there. You should be able to negotiate anywhere from two to four percent off your um, off the price of the car you're buying, the RV you're buying, whatever it is. If they say that the bank doesn't do it, don't do business with them. They're just they're just not being honest with you. Go somewhere where they will be honest with you. Uh, in addition to that, just recently, probably about the last year or so. Uh, we've started doing business uh, with the RV Insurance Group. It's really cool. Uh, they have 200 companies that they can get insurance through, right? I'm sure whoever you have insurance with, they can get insurance through them. The really cool thing is, the different thing is, the RV Insurance Group is not loyal to a company, right? 
You know, I had a claim one time after being with an insurance company for over a decade, and the insurance company uh, wasn't wasn't trying to treat me fairly. The agent wasn't helping me. He he made it very clear to me that you know he can't lose that insurance company. That's that's his whole way of doing business. So he took their side instead of my side. We don't agree with that. I've seen it in service numerous times. I've been in service the last two years here, and I see customers that have an insurance claim, and their agent doesn't back them up. It backs up the insurance company. shouldn't be that way. That's what's different about the RV Insurance Group. Uh, they back you up, right? 200 companies, they're not loyal to those companies. They're loyal to you. The other thing is we've thrown our people behind it. So if you have an insurance claim, you need repairs done, whatever it is, we also use our nationwide service network to find people to do the work. But we also fight on your behalf to make sure that you get exactly what you should get and that you're treated very, very fairly. But again, it's not the norm, you know. So again, RV Wholesalers is out there changing things and making sure that the right thing's done. If you have a claim, it should be paid. Not only should it be paid, it should be paid in the amount that's stated. And I'll give you the number one example that you really need to watch out for. You get some kind of hole in your roof, whether by a tree, uh, whatever it is, rock off the highway, doesn't matter. You get a hole in the roof. The insurance company is going to tell you to patch your roof, okay? You cannot patch your roof. If you patch your roof, no one wants to buy it. We don't take trades if they have a patch on them because no one wants a patched roof. You have to get the whole roof replaced. But the insurance company is going to say no. Your agent's going to back them and say, oh, that you can't expect them to replace the roof. No, you can't expect them to replace the roof because the loss of value of your of your RV with a patched roof is terrible. It's, it's unbelievable. So, again, how's the RV insurance group different? They fight for you. They're loyal to you. They're not loyal to a company. The other thing is they don't cost anymore. You're going to see that your insurance is going to be the same amount or maybe even less. It's never going to be more than what you're paying now. And a lot of times they can even stay with the same company, just switch the account over to them. So, you know, do yourself a favor. If you're not buying from us, demand from the dealer that you get part of that finance again, two to four percent. Uh, if you're not buying from us, you can still call these guys. Phone number is 937 303 5699. 937 303 5699. Uh, get your insurance through them. They're going to fight for you, make sure that the bill's paid, and make sure you're treated fairly. Uh, any questions, always give us a call, too, 877-877-4494. Make sure you call your friends, family, ask them to watch. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page. We sure would appreciate that, and follow us on Facebook. Uh, next, we're going to go to a walkthrough of an XR Boost. Uh, Tim's going to lead us through it. Again, give us a call. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate you. There you go. There's the uh, the big finance secret. So hopefully now you go in, whether you're buying here or someplace in your neck of the woods, you go in prepared knowing what you're looking for. Uh, and maybe you're looking for an XLR Pro or Micro. <laughs> I just micro saw the boost. RO yep. and I, I, I screwed it up. Micro, micro boost. boost. Yeah, it's actually the 27 LR LE. Uh, it's a compact size. It's not humongous, uh -huh. but it, it still sleeps up to five people, which is kind of nice. Right. Uh, so it's a little, well. it's a teeny little toy hauler. I don't know, it's 33 feet long. But it is? Yeah, I mean, all together, oh, okay. but yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's I don't just, know how small we just it came is. out of that huge thing. Right, it's just not mega, which right. is still pretty nice. I'll show you when we go through there, you know, it has a lot of space, even though it doesn't seem like it's a big bulky thing while you're driving down the road. So that's not always a bad thing right. as well. Right. Um, it will fit your, your, your typical golf carts and things of that nature, smaller side-by-sides, whatever it is, your motorcycle that you bring. But you also still have a place to sleep, your children, and you guys as uh, adults will have your own separate bedroom. Yeah. And it has all the amenities you're going to need for your basic toy hauler if you want to get away for the weekend and go out and have fun. Cool. So let's go over some of the different features that they provide. Uh, they do have pass-through storage, so it makes it nice to be able to get through on each side uh -huh. as you bring your lawn chairs or whatever stuff that it is that you do when you go camping, your slip and slide, whatever it may be. They, you just shove it in here, and you can get through it on both sides, uh, which is really convenient. It always comes with your power tongue jack on these, standard feature. 
huge awning on the outside, which I like how they do their lights on the poles out here because it provides a little more light and it kind of yeah. almost shoots it backwards okay. instead of shooting it out away from you, which is nice. I like their awning size that they put out here. It pretty much covers most of the coach for you. Right. So you have maximized entertainment space out here when you're doing stuff like that. Perfect. Double axle on not a huge toil hauler is huge. You're going to want that. You have to have that when you're hauling stuff. But you can still entertain out here. It has your entertainment area where you can hook your TV. It has all your plug-ins with your outside speakers that is all controlled from the main entertainment center on the inside as well, all with the one remote. It has solar power ready option if you get into that and that's something you're doing as boondocking. Sometimes toy hauler uh, customers, that's a big thing that they're looking for. So this is solar ready for you if you choose to do that route. It does have the patio kit on it, which is a pretty popular feature these days on some of these toy haulers. It's a nice added feature for space, uh, just to put like a table out here to sit mm -hmm. and eat on. Or, or if you have dogs, it's nice for them to be able to get outside and kind of hang out. In the I sun. love these patios. It's a good tanning spot or if you want to, whatever right. you want to do. Yep. So very nice. It's got the LED lights out here as well. So at, at night, it kind of makes it look kind of nice out here. Mm -hmm. If you have a little table and you're out playing cards with friends, yep. whatever you might be doing, you're going to have that. And it is backup camera ready as well. Cool. Let's take a cool look inside. on the inside. Yeah. Oh, and it also has the cool dog leash thing out front. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Sweet. All right, coming in here, like I said, it's a very open floor plan, which is what a lot of people are looking for in toy haulers so they can maximize as much space as they can. Mm -hmm. But both of these fold down into a bed. You can have one major bed. You can have two separate beds, however you want to do it. Uh, which is really nice, I think, that to be able to have that extra sleeping capacity in a, in a toy holder that is not humongous. Yeah. And they still provide spaces if you do have children to, to be a place to sleep. Got the table that slides in between if you want it to make into like a dinette area where everybody can sit and have supper together as well. That's good. And that, the cool thing about that is you can take it all the way outside and have a table outside. Whatever you want to do with it, it's really functional right. for the space that they've provided. I'm going to go outside. I haven't stood on one of these yet today. No? I, this is, I just, I don't know. Something about this I just really, really like. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I would, if I had a toy hauler, I would have to have this cool this, yeah. gate stuff. Yep. I wouldn't look cool without it. <laughs> I'd fall off. Yeah. yeah, I'd want one for sure. Yeah, right. you never know. Yep. Nice toy hauler for, especially for the price. You can get these at twenty-five, right around twenty-five thousand dollars, and a payment in the low two hundreds. So that's, I think that's crazy. Yeah, they do provide you a lot of storage space up in here in case you, whatever it is that you bring, you know. Uh, blankets, things of that nature. There's a ton of space right there to do so. You got some nice overhead cabinetry to put dry goods in if you need to do that. Mm -hmm. If you're packing for a week or whatever, you do have a place to put that stuff. Easy to get access under here if you need to put cleaning supplies out of the way. Plenty of little bit of storage here that they provide. You also got your oven, so if you need to ch cook some chicken wings, you're good to go. Yeah. You got your, <laughs> you got your three. Chicken wings and cookies. That's right, man. This is going to be the name of my next album. <laughs> is it? Yeah, be, chicken wings and cookies. I will buy it. If, if you do that, I will buy it. <laughs> three stop. Okay, I'm not, you got me messed up now. Three burner cop, top stove made by Furion, which I really like Furion. They've been around forever, and you know they make quality product. Fury and refrigerator as well. Looks. Yeah, nice size refrigerator. If you want to come over here and show them the inside feels, of the refrigerator. It's, it's cold. already cold, and we yeah. haven't had it on that long. Ow, my funny bone. Oh, did you pinch it in the... No, oh, I oh. hit it on that. Ouch. You do got a microwave as well, so if you need to just heat a few things up, you got the capability of doing that if you don't feel like cooking as well. And walk through the bathroom, I'm Yeah, this one goes all the way through. So through. This one has the huge corner shower, though, so which is really cool. Um, if I can get this off. But it's got a nice space in there. I'll let you again. go in there and move into again, the bedroom. Just so you know, there you go. Six feet tall. Yeah. Got room because of the skylight. Skylight, I got the word right this time. Keep calling it sunlight. Oh, do we have a special guest? Mm -hmm. I hit it again. Do you have a special yeah. guest? Right here. You, I, uh, I just couldn't stand and not be around you any longer. I, I get that. I get that. I hear that from a lot of folks. We're going to move into the bedroom <laughs> real quick. So it is passed through, the bathroom is passed through to the bedroom, as you can see, but you have a ton of space in here. When you get in here, it doesn't look like it when you first step in, but you do. If you look over here, you got a whole, can you see over in here, the cabinets area? You got a whole place for, you know, if you need to put your supply, whatever it is that you bring that you need out of the bathroom essentials for you and your family. They provide you a place to do that, which is awesome. You do have the medicine cabinet behind you as well uh, with the nicer 
uh, upgraded sink, not the acrylic plastic look that they have in here. Yeah. Hey, Plenty Tim. of storage in here. And room on either side, mm -hmm. not squeezing You can in. get around in this yeah. room. Yeah. That's what I like about this is that I'm not like... Right. <laughs> oh, they got plenty of room in here, <laughs> but not really. But this one you do, yeah. and it's nice to be able to do that. You don't feel like claustrophobic in these. You got your charging ports up here for your phone if you need to, or whatever it is uh -huh. that you need a USB port. They make sure you have it, but you also have your outlets, your 110 outlets on each side right. for whatever you might need for your capabilities of sleeping or something of that nature. Uh, but also have nice size, deep size closets. Yeah, I saw that. That's if you need to put some stuff in there, some shoe boxes, whatever it is that you need, there's plenty of space to do that and still hang some clothes up. Yeah. With some nice overhead storage in here all the way through. Great. So looks good. Yeah. Under under three hundred, you said? Yeah, two seventeen a month or something like wow. that around that. Dave and Tim, we had a question about how many tie downs there are. I so, count one, eight. two, you count eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think mm. you're right. Eight. Yeah. Yeah, somebody was asking because it, it's pretty six, wide open, really. Yeah, it's eight. Right, yet six back here and then yeah, two, two up here. way yeah. up to the front eight. there. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. So, uh, moving on to. Coming up very soon. Is it coming up right now? Am I walking to it right now? Yep. Okay. All right, I'm going to throw to David. He's going to talk about bill pay. And then we've got a class A coming up. Of course, you don't want to miss, especially if you've been waiting for Class A's. So, David, he's right over my shoulder. I'll throw it to him. Hey, guys. Uh, I want to talk about our RBW bill pay. Uh, a lot of people are... It's still on me. There you go. Now, now take it away. Okay. A lot of people are, uh, like with the Nationwide Service Network, you know, what do I need RVW bill pay for? Uh, very simply, again, talking to our customers all the time, we had a customer call one time, and he said, hey, thanks for finding a place, you know, to repair my trailer. While we were out on the road, I appreciate it. But he said, the problem is, then you, you ruined the trip. It was kind of kind of shocks you a little bit, so you're trying to figure out what do you mean we ruined the trip. But to the, he went on no, to say no. that the, the repair costs over $400, and the place was happy to do the repair, but they weren't happy to do it for the factory because the factory was very slow in reimbursing them. So they were worried about him taking the trailer and they not being paid. So he had to pay the bill, right? He had to come up with that money out of his pocket, and he said that took up the, most of our spending money on the trip. Uh, so, you know, yeah, great, we got it repaired, but we still didn't have any money to go do anything then. So at that moment, you know, we got to talking about it. Never, never dawned on us. We decided, you know, we got to do something about this. So we came up with uh, RVW Bill Pay. And what it does is while you're uh, under warranty, traveling out on the highway, you need a repair done, we find someone to do it for you. Most places will not do it as warranty, as crazy as that sounds, right? So you get the repair done, you call us, we call the place doing the repair, we pay over the phone with a credit card, you go and you camp, we fight the factory then for the money. We take you out of the middle of it, and you shouldn't be in the middle of it, right? But it's a very common thing in the RV industry when people are on the road. The dealer uh, that didn't sell to them doesn't want to repair it, and cover the cost and then fight with the factory. So again, we pay the bill over phone with credit card and we fight with the factory. So we call it RVW Bill Pay. Uh, people absolutely love this, especially people that travel. They love it. They bought numerous units from us because of this. It's a very, very valuable thing for our customers and what it does is protect your vacationing money while you're vacationing. I also want to discuss real quick, uh, we've had a couple of people ask about what does it mean that your partner's with Ohio State? And, uh, you know, it's something that uh, we're very proud of. Uh, we love Ohio State. You know, we're, it's a big part of our family. Uh, myself, my brother, my sister all graduated from Ohio State. My oldest just graduated from Ohio State. Uh, our second child and my wife and I is currently attending Ohio State. So, you know, there's a lot of Buckeyes in the family. And, uh, you know, I always tell people, even, even if you hate Ohio State, you have to admit, they do a nice job. You know, they give an incredible education. Their sports are always top notch. Uh, it's just a really good place. Well, Ohio State's very, very, very picky with the people they partner with, incredibly picky. And uh, we went through a, a, a little over two year, almost three year process of uh, becoming a partner with Ohio State. Uh, technically, we're official sponsor of Ohio State Athletics. In order to do that, there's a lot of uh, background stuff they go over. How do you treat your customers? Do you pay your bills, right? They look at your BBB rating, all kinds of stuff. Long story short, we're the first RV dealer in the state that's ever made the cut, and we're very proud of that. You know, we work very hard to 
have an incredible reputation, take care of our customers, and do the right thing every day. And what this relationship with Ohio State tells you, even if you hate the Buckeyes, it tells you that we're a place that is um, of high character and quality, and, and we do the right thing. Uh, and again, we're you know we're very proud of our staff that we were able to make that cut, first RV dealer in the state of Ohio or anywhere in the country to make that cut. And it is a, a true uh, reflection of our staff, how amazing they are, how hard they work, and what a wonderful job they do and how they take care of people. Uh, but again, that's our uh, partnership with Ohio State. That's RVW Bill Pay. If you guys have any questions at all about RVW Bill Pay, about the Nationwide Service Network, um, Buckeye Service Guarantee, any of the things that we offer, please give us a call, 877-877-4494. Uh, also, if you've seen an RV that you like, we have a little sale going on today, which is unheard of in the RV industry. No one's running sales because no one can get products. But again, we're always trying to do the best thing for our customers. Give us a call and take advantage of that. Uh, as one of the largest dealers in the country, we're also constantly getting product. We're getting units built quicker than other dealers. We're getting stock built. We're getting a lot of retails built. Uh, so, again, you know, give us a call. Let us take care of you. We really do appreciate the business. We really do appreciate you watching. Again, please get your family and friends on here. Uh, and let us know if there's something else you want us to talk about or questions you have. You can communicate through YouTube, uh, Facebook, and also, again, give us a call. Appreciate you guys watching. I'm not sure where we're going next. Where are we going next, guys? had somebody bring us some um, bean boozled bean boozled now if you know bean boozled we played it here before where they've got like you'll get like a white uh, jelly bean and it's either coconut or spoiled milk these are all just um, spicy yeah, like fiery Reaper. five challenge you want to you ready to try one? Oh no never never you gotta try one no this is the one time where being the boss is really gonna pay off for me. <laughs> I feel like there's no possible way he's gonna do it I'll try one <laughs> Oops, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy oh, to watch you try a couple of them. Though. Actually, it kind of terrifies I think you have me. To shoot the whole bag. Yeah, you wish. It, it, it does kind of terrify me. They're all individually wrapped. All right, yeah, Tim, let me hand this to you because we're gonna we're actually gonna do that here soon. But Blake is right there. We'll probably do it with Blake here, real soon. Can you see him? Where's Blake? I see Mike. Uh, Mike, will you try the spicy bean boozled? All right, we're gonna make this happen, folks. I'm gonna put Mike. I just put gum in. Come on, oh, you want my gum? It's wrapped up. All right, so come on in, Blake, you coming in? You getting, you getting mic'd up? You can have one jelly bean. No, I can't, I can't. That's gonna clean your entire system out. All right. so I had a couple of jalapenos. So is it, what, just me and Mike are the only men here? You're the yeah. only man. Yeah. Right, I'm okay with it. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we're okay with that. Are you coming in? All right. that would work. All right, let's uh, open it up here. It's, it's tough to, they got them each individually His hands open. Are clean. He washed them at like nine o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, All right, I want that orange one. You want the orange one? The orange one is habanero, which is no, the second hottest. To, yeah, take that orange the one then. Carolina Reaper. No, the Reaper her? is not going to my body. Well, yeah, the, uh, the <laughs> Carolina Reaper would be that hot one right there. You want to try it? You, there's two of them. I'll try take one if you try one. Okay, 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 All right. Okay. Which one's which? Uh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Do not miss All right, that. So the, the dark red one. <laughs> about to be bad, isn't it? You ready? <laughs> Your uncle's choking over there. Oh, about yeah. to die. <laughs> oh, man. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no, he says. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you better go get That's some, pretty warm. You better, <laughs> that's warm. You're you all right? Get some sugar. 
It's, gonna, it's hotter than I thought. There's going to be a line outside the bathroom here in about 10 minutes. Holy moly. Yeah, spicy stuff's starting department to give me the hiccups. Blake? Wow. Oh, no way. You want to try, try one? The green, oh, no. Try the green, green one's the, the least. Really no, the second least. Oh, no way. No, thank you. So oh, my gosh. Was hot? Uh, no, he had habanero. Oh, Sriracha is the least hot. Okay. Mm, that's, yeah, that's warm. Oh, you, you got a terrible a look you on your face. next to hottest one. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, right. I'm good right I'm, now. I'm good right now. Thank I'm you. Just keep that nearby. Enjoy your walk. Tour. All right. Thanks, guys. You, here, you want anybody want to take this for me, and I'll come back to it. All right, Blake. You ready to walk through? <laughs> We're ready to walk through. You, you all right? All right, Blake. While they're walking over there, look. I'm a magician. That didn't even go in my mouth. I'm not stupid. Oh. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Come oh, on, you're man. on my side. I'm on your side. That's oh, all right. shoot. They're over there watching the camera, watching the screens. <laughs> I don't think they pay attention. Okay, so good. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so look how easy this is. Watch. Ah, it's hot. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so awesome. All right, let's talk about this. So let's talk about this Winsport 35M Class A motorhome. So the bus front. Uh-huh. Uh, this, is, this is cool. It's beautiful. Um, have you ever driven one? No. Super easy. <laughs> well, you know what's funny is... We shot some stuff uh, for, I think, the Christmas version or the Christmas episode of this. And the mom of the little boy and girl that my wife babysits for, mm -hmm. they all came out. Her and her husband and her kids came out to shoot some stuff. And she drove around a big parking lot in this for a while to get oh. footage of it. And she's like, oh, that wasn't, that wasn't tough at all. Easy. I mean, obviously, she wasn't out on the street, but still, right. it's a tight little par it's a big right. parking lot, but there's tight spots. So uh, No, pretty easy. As you see, we do have plenty of storage here. Exact same thing on the other side. Um, as we walk over here to this end, we have more storage. So down here, over here at the rear end, plenty of stuff. You got yourself a nice little water port right here. Or yeah. LP disconnect, I'm sorry. This is, this is nice. <laughs> it's very, very nice. Now watch your head when you bend over here. It's gonna crack your head almost yeah. like I almost did. Um, as we see, we do have an outside TV. We have more plugins right here. So maybe if you want to plug in an additional TV, you know, you want to go big. Um, and then sound bar as well. Yeah. Let's come inside. Oh, it's so cool. So nice. Very, very nice. Yeah. Oh, I dig the cabinets. Look at the cabinets. Like Kinda, the... Almost like that rich look. Yeah. Very, very nice. Yeah. And then your dinette, you do get with this guy. You also get a nice little pull-out sofa, too, with seat belts. So you get seat belts in the dinette as well. Uh -huh. A lot of people worry about that. Now, a lot of people worry about getting seat belts. Actually, you can do on here. You used to not be able to get that on that side. Okay. But now you can. Big plus. Um, a lot of questions I do get, can we add even more seat belts? You can't. Okay. So just because of safety things. Mm -hmm. You know, safety means, well, you can get more. It's like a law or okay. some, something around those lines. I mean, they probably checked it out in some way or another yeah. and realized that a certain amount is maybe, I don't know if it's maybe too much pressure on, on there. Oh, could yeah. be, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's, there's something there. Too much there's, tension, too much pressure. There's science like behind it, I promise. Right. Your 12 volt refrigerator. Yeah, God, this is nice. Which is nice. And then plenty of space yep. here. You got your oven, you got your cooktop. And what's pretty nice down here is nice little drawer. Uh -huh. Kind of match it with the oven, kind of matches all the way down. Right. Which is pretty nice. Your microwave, a big microwave. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, by the way, don't anybody chat and tell them that I didn't eat that jelly bean because they'll see it if you chat that. So don't <laughs> chat because I'm afraid they're going to come in and make me eat the jelly bean. So don't tell them. <laughs> you do get a fireplace with this model too. Your electric yeah. heater, which is really nice. As we come in here. Oh, you got two it? bathrooms or a bath and a half bath in this? Bath and a half. Wow. Which is very nice. You got a linen just, closet right yeah. there behind you, too. Mm. This, this is nice. This is very nice. A little medicine yeah, This is a very popular floor plan, too. This is a 29M. Very, very popular. As we come in through here, we have a more linen closet. Yeah. Yeah, it's adjustable. Yep, adjustable. Uh, Take that out. Real quick, not necessarily related to this RV, but yeah. we got somebody asking if, um, what, what is the name, Tim? Escarza? Can you get the RV insurance group even if you don't buy from here? Can you buy? Yeah, so if you actually get, we offer insurance. You get on our website, you can get a quote, everything. Okay. We offer anything and everything. In fact, it can cool. be cheaper than your personal. Oh, wow. So, which is pretty nice. You do have awesome. storage under that TV. Lift up. They'll lift up. Yeah, look at just that. Just like that. That's cool. 
king bed. This is a slide, so this will come in. Plug-ins on each end with a little bit of shelves just in case you have a CPAP or, or things like that. As we come in here, we have more of a closet. This table will go up front, and I'll show you that here in a second okay. where it'll go. We can go up front as well. And then when I sneak out of the way back through here, we all can exactly. see the, the full, bath. full bath. All right, and I'm going to... I don't think anybody's teased me yet about getting into every shower. <laughs> What's your thing? Right. You gotta do it. Again, if you're just tuning in, I'm six foot. Plenty of room in this one. Plenty of room. Wow, this is, this is not, it's very, this very is nice. nice. You actually get two of, ACs of on this unit. Two ACs? Two ACs. Now, Winsport comes pretty much fully loaded with everything. There's a couple select options you can get. Um, but you're pretty much going to get it here. You also have the pull-down sprayer as well. Uh -huh. The split sink. As we see right here, this is where that table goes. Yeah. So where you're driving, you can have you know, a table maybe for extra cups or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then the person who's not driving can sit here, play on their tablet or yeah. book or laptop. And then ladies, make sure that your toenails are painted because you have a little window down here. <laughs> <laughs> People driving by can see it or my little dog spot. That's the, I hear, I get feedback from a bunch of customers. Their dog loves to sit there and look out the window. Really? That makes sense. That makes total sense. Nice big flat screen TV right here as well. Now, does it have the backup camera it installed? Does. And yeah. side view. So if you're turning your turn signals, it's all going to pop up right here. Okay. This will actually come down and be another bed. Yeah, I saw that because I saw the uh, saw the hooks for the for, ladders here. For the here. ladder, yeah. exactly. Now, you do get privacy uh, curtains as well all the way around. Each person gets their own fan while they're driving down, and you even get more cabinetry space up here. Yeah. There's tons of it in this guy. Um, almost there is asking, I forget what he's asking, Tim. Oh, is it gas or diesel? This is actually gas. Okay. So you know how many miles per gallon? 10. Okay. Roughly, it's kind of around here, it's the V8s. Yeah. So, they're new V8s, they used to be V10, now they're V8. Um, here, we're not going to carry any diesel pushers except for that Super Sia by Nexus. Uh -huh. So, we're going to all carry all gas. Okay. Um, which, a lot of people like that too. We can get pretty big, but it all depends on kind of what you're wanting. Okay. The slides and everything, this all works off a touchscreen panel. It's right here behind the microwave. Um, you get a generator right. standard, you get solar, the whole nine yards. Very, very nice unit. Sweet. Now this guy's could probably be around probably 106 or so. Okay. Um, and then they got the the price down at the bottom. Yeah, underneath. price down at the bottom. I got I covered somebody for this unit, so probably <laughs> over here. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> I think it's down here somewhere. Yeah, down here. Um, and then if you want to order one, it's just a five thousand dollar deposit. With the motor homes just a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but it all comes off the price because it's part of your down money. Right. So give us a call and get this guy on order for you. Okay. Um, we got somebody else asking. Uh, so if you get a broken window mm -hmm. while it's in your driveway or while you're driving yep. down the road, it is covered by the RV insurance group. It would be covered. So oh. give us a call. We got our own advocate department and everything else. Give us a call. Mm -hmm. We want to take care of you, everything. Yeah. And even under the manufacturer's warranty, as David was talking about earlier for RVW bill pay, uh -huh. no money's coming out of your pocket. Right. We're doing it. That's impressive. I saw some people really, I think a Mark, I think Mark said he really liked well, the idea. Well, nobody of has pay. heard about it. I mean, mm. we've been doing it for 20 plus years. I yeah. mean, it's crazy. Now, other dealers has the opportunity to steal it. Yeah, they, don't they just don't. <laughs> because they don't care about you to sell. Once you're family with us, you're family. Right. We mean it. So we we'll take care of you no matter awesome. what. Awesome. Awesome. Well, cool. I really don't want to leave this one. He's staying here <laughs> the nice. rest of the thing, but we're not going to be able to tour many well, RVs I mean, if I, I stay here. I can always get you one on order, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, need to, I need to work a little more. But it is, it is sharp. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's guys, nice. guys, so please give me a call, 877-877-4494, um, extension 1000. Perfect. Please. All right. Thank you, Blake. Thank you. Right. Do you want to you try that? No. 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 All right. I'm I think go. they're going to make you eat it. No, they don't there. even know. We're gonna do, I think we're going to do another giveaway. Let's go do a giveaway. We're going to do this for the, I don't see me on the screen. Am I on? 
Uh, oh, looky there, 8,500 hey, YouTube the subscribers. Huh? Yeah, let me just try that again. 8,500 YouTube subscribers right there. Uh, if you well, haven't subscribed you to YouTube things? yet, yeah, right. please subscribe to YouTube. We want you to be alert and know when uh, we're doing everything from webinars to uh, uh, just walkthroughs during the month. To Dave, Dave, could you show us your hands, please? What's that? Could you show us your hands, Look, please? my hands are... There's nothing in this hand, nothing in this hand. <laughs> we have a request to go back to we, this hand, nothing there. I like you, to pull on my that phone. That we watch you place no. that in your mouth. That one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blake, did you tell me? It is. No, don't throw me under the bus. I didn't do nothing. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's hot and it's awful. Which one is it? Uh, the Carolina Reaper. And it's getting hotter. <laughs> it's making my spit burn. Yeah, you're gonna need some milk. <laughs> I'm gonna need something. Ooh, that's warm. You know, I'm gonna show you up close. I'm gonna start sweating. I s oh, that's awful. Oh, it's awful. That is gross and awful. I like hot stuff. That's warm. Sorry, we're going to do a caller. We'll just do the first caller to the number that we're putting ready. Putting ready? I can't think. Getting ready to put on the screen right now. 937-649-5970. 937-649-5970. Is there water over there? What did you do with my Diet Pepsi, Tim, that I could use right now? I don't even know if we're allowed to... Or diet, diet cola. Oh my gosh. So the first person to call will win what? Let's throw that up there. Eat the cookie crumbs, sugar helps. Okay. Cookie crumbs and. 937 649 5970. Whoa! You just want a red lobster? Yes, the cookies help. A red lobster gift card. There you go. How much is that for? 50 bucks to Red Lobster goes to this person on the phone. Take my earpiece out. My tongue is hot. Hello. Hello. Hey, who's this? Chelsea. Did you say Jesse? Chelsea. Chelsea. Chelsea, where are you calling from? Grove City. Grove City. Here's second person to call from Grove City. Um, are you, have you been watching all day today? Yes, I have. Well, listen, Chelsea, I've got a Red Lobster gift card for you, $50 to Red Lobster. And I know there are Red Lobsters in Grove City or around Grove City because I'm from Pataskala, not far from you. So, yep, we've uh, got one close by. Nice. Well, now you've got $50 off your next meal. So if you can keep it under awesome. $50, you get all your food free. If it goes over 50, you get $50 <laughs> off. But just take this card with you. You know how, you probably know how uh, gift cards work. I'm just going to shut up. Cause I can't think right right now, Chelsea, because David, the owner of RV Wholesalers, is mean and made me eat a spicy jelly bean. Um, oh, yeah. My mouth would be on fire if I had that. Jelly oh, it was, it was bad. It started off all right. <laughs> and I like, like, I like hot stuff. This was very hot, and it was hot for the sake of being hot. It was not delicious at all, and I like delicious jelly beans, and this one was, was not. Sorry, I'm rambling again, Chelsea. I'm going <laughs> to congratulate you. I'm going to hand you off to Tim, and he'll get your information from you. It may take him a second to get to the phone, but uh, right. enjoy Red Lobster. And get the Cheddar Thank Biscuits. You. The Cheddar Biscuits are amazing at Red oh, Lobster. Yeah. Yeah, and those are free, for so sure. eat all those you want. Take The secret is to take, like, a lining for your purse and sneak as many in there as you can, pretending to eat them, and then um, just just go home and eat all the cheddar biscuits that you took from Red Lobster. I will do that. Thank you for the tip. <laughs> all right, not a problem. All right, I'll hand you off to Tim, Chelsea. All right, thank you. All right, bye-bye. All right. Oh, I can't stand up. Uh, so Chelsea is getting the Red Lobster gift card. That's the first time we gave away a gift card to Red Lobster. Hold on, Tim. I don't have my earpiece. He's telling me what's going on next. Now tell me. Oh, we got a, we got a word from our sponsor, Dish. 
Now you now you can stay connected with the shows you love with Dish Outdoors. Watch live HD TV anywhere your adventure takes you without Wi-Fi. It's easy to use. All you need is a portable satellite antenna like the Dish Tailgater Pro and a receiver from Dish Outdoors. Before you head out on your next road trip, be sure to get Dish Outdoors and watch all your favorite RFD TV and Cowboy Channel shows wherever your travels take you. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was hot. Are we good? Sorry, I'm still whining. Man up. <laughs> you know, what good is it to sneak having, uh, not eating a jelly bean if you, if people find out later? You always get caught. Yeah, I should have just, I should have just kept it secret and not told anybody. You're right. And I talked about it a couple times on camera and keep forgetting that they're watching the show <laughs> over there. I'm well, an idiot. I don't think you really knew anything until you actually, I think you showed David and he's like, and he made a big deal about it. No, did laughing. I show David? Maybe I did show David. I don't remember, but I <laughs> ate a spicy jelly bean. All right, the Rockwood Mini Light. Oh, this, guys, this is the most popular floor, one of the most popular floor plants. This is a 2511S. So this is the 2509S, has the bunks in it. So as we see, we do have an outside kitchen with your grill, mm -hmm. dad's medicine cabinet. Yep. And then... It'd be nice. My mouth hurts if there was a Pepsi. Oh, look. <laughs> Looky there. <laughs> and then... On all Rockwoods, you also get standard with the outside griddle, like a Blackstone, um, and then your prep table. All hooks up to here. Uh, on this floor plan, we are going to have the power jacks for front and back, TV hookup on the outside, two-inch receiver standard on these guys now, the tire monitoring system, outside speakers, power awning, LED light strip, everything. Yeah. How, long is, how long is this one? Uh, 20... Oh, Five foot. Okay. Not very big. They don't go over really over 25, 26 foot. Okay. Um, as oh, we, that's right, because it is a, the mini light. I forgot that we mentioned. Exactly. Uh, you can even put a, a solar panel portable one, you know, plug it in right there. We do have a bit of uh, storage under the Murphy bed. And then one key fits all. So what that means, your one key can unlock all this stuff. Nice. Which is nice. Magnet doors. You want to hear a coincidence? What's that? Chelsea, that just won the Red Lobster gift card, bought this RV. They're waiting for it to be delivered. Holy smokes. Yeah, Look, crazy. We, we must have just throw her Red Lobster gift card. Yeah, we could have just card. put the gift card in there. And just said, Blake, even though he's married, he's open for a wife and kid date. So. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> anything for free food. Yeah, anything. I'll, I'll risk the idea of my wife being furious that I'm going out with another woman just to eat free Red Lobster. <laughs> And then as we come in, we do have the U-shaped dinette slide. Uh, this also goes into a bed. Uh, we do have the Murphy. Now those seats do kick up. So you have a nice little foot rest that'll pop up. Um, as we come through here, this is actually your chocolate Newport Ash cabinetry, so the lighter cabinetry. Mm -hmm. Gas electric refrigerator. It's called chocolate? So the furniture is called chocolate. Oh, sure, okay. This is called Newport Ash. Gotcha, okay. Which is so I was nice. gonna throw a fit if this was considered chocolate. <laughs> Because <laughs> white chocolate is white, which yeah. definitely is not that, and then regular chocolate, obviously, it's not that color. Maybe white chocolate this sit one. for a couple of years and I get a nice little mold. Yeah, texture. that's that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, so that's this is called the moldy white chocolate. Who's <laughs> <laughs> right. naming our Who's naming our cabin tree? Rockwood, please don't pay attention. Yeah, <laughs> um, I do like it. It's it's I like nice. the light color. Um, Gas electric refrigerator. Now you can get a 12 volt refrigerator with this. If you do, you automatically get a 190 watt solar panel on the roof. Okay. Which is pretty sharp. Uh, we do have all your bunks here. Let me step out of the way so everybody can see. Uh, bunks, the bottom bunk will actually lift up. Um, and so you have a little bit more storage under there. As we see, you got a little netting, your yep. ladder, and everything's under there. <laughs> Chill. Still swallowing spicy spit. Uh, we had somebody ask if there's any electrical outlets. No. Not in this one. No. <laughs> yes, there yeah, are. All over, guys. So we got some of my bed. We have a nice little pop-up here um, on the counter spot. We have some down here where your control panel is, your speakers and everything. Got some there. We have them here. On we the, have them the over here by the door with the pantry. All over. Yep. See if there's any in the bathroom. You got here some in go. the bathroom. Uh, actually, yes, right there. Here we go. You get a little bathtub thing here. Yeah, it's a nice little tub. So a lot of people like this floor plan if they have younger children who just can't take showers yet. So yeah. nice little tub. Do I need to get in this one too? Do I need to stand on this one? 
You don't have to. Nobody's making fun of me yet, so I'm going to do it until people are like, this guy's weird for standing in every shower. Well, Gus, it gives him a nice little perspective of right. an actual human being inside of him. Yep. Six foot tall, again. Sorry if you've been watching all day and you hear me say this over and over again. Uh, but room because of the skylight. You're not looking like Elf yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Uh, almost fell. How awesome would that have been if I would have fallen out of that? Just be bit more karma. Right you know what I'm saying? Hiding a jelly bean and she's just going to make a trip. Yeah. Uh, we have some nice little pantry right here as well for dry goods. Yep. So the Rockwood Mini Light, guys, these are outstanding. About 25 foot. They can be right around probably 25, 26 grand. The price is over here. Don't quote me on that. It's probably wrong. Um, it's, it's down on, it's down there. Somewhere. <laughs> there, they got somebody asking about another outlet on the, I don't know if there's one under there or not. There is, there is, right here under this guy. All over. I don't know if somebody's messing with us. Or trying, it would be awesome. If you're messing with us, just getting us to point out all the outlets, I applaud you. <laughs> I wonder how many things you're wanting to plug in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Murphy bed. Yes, this is a Murphy. So lay that flat. And then if you get that side, I'll get this side. Okay. Watch your fingers when you let this yeah. down. You don't want to get them pinched in there. Pinch point, guys. And you even got plug ins up there. Yep. Outlets on the end. Yep. And then more storage here on the sides. Now, this is pretty cool. So this just can't. Lift up. Right. Yeah, I so tried earlier with one. I couldn't it. get it. You actually have to pull the little lever. Yep. Unlocks it. And then you can bring it up. And that is really easy to, Very easy. to get rid of. Very easy. And does this, what do you do? Pull on this? Just pull it up. Push it back. Push it back. Nice. Easy. Nothing to it. Nothing. So there you go. The total is right down there. I'm trying to think where the camera is. Total right is right down here. there. Yep. If you have any questions, call that number that I think is right here. Like, subscribe. Yep. Yep. Uh, you want to give them your extension? Yeah. 877 877 4494 extension 1000. Give me a call. 1000 bucks could be yours. Yep. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Let's guys. Head back Thanks for hanging here. out with me. Yeah. See Thank you, in a you little sir. Bit. Are you uh, walking through more today? Do you know? Uh, later on, I think I'll be one of the last guys okay. to walk you through a unit. Cool. I know that the, uh, all these sales that are going on are going on until 10 o'clock Eastern. So make sure uh, if you're ready to buy an RV and you want the best price to jump in before 10 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, we're getting word from Tim. What's having this? Oh, okay. So I'm going to throw to... Uh, uh, a video, a testimonial, this is a, a couple that came in and uh, they bought an RV and uh, I think they're happy with it. So <laughs> let's check it out. <laughs> All right, hanging out with Amanda and Jared. Uh, this is a pretty cool story. We talk about this every once in a while on the show here, uh, like people buying an RV and using it to travel with work. And you actually do that, Jared. Yes, yes, I worked at the X-ray, traveling X-ray tent. Uh -huh. So we were in Utah, and it's always been, well, I've always thought since a kid it would be cool to travel with an RV. And when I told my wife that, I couldn't believe it. She's like, yeah, why don't we? You know, <laughs> the next, uh, in the next five years, we'll do that. Well, uh -huh. it just kept getting pushed off the next five years, the next five years. And then she came to me and said, we built a big, beautiful house. Big, beautiful uh -huh. house, big enough for our six children to grow. And we have six daughters, so... Plenty, uh -huh. of bathrooms, like right. plenty of bathrooms, and we were presented with, you know, we went we went camping, we went tent camping. We saw okay. these beautiful RVs and we're like, man, that looks like so much more fun than eight of us and two dogs in this tent. Right. And so on our way home, we were like, you know, why don't we just do it now? What's keeping us? What's, What's keeping us? us? So, you know, we shopped locally and it was so expensive. And locally and for you is New Jersey, is that right? No, locals Utah. So it's oh, okay. so expensive. Oh, wow. We found the RV we wanted, uh -huh. but it was very expensive. So I looked online and I found RV wholesalers, and it was so much cheaper. And so I contacted them, and we talked back and forth, and we ended up buying our truck and tr driving 22 hours to Ohio wow. and picking up an RV <laughs> that we hadn't even seen. But um, we bought a toy hauler because uh -huh. we have 
children. We call it the kid hall. It's the kid hall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I talked to me I talked on the show that, you know, people don't have to just buy a toy hauler if they have a toy. There's so much you can do with that back room. Right. And, uh, this is a very good example. So we have our six kids back there and their toys and all their school and everything and it holds it well and we even have a piano back there. What? Um, that is our girls awesome. do piano lessons still. So yes, we have a full piano back there. It's great. Um well, it's an electric piano, but... Yeah. It, it's a, it's it's, a piano. Not like a grand yeah. piano, but... Right, right. It is. <laughs> it's not a keyboard. It's a piano. <laughs> anyway, so we uh, we sold our house. We moved into the RV. We continued to live in Salt Lake while he continued his job of 12 years. Uh -huh. And then COVID happened. Right. And we realized school was no longer going to be the same. We realized that... Um, what was keeping us now? So right. we... He put us two weeks in. We found a job in New Jersey, his first traveling job, and we drove 20, what was it, 26 hours? <laughs> we did it in wow. about four days. Okay. Um, camping in parking lots. And so we have a generator, so it was great. It was middle of the summer. We were able to stay nice and cool. And anyways, we went all the way to New Jersey. We were there for six months. Um, and then we came down to North Carolina. We've been here for three, and now we're headed to New Mexico. For another wow. three months. So and we that's take, awesome. Uh, little trips in between, like we went up to I never remember the park in, in Maine. Acadia National, Acadia National Park. Park. So we okay. stayed there for a while in the RV and we went to Connecticut. Um we've gone so now we're gonna go down we're gonna go down to Florida. <laughs> Disney World. They don't know that yeah. our kids don't know this. We're oh, okay. the beach and um camp on the beach um and so this, awesome. this rv has given us freedom we're able to homeschool our kids we're able to travel the country our kids have seen more states than i did in my lifetime oh yeah i can imagine in just seven months so it's That's been crazy. really awesome you know we also talk about how you know it's more than just rving it's about the memories you're making you guys are making some incredible memories that your kids will never ever forget and that most kids will never get to experience. I mean, that's traveling right. like that, that's that's incredible. And to just to just be able to kind of, for lack of better words, just pick up and go with your home mm -hmm. and go someplace yes. else, that's, so nice. that's fantastic. That is fantastic. Um, wow. Well, I, I, I mean, I don't know what else you can say about the experience of, of uh, living in an RV and just traveling the world and, and uh, knowing that, that you can – you can travel the world and still do your job. I mean, how lucky is that? You got a job that travels, so you get to experience with the entire family. You're not traveling alone, Jared, or buying, you know, three hotel rooms to to yeah. fit the entire family in. That's that's awesome. That's a that's a great story. I, I love hearing that. And so it's actually thanks. financially putting us ahead too, because it's a lot cheaper to stay in an RV park than it is to stay in an Airbnb or hotel or whatever. Right. They get right. money for that. Save a lot of that, so it's actually putting us ahead as well. So that's great. Wow. That is awesome. That is awesome. Well, guys, thank you very much for uh, hanging out with us. Uh, safe travels to you for all the traveling you're gonna be doing. All right, thanks. All right, we'll see you guys. Bahama, 
To ride mystique, we'll put out to sea, and we'll perfect our chemistry. And by and by, we'll defy a little bit of gravity. Afternoon delight, cocktails and lonely nights. That dreamy look in your eyes Give me a tropical contact high Way down in Kokomo Jamaica, ooh, I wanna take it to Bermuda Bahama, come on pretty mama Kilago, Montego, baby Catch a glimpse Hi guys, David from RV Wholesalers. Uh, I want to talk to you about our webinars real quick. Uh, we do webinars every single week. You can even find old webinars on our YouTube channel. If you go to YouTube, check out RV Wholesalers. While you're there, make sure that you uh, subscribe. But the reason we do the webinars is we get really kind of frustrated watching people get taken advantage of. Now let me explain that. Uh, a lot of times it's what people don't know, right? Sometimes it's just not knowing to protect yourself against other RV dealers. But long story short, there's going to be 500,000 RVs plus sold this year. We can't even sell 10% of those. So what we like to do to help people out that can't buy from us, uh, don't feel comfortable driving that distance, whatever the reason might be, is help you so when you go to deal with your local dealer, uh, you feel secure, safe, prepared, and ready. Uh, we're going to go over things during our webinars like how to safely buy an RV, should you finance an RV, can you tow this RV, all those sorts of things. You can ask questions live, you're going to get answers live, uh, you, and if you're too busy you can't tune in, because you can go sign up, just check out this little link right below. Uh, you can sign up there, but if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for your schedule, again, you can go to our YouTube page and you can find our past webinars where you can get tons of information. So check them out, educate yourself, and be safe. So in the chat, we are putting the link to the webinars. Again, the webinars are absolutely free. You just hang out with us or whoever's on the webinar for a little bit and learn a bunch of information. Coming up in the next uh, hour or so, we've got another giveaway. We've got some more information from David. We've got uh, a walkthrough through another XLR, uh, Solaire, and then right now we're going to walk through this Puma Park model. Absolutely. So 
Um, this is going to be a Palomino uh, product. Um, Palomino is still a subsidy of Forest River, but nonetheless, they're kind of their own separate uh, branch of Forest River per se. Um, this is going to be one of the park models, not really meant to be moved around much. Uh, really, it's meant to go to one spot. It's going to stay there. It's not really going to move much. So that's essentially what the park model is given. Uh, also, you'll notice this thing is like crazy tall compared to these other travel trailers that we've been showing. Um, not very aerodynamic. Again, it's meant to go to one place, pretty much sit there. Um, you can move it from time to time if you need to. You move your campsites or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I got a lady right now that they were looking at buying a park model for their property. And then once they built their house, they were going to go put it on a uh, like a campsite and they were asking, you know, can we do that? And the answer is absolutely. Yeah. You can definitely do that. Um, not going to be idea. an issue to do something along those lines. So cool. um, very easy and simple to do on that. Uh, outside on this particular one, again, you still get your one touch power awning, LED light strip over top and as well as your two outside speakers. And then finally uh, your glass shower door. Now on this particular unit, it doesn't have the outside shower, but that is something, or the outside um, entertainment, but on some of these park models, you can get that outside entertainment. So you just gotta watch out for that. You getting a call? I butt dialed my, I butt FaceTimed my wife. She said hi? She said, saying, hello, hello. I heard her talking <laughs> in my pocket. She found me, where is she? Um, <laughs> Let's go inside. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, so this particular unit, again, is the 38 DEN. Um, that's basically the den unit. Um, back here, you've got all of your additional sleeping spots and things along those lines. That was my wife, too, by the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> They're both trying to they find us. They know exactly where we're at. <laughs> um, you can put your TV up here, fireplace underneath. Both of these guys are going to fold out and do uh, tri-fold couches. Uh, we do have recliners here, as well as... She's calling me. I'm going to tell her I'm on the phone. Plenty of additional storage. All right, I'm on the phone. Hey, I'm on live on. Hey, I'm live on the and thing. More I button here. dialed you. Hello. I. I don't know. I'm live <laughs> on television. <laughs> oh, good grief! I don't. She's like, why can't I hear you? I don't know what's going on. Please, <laughs> hun. She's in her car driving. So I can't tell her she's not watching right now. I dig this. This yeah. I have not seen this layout before. No, this is a real nice setup. They do have this setup in travel trailers as well as fifth wheels too. Um, so if you do like this floor plan, obviously things would be more condensed. Drop down the ceiling just a little bit more. Um, but obviously this floor plan, this layout, you can find in other travel trailers and fifth wheels so that you can actually pull around and actually move in. So a lot okay. of cool options there. Yeah, this is this is sweet. I dig this a lot. Absolutely. And now this particular one's got the bar stools that swing out. Some of them have chairs, some of them have bar stools, some of them have different aspects of it, but those are, um, those are sweet. Nonetheless, got a bunch of different options in terms of that. Big 20 cubic foot residential refrigerator in this, as well as the gray stone residential cooktop and oven Did as well. Already? I yeah, I already showed that while you're on the phone. phone. My wife calling me while I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> big deep farm sink as well as a residential sprayer spray all your stuff um cabinet storage overhead open these guys up mm -hmm. so plenty of storage overhead as well storage underneath too swinging back into the back side here i'll let you guys kind of open into their walk into the shower there and i'll yep. get out of your way whoa i got caught on the my cable got caught Plenty of room in this one also. Not needing a, you don't need a uh, skylight. skylight or anything like that. Yeah, this is it's plenty of you room. You got storage here. right behind you there by the uh, by the shower backing there um, for your towels and oh, assortments and things like that. Yep. Storage underneath the sink as well, as well as a mirror there too. So cool features there. And then we swing into the master bedroom. All right, again. Uh, king bed, this is the bedroom side. You'll see you got plenty of room in here. Again, it's a park mm -hmm. model, right? Plenty of storage on this back side here with hanging storage and multiple ways to get into said hanging storage option. You got cool little designs back here for your, um, for your cell phones or whatever might sit up there. Midnight drink, whatever it's gonna be for that time. <laughs> and then finally, washer and dryer. Boom. So that's essentially where your washer and dryer would go. These are an option, don't come standard with the, uh, with the uh, unit. So just make sure that obviously on any of these campers that we check our options, make sure we're getting exactly what we want. Okay. Uh, Cause that's obviously extremely important. So that's the, that's the unit, man. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. pretty cut and dry. You got a door right into the, uh, right into the bedroom here. So that way uh -huh. you don't have to go through the rest of the coach. 
in and out if you do have extra people sleeping in there or anything like that. So. And what is the total on this? Up. Total on this guy, you are going to be looking at thirty-four two ninety-seven. Okay. With a payment around two hundred and fifty-eight dollars a month. Nice. And again, I love this layout. You could get yourself into this Puma, this this Palomino, this. Guys, can Mary see inside the oven and yeah. see the cooktop one more Absolutely. time, please? So there's inside the oven, lots of space in there. Absolutely. Like I said, it is going to be a residential style oven uh, on the inside. So um, when they say you can cook the uh, uh, chicken dinner in there or the uh, turkey dinner, yeah. um, you can definitely do that as well as the cooktop up there. Absolutely. So residential style completely. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys, for checking this out. Right mm -hmm. now I'm going to give something away. So I'm going to head back out there. I'm going to give away something that actually I just bought. So uh, I'll meet you out there. <laughs> I just told you we're going to give away something that I just bought, but pretend like I don't know what we're giving away. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a call in. We got a call in. The number is 937-649-5970. Should we run the graphic? The second caller. We're going to do the second caller. The second caller. So run the graphic and we'll pretend like we're finding this out for the very first time. I'm trying to sit upright because if I sit like this. Oh, never mind. Don't, 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 don't run the graphic. All right, here we go. This is our first caller. I apologize to our first caller. Hello? <coughs> Hello. Hey, sorry, you're our first caller. We're going for the second caller. Okay, we'll try All right. again. All right, thank you. Now, I feel awful doing that. Tim makes me do that for our first caller. Tim makes me do this. Here we go. No, we're not going for the 10th caller. We don't have time, Tim. Hello? Hello. Hey, who's this? John. John, well, congratulations. You just won something. Oh, I thank you. Yeah, do you want to know what it is? Please. All right, it's this right here. It's that chair. These chairs cool. are awesome, John. These chairs are amazing. What do these go for? The yeah, around around thirty five dollars at least. Fifty fifty five dollars. These things are normally fifty five dollars, John, and you just won yourself one. Super sturdy. I'm going to talk awesome. about it a little bit after I get off the phone with you. But uh, congratulations, it's yours. Um, where are you calling from? Uh, Connecticut. Connecticut. All right. Well, enjoy. Enjoy. Are you watching right now? People are throwing beach yes, balls at my head. Uh, John, I'm going to hand you off to You're Tim. Not. He'll get your information from you and uh, enjoy the chair when it gets to you. All right. Thank you very All much. All right. We'll see you, John. The parts department here, the um, uh, RV wholesalers dot com forward slash parts you can find these there and honest to goodness i got two of these at home and we have like when we have friends over people fight over these chairs so i bought two more of these chairs today um which shocked me when i said asked how much they were and you said 35 i definitely paid more than 35 times two <laughs> like what are they doing to me around here I try to help you sell RVs, and you overcharge me for the chairs. So uh, get yourself some of these. If, if, you, if you can't win one, go to the parts department and buy yourself. Oh, I hit the, I hit the tree right there. I'm going to throw it to Dave. Dave, I'm literally throw it. We're going to throw this to Dave. Watch. I'm going to throw this ball. He's going to catch it. I'm ready. Oh, that was a terrible throw. But I still caught it. It was a terrible throw. You did catch it. That was good. I did catch it. Hey guys, I want to talk about our nationwide service network. Uh, again, a lot of people ask, you know, what is it? Uh, we have people before that have said, you know, I've camped for 20 years. I never had a nationwide service network. Why do I need it? So we'd like to just explain it real quick. We've got well over 2,500 uh, independent service centers all across the United States. Uh, we even have a lot in Canada that are lined up and ready to take care of you whatever service needs you have, uh, whatever needs taken care of. There's nothing worse than leaving on a uh, vacation, right? A lot, of, a lot of times, once in a lifetime, one of those bucket list trips and something goes wrong. You know, we have customers that have been uh, middle of the summer in Arizona, Texas, et cetera, Florida. It's really, really hot, no air conditioning. That's what this is for. Middle of winter, no furnace. 
That's what this is for, right? No hot water. That's what this is for. And the reason is we had too many customers that were buying from us all across the country that we couldn't service, right? We couldn't take care of them. And uh, years ago, we sold two, uh, well, actually two right away on eBay, and we couldn't take care of them. We knew that wasn't right, so we stopped until we came up with this idea. So we started 23 years ago finding a service center in, in everyone's hometown, and that became our nationwide service network. So today, again, over 2,500 independent service centers that we use, uh, we're able to take care of every single customer. We've never had a customer not get taken care of, not one single customer, nor will we ever. We will always make sure you're taken care of. This is how we do it, though. So why do you need it? Simple. Let's say you live in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, and you go uh, down to Dallas, Texas to visit a, a parent, right, that maybe isn't healthy and they need you to take care of them after surgery. Uh, or you're transferred in work and, and you're going out before the family uh, and you're going to live in your RV while your, your wife stays home or husband stays home sells the house. There's all these scenarios, right, why you're not in your backyard with your RV. The cool thing about RV wholesalers is you don't have to be in our backyard. We can still get you serviced. We can always get you taken care of with our huge nationwide service network. If you have any questions over it, give us a call, 877-877-4494. Remember, the sales staff is in there. Uh, they're talking to tons of people. Uh, a lot of people are joining the RVW family. Thank you. If you're one of those people, thank you so much. We really do appreciate you. Again, thank you for watching. Please uh, call your friends, family. Encourage them to watch. Uh, we still got a lot of units yet to see. We still got a lot of stuff to do, uh, a lot of fun to have. And again, call if you have questions about the Nationwide Service Network, RVW Bill Pay, also uh, Buckeye Service Guarantee. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page. Um, we're up over a little over 8,500 now, so thank you for that. We really do uh, appreciate every time that little thing turns and tells us more people are joining the RVW YouTube family. If there's anything else we can do for you, just give us a call. We're going to shoot over to Dave and Lane. And they are going to take us around to Solaire. Boy, thinks he's so sneaky. He, we saw him picking up those beach balls. I didn't see anything. This, it's not. Gonna be, it's going to be tough to concentrate while this is going. <laughs> <laughs> He's waiting for it to come in. Hard. I can't, I can't. Let me show you. Let me show you David's last throw. His first three throws were awful. His last one went like this. I'm not kidding. That might have gone further than his last throw went. I feel like I'm safe. I was more distracted by that than them actually Remember, hitting me. Mash and, and Frank Burns trying to throw the football. Oh yeah. Yep. That was it exactly. Yep. Yeah. That was awesome. All right. Uh, oh, jeez. I'm <laughs> the worst time. All right. So uh, the Solaire by Palomino. Yep. So just walk through the 38D and by Palomino. Um, this one's going to be their Solaire line. Uh, one of their top lines in the Palomino, uh, the Palomino campus or whatever you want to call them, the uh -huh. manufacturer, I guess you can call them. Um, in terms of travel trailers and things like that, they're compared to a lot of the other uh, top top guys out there in terms of their size, um, their quality on the inside, all that good stuff. Um, these guys actually are using a high gloss uh, fiberglass exterior, um, so you do get a little bit more shine, um, a little bit cleaner looking going down the road. You get the shimmering off the light, off the water, whatever you want to call it, but mm -hmm. definitely a cooler look on the outside for Solaire with the uh, um, with that high gloss uh, exterior on there. Obviously, we still got the two exterior speakers as well as the TV hookup. You'll notice on this awning, though, guys, things are a little bit different. Normally, we Lights have the LED now. light strip yeah. right up underneath here. Um, Solaire said, hey, why are we uh, shining light on our camper when you guys need it to be out here? So we have the lights actually up on the end of the arm, so that way you know, when it's out, you guys actually have light um, down here instead and of bright. up against the... It's, oh, yeah. it's light in here, and even looking at it is... is yeah, tough no, it's definitely a, a like brighter I look light. at it and then go like this, I see... I see the light bar right there. It's I think right that there. was some poor choices back in your past that are making yeah, you see light be. bars. <laughs> <laughs> that could be. It could be. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, obviously, guys, um, got a lot of cool features uh, on the inside of this uh, camper. Um, but that being said, just to run through this real quick, uh, dry weight, we're looking at 4,300 pounds. This one's 23 foot, 4 inches, 8 foot wide, one slide. 
Um, and you're going to be sleeping about four on the inside of this guy. It says okay. seven, but there's no way you're sleeping seven, seven. in here. <laughs> I mean, you could. you probably sleep a hundred in here, but it's yeah, going to be very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable and very tight and, and very pinched. Yeah. Uh, price we're looking at $24,049, $211 a month. Wow. All right. Wow. So swinging on the inside here, uh, we do have the solid surface steps come standard with Solaire. So I'm definitely not seeing seven people in here comfortably. No, okay. that would be that would, would be tough. I would definitely give it a good. Uh, wow, I think that was a typo. Yeah, it has to be. Um, but I would definitely give it uh, four because this actually folds out into a queen size bed. Okay. So you get that, and then you got two up front there. Okay, so we could definitely do that. Um, in terms of features, uh, 15k BTU air conditioner. You got a TV backer right here, so you can put your TV in it. You got your cooktop, oven, deep farm sink. Microwave up top. Um, there is a little bit, um, if you actually look up there, you can actually see the um, the skylight on the front. So you do have a front cap windshield. Mm -hmm. uh, that is automotive glass instead of the cheap glass that it used to be. So that way it's breaking real bad and things like that. And anytime a rock would hit it. Yeah. It's actually automotive glass now, so a cool feature there. Um, there is also a vent right above your head. So that way if you do want to put a max air fan in there, you can actually draw in air instead of running your air conditioner. Another cool feature there. Definitely a cool couples coach, though. I mean, we're talking yeah. about, again, 4,300 pounds. Most uh, CRVs and SUVs are pulling 5,000 pounds. So, I mean, again, it's going to be tight, you know, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it is something that you could possibly pull with something of that size. Right. So that is something to kind of keep in mind and look at there. Well, I really like the studio apartment look where everything's in one room. The bed is right there. Good night. Are you kidding me? They <laughs> That's that couldn't have been Dave because it actually made it to me. That's a hit and run right yeah. there. <laughs> what do they say? Drive by fruiting? Or a in, hit and uh, walk. Hit and walk. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, so I like the I like that everything's right here. It's just, I don't know, just kind of cool. No, absolutely. Dormy. And, and, and Solaire's making changes, too, um, to their floor planning and things like that. You know, when I'm talking to customers, you know, I'm in a, a team leader situation to where I'm talking to a lot of customers who have already purchased asking about experiences and things like that. And I get a lot of complaints about, you know, the, the, the ground's a different color than what it was supposed to be or the backsplash is different than what it was when I bought. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, though, when people are, you know, when people are buying from these manufacturers and custom ordering them, stuff like that, the dealerships, the customer, nobody has any control of. Okay. okay. They reserve all rights to, I mean, they could completely change this floor plan and not say a word to RV wholesalers until we step in it wow. doing that PDI process. And I'm like, oh crap! This really? is not supposed to be the thing. Yeah. It's not supposed to look like this. You know what I mean? That's and so it uh, it definitely runs into a little bit of a risk. But as long as everybody and all parties are willing uh, to you know work with everybody, not be unrealistic. Uh -huh. I mean, you can't demand the world of something that's out of somebody's control. Things like that. But when we do stuff like that, guys, I mean, you you guys as a customer, uh, us as a dealership, and and then the manufacturer, we all three got to work as one. Even if there's a lapse of communication between the manufacturer and us. In terms of them not sharing information with us, we do our best to try to overcome that and make sure everybody stays happy because we do see our customers as family. There's no doubt about that. That's good. Now, Can kind of swinging in here, you check your bathroom, go step in your shower. Okay. You know how that goes. <laughs> um, see, boom, plenty of room. Uh, again, the skylight is helping a bit here. Get a little bit more extra room. Yeah. But still plenty of room in there. Um, you do have uh, your toilet, obviously a little bit of storage above the toilet there as well. Mm -hmm. um, sink. Little medicine cabinet. Little medicine cabinet too. Yeah. And then um, your refrigerator is gonna be the uh, 11 cubic foot uh, 12 volt refrigerator right. on that one as well. Little so storage cool next feature to it. there. Pretty deep storage to hang coats and whatnot. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, great. And what did you say the total was? Two eleven. Remember, two eleven a month. Two eleven a month. Uh, just over twenty four thousand. Nice. Again, a lot of RV for um, twenty four thousand dollars. Absolutely. All right, I'm going to throw it back to. <laughs> I'm going to throw it back to David, who's going to talk to you about hidden fees. And I don't think anybody would throw any beach balls at him after he's thrown them at me and Lane, would they? <laughs> Hey guys, back to uh, talk about hidden fees again. 
Again, the, the main reason for this is for people that uh, don't buy from RV wholesalers, and the simple reason is is that um, if you are going to buy from another dealer and not us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but if, if, if you're going to buy an RV and you're not going to buy it from RV wholesalers, you need to make sure that you protect yourself and your budget from these things, okay, uh, and your finances. The first one is PDI, which is a pre-delivery inspection. Someone asked earlier in the show, do we do a PDI? Yeah, we do on every single unit. No unit gets shipped from RV wholesalers to a customer. No unit gets picked up by a customer until it's been through a PDI process. Again, that's called pre-delivery inspection. We're going to go through all the systems, the propane system, electrical system, water system, everything. We're going to check all the appliances, everything, okay? Dealers are supposed to do this. We do it. However, we don't do that. Uh, one of the, the, the largest national chain of uh, RV dealers, uh, they're very famous for this exactly, anywhere from 1,400 to 1,700, depending on the, the one that you pull into. Uh, second is a crazy one. This was a dealer in uh, Florida that tried to charge a customer a $3,300 tire fee. The dealer claimed that since the unit was brought to Florida from the factory in Indiana, the tires were no longer good, would have to be replaced, and uh, the fee would be $3,300. Next one is a walkthrough fee. Again, we go back to that national chain, but this is becoming more and more popular. And, and quite honestly, hidden fees are becoming um, very, very common reason is there aren't hardly any RVs. So number one, they're price gouging, right? They just keep raising their prices on any stock units that they come across. But the other thing then is when people sit down to close their deal, they're hitting people with these fees. These two are very, very popular. Uh, 1400 1800 Now you see your, your price of your RV that you thought you already negotiated and were done with just went up $3,200 plus tax on $3,200 plus interest on $3,200. It's a ton of money. Last one is factory freight. You'll notice we have question marks. The reason is factory freight is not, a, is not a hidden fee. We charge factory freight, but we tell you up front what it is, and it's already in your price. You know, it's, it's already figured when you get your final price from us. So it's not a hidden fee here at RV Wholesalers. It is a fee. Now, what's interesting is a lot of dealers where, like, you know, say we charge $350, they're charging $1,200. 1400 1800 900 So, again, they're just being exorbitant about it. Uh, and the reason, again, is just to try to make more money off of you uh, selling you the same thing. So how do you protect yourself from hidden fees? Very, very simple. When you get a price from a dealer, you tell them, I want the price out the door, everything included, fees, tax, everything I'm going to have to pay. I want all of it included. I want it in writing. And I want you to put a paragraph in there that says, if I show up and you change my price even $1, I can walk away from the deal and I get my deposit back. If the dealer won't do that, you need to run. You need to leave immediately, not do business with them. That means they were planning on getting you these fees and, 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 and nailing you with them. And quite honestly, you don't need to pay that, right? We vote with our dollars. Don't go to a dealership that charges hidden fees. Just don't do it. Do yourself a favor. Go down the road, call us. Uh, there are still some good, honest dealers out there. And do business somewhere where they appreciate you and they won't, pull, won't play these kind of games. You know, and we always say if they'll play games before, they sell you the RV. What are they going to do after? Yeah, think it through. They're showing you some uh, uh, insight into their character. And again, because everyone's selling record number of RVs, our pricing doesn't change. The factory raises the price. RV wholesalers doesn't. Um, we don't have hidden fees, you know. People don't need to charge more right now. They're just taking advantage of the market. Don't let them take advantage of you. And the last thing is we, we talk about emotional buying. Don't, don't fall for that. You know, uh, if we don't have it in stock, you may have to wait a little while to get it. It's worth it. You know, you're saving thousands of dollars, plus you're getting all that great service. What we tell people all the time is if it's not going to come in and you have a camping trip between now and when it's built, rent one. Uh, it's a whole lot cheaper to rent one than it is to pay another dealer nine, ten, twelve, fifteen thousand, thirty thousand dollars more for the same thing. Remember, you have to pay interest and tax on that, and you have to find someone to pay that to you when you go to sell it. So again, uh, just be patient. You know, get the best price, get incredible service, and and just let that RV be built for you. Okay, that's all I had. Where are we going to, guys? I think we're I think we're going right next door to Dave. Yep, here I am. I've got the 30 amp surge protector. We're going to do a flash sale on this bad boy. Normally, 
$199. Right now it's $73. 73, that's more than 25% off. And that includes, um, uh, that includes shipping. So the 30 amp surge protector can be yours. You need this to make sure you don't blow anything out in your RV. These things are very, very important. You can have this one for $73. So here's how you get it. You need to send an email to parts at rvwholesalers.com before the end of the show tonight, which is around nine o'clock Eastern time. So do that and you get in on that special flash deal or flash sale for the uh, 30 amp surge protector. Go do that now so you don't forget and I'm gonna walk through an XLR. All right, hanging outside, another XLR Nitro with Eric gonna walk us through this. Uh, it's a toy hauler. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get into that a little later. Yeah, yeah, toy hauler. Uh, office, office. Trailer. Uh, uh, aquarium. Didn't somebody uh, have like, a, I feel, not, not not aquarium, but wherever they keep birds. I, I an aviary. Stores. Aviary, yeah. yeah. That was actually my customer. Oh, it was, okay. Yep. They yeah. had they had uh, nine parrots. Yeah, wow. Uh, and, uh, yeah. and they keep true, them back here. True story. They're out, crazy. Yeah, out in Pennsylvania. Wow. Yeah. Well, cool. So let's talk about the outside of this yeah. monster. Uh, you know, of course, we. Uh, I, I'm all about nitros. I, I love them. Uh -huh. uh, they're, they're, they're beautiful inside and out. Uh, this one is what you see is in the standard color. Okay. But there's, I, I believe there's like four. Uh, four or five different color options that you can do this wow. in for a full body paint. Uh, I mean, as I said, it, it, you know, talking about other toy haulers, I mean, when you get into something like a nitro, the, the options are just endless. Yeah. Aftermarket is is widely available too, if you okay. want to just deck it out however you want. And XLRs but, just do, they just do toy haulers. Yes, so they toy haulers they just uh, are, are the only thing that XLR does. Okay. Uh, so. Needless to say, they, they're they pretty good at it. Yeah. Um, now, one thing that you see back here is that you see the, the garage entry door uh, that goes right into the garage. So when, the, you know, whenever the kids yeah. or, uh, you know, anybody comes back in off the trail and they got mud, they, they, can, they can peel off in there so they don't have to track it through the whole uh, trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, you, get, uh, you get two huge awnings. Um, one back here, and then you get a bigger one up towards the front. All LED lighting underneath, of course. Um, you have um, auto level, uh, the ground control auto level, mm -hmm. more ride 3000 suspension. Um, so, and these are uh, uh, the, uh, the torsion axles. Um, and moving up forward, you get your outside entertainment area where you can hang a TV, mm -hmm. speakers, cable, outlets anything you need to do out here to all have fun that huge awning. all underneath the massive awning yeah. so um one of the uh, one of the things i really like about a nitro is that they they think about it all they they want a trailer that you can take the whole family invite some friends over and it's just an entertaining kind of trailer where you know a, a, anything you want to do you can you can do it in here right and or out here you uh -huh. know watch the game you know underneath the massive awning because it might be a little bit soggy outside right you know so i mean it, it, it's all thought about by uh the engineering department over there at xlr you know customers talk they listen they make it happen that's good so um moving up forward here is uh you get a uh, big pass-through storage we have some boxes in there to show now these those boxes are they're pretty long and they uh you it just goes to show that you got plenty of space in here to put whatever you need um you know fishing poles uh 
maybe you want to bring a, a second generator because mm -hmm. there's an option on these that you can build in a generator. Okay. Um, and, um, and, and, and you'll have plenty of space for all of it. That's good. Now, the big slam baggage doors, yep, you just kind of shut it there. Yep. And it, it's super easy, not a big problem at all. Right. Now, um, this one in particular does have a generator. I, I actually want to crawl under here and show you. Okay. So this one is the is the 5500 Yamaha generator. Uh, it's uh, it's an inverter technology generator, mm -hmm. so it's going to have uh, it's going to have cleaner power. Uh, this thing actually has remote start. That you can have like a key fob. It's, oh, it's really? remote start, okay. so you can start. You know, saying, "Oh shoot, you know, um, I'm too busy over here uh, drinking beer. <laughs> you know, I don't want to go over here inside and, uh -huh. and and start it." So, you know, hey, let me just hit that remote start. Um, you know, it, it, these things were actually tested in out in the Mojave. Uh, uh -huh. One cool feature about them is that they run really cool. So they don't overheat. They okay. actually tested these things out in the Mojave for several weeks on end, and they ran into no overheating issues. Wow, that's yeah. impressive. So yeah, I mean XLR, you're getting it all. All right, should we take a look inside? Yeah, definitely. Right. This is yeah. nice. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, when you walk in here, it's just, you know, one thing you don't really get in a, in a toy hauler is a nice uh, homey feel, uh -huh. you know, and in here you get a whole lot of homey feel. Yeah. You know, you get your recliners over here, your Thomas Paine furniture. All of those recline, by the way. And even the center? Even the center. Okay. So uh, you get your nice big area over here for your uh, for a pretty large a TV. Big TV. In yep. There. Especially when you're sitting, you know, only that far away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, you know, to, you know, pollute your brain nice and good. Right, right. You know, like, like what your mom and dad told you. Yeah, yeah. Sit too close. Yeah. But uh, so you're gonna you know, your so, eyes if you sit that close. Yeah. So uh, really, you know, this setup is is to entertain 100. percent I mean, even you know uh, everybody's over here, so mom can watch watch the kids right. behave themselves. <laughs> yeah. While she's uh, or she or even dad's over here making making up some dinner or yep. lunch. You know, nice solid countertops to prepare everything. Uh, deep stainless steel sink. Uh, a lot of cabinet space. Yeah. I like this. I like the, the detail where you got the centerpiece that sticks out a little bit. It just looks nice. Yes, yes. It, it is very nice, you, and it's all with frosted glass, uh -huh. uh, so everything looks good. Um, you know, one other thing in a toy hauler that you, you don't really get is you don't, you don't get a lot of storage space, mm -hmm. but in here, uh, as you see, there's a ton of storage space even storage space above the garage yeah there there's a there or or, or a, a bed you can sleep up there yeah there's a there's a mattress up there it's a law okay um you know and and over here you have even more storage uh mm -hmm. with uh with these cabinets pretty deep cabinets frosted glass as well um, yeah. I mean, as far as a toy hauler goes this this one and the the size layout that it is this thing's you know, as, as we said, it's only about 40 feet, uh -huh. so you get a ton of storage space in this thing just in the kitchen area. I was going to say, it's, I don't think there's any such thing as too much storage space, but there is a lot of storage space. you got everything under here, mm -hmm. drawers, this, this up here, this uh, drawer down here, Yep. all of this, this up here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, wow. and uh, this... this and yeah, and and uh, one thing that XLR is doing new is there is this is their new fridge okay. that they're putting in the nitros. So it's uh, it's a bigger fridge than what was in there before. Mm -hmm. um, so they, uh, you know, they they managed to squeeze in a bigger refrigerator without sacrificing space anywhere else in the three fifty one. Okay. So that that's uh, that's a big feature. You know, one thing that XLR is really good at is. You know, customers say, I want, I want, I want, and they do. Yeah. So that's always they been the, the thing customer. with the with the Nitro. It's always like, hey, I want that bigger refrigerator. Well, you got it. It's great. It's great. All right. Should we step back here into the garage? Oh, yeah. So my personal favorite area of, 
uh, of any toy hauler, of course, uh, because I'm just a garage kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, is is coming in here to be able to, um, you know, to work on work on ATVs, mm -hmm. dirt bikes, or uh, really anything, or just uh, you know sit back here and just you know and just or just and just watch the scenery. Right. Uh, you know, it's a party room. If you if you if you don't have toys. It's a party room back here. Yeah, and actually, uh, a customer of mine out in uh, out in Virginia, he just uh, he bought a, a different uh, nitro, but um, you know he he works in tech, and you know he they're going to be living full time in that thing. Uh huh. But he basically turned that whole garage space into an office. Um, wow. You know, so so his wife doesn't have to hear him on the phone. Was his yeah. was his thing? And how cool is an office that opens up to the back? Yep. And you have a, yep. a patio out back. I mean, yep. this would be this would be a good place to have. An yeah, office. and and he ordered the three season doors that you see back uh -huh. there. This is an option on the on the nitro it's line. Sharp. Yeah, they, they you know they have the nice tinted glass, or you can lower the windows and get that breeze rolling in, or you can uh, you can close them up to where you can just get the light coming in, mm -hmm. but not if it's cool outside. Uh, and of course, as you see, it opens up as a door to go out to the patio. Yeah, uh, I mean people deck these things out. Um, you know, I've seen people that have a 351, and they, uh, I believe the company More Ride actually makes a whole, like, tent thing that goes over. Really? That, I mean, that we we don't we wow. we don't have that here, but you know, like there's options that you can do even afterwards. Like, to, so it was like aftermarket type yeah, stuff. Yeah, aftermarket can, that wow. you can deck a nitro out pretty pretty solid. See, I uh, feel like we need to change the name from toy haulers. Because there's so many other options you can do. As there's so to many other toy. options, and uh, I mean, you, you think about it. I mean, what what can you do with a toy hauler? And I, it's it's. Uh, I mean, what can't you do yeah. with a toy hauler? I, I mean, it's basically it's, a, an extra room on the yeah. back of the thing to do anything you want. Yeah, including laundry. Yeah. Oh yeah. There with, you go. You know, with, <laughs> yeah. it's just a laundry room. Yeah. We just, with, with we your, just wanted a really big yeah. laundry room, so we yeah. bought a toilet. You know, with uh, with, you know, even with the washer and dryer prep, it's got a half bath back here. Uh huh. You know, which is perfect. You know, for when the kids uh, come in and there's you know there's mud all over their feet, uh, they they get it on this uh, super easy to clean rubberized flooring in here, and they can go straight to that bathroom, peel them off, and get into something clean before they track it all yeah. through there. And, and and get everything dirty. Yeah. That's one thing about having another door back here too. It's a nice feature on the side to have that door uh, right. for you know when y you don't want all that <laughs> mud getting through here. Uh, you know, so you, they can all come in here, get a fresh pair of clothes on, and then walk through the trailer. Yeah, and no matter like no matter what you're doing. Uh, when you're out camping, you're out in nature, so you're going to get a little dirty. Whether you're just hanging out mm -hmm. or you're out mudding around in, on a toy, it's, it's always nice to have something like this. Oh, yeah. You know, well, with, you know, like me and my cousin and, and his son, you know, we, we all have dirt bikes. And, uh -huh. you know, whenever we're, whenever we're coming back in off the trails, I mean, anybody watching this knows that talking trail and dirt bike uh -huh. knows that, you know, we've got about two inches thick of mud all over us <laughs> so it's uh it, it's very nice to have something like this to to be able to easily keep clean and keep all right. the dirt out of there now i noticed something back here that I, i've never noticed before and it may not be what i think it is um these little these little things right here does this come with a like a ladder that you what are these little the little hooks under there so that's for uh that that's part of a patio kit okay. that you can get for Okay. Uh, for this nitro, it's actually for a staircase. Okay, that's yeah, that, that's what I'm asking. A ladder, yep. like a staircase, just to yep. make it easier. Okay. And it has a handrail and everything that you can, uh, you know, it's like a nice swinging porch door here. Right. Uh, that you could just walk right in and out off the patio. Cool. Um, you know, and I and um, one thing I forgot to talk about in here is, uh, you know, the bedding setup back here. Uh, not only can you do everything else, but you know, one thing that I talk about with even larger families, you know, one thing I will always recommend for, you know, like say a family of seven or mm -hmm. eight, you know, one thing that I'm always going to recommend to them is a toy hauler because now with, with the bunk room back here, you have one spot, two spots, uh -huh. and then, you know, you could sleep two kids up there. Yeah. 
So this whole garage space, and you even have room to put down a couple of cots if they want to bring their friends with them. Yep. I mean, you have all the space in the world. So much space to, right here. to you know, for a larger family, a toy hauler is the way to go. I mean, as you, as you said, mm -hmm. we, we should really start thinking of different names besides toy hauler. Yeah, I, I, yeah, we really do. Is that, a, is that an awning above us? Yes. So it does have an awning. Over yep. the uh, yep. porch. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So this is a part of the whole patio package yeah. back here. So the stairs, the awning, the three season doors, the railing, all that stuff. Uh, it, it's it, it's it's pretty smoking yeah. deal of, yeah. of a package to this get. Is great. And of course, I'm assuming most people know this obviously raises. Yeah. 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 It does. So this is this is called the Happy Jack system. So. Um, the, the top bed will stow all the way up to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Uh, as you can see the tracks there, um, these two, uh, sofas here, they'll fold flat, uh, that'll come up under here and raise and lower the bed. Okay. Or you can get this with two queen beds and, and get rid of, if you want just two queen beds, mm -hmm. cause that's what size this bunk is. Yeah. You can get rid of the, the two sofas down here and get another bed okay. to have two queen beds. All kinds of options. Oh yeah, I mean, there. I mean, we could sit in this garage space and just talk forever about how many yeah. things you can do, option, aftermarket. Uh, that's a whole show on all on its own. Cool. Should we head up front? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now, one thing that we were talking about with all the mud and stuff like that, uh, something that the nitro uh, has in, in, I believe, all of their trailers is that it has the central vac system right here. Yeah. One other thing to really minimize the amount of dirt that comes into this thing is that XLR in, in their trailers they pride themselves on having no carpet. Okay. All nitros are carpet free. So I never even noticed that. Right. Yeah. So I mean, you know, to think about it like if you bring your dog along, you know, that brand new carpet carpet isn't always necessarily the healthiest thing for, you know, right. say a dog or a cat. Uh, so, you know, in a nitro right here, and I know a lot of our customers out there will really like the fact that it has no carpet whatsoever mm -hmm. in this whole unit. Uh, so, um, but yeah, to keep it clean, central back system, you just kick that little thing up right there, sucks it all in. <laughs> and I've, I've used that on one of them before, and it's super cool. Yeah. Again, there's so many things in RVs that I'd like to have in my own house. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Should we look at the bathroom here? Mm hmm That's a big shower. Yeah. So it's a very big shower. You have your huge skylight. Mm -hmm. Um... One thing to notice, uh, to take note of in, uh, in, in these showers is that it's a one piece shower. Okay. Meaning that it, it, the, normally what you get in a big toy hauler is a two piece shower. Mm -hmm. So what's the benefit of a one piece shower is that water will never have a chance of getting where it doesn't getting belong. behind the, the Now, itself. don't get me wrong, the two piece showers, they, they're, you know, they've come a long way and they have a lot of overlapping space. Uh -huh where you know it's unlikely to get water where it's not supposed to be but that one piece shower is just that extra little bit to make it feel like home yeah you got a nice seat in here for the waiting area for the next person to take the shower yep so you step out this person steps up and showers mm-hmm you cycle them through <laughs> yeah yeah reminds me of the military <laughs> <laughs> all right so up here beautiful beautiful bedroom um yep the the wardrobe here is in its own slide out so you know you you don't you don't get stuck with just those typical side of the bed mm -hmm. wardrobes it makes I it mean, feel a lot more yes. open and not you yep know, closed and, in back and with your outlets on each side you know you have place to put your phone you have place to put your glass of water uh or possibly even a CPAP, mm -hmm. um, you know, stuff like that. You have storage above the bed with lighting underneath. Uh, you also have book reading lights. Um, and and, and all, at, uh, all at the front here is in that windshield. Yeah. You know, so like you wake up first thing in the morning and, you know, depending on where you have this thing parked, that could be a pretty awesome wake up. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So uh, king bed, uh, I mean, these things, these things are decked out. I mean, the Nitro, it, it never disappoints. And anybody that ever has one, they you know, they're, they know that yeah. they're getting a quality product. Now, um, 
one thing that they added for uh, 2021 is they actually added another uh, second. Yeah, another, a second uh, vacuum right here in the bedroom uh -huh. because most fifth wheels you don't get that. Yeah. Not even in some of the higher end fifth wheels you don't get you don't get an upper level um, you don't get an upper level vacuum. Mm -hmm. So you have to like dust pan it or sweep it off the bottom off the steps to <laughs> kind of get it off the, to get it the in steps. the lower end uh -huh. so um you know but hey as i said people talk xlr listens and they and they make it happen that's great so very nice unit um i mean i, I as i said before we can just we can talk forever right about what you can do uh option wise aftermarket wise with a nitro it just you know it's, it's a, a it's a good canvas this should have uh or could have opened your eyes to uh, a brand new option for you. Like you may be thinking, all right, it's a toy hauler. I'm not interested because I don't have any toys. Lesson to be learned here is you don't need toys to have one of these. It's just an extra room that you can do anything with. So now you have even more options. So it's something else to look to uh, if you're thinking about getting a, a good size RV for your family. If you're going to do that, you need to come to RV Wholesalers and do it right here. Uh, anything else? No. Right. No, that's about it. All right. Everybody out there, he can't hear it because it's the internet. But round of applause for Eric for walking us through. I, I think I heard it. Oh, you heard it? Yeah. Yeah. That must have been your mom. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. Is the camera just shaking its head? The camera is alive. Things are starting to get weird and scary. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.
this moment right now. So uh, we are far from done today, so continue to stick around because we got a lot of stuff coming up. I'll tell you what that is in just a minute. But before you do that, I want to throw to uh, one of my new best friends down on the beaches of Jamaica. Since we're in spring break, he's down there. He wants to give you just a glimpse of what next month's April 28th, April 28th virtual RV show, what the, what the theme is. So uh, I'll throw it to my buddy down in Jamaica right now. I just want to invite you all to come back on April 28th for our big birthday party. Hey, 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 hey. To celebrate RV wholesalers turning 24. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So there you go, celebrating 24 years. RV wholesalers, happy birthday. We celebrate in April. That, uh, what a rough life, just hanging out in Jamaica like my buddy down there. That is awesome. So make sure you put it on your calendar. April 28th, we're going to do another virtual RV show. Uh, you can do me a favor. Uh, let friends and family know about the show on April 28th. As a matter of fact, we still have time, if you know anybody who may be interested in an RV, to let them know now to tune in. We've got a handful, quite a big handful. we got a couple handfuls of trailers still to walk through tonight. And uh, we've got, look, coming up, we've got a big old Redwood fifth wheel. I've got a Four Winds Class C coming up. I know a lot of you are waiting for a Class C. And it looks like I got a, a Wildwood over here, Forest River Wildwood. So yeah, the, it's a Four Winds Class C. Like I said, I know a lot of you are waiting to see that. So that's all coming up in the next hour. Uh, right now, I think I'm gonna head over and actually walk through that Redwood by myself, I hear. Oh, oh, here we go. Uh, there was somebody going to walk through this with me. They had to go back in because they're still working. They had a phone call to get to. So I'll be honest, right now, I don't know the total on this, but it's down at the bottom. Let's just walk through it and discover it together. Lots of storage, again, on this fifth wheel. You can see this pass through here. That's fantastic. There's a lot of space in there. And I love that they have these hooks. So you can be very, uh, you can be very, uh, very, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Organized. 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 Thank you. That's the word I'm looking for. What would you say, Tim? How, what's the total? 95805 for this. This is a lot of RV, I can tell you right now. It's got two slides on this side. We'll find out once we get inside how many are on the other side. But, man, it's got the one awning over here. The awning, <laughs> it's way up there. I don't know why I've never noticed that on fifth wheels before, but that's, that's way up there. You get track lighting out here, speakers out here custom paint 
That's paint. That's not that's not a sticker. That's a custom paint job. And that's sharp. So uh, let's take a look. Let's go around. Let's go inside and see what's just going on in here. I dig the little uh, nightlight here as you walk in. That's that's got to be nice when it's dark out and you're trying to get back up into your RV. Uh, very big and open. First thing I'm noticing, lots of space, especially right here in the living area. We got the Dundee is back. So show me the money award. <laughs> you can't go wrong with the office. If you're not a friend of the office, um, you're dumb. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't say you're dumb. That was not nice. I'm sorry. You're not dumb, but you need to watch the office. Let's start back here in the kitchen. Uh, you've got the, uh, uh, a nice big vent here. What's, what's this called? A vent over the stove. They actually call it something. We'll call it a stove vent. Here's the stove, four top burner. Nice size. Oh, plenty of room down there to cook the turkey this Easter. If you get this that quickly, that would be very fast and very impressive. Nice big farm sink uh, with the, uh, this thing again. You've got outlets built in. You got one there, you got one up here. Plenty of uh, cabinetry, cabinet space up here. That's a good size. All these are really good size, deep and uh, plenty of room. This one goes back all the way back into there. You got some storage underneath here, some drawers. Um, this here, even up high. Get a little taller to get to that, but you can do it. You can do it. I have faith in you. Nice big refrigerator. Let's take a look. Oh, it's got cardboard up. But, uh, yeah, lots of space in there. I'd, I'd say this is the same size that you would have in a residence. And then the storage above, you got your big old microwave and more storage. We got a lot of storage in here. So all this down here, you got this up here, 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 and then everything underneath. Nice little kitchen area. I love the black backsplash too. It looks like it's each individual pieces. It's not just a big, one big stick on. So that's, uh, that's cool, that's quality. I like the little, uh, the lights up here. That's, that's nice looking. And then you got some good furniture. You got your individual, your uh, seating. This will open up to uh, give you more space. Look at that. I don't know exactly how it works, but you can get more space. Recliners here facing directly into where your TV goes. Here's where your TV goes. Here's where the uh, sound bar is. And there's the fireplace. You get all of it. And those fireplaces, I don't know if you're tuning in for the first time. I don't think we've mentioned today. Those fireplaces actually work. They actually keep you warm. Now, it's not a real fire in there, but it looks cool. And it will absolutely keep you warm. I remember as a kid, we would sit. We had the, the floorboard, floor, floor base, four floor, four floorboard um 42 feet 10 inches is what i'm hearing how long this thing is jim jim turner is asking 40 42 feet 10 inches anyways we would have the floorboard heaters and my sister and i would sit there with our feet up again that's that uh when it was cold out and just warming our feet and watching tv it was a great a great memory uh but you can do that same thing right here with that nice fireplace right there you've got here a half bath it looks like we're gonna have another one upstairs a full bath upstairs Cool looking sink, medicine cabinet, plenty of storage space, plenty of storage space for all the towels that you need in here, especially in this, since you haven't got the shower, you have plenty of room to keep stuff besides just towels in there. Looks like another small closet down here. Here's your control panel, obviously. Looks like it comes with uh, maybe a remote control. Oh no, that's actually, that's his phone, so you can run Run your RV from your phone. More storage up there. Let's go upstairs. I'm walking through this pretty quick, but you are seeing this for the first time, just like I'm seeing this for the first time. King bed right there. I'm sure there's storage underneath. There is, there is storage under there. Uh, saw some cabinets. Right here, you've got uh, backer for TV. More storage here. I forgot we were going to talk about slides on this side. Obviously, there's a slide there. I can't remember if there was a slide down there or not. We'll find out when we go back. So two on one side, definitely one on this side here. More uh, closet space. And in here, yep, you got your washer and dryer hookup right down here. If you'd like to put a washer and dryer here, you've got plenty of room still back in here. I'll back up so you can see all the space in there. This is a good size closet. 
extra chairs here for the table that expands out there. And again, if you don't want to have a washer and dryer in here, that just gives you more space to hang clothes. But you're not going to be able to wash those clothes if you don't have a washer and dryer. This thing weighs 15,400 pounds. Uh, I don't know what that means. That's the dry weight. So you're going to need, obviously, a decent sized vehicle to pull this because it's a fifth wheel. But um, this, uh, we got some big water tanks in this thing. 56 gallons of wash uh, for. Uh, for what is it 56 gallons for what 66 for fresh water 89 for black water 82 for gray water i've got i've got this so a lot of this stuff a lot of these numbers i'm getting fed but uh it's it's easy to walk through here and see how nice this thing is plenty of room in the shower again i am six feet tall it's a good size shower i love these things i'd love to take a shower with one of these like rainfall shower heads Dual vanity, or double vanity, whatever you want to call it. You get this. Uh, it does have four slide outs. I was just told that there was one that I missed down there, but uh, obviously your toilet, your more storage space. Looking at, uh, there's a Wi-Fi booster in there. Oh, look at this. I'm doing that with my mind powers. Can they see your hand on the camera? Okay, never mind. It wasn't mind powers. Oh, you got the mirror. Dang, they probably saw more than just your hand. They saw everything. <sighs> Stupid mirrors. All right, so there you go. It looks like there's that's a Wi-Fi booster. You got a vent back here. So I'm assuming you may be able to get more than one air conditioner in here, I would assume. But that's a question you can ask the salespeople when you call them. They want to talk to you about this. This would be a nice fifth wheel for you to get into if you're looking for a, a fifth wheel. Nice fan over here. Uh, so there you go. That's me walking through an RV when I don't know much about RVs. I'm just telling you what I see. And uh, I do notice this. You got the, uh, the uh, wireless charger. There it goes. It's crazy. I had no idea. I thought you had to have a special phone or download something special to make that work. You don't have to. It just charges when you set it on there. So there you go. I'm going to give something away. But if you got questions for this, Call that number below. They would love to talk to you about this. Let's find out what it is again. This is the Redwood, the Redwood 4001 LK. Redwood 4001 LK. Get hold of them and ask them any questions you want. They would love to talk to you. I'm going to walk over there and give something away right now. We're going to text to win. So we'll take our seventh person to text the word win to 833-717-0327. Number should be down there just in case it's not. It's 833-717-0327. There's the number. Uh, let's find out what now the seventh person to text the word win is going to win. I'll watch with you. We'll find out. I really don't know this time. Saw camping chair just went by there. All right, the National Parks gift card. So what that is, number one, that's a very cool, I don't know if you saw that fall off there. That's a very cool gift. That means two adults and your kids get into all the National Parks free for a year. So it's uh, about that time where you need to get out and start traveling. If you can do that, do it now and get to, get to as many National Parks as you can for absolutely nothing this year. Uh, that's the going to the seventh person to text the word win. And we are, we are uh, waiting for the seventh, the seventh person to text the word win. I want to say thank you to these guys again. Obviously, RV wholesalers, thank you for letting Virtual RV Show come down here and shoot here. We've got Blue Ox, Hitch, thank you guys for being involved. Dish Outdoors, you want to watch TV when you're in your RV? This is a way to do it through Dish Outdoors. And then Equalizer, we had a chance to talk to Rob earlier from Equalizer and uh, super cool guy. He actually had some stuff to give away while he was here. So uh, thanks to our sponsors who help us make this happen. They help us be able to help you get into the RV of your dream. So they are very important. Uh, I don't think we have yet a uh, winner. They haven't given me the winner yet. So I'm gonna go over and talk to Mike Durnell for a couple minutes. I'll meet you guys over there.
We come on over here. We come over here. <laughs> I'm going to stay here. All right, again, guys, this is live television. I love these little moments of confusion because it proves to you that we are live. So if you were here watching us, you'd be like, wow, these guys really don't have it together all the time, do they? So are they ready for me? Am I heading over there to talk to Mike? All right, now follow me. Talk to Mike. <laughs> All right, hanging out with Mike Durnell here at RV Wholesalers, co-owner, co-founder. Yeah, how's it going? I'm going, it's going all right. You getting tired yet? I'm a little tired, but I think the perfect weather helps out immensely. The weather doesn't hurt. Yeah, when it's cold, it's rough because you just want to like close the doors. I just want this to be over because I'm freezing. Yeah, and a lot and of our shows, hot. it's already been dark and yeah. you know, the, the daylight helps a little bit. Yep. The uh, time change definitely makes it nicer. Although it does make it seem like it's only like four o'clock and we got yeah. hours and hours yeah. to go, but it is nice. I, 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 I don't like it getting darker. I don't know who likes it getting darker. Earlier. I don't know. I don't, I don't care for that. Yeah, no, it's awful. Um, but, but it's that time of year where we're celebrating as, uh, as what, for, I know we're jumping in on this just out of the blue for a lot of folks tuning in. Uh, let's talk about first about our faith being important to us. You guys. Yeah, here us. at RV Wholesalers, our faith is very important to us. My uh -huh. brother and I, uh, we don't apologize for our faith. We don't shy away from it. Right. Uh, we'll talk about it to anybody. Yeah. Uh, you know, if I, my, my policy is, you know, if you're in the window seat on an airplane, I'm always going to be in the aisle seat. I'm going to talk to you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, wherever I'm at, I'm just going to talk about it. That's awesome. I think that's awesome. Well, what I was getting ready to bring up was that we're, <laughs> this is Super Bowl week for us. Yeah. This is the big week. This is the, the week that we celebrate the reason for all that we believe. Mm -hmm. You know, the death and resurrection, Easter Sunday, Good Friday, Easter Sunday. And I've, I've often joked around that Good Friday, I, I feel like they named it wrong because Good Friday was when Christ laid down his life for us. And we call it Good Friday. Good Friday would be like finding uh, a seventh nugget in your six-piece nuggets. That's a Good Friday. This is an unbelievably amazing Friday. I don't know. There's, words can't describe how great this Friday is. No, but I, th I think as our society gets further and further away from God, we lose sight of this. Yep. And how big, a, you know, how big an event that really was. Right. I mean, that right. changed history. Yeah, yeah. And you... Yeah. You know, you talk about, like, if somebody were to ask me, like, what's your favorite holiday? Like, if I'm being honest, I'd probably say Christmas because mm -hmm. you get gifts and stuff. But when it comes down to what, like, the actual holiday means, yeah, Christmas, we celebrate the birth of Christ. But Easter is what it's all about. Yeah, that's, that's where our, the foundation of our faith is, is, yeah. at, is at Easter. And it's starting this Friday. Um, you know, I've, I've, man, I've mentioned before how... I, I got to find, there's a video I shot of, of something I did at my church that talks about like what the feeling was from the disciples that walked with Jesus mm -hmm. and saw him die on Friday night and still not understanding really yeah. what was happening. And then how they must have felt all day Saturday, the day after, and then the total, the total shock they felt the next day, just out of the blue, yeah. the tomb is empty. And I, I got to find that video because I was pretty stoked where it was written. But, no, um, and he, to, you know, he told them what was going to happen. Yeah, and they just, and they still didn't, it bounced off their right, heads. Right, it just, which I guess. I don't think they ever fully understood no. everything, but. And I guess I understand that they didn't understand because if somebody told you. Yeah. The, especially the way he said a lot of stuff. No, like for sure. And kind of like, just, can you just, you, you, you're confusing me. Just <laughs> what are you saying here? Um, but no, it is the most important day we have that we celebrate. Uh, you want to tell them why and like what, how it can mean yeah, important I mean, to them? Uh, what, People have probably heard being born again or receive salvation or being saved. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up Baptist, so yep, we called it being saved, you know. Yep. And, uh, but what that is is just accepting Christ dying on the cross. Uh, the Bible calls that a simple gift. Mm -hmm. You know, this microphone can be a gift to you, but you have to accept it. have to it, take it. Right? Yeah. Uh, you can spend all year getting your wife the perfect Christmas gift, but if she doesn't accept it, you it's got pointless. her nothing. Right. Right. This was a gift to us. All we have to do is just accept it. And we accept it by very simply asking Christ to come into our lives and into our heart. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's it, man. We, a lot of religion makes it hard. A lot of mm -hmm. people make it hard. It, it's so simple. Right. 
It says, I stand at the door and knock. And he's there. He's there waiting was, for you. I was talking to a couple four or five years ago about this, you know, and mm -hmm. trying to lead them to Christ. And, and they both accepted. And, and the husband looked at his wife at the end and he said, I knew it was supposed to be easy. Oh, wow. And it's like, you know, but we, we just don't. You yeah, know, you got to do all these things. You got to be so good. You got to be perfect. And if people Man, there's think nobody that, perfect no, in the world. There's, there's no way because I know there are people. There may be people out there right now dealing with. I, I don't know what you're going through. Maybe you're maybe you're cheating on a spouse. Maybe you've got drug problems. Maybe you got uh, alcohol uh, issues. I don't know what you're going through right now. But to wait, to think that you can get better. I mean, you can get better, but to think that you have to get better before yeah. you come to Christ right. is ridiculous. He loves you the way you are, and he wants to change your life, period. No, I, I think that's what the devil is the best at, is telling us that we're not worthy. Right. And we're not. We're not. But, but there is. That's the one thing that he's yeah. actually right about, but we can get past that. Yeah, yeah. With Christ's help, we are worthy. Right. So how do we do it? Uh, the way we do it here at RV Wholesaler is I try to witness to every customer that comes through the door and uh, again Dave we don't care if you're Baptist or Catholic right. or Mormon I, yeah. I really don't care God I don't believe God cares I really don't yeah uh, those things we're talking about religion uh, what I want to what I want people to understand is they, they need a relationship with God they need to accept Jesus Christ as their Savior that's the foundation of your house the house you build on top of that with God the rest mm -hmm. of your life that's up to you right you know, the closer you want to get to God, I promise your life will get better. Mm -hmm. But that's up to you. But you, what we care about here is just that people know that they're going to heaven when they pass. Yeah, uh, We're all going to face our eternity at some point. My guarantee to you is you'll probably face it earlier than you thought. <laughs> yeah. You know? Right, yeah. And we, yeah. That's the way it works. We all think, well, we're gonna I'm going to live to be 90. Yeah. Uh, man, I see a lot of people that pass in their teens, their 20s, their 30s, their 40s. You know, my mom left at 61. My dad left at 67. That's right. as I get in that neighborhood. That's yeah, a little early. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm ready. I'm still wanting to play golf. I'm not ready to, to right. leave yet. You know. Yeah. It, it, you're right. I, I, I'll turn 50 in July and you hear about people passing away and you think you hear they passed away at 62 and you're like, when you're 20, you're like, oh, that's forever yeah. away. But now I'm oh, like, that's yeah. 12 years from now. Right. No, and that 12 years will be like a blink of an eye. Yep. <laughs> yeah. uh, so what we do, uh, what I try to do is is just ask a few questions first. And the, and the first one is, just tell me about your spiritual beliefs. So please follow along with me. If you don't know that you know Christ is your Savior, you're not sure. Mm -hmm. If you pass tonight, you're not sure if you're going to heaven. Please just follow along. This will take three minutes, I promise. Uh so what are your spiritual beliefs? Think that out loud. Talk to me. You know, uh, there's no answer to that question that's right or wrong. It's right. just it's, to get you your, thinking a little beliefs. bit. You know, you, you, I have people yeah. say, what are you, are you talking about, God? Yeah. Uh -huh. what, do, what do you think? You know, uh, the next question, a little more specific to you, who is Jesus? Uh, again, I have people that very clearly, he's my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Perfect. We, we're good. Right. You're on the same page. Yeah. Uh, you're already there. We don't need to go any further. Uh -huh. uh, but I have people that say, well, he was a good man. He was a prophet. He mm -hmm. was the son of God. Okay. Uh, you're right. Yeah. yeah. But but we need to go a little further. Right, right. Uh, the next question, do you believe in a heaven and a hell? Very simple question. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people say yes to heaven. They don't believe in a hell because a, a loving God wouldn't make a hell. Uh, you know, very simple question. I have people ask all the time, why would God send somebody to hell? He wouldn't. Right. But you'll, you'll, you'll allow yourself to go there by yeah. not accepting him. Yep. You know, you'll be the cause, not, not God. He doesn't want, he wants us to choose him. Right. Uh, when you pass away, where do you think you'll end up? So if you believe in a heaven and a hell, where do you think you'll go? Uh, the last question, but the hardest one, I want you to think about this for a second. Let's say you are going to die when you're 95, because that sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're 95, you pass, you zip, you're up face to face with God. And he says, Dave, why would I let you into my heaven? It is his. Mm -hmm. uh, most people, probably 70%, kind of say, wow, that is a hard question. Yeah. And then they think about it for 30 seconds and say, <laughs> you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty good person. Yeah. Which for the most part is probably true. You probably are a good probably. person. Yeah. You know, I... I don't meet a lot of real bad people. <laughs> I don't hang around those crowds. You right. Know? Uh, so what I what I do is uh, 
I would normally pull my Bible out and, and show the person these verses and let them read them out loud, but mm -hmm. I'll read them for you in this case. Uh, we go to Ephesians 2, 8, 9. It says, For by grace you're saved, through faith. This is not from yourselves. It's God's gift, not by works, so that no one can boast. So by God's power, we get to heaven. You know, I know you help a lot of people out. You do a lot with your church. You, mm -hmm. you know, there's probably nothing you wouldn't do for somebody. Right. And that's good. And I believe that we should do that. I really do. I believe we should take care of each other as a society. Uh -huh. We've allowed government to kind of step in and do our job. Yeah. Yeah. As churches, we should be taking care of these people. We should be the leaders. Needed. Right. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's God that gets us there. It's not any of these great things that we do. It's God's power that, that allows us to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. And again, it, it's by accepting Jesus Christ. It's by accepting that gift. Uh, and it says that right here at the end, why? So that no one can boast. Mm -hmm. So when we're sitting around heaven one day, I can't say, you know, I was better than all you guys. <laughs> I did 10 times. What, well, let's see, I'm taking, first taking off, I'm taking. away what you did on the cross. I, I am. And I'm taking Jesus out of the equation, and I'm taking hum, being humble out of the equation, too. Yeah, right? yeah, very much so. Uh, the next next verse, very, very simple. This one everybody understands. Uh, Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Uh, I think pretty much everybody admits that yeah. we sin, and unfortunately it's every day. Yeah, yeah. You know, my thoughts betray me. You know, I mean, it, it, just, it just happens every day. Yep. Uh, so if we agree that we're sinners, then Romans 6.23 says the payment of that sin is death or hell, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ. So... Again, through Christ dying on that cross, that gift, if we just accept it, we can go to heaven. Right. Uh, we deserve hell, but we can go to heaven. It's our choice. The last verse, if uh, Romans, not, I'm sorry, Romans 10, 9 and 10. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. So we have to admit he's real and yeah. he's the man, right? Mm -hmm. and, and we ask him to come into our lives and into our heart and we can be saved. If that's something that you would like to do, if, if you're just not sure 100% that if you don't wake up tomorrow morning, you're going, you're going to be face to face with God. To be absent from the body is to be present with right. the Lord. If, if you're not Lord. sure you're going north, uh, <laughs> it takes a simple prayer, seriously. I'll say the prayer, uh, please just repeat after me wherever you're at. You can say it in your head, you don't have to be in church for this, you don't have to be any, you know, you can be sitting there in your underwear watching us tonight. Yeah. Repeat this prayer. I'll say it slow enough for you to repeat it. Heavenly Father, I have sinned against you. I want forgiveness for all my sins. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for me and rose again. Father, I give you my life to do with as you wish. I want Jesus Christ to come into my life and into my heart. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Man. Now, Dave, we, we believe that if they said that prayer, they got born again. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're not sure what to do next, uh, please contact us. We'd love to talk to you. Uh, if you want some of these cards that kind of allow you to lead somebody, you know, if, if you know Uncle Jim's not saved and you're right. worried about him, but you're not sure how to do it, you don't want to do it wrong. First off, there is no right and wrong. Right. But if you want a method, very simply call us, uh, email us. I'll send you some of these cards. Yeah. Um, and if you prayed that prayer for the very first time, there's a good chance. Let's say, I'm throwing something out there. Let's say you're addicted. Let's say you've got an alcohol addiction and it's, it's, you know, controlling your life. It doesn't mean like right now you're thinking, I'm never going to drink again. You, I mean, you're not going to, your life doesn't become perfect after right. this. You, no, your no, life's no. not perfect before. It's not going to become perfect after. No, and God doesn't expect us to be perfect right. before right. or after. So he don't really let doesn't. that scare you. Don't let that think, make you think that you're not worthy because you prayed the prayer and you still can't get it right. Man, he's here to get you through life. But now that you have that foundation with Christ, uh, now he'll help you with that. Exactly. Issue. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. that's the thing. We, we're, you're not doing it on your own anymore. Yeah. After the last time we did this, I, I happened to see some of the, uh, some of the chat and a lot of people were, were very, very appreciative of us doing this. Good, I saw good. one guy said he actually prayed. I believe it was the, one of the guys who won something. I can't remember his name. I think his name was Rob, I think, uh, said he prayed the prayer. Awesome. So, yeah, it'll, it'll change your life, and you got something to celebrate this Sunday in a way you've never celebrated before. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, you celebrate when you're younger. It's, 
And if, if you don't, if you if you don't consider yourself Christian, you celebrate by maybe an Easter basket, and that's about it. But uh, man, to know what this what this day means this this coming Easter, it's a powerful powerful day. So, please let us know. Let us know uh, if you prayed that prayer. Get hold of these guys. If you have any questions about it, they would love to talk to you about it and get you on your next step. And the next step is basically finding a Bible teaching church. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I mean, and and finding a community that supports you and loves you. And uh, you, you'll be well on your way. So, thanks for uh, thanks for talking. Yeah, thanks, buddy. I'm gonna head I over. I think, it. I think with your daughter. Your daughter's gonna yeah, good walk luck. through the wild. <laughs> yeah, <she'll> walk <laughs> through the wildwood with me. So I'm gonna head over there and walk through that Forest River wildwood. <laughs> So we got to talk about the flamingo shirt. Is it yeah, Old Navy? It is. Because I saw one, just I almost bought the exact same shirt. I don't know why I didn't. When I saw you wearing it, I'm like, daggone it. That's a cool shirt. I should have bought that. So I'm giving you props on your flamingo it's shirt. It's not mine. It's not yours? No, it's, it's my cousin Ethan's. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. So it is a dude's shirt. It is a dude's but shirt. But you're wearing it for the spring break version of... Yes the virtual RV show. I didn't have a Hawaiian shirt. You don't have a Hawaiian shirt? No. I guess it might be, Hawaiian shirts might be a guy thing, right? I think more guys wear Hawaiian shirts than, than I girls. Think, I think okay, so. all right. Well, you did well, good, good work. All right, there's your, there's your sister, why is she not helping? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's ridiculous. All she's right. slacking. So we don't need her. We can do this by ourselves. Uh, can we? Oh, no, here she, oh, she's coming <laughs> over now. I two in a row, all right. Oh, she's in there selling RVs. I guess that's fair enough. I should just shut my mouth and we should walk through this RV. <laughs> All right, so uh, Bailey, let's talk about this uh, Forest River Forest River Wildwood. This is the 22 RBS. Mm -hmm. um, you've got your awning out here. Yep. LED light strip underneath of it. Some storage over here. Yeah. Is it pass through? I'm assuming. It sure is. Look at that. Look at that. All kinds of space to get through there. All right, so pretty simple on the outside. You had some speakers. Yep, some speakers. Not um, too much going on. No, uh -uh. that's all right. Yeah. It's a smaller the TV right there. Is it? Yeah. Oh TV yeah, okay. Right you can see that TV back there. Back there. Yeah. Let's go on inside. Go inside and check out what's going on. I guess we'll start in the bathroom. Yeah, big it's old bathroom. Right there, Dave. You want to hop in the shower there? Yeah, I guess I will. The bathroom's kind of big, and it's in the back, which is you know nice. Yeah, as soon as you walk through the door. So if you're mm -hmm. out there and you're little. A little grimy, you can get in here and not uh, mess exactly. up the entire RV. Exactly. I like the backsplash or the, the wall there behind the sink. That's pretty sharp. Lots of storage in here. There this. is. It's a pretty big bathroom. Yeah, that's, that's... Lots of cabinets and drawers and all and that. It looks like... So you can hang stuff in here. I was noticing there's also a cabinet or a, a closet there that... Okay, so you hang stuff. Maybe you hang stuff in here, coats and stuff. In the, I know it may seem weird to hang stuff in the bathroom, but uh, yeah. But yeah, that I feel nice. like that would be the pantry, you know. Right. Yeah. Kitchen's right it's there. Definitely a pantry. Yeah. Yep. A walk-in pantry. pantry. Really deep walk-in pantry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, your TV's gonna go here. You have a nice little shelf here. Put like a DVD player there or something, you mm -hmm. know. Fireplace. Three burner stove. Microwave. There's the plate in there, so ignore that. Yeah. Oven's a decent size for the size of the camper. So again, that's you're I not cooking a turkey, but you're cooking you could, a pizza. You, maybe a small ham. Some brownies. Small or flat ham. A fraction of a ham. <laughs> yeah. You, ham. If you slice up ham into <laughs> thirds, you can get <laughs> one third of it in there. Yeah, exactly. Lots of. But during the winter. If you're having Thanksgiving, you have your fireplace. That's right. These fireplaces I was mentioning in the last one I walked through are very nice and warm. I dig this cap. I did, <laughs> almost hit my head. I didn't. Uh, I dig this couch. The L shape, yeah. yeah. This yeah. actually pulls out. But also. Okay. Into like a nice bed area Wait, there. Yeah. Put that back there. Wow. Let's see. Whoa. Somebody's bossy. I, was doing I am bossy. <laughs> I'm, I'm a guy just standing here right, watching. Listen. Get it, ladies. <laughs> Yes. Nice. So you take these inside, load them up, and just bring them out and store them. How convenient is that? That's good. They're doing that as a standard now, all Wildwood products. So that's great. And then it's just a yeah. slam latch. And that's it. I mean, you have one under here as well. Okay. This one's like More up storage. on a little shelf. 
little bit okay. more shallow. Okay. I see is that a table under there, like a. Yeah, I uh, think yeah. a table. So okay. you can pop it on here. Oh yeah, there, there it is. That's that holds the table. Very cool. There you go. Convenient. Yeah. Big window. It's always nice. Panoramic yeah. window. Yes. That is a big window. And then you can see the cloth roller shades. Yep. Those are a nice feature. You know, on like both. This. I'm assuming they're here. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Nice. And then Easily this unit used. only has one AC, but it's not the biggest unit. It's so not one a huge AC should RV. be yeah. more than enough. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Fridge right here. Mm-hmm. It's pretty. It's a pretty good size. Watching TV, enjoying it, thinking mm, I could go for another diet Pepsi. You don't even have to get up. You diet lazy. Coke. You lazy bum. <laughs> you just open this up. You're not a lazy bum. I was talking to somebody in particular. I was thinking of that I know is a lazy bum. So uh, yeah. And this is, I mean, there's nice space. Like, if I sit here, this is comfortable. Like it, I sit here and watch TV. Yeah. I Still love the herringbone floor that they do. I think that that's just a really nice touch. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we'll go on back here to the bedroom. I trust you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, under the bed, it goes through that outdoor oh, the, pass-through uh, yeah. storage there. you got little bins here that you can put some These things are great. I have these in. things at my house. Mm -hmm. They're just nice, easy. <laughs> Easy way to store some extra things. Yeah. Got a little uh, wardrobe on both sides mm -hmm. there. You can get into it. Reach your hand in there. Yeah. I don't know what you would. Well, they say CPAP. I... But what would you need in the middle of the night that you would put right there that you would Wait, wait, well, I let think me, the, let, the hold CPAP. On, hold on, hold on. I'll show you. I think a CPAP, don't you have to wear something? Step out. David, okay, close your eyes. Hold close my eyes. Yeah, yeah, just close your eyes. Because I don't trust you. <laughs> Right, cool. Let's Go ahead, reach your hand in there. Let David know what we need in the middle of the night. What do you need in the middle? What? Of the... Yeah, yeah. What did you? Did you put something in here? <laughs> Go ahead. Show David what we get in the middle of the night while we're sleeping. Oh, a diet Pepsi. Oh, diet Pepsi. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> you can't go wrong with diet Pepsi. I'm well, a Pepsi I would guy. Be, I would be reaching for a diet Coke, but diet Coke no, personally. See, it's okay. Fun. Listen, I don't All know right. if we're allowed to pick favorites on the RV show, but <laughs> Pepsi <laughs> crushes Coke. Don't. It, it doesn't. It does. Not even close. By a long Coke shot. Coke is sponsoring this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I don't like, you think. <laughs> nice try. I don't see the name out there. David. But we need to know. We got to chat right now. Come on, Pepsi people. Let me know if you're Pepsi mm -hmm. or Coke. If you're Pepsi people, chat Pepsi. If you're Coke, mm -hmm. don't do anything. No, just, no, no. Just hang out. <laughs> That's not and enjoy fair. The show. Listen, remember how you said that you could sit and get a Diet Pepsi? Uh -huh. let's, Should let's I try it? Let's see it. Let's see it. All right. If there's a severed head in here, I'm never coming back. I don't trust you guys. The small child pops out. Yep, closer. Yeah, I put Look it right at that. There. Oh, man. I didn't, I didn't miss an ep I didn't miss a. I didn't miss a line from Michael Scott. I just got my Diet Pepsi. Yeah, I really don't want to even get up now. This is super comfortable. Listen, one thing that um, Wildwood's doing now is they used to have like um, these drawers that were, you know, uh -huh. like your kitchen drawers. So now what they're doing is called an active Susie. Your drawers are hidden, but you're not missing the drawers. Okay. It's not just like, you know, an open storage area there. Right. You still have your drawers, even though it doesn't look like it. It looks good. So, it kind of yeah, cleans it up. Cleans it up. Yeah. Keeps it hidden, but you still have access to it. They're telling me Pepsi is doubling the amount of no, Coke coming not. in. No, it's not. Yeah, that's what they're that's saying. They're that's lying. Nobody out there it's likes me. They're going to they're they, be on your they side. They don't like Pepsi. Though. They, they don't like Pepsi. You. Yeah, I'm Pe looking at them. <laughs> oh, so water's in third. Water is good. Water's I would take water. I would take water before Coke. Don't lie. Ew. Yeah, oh, I would take water yes, before Pepsi. Like my Okay. I may have mentioned this before. What's that? Pepsi's ahead now? That's nice. So my wife and I were on vacation. Do better Coke people. We went to Virginia Beach, and it was me and some other family members and Tab, and we stayed for a week. So me and my brother-in-law go out to buy stuff for the week. Like as soon as we get there, we go to the grocery store and buy stuff because there's a kitchen where we're staying. Right. Come back, and I just bought a bunch of, this was 20, this was right after we got married, so maybe 21 years ago or so. I come back with a bunch of two liters. And I take them out of the bag and set them all up. And I didn't get any Pepsi. I got Coke. Because back then, I didn't care as much. Mm -hmm. And my wife's like, where's the Pepsi? I'm like, I don't know. I just grabbed some Coke. <laughs> I just grabbed some stuff. And she threw a fit. Listen, my wife is the most awesome person in the world. But something <laughs> happened to her that day. She got possessed by some <laughs> sort of angry little the troll. Because she was, yeah. She was mean. I mean, people were leaving the room as she's yelling about me being inconsiderate. <laughs> so it was so bad that that was day one of the vacation. We did not talk to each other. Oh. I did not talk to her or look in her direction the rest of the week. 
So and she's, what you're saying is that you were a Coke fan until your wife no, was divorced. No, I, I you. used to be that I didn't care, and then mm -hmm. the more like I late, lately, I feel like Coke's even gotten even no, more. No, she just trained you. Yeah, to, like, Pepsi's that's too that's sweet. No, well, that's I got to drink diets with a even so diet sweet. Pepsi's no. still too sweet. No, that's it's crazy talk. Sweet. It's perfect. <laughs> Uh, Coke, actually, Coke is winning now. Oh, That's yeah. what I thought. Well, I have a feeling a lot of people don't know no. what we're talking about. They're like, hey, I like Coke. No. But they're, I'm, talking, I'm talking soda. You must be on something. Relax, if you Coke people. Over, this is a family RV Pepsi. show. All right, so let's go out here. What's the total on this? I would say 20,000, a little over 20,000. Ooh, 21,119. Boom. Boom. What about that monthly payment? At 21,000, you're looking at. 195. Oh, 183. Oh, I'm getting close. I'm getting so close. Tim, tell me again what you just said. Oh, I'm going to show you how easy it is to custom build an RV. So uh, it, it really is easy. If I can do it, I'm, I am. Te I, know, I understand what Anybody what can. like pop is best, but I'm really <laughs> technologically challenged. I'm going to show you how easy it is to uh, build your own RV. Check this out. Oh, also, Bernie Robert. <laughs> Hey, I've been wanting to show you something. This right here is how you customize your very own RV with RV wholesalers. Let me show you how easy this is. First of all, all you have to do is go to RVWholesalers.com. Super simple. Do that, and then this is your this is your home screen. Right up here at the very top. Build your RV. Click on that. Make sure you click on it. I'm going to push hard enough to click on it. And then this comes up. Uh, these are your, your RV types. You decide what you want. If you're not sure, if you scroll down just a little bit, it's got details for each and every one of them. The fifth wheel, a toy hauler, hybrid, all of them. They're all there. I'm going to go with the, uh, the travel trailers right here. I'm going to go with a mini light. So once you type which, uh, which type you want, then the brand comes up. All kinds of brands on there. These here are the featured brands. I'm gonna go with the Rockwood Mini Light. And I'll be honest with you, this is the first time I've ever done this. So if it's easy for me, it's gonna be easy for you. This comes up. These are floor plans. Um, and just to look quickly, I'm I'm gonna pick this one over here. This one. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but we'll find out together. So that comes up, and uh, you got your options here. So you can click on your options. You can click here to uh, get a bigger look at the stone, like the tile or maybe the, the tops of the counters. And then uh, maybe your carpet over here. So anyways, you, you play around. Get on there and have fun and build your, customize your RV, all kinds of stuff. You can type in uh, heated holding tanks. Very important to me, heating holding tanks. Uh, bicycle carrier. My wife says she wants to ride bikes more. And then a wood look floor, very important for right now, what I'm thinking. Uh, over here, you type in your full name. So I will do that, David. Look how fast I type. That was quick. I'm awful. Uh, phone number. Don't look, I want you guys calling me. No offense. The reason I'm doing this is because I'll get a call on my phone with a quote. Uh, email, I'm gonna put, ooh, text, there's a click here button for uh, text price instantly. That's what I clicked. And then email, I'm gonna put in tickets. Select state, I'm in Ohio. Get price. So there you go, quote summary. It comes up with all the options I want. It gives me, uh, that was fast, right there. So what I picked, we're looking at uh, the Rockwood Mini Light with the selected options is only $23,312. Price includes discounts totaling $2,000. It's that simple, you want to get hold of them, there's the phone number to call, and you can make it happen right then and there. Again, they're not going to press you, in, pressure you into anything, this is, this is for you to check out what you want. So that's it, that's how easy it is. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for hanging out with me, I appreciate it. I hope you find the, uh, the RV of your dreams. During that break, Aubrey had one Coke, and look what happened to her. Yep. <laughs> it's like that sometimes. Yeah. 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 That's what happens when you drink Coke. Yeah. <laughs>
Uh, it was Diet Coke even. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did well for my figure. See that Diet Coke got a plug just now. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it they did. just got a nice plug wow. right there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this Class C. A lot of people have been waiting for a Class C. Yeah. And here we are. Yeah. This is the Four Winds 22E. Uh, really popular layout. I mean, for a smaller coach. Sorry. That is a Beach hazard. Uh, I know. That, that is a hazard. On one of these things. Oh man. And I don't trust uh, anybody. I feel so like who brought, the, who brought the beach balls? Oh, <laughs> oh that's the big one. <laughs> <laughs> We're losing it. All right. We're talking about couples trailers, and they, uh, can you believe it? I know. We're Nobody trying, knows how to be professional know, around here. We're trying here. to work here. Yeah, we're trying to work. Yeah. Oh, they, they yeah. they're not even paying attention to us. Okay. All right, so, so we got an outdoor TV. Yeah, we got an outdoor entertainment system with the, with the sound bar. Uh, for a couple smaller coats, this thing's perfect. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of storage space, uh, nice chrome wheel covers, uh, nice high gloss finish, uh, graphics. You know, they kind of um, brightened everything up, you know, on the on the storage. And nothing's too dark like it used to be. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you've got plenty of storage. Uh, or, you know, it, it could be a, maybe a mother-in-law suite. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, depends. <laughs> You know, so, uh, yeah, you got this nice, massive awning up here. Almost stretches the whole length of the coach. Yeah. So uh, everything out here about the exterior on the Four Winds 22E mm -hmm. is just e everything that you could ever want. Yeah. Now, yeah, th this is wrap. see if it was paint or a wrap. It is a wrap. The, this is, this, these are wrap graphics. But in the Four Winds, you can get uh, body paint options. Okay. Uh, I think there's two or three. I'm going to say safely at two. There's two choices that you can get for full body paints on these. Okay. Uh, pretty nice options. Of course, you always want to talk to your salesman to see what's available. Right. And maybe they have artist rendering from the manufacturer that they can send you if you don't have photos already. Okay. Very cool. So, yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and check out inside. Jump inside. Now, this Tim and I back in, oh, it was our Christmas, our Christmas episode, took a trip down to Nashville in one of these. And it was pretty close to about this size i think it was it was either this one or it's or it's twin layout that had the uh dinette on this side if i remember correctly i'm trying to think i know that it actually had a back room for the bedroom right yeah, yeah. that so i i think it was the uh oh shoot i can't remember the layout that was a while ago you yeah, guys did yeah, that it was december yeah it was but it was nice it was it was just nice being in class c like Tim drove the whole way, and I sat up here most time. At, at times, I would shoot something or record something, but I was back here working, maybe editing a video for yeah. the, the yeah. RV show, and it was it was nice. Yeah, I mean everything is is really roomy. I mean, as I said, you know, for for a couple's uh, motorhome, this mm -hmm. this thing is perfect. It's got everything you need. Yeah. You know, it's got residential fixtures. It's got nice big microwave. A lot of storage space, really. When you when you look around, I mean. For a smaller coach, this thing has a lot of storage space. Yeah. Oh, you know what? You know what this reminds me of? This hmm. might be the exact model that our friend on the last episode we had our buddy come up and cook for us, and I think this was the exact, the exact model he had. Yeah, I, I thought, remember him cooking on. I, this I with thought the sink. It, I thought something like this was used recently. Yeah, that was, that was um, probably it. Yeah, so it's. Um, you know, it, it's just, it's got everything a couple's ever going to need. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you guys want to pack up, I mean, you saw the outside storage on this thing. Yeah. It's absolutely huge. Yeah. So, you know, if, if a couple just wants to take a whole year to travel around the country, yeah, I mean, it's got everything you, you got need it. to do it. You got what you need. Um, you know, decent amount of counter space. I mean, you got a countertop extension here. Um, this one has a uh, gas electric refrigerator. Uh, so... You can you can go dry camping in this thing. It has a generator on board. I mean, it mile long list. Yeah, <laughs> mile long list of stuff that this thing comes with. Well, let's take a look at this this bed back here, kind of. Yeah, it's almost like the uh, the bunks that they have in the corner, but and like a travel trailer, yeah. but it's it's this. So it'll be it'll be like a full camera back there. It'll be like a full size bed. So as I said again, perfect for a couple. You have uh, various charging ports um, up here in the cubby. You have storage spaces, uh, and you have a nice max air ventilation fan right above the bed. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, that's that's nice to have if you guys don't have power hookups for 
the air conditioner and things like that. So that max air fan, it's going to move a lot. Right. Um, you know, wardrobe over here. It's uh, actually, that's, that's about, I want to say about 18 inches deep mm -hmm. back here. If you want to come and check that out. Yeah, you got a oh, yeah. hanger rod up there. I'm trying to stay out of the way here. I oh, swear yeah. I'm not lazy. I'm just staying down here so we can. But you need to, you need do the shower. I mean, oh, that's you, right. you, you always the, you always get the shower up in there. Yep, all right, you gotta go. go step up in the shower. I'm six foot again. I'm six foot, and all right on this one, it's probably a good thing there's a skylight here for me at six foot. But I've got plenty of room above my head mm -hmm. with uh, with the skylight. So again, plenty of room. You got the the uh, cloth shower curtain. Mm hmm. And. Uh, what you also get, you get that nice big ventilation fan up there. Right here, yeah. So what's what's good about the size of that is that you can actually swap that out and for an extra, I, it's not an option that you can build in, but the opening will accommodate for another Max Air fan oh, wow. if you wanted to put that in there. Okay. So it's um, it, it's kind of decked out really as a, as a standard coach. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Thor Motor Coach, they always do a lot as to making something look extremely beautiful yeah. and very functional. Uh, so, you know, it's always going to be a win for me. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah. I see the TV above the, above yeah. the drivers. Yeah. So, and, you know, without sharing any more stories about your wife like last month, <laughs> you know, uh, this would be perfect if you're, you know, you have a grandchild that wants to come along uh -huh. uh, and they can go and sleep up the, here. Did the same thing on this one? They put the... Yep. It has yeah, like the, the, it has a little... That's the hard side. It's yeah. upside down. Is it? A, oh yeah, it is yeah, upside down. You, you can't put the ladder here. And <laughs> yeah. If you flip it over, these are going to be here for the yep. ladder. Yep. It is upside down. Yeah. But, um, and you see, you get another Max Air fan yeah. right up here. So, I mean, realistically, this thing will move so much air through this coach that you won't even, you won't even need to use AC half the time. Right. I mean, unless you're down in like Scottsdale or something, uh -huh. you know, but you know, if you're up around Colorado on the foothills of the mountains, so you just, right. you just crack a window and turn those fans on and right. you're never going to need AC in this. Uh, it's got some nice features like up here, you can get swivel seat options. You can get a booster seat option. Uh, you know, if somebody's a little bit shorter, there's a big pad that you can put down to set them up higher. Okay. Uh, Pioneer in-dash entertainment system that has your backup camera. And you can also get heated mirrors with side view cameras as an option. Okay. This one doesn't have it, but you can get that built in. Uh, you know, of course, 40 series van chassis, seven three liter V8. I mean, it's miles of long list of what this thing comes with yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> great yeah awesome what's the total on this uh the total i'll actually look this time yeah <laughs> yeah so uh your price tag on this 65 750 okay. uh you know on your on your payment you're going to possibly be looking about 420 wow yeah wow that's yeah. awesome yeah very very affordable for a coach yeah, yeah. all right well, thank you sir yeah definitely i appreciate the walkthrough I hope you guys appreciate the walkthrough. I hope if you're looking for a Class C, maybe this is the one you want. Maybe this is the one you need. Uh, you can get hold of the folks here at RV Wholesalers right now. They would love to hear from you and get you into the RV of your dreams. And I say that because there are plenty of people who get into the RV of their dreams through RV Wholesalers. As a matter of fact, I got a testimonial from a couple right now. Let's, let's go to them. Hey guys, this is Tim Richardson, hanging out with Leanne and Dean. They just got here from where? Uh, over by Napoleon. Napoleon, okay. And they're coming to pick up their brand new Rockwood Ultralight. Good choice, guys. Mm, thank you. Like, thank how you. did you come about picking RV wholesalers and the Rockwood? Well, I'll be honest, we did a lot of looking. We were in actually three different states looking uh, for, for RVs and uh, we just saw, we came over here, there was a great selection. That's probably the biggest thing, the size of the place and the selection. And it actually had RVs to look at. We came, yeah. I think he had like nine of them. I know, that's the problem. They the <laughs> They're not there, and they actually had like nine that he showed us. So it was a perfect day. We set up a time, came over, and uh, it went well. So we ended up with the Rockwell, and I believe we're glad we took yeah, it gonna, way, yeah, what are you going to do with it? Like, what's your goal? Okay, like, so what... <laughs> We have a lake house up on Coldwater Lake, okay. and okay. Um, it's three bedroom. You know, we have a lot of family, and at, there's at times when we can't invite all the kids up, 
because some of the kids are coming up with my mom or her mom and dad and all that stuff, yeah. and there's no place to sleep. So that actually we have, this is so going to be pulled up, this is an overflow, <laughs> nice. so that we can say it doesn't matter anymore, everybody come right. on up. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah. So lots of creative uses for your RV, so I love it. Yeah. So uh, we're going to go in and watch him, Dean see this, his new RV for the first time. So uh, enjoy your RV, hope okay. your family loves it, I'm right. sure they will. Good choice on quality and uh, what an awesome machine. So. All right, thank you. Yep, take care yep. guys. Yeah. No wonder you were smiling when you came out a minute ago. <laughs> I know. Very, very nice. Wow. Very nice. Beautiful. We got the fireplace going and everything. Yeah. Aww. Just what we were hoping for. So exciting. Exactly what we were hoping for. Now you can stay connected with the shows you love with Dish Outdoors. Watch live HD TV anywhere your adventure takes you without Wi-Fi. It's easy to use. All you need is a portable satellite antenna like the Dish Tailgater Pro and a receiver from Dish Outdoors. Before you head out on your next road trip, be sure to get Dish Outdoors and watch all your favorite RFD TV and Cowboy Channel shows wherever your travels take you.
I absolutely love those guys. Trailer Swift bringing it home again. Look, we just told him, hey, we've got like this spring break theme going on with the RV show this this month. Can you please play us some music that kind of relates? And they've been nailing it. So uh, coming up this hour, I've got three more, three more for the night, three more RVs to walk through. Don't go anywhere because it may be the RV of your dreams. So if you're, you've been watching all day, we got three more three more for you to stick through. And I recently, though, just got back, I say recently, like today, from spring break. Spring break that I actually had Tim driving me around on. And it's a long story. You have to watch back if you want to see the whole thing. But I got another clip for you right here. When we get back from this clip, I'll be in front of another RV, the Crusader fifth wheel over there, to walk you through it. So check out this clip from my spring break. The, the Crusader Avenger it's, it's something. We'll find out together. Tim's telling me, and, and uh, we're going to find out. So check out this clip first. All right. Well, thank you very much hey. for having us. I had a blast. Um, and hopefully we'll be back just to, just to hang out. Great. It's a good place. Absolutely. All right. Appreciate you. Yes. Take care, David. Day. So we're going to head out. You know, oh, you know what? Hold on a second. David. Hey, David. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. All right. yeah, no problem. Weird question. I, had, I was supposed to go on a spring break, and I had a rental agreement with another company. I was uh, going to rent that with the helicopter on top. Yeah. And they wouldn't even let me in the building. So now I have no vehicle to get to where I'm going. So I didn't know if you just happen to have an extra, you know, I, if there's one sitting around that nobody was driving right now. I'll tell you what I'll do. I could get in. Let's see. I'm not, I'm not lying. There's the rental agreement. They well, we appreciate the partnership, so here's what I'll do. Uh -huh. I do have one. As long as you don't scratch my baby, take it, enjoy it, and bring it back. Yeah, bring it, and br but, <laughs> I, but bring yeah, it back. Please bring okay. it back. <laughs> All right. No freebies. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm stoked. I okay. Thank enjoy you, sir. It. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Where Where is it? I'm just excited now. I just right go get the front, keys. I'll the one with the big red bow on it for you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Woo Got the keys. Got the RV. I phoned ahead to my driver. The only thing left is the traveling jacket. Mr. McCurry. Good afternoon. Oh, thank you. I'm ready to go to California. Yeah, let's do this. My driver knows me. I like to drink my carbonated water out of a wine glass because I'm fancy. Driver, take me to Cali. No bumps! Tim was saying. He said Avenger. We weren't going through the Crusader next. We're going through Avenger next. Both of them sound like superheroes. Well, both, Avengers are superheroes. Both are made by the same manufacturer. Really? Okay. Yep. Prime well, time. Go. Little, little uh, knowledge for you. Where do we start on this one? Well, let's just start right here. Okay. Um, this is a 2021 Avenger 26 BK. Um, really popular model. It's, an, it's no slide outs, right? You've got, I mean, you're only 4,700 pounds, uh -huh. basically 4,800 pounds. Um, total length's 28 foot 11 inches, you're 8 foot wide. Um, with the sale they've got going today, um, it's 18330 18, with an estimated payment right around 158 the sale so. going today that ends in less than two hours. Yeah, we're, we're getting there, aren't we? Yeah, with you got to jump on it. Jump on more it soon. Don't wait till the last minute. Could be gone. That's right. Yeah, but I've only got one left in stock. This one is still available. Okay. So um, we'll start with features. I mean, you, right. uh, starting here, you've got solid steps, three yep. solid steps. You've got a full power awning, LED lights, outside speakers. Um, does have a nice outside kitchen. We'll come down here. I'll show okay. you that a little bit. 
So you've got your two burner cooktop, you're gonna have your sink, and then you're also gonna have your little fridge. Mm -hmm. And see that little hook right there? That's for like pets and yeah. stuff like that. It's all ready to the frame. So, yep. you know, you got things attached to and everything else. Great. Makes it simple and easy. Uh, what's Some going on the inside? In the yeah, you, you got full, full, full pass through storage all the way under. This is nice. You don't necessarily need a slide out to have a decent amount of room. Right, so you still got your sofa. One thing cool about this model is you've, you've got a separation, separate front mom and dad bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, you've got a sofa that'll tee down to a little bed. Right. You've got your dinette that'll tee down to a bed. And then you've got two bunks that are gonna be tucked in back behind yeah. you there. Good size uh, bunks. Yeah, good size bunks that you can, that, so, you know, you've got, you know, in a small trailer, you essentially got still, still your separation in all areas, mm -hmm. right? Separate yeah. bathroom. Um, You've got your sink right there to your right, correct? Yeah, so the, the sink is on the outside of the bathroom. Like I said earlier, sometimes you think, all right, it's nice because you get the sink in the bathroom. It's everything compact. But then you think, all right, well, this is nice because while somebody's in the shower, you can do everything else you need to do out here. Right, because you gain a lot more bathroom space that way. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, you don't... They could have tried to cram it in there, but now you don't have enough room to get ready. You yeah. know what I mean? Get dressed yeah. and everything. Exactly. So, uh, again, I'm six foot. And I've got room here. It's, uh, yeah, my hair sticks up a little bit on top. So uh, I, I would say plenty of room. It's definitely not much bigger than six foot. So there is that skylight there, that fan actually, that will give you a little more space, a little more compact. But again, we're talking about a smaller RV. So you're gonna have that. That's right. You do have a nice residential size fridge, right? So, yep. so you got plenty of space, you know. Most of them are like a six cubic foot. That's going to be closer to like a 10, okay. you know, cubic foot. Uh, they do have a three burner cooktop oven and then you've got space. Um, you know, when you're not using your burners, you've still got a glass top to give you more counter space. I like, you know, in this price point, they still put a stainless steel sink in. It's undermounted. Mm -hmm. Then you use a nice, nicer solid material uh, for their countertops as well. Yeah. Microwave. There's a little microwave there. Yeah, I like the, the nice glass inserts they put in here. Uh -huh. Still got a nice ton of room there. Um, you know, behind you, you can mount your TV backer. You know, you put oh, your yeah. TV there, there mount is. that. It's already back, so you can screw into it, and then you just plug right into your cable jack and your outlet up top. It does have a, a radio with a white Bluetooth, so you can mm -hmm. pair up your phone and everything as well. Is that a speaker there? Yeah, I think, I think, well, no, 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 I don't think they're, are they've these, got... Are those speakers, or is that just... Yeah, you know what, I think they might mount this behind there. I, I can't tell from okay. looking at it there, yeah, because they got it closed off okay. right there. So I'd have to look at that, and it might be for your outside speakers, then your television goes to the uh, gotcha. speaker. I think okay. that's what those two cables are for oh, yeah, yeah, insert yeah. into your television, then you got sound from there. So I don't think okay. those are speakers, I think it's just for the exterior. Gotcha. Um, we'll move up to the, to the front bedroom as well. Yeah, I'll squeeze in here past you. All right. So you got full walk around bed. Mm -hmm. um, you got more ca cabinet space yeah, up those, top. Those definitely aren't speakers because there's more of them right here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hanging closets on both sides of the bed, right? And then right behind you, you're gonna have another spot where you can mount um, a TV and then plug in up top as well. Yep. So um, you do have full storage underneath. Lift that up. As you can see, that'll go all the way right here, and then it, and it's open to that outside exterior I've storage too. Never noticed too. this before. Yeah, so, so that pulls. I think that pulls up from that end. Nope. And it just no, breaks. It just, yeah, there you go. You just got to break it, and then when you yeah. and then you have to buy it. Oh, there then, it goes. I see yeah, the... that. Just okay. fits right so nice. in. There you go. Holds it up. You don't have to sit there and stand and try to hold it Especially up. Especially right? when you're packing stuff in here. Your yeah, totes are a good you know thing to use here, so you can get you know put socks and underwear and blankets and everything right in totes, and you can pull them out easily, and you don't have to rip through everything, right? right. It's like holding a, a hood open on a car. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. After nice. you. Oh, well, thank you. It does have a pocket door instead of a curtain for the separate the right. bedroom off too, so that's nice. And uh, you said a little over eighteen thousand. Yep, eighteen three thirty with the discounts that we've got running until ten o'clock tonight and. Um, you know, it's it, payment at 150. I mean, it's just such a manageable <laughs> payment. Yeah. You're under 200 bucks a month, and yeah, pretty that's, cheap that's, entertainment. That's my mine, my wife's phone bill, I think, is about 158. Exactly. Wow. Wow. 
All right. Well, thank you for walking us through it again. Why don't you give them your phone number and your, because uh, I think you're going in now to answer phones. Yeah, you can yeah. call me. Um, you can just reach me at 937-843-4380. Um, that'll go directly to me. I'd love to go over questions. Uh, we can uh, work on this unit or find you one that, you know, that works best for you and your family. So. Awesome. All right, coming up, we have some tips for you from David Dernell, co-owner of RV Wholesalers. But before then, a word from Blue Ox, one of our sponsors. Hey guys, David again, want to talk to you about the uh, big finance secret uh, in the RV industry. Also in the automobile industry, you can use this tip uh, when you're buying a car, if you're buying a boat, an RV, whatever it might be. Um, we offer a finance discount here, and the only thing other dealers can come up with to fight our finance discount is, oh, they make you finance. No, we don't. You can go through any bank you want. If you go through a bank that we offer, though, uh, we give you a larger discount. The reason is, and this was something that shocked us when we first heard about it, the bank pays us when you do a loan. They do it with your automobile dealer. They do it with your local RV dealer. Uh, again, boat, whatever it is, when you buy something and you get a loan through that dealer, the bank that the dealer gets your loan through pays the dealer for doing it. It can be anywhere from 2 to 4%. But uh, it's, you know, it's a lot of money, depending on what you're buying especially. It can really be a lot of money. So if you're uh, going into a, another RV dealer, if you're not buying from us, and, you know, of course, we hope you do. We'd love to have your business. Uh, but if you decide you're buying somewhere else, when you go in, when you get your um, bottom price, you get, you know, bottom line price, you get it in writing, everything's done, you have a guarantee of no hidden fees, et cetera, then ask them, okay, if I go through one of your banks, what are you going to give me extra? They're going to act like they don't know what you're talking about. They're probably going to deny it. Just stick with it. You'll get the money. But they should be able to give you, again, another 2 to 4%. Uh, you know, we, we found it out by accident. We started doing uh, financing because so many customers would come in from out of state and uh, wouldn't have a check with them. They'd have a letter from their bank saying that, you know, eventually we'll get a check when we do their title and stuff, which seems very fair, but our bank wouldn't allow it. So it's kind of funny. You know, us and the customers were in between two banks. Figure that. You know, and the thing we've learned through the years is banks are not our friends, neither insurance companies. You know, I always tell my kids, when you go to a really big city, look at the skyscrapers. They're normally banks and insurance companies and the government. Figure that out. So, long story short, uh, when you do a loan through a dealership, car, boat, RV, that dealer gets paid by the bank, you need to get part of that money. At RV Wholesalers, we give it all to you. We, we weren't... We didn't offer financing for the money. We offered financing for the customers. It's only right. It's your money. It comes back to you. Call us if you have any questions on that, please. Or We have staff here that would love to talk to you about it. <clears throat> Next thing I want to talk to you about is our Buckeye Service Guarantee. This is our third year for the Buckeye Service Guarantee. Uh, no other dealer in the state of Ohio has copied it. No other dealer wants to copy it. If they did, they would have already done it. The biggest things with the Buckeye Service Guarantee is, number one, free loaner RV if your RV is in for service. So if you bring your RV to us, uh, say the air conditioner goes out, it's July, you cannot camp without air conditioning in July in the state of Ohio. We can't get it fixed before your trip. Then you're going to take an RV with you to go do your trip. You bring it back when the trip's over. There's no charge, no fee, no nothing. You don't pay a deposit. You don't pay a cleaning fee. You don't pay anything. Everything's covered for you. Why? You bought an RV to camp, you should be able to camp. We make sure you can camp. That's our promise to you. Uh, second thing is a three-day RV exchange. People say, what do I need that for? Simple. You get the RV home. It doesn't fit your dog. It doesn't fit your kids. It doesn't fit your grandkids. Uh, it doesn't fit your tow vehicle. Uh, you just don't like it. Your spouse doesn't like it. Whatever it is, we don't care. We don't ask. You have three days to bring it back and change it out for one that we have in stock. Uh, no questions asked. You change it out in three days. Next one is expedited service at our Ohio location. And number four, people love also free delivery in Ohio. Why do people love that so much? We sell to quite a few people that don't even have a tow vehicle, right? They sit seasonal in a campground somewhere. Uh, they're never going to tow it. They, they never want to tow it. 
and we deliver it for free to their campground. We deliver it for free to people's houses, too. Uh, you know, wherever in the state of Ohio, the delivery is free. Soon we'll have the um, uh, Texas Lone Star Guarantee, and it'll have uh, same exact stuff. Uh, stuff after that is just, you know, dedicated phone number to make sure you can always get through. We discount winterization for you. We give you a 10% discount on parts as well. Uh, and, and stuff that you buy from us. But again, the big things with the Buckeye Service Guarantee, free loaner RV if your RV's in for service, three-day RV exchange, and free delivery in the state of Ohio, and expedited service, of course. If you have any questions, give us a call. We sure would love your business. We'd love to welcome you to the RVW family. We'd also ask you to run out and um, subscribe to our YouTube page. We have all kinds of videos there about units, walkthroughs, tips on how to do things, tips on how to buy an RV, uh, new videos coming every week. We usually usually load at least 10 a week uh, that, that you can watch to expand your knowledge about the RV world and about RVs in general. Also, follow our Facebook page. We'd love to have you do that right now as well. And I just want to thank you guys all again for watching. We really appreciate all the time you spent with us. Uh, we're going we're gonna to watch Dave on spring break just a little bit more. Hopefully, this is the crash scene. Ooh. Good nap. Oh, driver! How much farther we got? Uh, we're about 30 minutes out. Oh, I slept for a while. So. <clears throat> hey, it's Ricky. Ricky, my man. What's going on? No, we are about 30 minutes out. Yeah, no, I guess. I, I just took a nap and I'm. <laughs> And all of a sudden, we're 30 minutes from uh, uh, Gull Lake, California, right? Gull Lake, California. Uh, Gull Lake, Kalamazoo, Michigan. We're I'm sorry, there. say that. Hold on. 30 Ricky. minutes. Say that again. You said Gull Lake Beach, Cali, right? Kalamazoo, Michigan. Kalamazoo. Ricky, I'm going to have to call you back. Second to last, we on? We good? Yeah, check. All right, yeah, second to last, sorry. Uh, we've been doing this since noon, so we're going on uh, going on to the ninth hour. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you guys have been in there selling since 9 a.m. Yeah, we, yeah we, Eastern time. we put out quite a bit already. I, I, I lost count. Yeah. Um, I want to say we're somewhere around 40, that's upper awesome. 40s. You know what's awesome is people are buying the RVs that they want. That's, that's what's awesome. I mean, oh, yeah. it's great that you guys are selling RVs and doing what you do for a living, but people are buying the RVs and they're going to have some amazing times with them. I think that's awesome. Oh, yeah. I mean, anytime you can get out, I, yeah. anybody can just say that even that breath of fresh air is right. just like, oh, yeah, that's yeah. good to go. But, you know. And somebody see, can have this one. Somebody could have this one. Yeah, so this, this, this one's a nice one. This Let's talk one's, about uh, somebody's RV right now. <laughs> we don't know whose it is, but it's somebody's. This one is the Crusader 395 BHL. Um, one of the one, one of my favorites, personally. Um, it's got two entrances. It's got a lot of awning space. Has an awning in the back, awning in the front. Mm -hmm. So the slide over here isn't interrupting it at all. Uh, you get your nice high gloss finish uh, on the outside. Beast. It is it is gorgeous. Uh, you get um, you get your uh, leveling uh, system on this one. I believe that's actually an option that you can build in on the Crusader. Okay. Um, you know, there's there's just there's a lot that yeah. you can just want to get into one of these. You get nice big outdoor speakers. Yeah. Uh, just definitely an entertaining trailer, or just you know, for a really fun, active family that wants to be outside. It's right. got all your entertainment needs on the outside. Let's get inside and take a look what's on yeah. the inside. Yeah. So, coming into this one, it's it, it's very easy to see why this one is is easily one of my favorites. Um, you know the craftsmanship that goes into yeah. this, these. This is cool. The, these are actually you know like handmade. Uh huh. You know uh, by by the Amish over there in 
uh, Indiana and then they once they're all hand pressed together and everything like that they go through CNC ratter and cut out all nice wow. and smooth so there's there's some definite yeah. uh, solid worksman and craftsmanship handmade I like it right lot. right there here in the US yeah um, you know something at this kind of a price point you it, it kind of makes you wonder like what do you get I mean you get a lot I mean you get nice stainless steel fixtures and you get nice bright interior color and um, you know the 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 like you get freestanding table and chair option uh, as you see here and it's a super wide booth on this side so you know say like a bigger guy like me mm -hmm. uh, you know I can actually sit there comfortably yeah um, you know and you have your two separate chairs over here now the interior color scheme on this one is called uh, is called Portobello yeah. and uh, our rep was here just uh, just about two weeks ago and they're using this new material for the sofas I know the people at home can't feel this but it, it feels really good um, and they actually oh, wow. uh, set this out in uh, down in Florida with the windows open all that sea moisture coming in uh -huh. and they didn't run into any peeling cracking wow. anything like that they used to run into back in the day and they were so confident. In fact, just the the material on the sofa here uh -huh. is covered for three years. Jeez. So it's um, yeah, you know, is... it's a nice allure furniture. So uh, you know what you might feel in that is a nice luxury firm uh, type cushion in there. So you're not sinking down in it. You're right. not getting any back pain. Uh, I think I, I fell asleep in it uh, about two weeks ago with a customer. Really. Um, <laughs> You know, uh, they don't need to know if I was acting or not. Right. I, I wasn't. You... <laughs> and I guarantee, I guarantee you they're watching right now. And they're, that son of a gun. He, he was asleep. He was I asleep. Knew he was, <laughs> I knew he wasn't faking it. I knew so, he was asleep. Um, you know, and as far as uh, just, you know, with a uh, larger family or kids or something like that, um, you know, uh, earlier today, one of, one of the guys was asking me, do we have a fifth wheel that has like two bedrooms? Well, yeah. I mean, you got the 395 BHL. Yeah, um, this is a cool. This is a cool little bunkhouse. Yeah, you got you. You have like a second bedroom and storage up top, or uh -huh. you have you can sleep two kids up there. You can sleep two people down here. Right. You know, just uh, the capability of of having the room to move around is just incredible. Right, with a half bath back here, and they got a half bath now. Um, you know, and it, and it has an outside entry door that comes into mm -hmm. it. Now, um, the Crusader, it gets night roller shades, so that they're black vinyl shades that, um, you know, you can, you know, one little tug and they'll roll up automatically. And um, yeah, look at that. nice tinted glass. Do you have water in there? Huh, they they got water. Oh, they're, they're cleaning up. <laughs> I'm the like, wow, made all day they, they, they really pull out the stops <laughs> for this one. Yeah. <laughs> They're, um, they're cleaning up the uh, where all the RVs have been running in that all day. Yeah, and you that know that is a cool bunkhouse. One one big feature that I missed up here, I I, I didn't think about it because you know it's getting, you know it's getting late in the day. Yeah, but it, it's got this huge uh, uh, pantry right yeah, here. Yeah, look at that. Um, you know, it, and it's uh, has an auto dimming light inside. Okay. So you know whenever it you know the door opens up, the light automatically comes on. Mm -hmm. A little bit of energy savings there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, just space everywhere. It's got a lot of sleeping space. You know, everything that you're ever going to need in a fifth wheel is just here. It's perfect. So I was wondering. I, I had a feeling I knew why. Why would they block off one of this? But that's you got your control panel here. Yeah, the control panel. All the guts. They, are back they, there. they. Uh, you know, of course, there's uh, there's always going to be one person that complains. Well, why did they do it like that? Yeah. You know, it's and you know, well. I mean, some people don't like the idea of walking in to seeing that big black control panel right yeah. there on the wall. And with Crusader, they're all about nice, clean, fit, and finish, as you yeah. see in here. Yeah. Uh, so what they did is they put it behind that that little uh, false door there, mm -hmm. um, or that false cabinet door. And you where still have space at the top here. And you still you have still space. Have, yeah. So what you lost down here, you're still getting up there because right. space is, is sacred in, in a, any kind of trailer. Yep. So it, it's... it's just a nice little touch that was very well, very well thought through. Three burners. It's a cool looking stove. Yep. Very and cool uh, and I and, and I did get word from uh, from our Crusader rep uh, that uh, 
uh, units that are going to be built towards the 2022 year model mm -hmm. are actually going to get a full size uh, insignia four burner stove. Oh wow! Um, so it's it's even going to be bigger okay. than what you see. Um, you know, as I said, you know, Crusader they just they they put it in there. You get all the good stuff, mm -hmm. and 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 you're paying a great price for it. Yeah. So, um, you want to head up to the yeah, bathroom there? there? I think there's a nice shower in this oh, one. Oh, no, nice shower there. for me to stand in. <laughs> I can tell right now this one's going to have plenty of room. Yeah. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. And uh, this one is a one-piece shower, so you know water's not going to easily get where it doesn't belong. Mm -hmm. um, nice feature in a fifth wheel or any trailer is yeah. to have that is to have that um, one-piece residential shower. Yeah. Uh, you get nice cabinet space, nice. A uh, decent amount of leg room for your paperwork. Here. Medicine cabinet, yeah. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Coming up into the bedroom, uh, somebody forgot to make the bed, but <laughs> you know, of course, you get your king size bed. You get little night uh, stands over here. Yeah. Nice little touch. I, I mean, uh, they 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 serve their purpose, but they're like, well, how do we make it lighter on the hitch weight without? without putting in a bigger slide well they did a slide that matches the same size as your king size bed and they added the little end tables at the tips of the slide that's good so that way they don't even have to get a bigger slide right. in there to even add more hitch weight that's good thinking so yeah it, there's a lot of in, uh, engineering that goes into making a crusader and and it's in the smallest differences that you're going to notice okay um you know big uh big uh Wrap around walk-in closet. I'm not even going to kid you. I thought that was the mirror for a second. <laughs> I'm a vampire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, it's actually uh, really big. You know, I, I know this is David's favorite part is walking in here uh, into the closet. But, you know, to give you an idea, I'm, I'm about six foot, about 300 pounds. And, you know, I can walk in here. There's shelves over here. There's two 110 outlets over here. Um, nice uh, hanger rod mm -hmm. uh, and your washer and dryer prep is right over here Perfect. so you can walk in here it's got plenty of space it's great there's where your TV goes <laughs> yep for me I'm fitting a 19 inch TV there right above your chest of drawers um, yeah really really nice unit um, that uh, you know a lot of people are really gonna love I mean one of these uh, if you're not falling in love with it already, I, I I want you to go find one, look at it, and 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 see what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is this is very nice. You can feel quality in here. It it is it is a very high quality unit for uh, for not a lot of money. I mean, this thing is is putting companies like um, uh, you know maybe companies I won't say we we don't offer them, but uh -huh. you know a brand that has a very huge following right. that have the initials of GD. Uh huh. And um, right. so it, this is designed to blow that company with the initials of GD uh -huh. out of the water. Wow. Uh, and if, if you walk into them side by side, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. You're getting everything better than what the GD brand does. Wow. Um, but you're getting it at the non-cult following price. <laughs> So, uh, so there, there's, uh, I, I love the Crusader. It's very quickly becoming one of my all time favorite trailers that we've ever sold. I love that back room. I love it. Yeah. So awesome. So much room for activities. <laughs> <laughs> Good. You can't go wrong with a step brothers quote. Uh, all right. So, uh, I'm going to, Tim just told me, oh, I'm going back to Cali. That's what I'm doing. I'm going back to Cali, Cali, Cali. You know that song? Oh yeah. Okay. I'm going back. No. I was alive. Okay. Yeah. Probably barely. I'm assuming. Uh, well, I'm, I won't, I don't want to call you out too much. Okay. Yeah. But yes, I, I was alive. Okay. All right. So I'm going back to Cali right now. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Check this out. Driver, this is not Cali. This is not Cali. Hey, <laughs> this is Cali What's up, my man? What is happening right now? This is the way to chill. Aren't you chill right now? I'm chill, yeah. Who are you? Oh, my name's Billy, my man. <laughs> Let me paddle upstream for you. Billy, I can't feel my feet. That's all part of the chill, man. Embrace it. Billy, What's I can't name? feel my feet. What's your name? I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm getting out of the water. See you, man. <laughs> See ya. All right, all right, man. That was pretty epic. You okay? I'm all right. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, is that yours? Yep, that's what I came down in. Nice, man. This is my little uh, slice of heaven. Check it out. Yeah, I like it. It's nice. You got Ducky up here, of course. There's your, yeah. And this is my little humble abode. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, listen, uh, listen, it was great meeting you. Yeah, you too, uh, gonna, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, David. David. Yeah, let's, let's right. go with David. Okay. All right, well, I got to go, so... I don't know if I'm just going to start mine and oh, got, sit under got, the heater. I was about to start a fire. You want to sit by a fire? Yes, I do. All right, man. So very close to a fire. We'll make some campy pies together. I have no idea what that is, oh. but that sounds... Oh, no, 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 yeah. What? Don't leave me hanging, I'll, bro. Uh, what? There you go. All right. That was weird. I'll follow you to the fire. That was by far the coldest my feet have ever been in my life. I don't know if you noticed, but that was real ice behind me. And <laughs> when I got in the water, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm gonna get in the water and play around. I don't care if it's a little cold. Instantly, I was in pain. Uh, I've got a couple things to give away. The first two callers will win something. Uh, the first caller will either win a gift card or the chair, totally up to you. So I'll just leave it up to you. This is a $50 gift card to uh, Olive Garden, Longhorn, Cheddar's, Yard House. Yard House, I don't know if you've ever been to a Yard House. There's not one in Columbus, but I've been to Yard House and that's a, that's a good place. Uh, Bahama Breeze, which I've never been to in Seasons 22. You'll get your choice, either the chair or the card. Uh, we'll find out right now who our first caller is. Hello? Hey, who's this? Is it? <laughs> what is, I'm sorry, what is your name? Sylvia Johnson. Sylvia. Well, guess what? You are our first winner. Are you kidding me? No. It, ah, awesome. <laughs> there you go. How's that? I would, I would ask you, could you please show at least a little bit of excitement, Sylvia? <laughs> I, I can't handle it. <laughs> all right. Well, first of all, where, where are you calling from? I'm actually in Colorado. I'm in Spring. <laughs> I'm in Cat Springs, Colorado. I don't know where I live anymore. <laughs> Very cool. From, from the other side of the country. We appreciate you watching today. Yes. Well, listen, I'm going to make this mm -hmm. super easy for you. You either get a $50 gift card. Did you hear what all the all the restaurants it's good for? Yes. Okay, so either the $50 gift card or the chair, the RV Wholesalers uh, Super Duper uh, chair. Totally up to you. Which one do you want? Oh gosh. Okay. Um, this is tough. I know. It, it, oh, it would be that tough for me. Chair. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. You're gonna. Okay. You? I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with a chair. She's gonna go with the chair. chair. It's so awesome. I, yes, and I can keep it for a long time. And tell my office like, I won this. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's very good. That's a good point. You show it off for a while. And let me tell you, I just bought two more of these. I got two at home. I just bought two more today because they're that good a chair. So congratulations. I'm gonna hand you off to Tim really quick. He's gonna get your information from you, and we will send it to you. Okay. Thank All you. Right, congratulations. Awesome. All righty. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. So. The next caller will get the gift card. $50 to either Olive Garden, Longhorn, Cheddar's, Yard House. And if there's anybody out there that works at a Yard House, please talk to them about bringing a Yard House to Columbus, Ohio. I've eaten there just a couple times, and the place is awesome. Uh, Bahama Breeze or Season 22. $50 going to you. We have, after I get the call, he's getting her information. After we get that caller for this, I've got one more to walk through. The Puma with the best. Blake is telling me it's with the best. But it was supposed to be with the best. They couldn't make it because they're on a phone call, so Blake is going to walk through the Puma with me. <laughs> the next best. <laughs> so we will, we will do that. We're going to take our next caller here in a second. Uh, ready? All right, this person right here. Wait for the phone. There it goes. This is our winner. Hello. Oh. Hey, who's this? This is Chad. Chad or Todd? Chad. Chad. Well, is it a Chad that I know? I know a Chad that just bought an RV recently. Is this is this my Chad? 
It's possible. Who's this? Okay, this is David. So it's not. It's not the Chad I know. Never mind. If you're asking who this is, it's not the Chad I know. You're not my Chad, which is weird to say, but you are the winner, Chad, of the $50 gift card. Nice. Is that cool? Where are you calling from? Maryland. Maryland. Awesome. Well, listen, you're going to go, uh, you're going to have $50 to spend at either Olive Garden, Longhorn, or one of the other four places on this gift card. Uh, so congratulations first. Secondly, thank you for watching today. We really, really appreciate it. I'm going to hand you off to Tim because i got one more RV to walk through. I'm going to do that now after I give the phone to Tim and he gets your information. Sound good? Thank you. All right, Chad. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. All right, so Chad wins this. Uh, as I make my way over there, I've got one more spring break video for you. So I'm going to head over there, and then I will meet you after this video. Hello, sir. Hey, what's happening? What's going on? I've got a nice spread no going what's on right here. And this is going to be something we eat? Uh, yeah. Have you ever heard of a campy pie before? You just lost some bread. A campy pie? Yeah, a campy no, pie. No, I've not heard of a campy pie. So here is our campy pie maker. Right yep. here. All right. It's big enough for our six course meal. Hold this for me. Okay. We're gonna have pizza for those pizza lovers, ham and cheese for the ham and cheese lovers, and dessert for everybody. Okay. Okay? Uh huh. All right, I need you to hold that while I get everything in this campy pie maker. Okay. All right, for our ingredients, we have baked with love white bread. White bread. All right, we have wonderful Mama Mary's. Awesome, delicious pepperoni. Love Mama Mary. All right, we've got some mozzarella cheese here. We've got your tomato sauce. Okay. More white bread. Spit when you said that. Budig, got some delicious budig. I think it's budig. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We've got cheese here. And of course, we got your pie filling. We got apple pie and cherry pie. Okay. The ABCs, apple, but cherry. Sure, I want butt cherry. Here we are with the Mr. Bread. Gotta love the bread. Did you wash your hands after you got out of that lake? Absolutely. With what? Okay, we've got them now full of bread. What do you want in your campy pie? Out of these? Anything but butt cherry. I told you that. Oh, okay. All right. Let's That's... do it. Okay. But you know, pizza. Let's do pizza. Is it regular pizza or butt pizza? There we are. Right there. Oh. Okay, here we are. Nice apple pie. There we are. There's one. Oh, the delicious cherry. Mm, not good. Good, pretty good. Gotta love cherries from a can. Butt cherries from a can. I <laughs> get it. All right, here we go. And bring her down. There we are. And now we hold it over the fire? Yes. Isn't she magnificent? All right, here we go. All righty. This is how we do it. Good old campy pie. And now we wait. Now we tell ghost stories. Ready for the flip. Oh, we're flipping that way. Yeah. Oh. What's the chances that some of the cherry is mixing in with like the ham sandwich? That's disgusting. It's very high. It's very high. Gross. All right, here we are. Here we go, the exciting reveal. Ready? Yeah, I'm excited to see this. Voila! <laughs> delicious six course meal. That's disgusting, what is that? That's the pizza. Oh, that's pizza? Yeah. Oh, there's cherry. There's cherry, there's apple. This, I mean, it, I'm I mean, we forgot to grease the pan, so what do you want, man? Uh, I want Burger King, because this looks disgusting. This is beautiful. Here, take some. Take some, take one. Take okay. One. Go ahead, just, mm. <laughs> Magnificent! <laughs> Burn my! Now I got a blister at the top of my mouth. And like a camping blister. All right, right. It's not bad. So it's like, uh, uh, you're still that is hot inside. It's like it a got hot warm. pocket. It is. It's like a kind of gross hot pocket, but not bad. Well, hey man, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, no problem. Well, nice meeting you. Um, 
Billy, I gotta head back to RV Wholesalers. Oh, uh, okay. We're back in Lakeview, Ohio, far away, so. Uh, maybe I'll probably, see you there, then. I'll probably not, though. Probably uh, never see you again, so. Uh, okay. You take care. We'll see. Yeah, yeah no, seriously. We're, we're good. I, it was uh, nice meeting you. See ya. We'll see. But maybe not. See you later. I'll definitely see him later. With Blake, I'm back with Blake. That could be a good '80s song. Yeah, you know? it would. <laughs> it would. The Puma. So we got a Puma. This is the 31 RLQS. Right there it is. <laughs> so we are living. Yeah. Um, and then um, outside we got the the aluminum, which is it's like what in the world has hit me? <laughs> which is standard on all Pumas. So you have all this right here. Okay. We got a little cubby space here. We're gonna show you the little magic spot inside the camper. What that can go to. More wide steps, of course, power on with LED light strip, outside speakers, mm -hmm. um, great quality on this unit. Pumas are a big seller. This is a huge floor plan that sells a ton, um, and I actually have a, a one in stock. So yeah. if this fits you, jump on now. Jump on now. <laughs> okay. The Pumas hold a place near and dear in my heart because the first RV my wife and I stayed in was a Puma. Oh, yeah. Pumas are nice. You great. guys probably really enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, we had a blast. So as we come in here, this floor plan does have the kitchen island with the deep farmer sink. Mm -hmm. um, theater seating, standard. Your pull-out sofa, standard. Nice big pantry. Ladies, you know, love that. Yeah. And then um, your entertainment center, of course, with your fireplace. TV would go up there. Gather yeah, sign goes down there. You can even put a whole bunch of stuff in there back there. Yeah. I mean, yep. very, very, very roomy. Your 12-volt refrigerator. Um, with, so it's all electric, so we put a couple gallons of milk in there for your big milk drinkers. Yeah. Um, you got your three burner, your stove with accent lights, which makes a nice little touch. Now this floor plan does have the booth dinette. Now you can get table and chairs. Okay. To make it just a little bit more roomy on that end if you'd like. You know, it's funny, I mentioned like what I like all day. For the most part, I feel we've seen a whole lot of table and chairs. Yeah. And now when I, and I'm always like, I love the table and chairs in these. I think I like that even more in the booth. Now I see the booth, I'm like, you know, I really like the booth. It's like <laughs> well, what you so see most of. It's 50-50, to be honest. Yeah. And here's why. You get storage with the booth. Okay, yeah. Um, and it's, it's an extra sleeping spot. You know, mm -hmm. with the table and chairs, you kind of lose this booth. Right. So that's a good point. So it's just 50-50 and kind of. Kind of what you want. Well, kind of what you want. Okay. Now, I kind of like the, this floor plan because kind of like old barn wood, uh -huh. you know, accent wall kind of puts a nice little touch to it. Right. You can hang your keys, rain jacket, coats, or whatever, all right here. They kind of give you the accessibility. Uh, furnace, you still got your carbon ice detectors and you know, things like that. Cool. That's a, that's a big area, big living area. Yeah, of course. Yeah. As you walk in here, we do have your bathroom. Hey, there it is. The last shower I stand in tonight. Unless I jump in the shower when I get home tonight. Plenty of room. <laughs> Plenty, Plenty of room. room. You get your linen closet as well, which is really, really nice. You still got a medicine cabinet with a mirror, cabinetry under the sink. You still got your toilet. You can sit in the pot and you still have tons of room. Yep. Yeah, at least you're not sitting on a, every pot, you know? At least you're standing in the That's shower. That's right. I was not, it's funny you say that. I thought about that earlier. What if people were like, I need to know how much knee room there is. I'm not so, doing that. Uh, funny story. So if I have customers on the lot, I tell them, sit on the toilet, make sure you have enough room. Yeah. That, sometimes that's a big deal. That's, that's a good point. Um, double air in this guy. Uh-huh. Your queen bed. Okay. There's plenty of closet space right here for hanging. And then, kind of a little cubby hole we've seen outside. Oh, yeah. Access it from here because it's washer and dryer prep. Uh -huh. Or another closet. Yeah. So if you do put washer and dryer in here, they give you a little rack right up here to put your soaps and things like that. Okay. Kind of make it pretty easy. Um, this guy, I mean, the price is right here. Please give us a call. I do have one in stock, so please give me a call. Jump on it quick because it will not last long. We just right. got her in. And it is, what time is it? It is exactly 9.01, so you guys got about... 59 minutes left. 59 minutes left, and I'm here, and I'm here for you, and I'll stay later if I have to. 59 and counting. But he doesn't want to, so if you want the RV, <laughs> get no. it. But he will. I will. But he I'm wants to go home. dedicated to all my customers. He's got but family he wants to go see. They're sleeping. 
Mm. They're sleeping? They're sleeping all right. right now. He'll sell, all right, keep them up until 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> he wants to sell RVs all I night long. I want to get you the best deals possible for as long as I can, guys. Yep. But thanks for hanging out with us today. I yeah, mean, thanks for absolutely. hanging out with me. A total of five times you got to see me today. So <laughs> Nice. And so, and we are blessed more because of it. Yeah. I'm going to head you know, back out there. And they saved the best for last. That's so. right. There you go. That's what he says. <laughs> <laughs> I'm head back out here. You can have this. The price is down there at the bottom. I think we're about to wrap things up. I'm going to come over here uh, to the t It's funny. So I don't know if you're seeing behind the scenes. Are we, are we still on? Am I still I, I can hear me, so we must still be on. Where am I going? Oh, to the beach scene. <laughs> so here's the deal. The, everybody, can we? Right, can we get a shot down? Can we get a shot down through here? Oh, you got, we're on this camera now. We got a lot of people that make this happen every, every month, once a month. There they all are down working through there. They set all that up early in the morning. You got control center down there, uh, command center, whatever you want to call it. You've got all these different booths, but I want to show you that there are a lot of people that work behind Red the scenes, and chief. nobody's uh, n nobody's too good to stick around, to not stick around and help clean up. All of us stick around and clean up, and that's kind of what we're doing now. And we show you this way. There was a lot more down here just a couple minutes ago. Uh, right there was our, that was where our booth was, our, uh, what is it, parts, our parts booth. It is gone now because... Uh, we put in a long day, but I just think it's awesome that these guys spend so much time here making this uh, available to you every month. So, it and these guys, especially. Look good, <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Wow, you didn't have to turn to me and say "wow" as you looked at my face. <laughs> uh, so another another good day, another yeah, good day. Good. And, you know, we haven't mentioned this. One of the, I think the very first. It's got a it's got a bad connection. There we go. Uh, one of the very first, I think the very first RV show I did for you guys was last April. And we had these there, and I fell in love with them instantly. So I bought one. I got it house. I got, I got the seven-foot Yeah, you house. got the taller one. Yeah, this is the five-foot. Uh, but if you want this, rvwholesalers.com forward slash parts. You can buy them there. And I tell you, this is a, a talking point at our house. People come over. They love seeing Everybody this. Everybody loves I have one. Back. I just absolutely one? love the thing. Yeah, it's yeah. great. On your, on your campsite, you can't beat that. Yeah, that's it's super cool. Yeah, it's, 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 I guess what we're doing, we're selling RVs. It would be even better at your <laughs> RV than it is at your house. <laughs> just trying to tell you I love this thing. Uh, so uh, another good day. Very good. Very good. Awesome. Well, we absolutely appreciate you guys tuning in and hanging out with us all day. I know a lot of you watched, and I, I saw a comment saying that you had to leave for a while and you were coming back. Hope you came back. I hope a lot of you just stuck around all day, but I hope, most importantly, you got the RV of your dreams today. If not today, we'll be back on April 28th to do it again. The theme then is... Happy birthday, 24 years to these guys. We won't say much more than that because Ooh, you're getting old. You know, we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate then. Well, there better be some cake. That's all. Yeah. I'm saying. There better be. <laughs> yes, Tim. Have ice cream there cake. Can be we cake. have ice cream cake? Oh, sure. I like I ice, cream ice cream cake. You hate ice cream cake? All right, we got to have both. Mike in the world that hates ice cream. We have cake. to have ice cream cake and cake. Okay, a little bit of both. Yeah. And pie. Oh, I like pie. Sure. Creme, creme brulee. One might have some creme brulee. Yeah, creme brulee. All the desserts to celebrate 24 years. What'd you say, key lime pie? Key lime like pie would good today. I'm going to have some break. of that tomorrow, I believe. Yeah. That's right. You're going to Key West tomorrow. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to Nashville on Monday. Where are you headed? I'm going home. You're going home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Mike's listen. having a staycation. Uh, I'll sit right. by myself in my hot tub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that mental picture. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, I shouldn't. I gotta. I gotta be more respectful. These guys bring me in every month to work. Uh, we we have 85, 20. So we've jumped up about 100 people, 100 subscribers today on YouTube. So thank you very much for subscribing. And we ask you to su subscribe for you. We got all kinds of walkthroughs that happen every month. We've got webinars that are there just to help you with your purchase, or even if you buy an RV, just tips and tricks about having and owning an RV. And there'll be more. We, so many. Hey, we got a so new uh, cooking section coming soon. For real? Yeah, literally. Okay. You know, show people, you know, things to cook uh, I think that's inside brilliant. their RV kitchen, but also we're going to do a, a whole series on, you know, fire pit cooking, fire ring cooking, all that sort that's of stuff. That's awesome. And you can be alerted to when that happens if you like YouTube the, and subscribe hey, to the this. YouTube channel. RV Wholesalers. Mmm. We're watching Game Show Network. Yeah. How'd that you're, look? you're very good. That was good. Did I do it well? Thank that was good. You. Yeah. Yeah. A regular Vanna White over here. Vanna Off White. Vanna um, Off White, yeah. <laughs> Whitish. Whitish. Uh, 
<laughs> All right, so do you guys have anything else to say? No, thanks for watching, as always. Absolutely, thanks for watching. We will see you guys on April 28th. To take us out, as always, Trailer Swift, don't stop believing. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you, guys. Just